Welcome back, everyone. Today we are starting the story of a virgin loser Jin Hyuk, who wasted 11 years of his life on a super hard game that made everyone quit it within a year, and he was the only single person in the world who managed to finish it. Then the game came to real life, and with his experience from the game, Jin Hyuk dominated the world and copied everyone's skills to become even more overpowered. So if you like the plot stick around for a wild ride as we cover his journey throughout the Tower of Trials. 79th try. 5 15,050 casualties. After trying to clear the Tower of Trials, mankind has come to this conclusion. Human extinction. 58 minutes, 33 seconds. Some people are depressed and can't find a way to come out of this situation. Human extinction. 58 minutes, 32 seconds. Some has accepted their fate. Human extinction. 58 minutes. All the large guilds have given up as well. There aren't any challengers anymore. People are freaking out online. One person says, guess there's one hour left till the world ends. The scene shifts inside the tower. Tower of Trials, 48th floor. A new notification says, a challenger has appeared on the 48th floor. The realm of the red dragon Dethia. There's still a challenger. Someone online. Wow. For real? At this time? The number of viewers starts going up. You humans don't know how to give up. You have returned after losing so many people, said the dragon to the guys who is standing fearlessly in front of him. Well, I had some preparations to do in order to make a cooked lizard. But still, I made in time, said the guys to the dragon mockingly, human. Do you not know that death, however equal it may be, can be more painful than the other? Says the dragon, very angrily while casting an attack with his right hand and binding our protagonist in a magic circle. The dragon attacks our guy with full force of his hand, which cracks the floor while thinking that it will be an anticlimactic end to the poor guy. To the dragon's surprise, a mocking sound was heard in the room, which said a physical attack right after a bind. Isn't that too obvious of a pattern? The dragon was confused and shocked at the same time. I can tell what you're about to do by just looking at your hand movements said our protagonist while keeping his back toward Dragon and striking a cool pose. You have only chosen to die in a more painful way, Dragon screamed angrily. He charged a big fire attack and fired at our protagonist. This attack was so powerful that it covered the whole floor in flames, but as cool as this attack was, or I should say, as hot as this attack was, our guy dodged it easily by jumping into the air while striking a cool pose and charging his knife with black aura. He striked at Dragon's eye and the dragon screamed in pain. Qua! I will never allow you to leave this place alive, said the angry dragon. He was so angry that a tiny human injured and mocked him. To save his dignity, the dragon started charging a powerful attack. Red dragon Dethia uses aerial breath, informed the system notification. Although this whole dungeon is under the area of Dragon's breath, there's no reason for me to dodge the attack said our protagonist while raising his hands and opening a skill called Memory of the World. An infinite library filled with records of skills is forming and formed the system notification. Our protagonist brought out two skills, Hellfire and Black Tears. The dragon mocked our guy saying that he was being arrogant from trusting just these puny skills which can't even damage a scale on him set aside kill him. But to the dragon's surprise, our protagonist have prepared something special for him. He started combining both the skills, a system notification informed that the combination was successful. Breath of the Void, Dragon Ethereum Rank, Triples was successfully created. That's the strongest breath of the ancient Dragon Ethereum, says the dragon with his eyes wide open. How could a mere human use that ability? Who on the earth are you? Kang Jin Shiok, announcing his name out loud while holding a fire attack in his hand, said, This is not my first time killing you. I am a pro at this. After a dashing introduction, the scene shifts to our protagonist who explains how games had gone to ruin. Often it's because they weren't fun, or the balance between the characters was broken, or it was a game where the operation wasn't smooth. But there were other reasons too, such as if the game was absurdly hard to clear. The virtual reality game, Tower of Trials, was precisely that. A year after its release, Korean gaming veterans, whose hobby was to make the lives of the game's creators a mess, clashed to reach the game's end. They had given up eating and sleeping for 365 days. However, three years passed. 
and the players began to realize. They realized that the game could not be cleared, and that it was no exaggeration. A simple example? The gate guardian protecting the tenth floor was invincible. It meant that even if 100 people all fired off their best skills and used their best weapons, it would be futile. No, logically speaking, shouldn't at least one thing work? In addition, there was the seventh floor with arctic weather with average temperatures of minus 60 degrees Celsius, and your character froze within an hour. The eighth floor labyrinth in which the whole path was more than 10,000 kilometers. The game design wasn't fun. It was torture. Or perhaps it was a masterpiece made to mess with the people. Because of that, the game's popularity cratered. In other words, it was almost buried. Still, there were a handful of players who challenged this damned hell of a game. And among them, a young Korean man, Kang Jin Hyuk, was included. You have conquered the 50th floor. Congratulations, you have cleared the Tower of Trials for the first time ever. Is this... for real? The 50th floor of the Tower of Trials. Jin Hyuk sighed as he felt emotions fill him. It was fun. Unlike the other players, he never stopped attacking the tower. After you repeat a level enough times to memorize everything, that sense of accomplishment. But, to actually manage to clear the last floor. He was 17 when he first encountered virtual reality games. He was 27 now. Wow, almost 11 years passed by at the speed of light. Ha ha. Should I stop streaming? said our guy. Although he was a broadcast jockey with a decent number of viewers, a BJ was still only a BJ. Stop don't get the wrong ideas. BJ is just the short form for broadcast jockey, you dirty-minded fools. But Jin Hyuk shook his head. Seriously. No one would care if he turned off the broadcast now. Even the fixed viewers he had in the past began to go offline as he kept streaming the same thing for three months. Even now, if he tried to attract attention using the title of Boss Attack or 50th Floor, nobody would come and watch because it was from the Tower of Trials. Tring, thank you very much for playing the game so far. The reboot update will be done in 12 hours, so please play it. An administrator-only message. He thought they had given up on the game since no one had bothered to communicate or manage it for 11 years. Did they find some oil fields in the desert to have that much money? He didn't understand the logic. There was no profit in doing this now. Don't bother thinking about it. They must be up to something. Because he had no intention of playing the game anymore, even if there was a reboot or whatnot. Besides, Jin Hyuk was thinking of making today the last day as broadcast jockey. Even if he didn't have a family to support, he was almost 27. He can't continue just living on $500 a month. I've got to tell the director I will take a break from exercising. He once had been told to aim to become a pro martial artist, but now money was more important than those kind of dreams. As he turned on the broadcast, his 20 fixed viewers joined in. Chicken, pizza, cream prawns, and two bottles of beer were prepared on the desk. Been on to die for 25 years now. Look at you. Best mukbang. As expected, bro's mukbang is the best. The chat was lively and engaging. Still, thanks to the small group of viewers, the broadcast continued. Dawn approached as they laughed, talked, drank alcohol, and ate snacks together. I'll have to tell them about this ending through a notice or a post tomorrow. Right now, he couldn't spill it out. Right, he'll say it tomorrow, but... Even Jin Hyuk himself didn't know. When he opened his eyes tomorrow, the world he knew would have changed forever. Next morning, the hangover that came up strongly was accompanied by a throbbing headache. Ugh. Jin Hyuk held his temples as he got up from his bed. With a burning thirst in his throat, he ended up drinking one liter of ice water he had stored in the refrigerator. As the cold water washed down his throat, he felt his mind become more aware. Ha. I might live now. The ramen was quite spicy, but he had to do something else now. Click. Jin Hyuk turned on his computer and tried to find the right music to accompany him while he worked on his VTube video. But... Uh... A VTuber that he frequently watched was broadcasting something live. The Tower of Trials becomes a reality. The aggressive title was common in this industry to get viewers. But to have over 300,000 viewers watching live. Something big seemed to have happened. Jin Hyuk moved his mouse. Pound! Pound! His heart was beating quickly inside his chest despite there being no reason to. 
The moment he clicked the video, everything changed. Click. As he tuned into the live stream, the audio began to fill his ears. Wow, bro, that. Do you see that? Everyone is watching this, right? On his computer screen, the VTuber was exclaiming loudly. A large tower was visible on the screen. It really was something ridiculous. It was a tower in the middle of Seoul, the sight of which was all too familiar. Just then, the VTuber raised his hand, and the screen in the video began to turn red. It wasn't a sunset. Why would the sun start setting at 10 a.m.? No. Jin Hyuk gulped. He knew what this was. It was an omen that appeared when he first played Tower of Trials. The first update of the reboot version of Tower of Trials has been completed. The boundaries between reality and the virtual world were blurring. The reality was being shown on the screen in front of him. Then, at that exact moment, a blue status window flickered into existence in front of his eyes. It started. All players, conquer the next level of the tower within 90 days. The world that humanity once knew was falling apart. If you fail, humanity will perish. Just like that, the game had become the world's new reality. So let's continue. He calmed his breathing and cooled his head. If Tower of Trials did become a reality, then hesitating here wasn't the right move. I need to hurry. Jin Hyuk got up from his chair in a rush, causing it to fall back. But he didn't have time to put it back upright. He had to go. Outside. To be precise, he needed to go where he could get that item. Jin Hyuk exited his door and sprinted out, his breath running out as he rushed down the stairs. For how many minutes did he run? He soon arrived at the city center, which was crowded with people. What is the fastest departure time to Busan? Shit. Busan or whatever. I cannot be in Korea. A foreign nation. I will go and live abroad. The tower popped up everywhere in the world. Where would you even go? Then where do we go? Whatever it is, not in Seoul. Have you ever seen that kind of movie? I am not stupid enough to remain here and die. Most of them were trying to escape from Seoul. They all must be feeling anxious. It was the innate instinct of all living things to feed the unknown. However, in a crisis, there was always opportunity. Now wasn't the time to run away but to press onwards. On the Korean server, this place was selected as one of the places outside the tower. If you added up all the spots across South Korea, there would be 30 spots. The reason he chose this place out of all of them was because it was the closest. Jin Hyuk, who was looking down into the basement area, took the escalator down, entering the event area. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story, as expected. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes while looking at the dozens of people scattered around the fountain. He knew without asking any of them that they were people who had played at least the early stages of the game. They all looked at each other in silence, with not even a hint of conversation. Right. This was the way it would be. Items would soon appear here, but only in limited numbers. The total numbers that spawned would be around five or so. On the other hand, there were over 20 people here, low supply and high demand. That meant that the majority wouldn't get an item. It was then. You are Kang Jin Hyuk, right? A young man's voice addressed him from behind. I remember this voice. When Jin Hyuk turned his heed, he saw a man around. Lee Jong Su. To see this brat here. Haha, <laughs> right. You are Kang Jin Hyuk. You are here too. Even you ended up moving your body from staring at your computer all day. Lee Jong Su approached him with a grin. He was a Paprika TV partner streamer. He had around 500,000 subscribers on YouTube and significant follower numbers on Instagram. He was one of those so-called good-looking popular types. At the same time, he's also the representative of the company I belong to. Shouldn't you be in the middle of broadcasting right now? Jin Hyuk opened his mouth. Ah, in a situation like this, how could I even broadcast? Lee jong Su shrugged. What is the situation? Don't pretend like you don't know. You were pretty hardcore for this game. Tell me more. How many floors did you end up conquering? Let's not hide things as colleagues from the same industry and stick together. Colleagues. Did he say... Colleagues? Jin Hyuk felt like he had been hit on the head with a hammer. He still remembered what this trash said to him once. The company this bastard founded deceived various streamers with unfair contracts. 
They had promised streamers support with editors and various content fees, but it was all lies. Since the contract ripped off around 60% of the streamer's total revenue, the more diligent you broadcasted, the more you lost. Ultimately, the streamers could only act like slaves and ended their broadcasts with tears. Colleagues. Friends who rose with him from the bottom. One by one, they all left him. You are good at games. I know that your mukbangs go well too. I will make the terms of the contracts a bit better, okay? Lee jong Su patted Jin Hyuk on the shoulder. Disgusting. Not a single word being said had any worth. The world has changed. Kwang. Jin Hyuk hit Lee jong Su in the face with his head. Quack. Lee jong Su moved back with broken teeth and blood dripping from his mouth. So cool. It felt like something that had gone missing for ten years was fixed instantly at seeing that tooth fly. Ugh. Jin Hyuk grabbed his face, but it was only for a short moment. The time has come for it to appear. The very moment he thought that. Cuckoo cuckoo. Drops of water rose violently from the fountain, making the people wonder why a calm water fixture would shake like that. Puak. A four meter tall tree rose from the fountain. Finally, it appears. Oh, the mangrove? As expected, I knew I was right. The people that had been waiting there all spoke. The mangrove of greed appears. One fruit can be consumed by one person. It was one of the skills that could be attained even before entering the Tower of Trials. Jin Hyuk looked at the fruits hanging from the tree. The fruits, all ripe enough to eat, had the effect of raising strength, agility, stamina, and magic stats. They were good items. That was an undeniable fact. But the problem was, the number. All in all, there's just four. Jin Hyuk bit his lower lip. It's gonna be pretty intense. The advantage of raising your stats during the early stages was a factor that must not be compromised upon. Mine. Don't make me laugh. It is mine. Kwa ak. Everyone rushed for the tree. Somehow, no matter what they had to do, they had to get it before others. Soon, the central city underground devolved into chaos as people scrambled over each other to climb the tree. Someone had already picked one fruit and put it in their mouth. Sooner or later, the rest of the fruits would end up in someone's mouth. We could have gained something if you had worked with me, Li jong Su yelled, but Jin Hyuk didn't respond. There was no need to. In the first place, this wasn't what he was aiming for. It isn't time yet. Ordinary players would only know about the fruits. Those who played the game just a few times would aim for the fruits. And then they would take it. Instead, the perverted, sadistic players who enjoyed the process would know that there was more. The reason was simple. The bigger reward was still yet to come. Finally, the fruits all disappeared, right as the last fruit was consumed. Keek. The tree howled. Since all the fruits had been taken away, everyone who had been there for them began running away in panic. Right. It was dangerous to eat all the fruits. Damn it, it was so long ago that I forgot it. Uh, ah. Uh, bail right now. I have died 50 times here. People who realized the seriousness of the situation began to run away. They had to withdraw now. There was no chance a level 1 player without a weapon could defeat this tree. Li jong Su also staggered and got up. Are you giving up? Jin Hyuk asked. Oh, of course. Everyone knows they'll get killed in this place. Is that so? That is sad. The real reward for this event comes when all the fruits get eaten. Li jong Su, who was walking away, went stiff. Are you telling the truth? If it was a lie, would I be standing here? Li jong Su turned his head. He had noticed that Jin Hyuk hadn't been too interested in the fruits. Was this the reason? If you assumed that there was a bigger reward, then it made sense. There is no way it is a lie because he is someone who played this game a lot. Ignoring any potential dangers, this chance was too sweet to pass up. Assuming what you said is true, what are we to do? Dig into it. Jin Hyuk pointed at the tree. If we moved individually, we would be easy targets, so we need to approach it from the sides. You mean to distract the gaze? Exactly that. Keep in mind that if either of us hesitates, our lives will be in danger. Jin Hyuk lowered his body and moved to the right. Don't worry, I played this game a couple times too. Li jong Su moved to the left, and the two squatted in wait. At that moment, now, Jin Hyuk gave the signal. In an instant, the tree moved to Jin Hyuk. But, Li jong Su didn't get up. 
he only showed his white teeth with a smile. Fucking dumbass. Did you think I would listen to you? Go and be bait for me, and then I will get the treasure. At that, Jin Hyuk thought. Thank God this fucker's character didn't change. If he had done anything out of character, I would have felt so upset. Then, with a roar. Kwong. In an instant, a tree trunk hidden in the fountain jumped up. Save me! Lee jong Su begged for his life, but Jin Hyuk coldly said, Why should I? If you want to, file a lawsuit with that splendid law firm behind you. We'll wait. Quack! Quack! Clench! Crunch! The tree trunk crushed Lee jong Su with tremendous pressure, and the man who did such vile things died just like that. And I felt no remorse. Looks like even trash can be of help in times like these. Everyone else had already run away. Now I can take it slow. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Tak. As most of the tree's branches were now occupied with absorbing nutrients, Jin Hyuk took the chance to leap towards the tree. Of course, swish. Not all of the branches were occupied. With a speed that audibly cut through the air, the tree aimed two of its tree trunks toward Jin Hyuk. Of course, if he got caught, he would end up just like Lee jong Su, a crushed corpse that served as nothing but a fluid sack. Jin Hyuk tilted his head. It isn't difficult to avoid this. The tree trunks that cut through the air collided with each other. Pop! The wood shattered. 35 degrees to the right. 22 degrees to the left. The exact angles and direction. There was no deviation from what he had experienced many times before in the game. Movements at perfect timing. Instead of hitting him, the tree branches attacking Jin Hyuk penetrated the mangrove tree's main body. Jin Hyuk smiled. That's right. Finding this kind of exact path to make it attack itself was the most difficult thing to do. Goo. The mangrove of greed let out a heavy groan. Why are you acting like you are feeling so much pain when you can barely feel anything to begin with? The tree's bulkiness was a distraction. Anyone who saw it would eventually know that you could just pour oil and set it on fire. Jin Yuk then grabbed a piece of wood that had fallen on the ground. Why don't I tie you up and we can quietly pass the time? This was an event-based encounter, so there would be no experience points. At most, you'd have a day one induction into the Hall of Fame. It would be more effective to get what you need than fight to the death. Goo! The mangrove roared again. The meaning behind its roar was impossible to know. But it clearly didn't like what was happening. It cannot be helped. If that was the case, let's just knock it down. Jin Hyuk used the sharp part of the wood he was holding to point at it. Mangrove Tree of Greed uses the skill Vampire Vine. Wung. Wung. Dozens of the tree's vines moved at the same time. No matter how skillful he was, it would be impossible to avoid all of them. But changing their directions a little? It will be possible. With that thought, Jin Hyuk's eyes narrowed. At the same time, he moved the piece of wood in his hand to match the timing of the vines flying toward him. Kagak! The tree vine that passed by brushed past the stick that was stuck to the ground. Starting with that one. Puak! The real fight began. While holding the 30 centimeter long wood in his hand, Step. Jin Hyuk walked onward. Kwak 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 kwang. As the distance narrowed, the tree's perceived speed of attack increased. Pwak. It was a tug of war where a single mistake was not allowed. Jin Hyuk countered each of the tree's attacks. The rhythm. I need to ride it. You just had to find a unique breathing pattern and adapt to the tree's movement. There was no need to be scared. Because he had repeated this too many times, with eventually the distance was reduced to just one meter. But then, Wung. Something flew out all at once from among the branches. Butterflies. Thousands of blue butterflies. The sight of them flying through the air as they threw out a glittering powder was something to behold. Huh. Jin Hyuk stopped breathing. Sleeping butterfly. They were monsters who used sleeping dust as a defense mechanism, since the effect quickly appeared as it entered the respiratory system. There were many times that he had been helpless when trying to deal with this. But in other words, as long as he didn't breathe, he wouldn't be affected by it. Jin Hyuk took a deep breath and went for the main body of the mangrove. A piece of wood moved towards him in a counterclockwise direction. Now with just one leap, he could put his hand inside. Ba-dump! Ba-dump! He could feel the trunk's surface pounding. Through the holes on the trunk, he could see a human heart. 
its weakness, Puak, and pierced the heart of the mangrove. Ka! A scream of pain split the air and caused the branches to sway in all directions as Jin Hyuk forced the wood deeper inside. Puak! Puak! After a while, the tree's screaming stopped and it ceased to move. Finally, he defeated the tree. Phew! Jin Hyuk let out a long sigh. He was sweating and gasping for air and his heart continued to pound. Everything he just did made him feel alive. Ha! To think that the repeated patterns and timing study I did end up working out like this. Suddenly, he felt grateful for everything he had done till now. The first mangrove tree of greed has been defeated. A status window with a congratulatory message appeared. Ah, right. Come to think of it, I must be the first in the world. Your achievement will be recorded in the Hall of Fame for one day from tomorrow. Please input the player's name. Again, this thing came. A system that asked for personal information in order for you to get inducted into the Hall of Fame came like a beggar. I have no name. Everything will be kept private. Jin Hyuk answered without another thought. The fact that it asked for personal information disclosure was a system specification. If this achievement became known, the player would get all kinds of attention. Name unknown, the player's face will be censored and voice will be adjusted. The system wouldn't be completely confidential. I guess this means I'll just have to compromise by hiding just who I am for now. Jin Hyuk searched through the cracks of the dead tree. Something caught his finger. It was a small green pill about one centimeter in size. You have acquired the essence of Tree Orb. Finally! Jin Hyuk's lips turned into a smile. If each fruit increased strength, agility, stamina, and magic by plus three, then the Tree of Orb gave bonus stats of twelve. Considering that each level up only gave around three stat points, it's equal to leveling up four times in one go. Insane. Honestly, there had never been a better value for money than this item. Even if he looked all the way up to the 50th floor, there was none better. Gulp. Jin Hyuk popped the orb into his mouth. He could feel warm energy spread through his stomach. Now, let's see if it is perfectly absorbed. Jin Hyuk activated the status window. Name. Kang Jin Hyuk, gender, male, age, 27, level, 1, strength, 5, agility, 6, stamina, 7, magic, 5, unassigned stat, points, 12, occupation, none, unique ability, none, skill, none, level 1, but with 12 stat points, the strongest level 1. There was no other way to express it. One hour later, a message popped up on the Tower of Trials Hall of Fame, which said that the Mangrove of Greed was slain for the first time. Videos related to it will be uploaded in 10 minutes. The Korean server's bulletin board, which had been bereft of players for a long time, began to get crowded. Four dollar. Crazy. Someone defeated that. Red hair PC room. Absurd. That tree. Could it even be killed in the first place? Babam bam. How the hell did someone kill that thing? Comments came flooding in. Except for a few comments at the beginning, most of the reactions were ridiculous. They were calling it luck or an exploit. Most thought it had to be one of the two, but their tone soon changed. The video has been updated. The commenter's doubtful reactions changed instantly as soon as the video was uploaded. They had no choice but to do so. Because they saw the entire thing with their own eyes. KDC 123. Wow. Jisenber. He he he. Feck 91. I have nothing to say. Heir to throne. Honestly, isn't that enough? Is that even a human moving? Rabbit princess. I can only admire him. Insane. Insane. I also played up to the seventh floor, but looking at this, it's just great. There were good and bad reactions, but the general response from those who saw the video was the same. Kingsman. I am Park Hosek, director of Osung Semiconductors. 10 billion as a contract fee and 100 million won every month. J Dragon. I will give the same money too, so please contact me when you see this. Jin Hyuk savored the feelings he felt as he read all these. Was it that great? Of course, it wasn't something simple to beat the mangrove of greed at level 1. Well, usually anyway, it isn't that surprising. 
Ah, oh, well. Most other players didn't play through the mid to late stages of the tower, so that was maybe why. Because of that, they lacked a lot of information. Jin Hyuk smiled bitterly. But, one billion. Seeing such an unrealistic amount, his past came to mind. A life that was difficult to put into words. Even paying rent had been delayed many times. There were many times he had to starve just to prepare for live streams. He would have taken it without a second thought if that money had been offered just a day earlier. But now, even if you gave him a billion one, he had no intention of sharing what he knew. Money isn't important. Right now. Most important thing is information monopoly. Jin Hyuk searched for the National Museum of Korea on his mobile phone. It was a large museum located in Yongsan, Seoul. In the game's setting, overflowing magic had spread throughout Seoul in the aftermath of the Tower of Trial's appearance. Most things weren't affected much, but there were major changes when it came to relics. Historical relics that were outside of the tower transformed into holy relics. And it wasn't just that simple as the genuine relics with mythical power were inside the tower. What he was talking about were the replicas. In other words, a duplicate version. This is where you can find the most replicas. The National Museum of Korea was like a treasure trove, but that was also the problem. The main point was that he wouldn't be the only one aiming for this. Unlike the mangrove trees that appeared in seven places in Seoul alone, there was only one such museum. This meant that people from all over the city would converge to look for relics. And, of course, there would be those who would die there. Jin Hyuk opened the door. You have entered the event area. He looked around and his gaze caught something. A drop of sweat rolled on his cheek. What he saw was a guy burned to a crisp. Jin Hyuk wasn't alone. He could guess what other people were after. It must be the relic stored in the Middle Age Customs exhibit. The Great Map of the Eastland. Of course, it wasn't that the people wanted to see how South Korea looked. The relic's true worth only appeared when magic was infused into it. With some magic, the old map would display information about the Tower of Trials instead. Therefore, it was an item everyone wanted. Think about it. Who wouldn't want to know where the labyrinths and ruins were? Who wouldn't want to covet such an information source if all the items and monsters were displayed on it? Although the information it contained was limited to the first ten floors, it was still enough of a treasure to shine bright in anyone's eyes. Jin Hyuk smiled. Right. Everyone wanted it. You wouldn't know that the relics of real importance are hidden in the mud. Puak, puak, crack, quack. You fucking brat. Let go, it is mine. Screams and shouts mixed with each other in the museum's halls. The chaotic voices echoed outside the broken display cases with relics scattered all around. It was right then. Everybody freeze. It was a man with a tattoo on his neck. He was a muscular man in his early thirties. Everyone who moves from now will die in my hands. The same routine threats continued. Naturally, none of it worked. Piss off. No one here is going to be fooled by such a thing. People around the man also held out their own weapons. It was as if they could kill for the sake of the relics. Right. As I thought, words don't work. The man clenched his fist and... Bulge. His arms began to swell up as he used a unique ability that turned his body as hard as a rock. It was petrification. Only then did the sarcastic remark stop. You... unique ability already? That is dangerous. Everyone flinched as they stepped back. A unique ability was something that only bloomed through a special skill. It wasn't something just anyone could deal with. The atmosphere in the museum shifted. The map belongs to me. He looked around. It was clearly a way to show off his power, but then... <laughs> I cannot agree with that. An old man began to walk up behind him, making him angry. Old man, do you not see me? My name isn't old man. It's Min Jung Woo. It means to live with affection and friendship. Who the hell cares what your name means? You need to understand what kind of place you've stepped into. I can break your neck and twist it as easily as a chicken's. You see, my young friend, you have a bad mouth. A tongue as sharp as a knife. Ch ch. Min Jung Woo clicked his tongue with a bitter expression. It was for a short moment as his bitter expression was followed by the words, But would it be faster for you to try to break my neck? Or would burning you into a piece of coal be quicker? Wake! A ball of fire blazed atop Min Jung Woo's palm. A unique ability to wield the element of fire. 
Ma, magic? Right. It was magic. Oh, Hyung Sok's eyes shook, but he couldn't escape. The fireball moved quickly from Min Jung Woo and engulfed the man's body. Kwak Kwak Kwang, Kiak! The man's body twisted in pain. Both his arms were as solid as rocks, but the rest of his body was still made of soft flesh. Petrification could not help as his body burned in the fire. Kwa. His screams didn't last long. Only a blackened husk was left behind with a wisp of smoke. Min Jung Woo calmly walked past the ashes of the burned guy while saying it was your tongue that brought you misfortune. Oh my, fire magic is really unfair. It was a good thing that I joined hands with you. A short-haired woman next to Min Jung Woo said in appreciation, Miss Lee Yuri, please cover my back. Don't worry. If anyone else interferes, I will handle everything. Lee Yuri then placed the black statue that she had been holding in her hands on the floor. Kukuku. The statue began to grow in size. Its figure was that of a jackal's head atop a human body. It was the incarnation of Anubis, a special exhibit from Egypt. Grr. Lee Yuri's Anubis stretched out its long spear in front of him. Anyone who moves from now will be regarded as an enemy. Do you get it? I'll order him to chew your heads off. Lee Yuri smiled brightly. With the appearance of a monster that was easily two meters tall, no one even thought of moving. Besides, there were also two awoken people who developed special abilities here. A wizard and summoner. Both were formidable opponents. Damn it. What kind of things had to happen for it to turn out like that? They're awakened people already. I am going to give up on the map. Just take all of it. They couldn't lift a single finger because moving meant death. But... Step. Someone walked past the crowd of scared people. Crack! The sound of feet stepping on the grass could be heard clearly. Oh my. You people made a mess of this place. Do people no longer have any basic manners when touching ancient pieces of art? Jin Hyuk picked up a picture that had fallen to the ground and brushed the dirt off it. I am glad this didn't break. If the items were damaged too severely, then they couldn't be used. Fortunately, this item escaped that fate. Lee Yuri's expression turned cold. The jackal's legs moved. However, the man ignored Lee Yuri's warning. If you move, I said that you would die. Did you not hear me? Lee Yuri shouted out in anger, and at the same time, Wong! The incarnation of Anubis leaned its body back and threw its spear. To be precise, it was more of a javelin. The thrown projectile cut through the air with a terrifying explosive sound as it moved several times faster than sound. Jin Hyuk was standing there silently staring at the projectile. But before the spear could reach its target, Kwang! Jin Hyuk punched aside the flying javelin with his fist. The spear spun in the air and fell harmlessly to the ground. Insane! What did he just do? He just knocked that spear out of the way. No. But how does this make sense? He didn't avoid it, but hit it instead? He hit a spear made of steel. Wouldn't it be normal if his fist got crushed instead? The people watching were all shocked. I don't know how good my stats are right now, so I had no choice but to react like that. What are you gonna do now? Looks like your dog's only weapon is gone? Jin Hyuk shrugged while looking at Lee Yuri. Who... Who said there is just one statue? Lee Yuri pulled four more statues from her bag. Holy Relic Incarnation of Anubis, Replica, is manifesting. Kukukuku! Four more so-called incarnations of Anubis appeared. They were armed with a sword, shield, spear, mace, and halberd, and had their teeth bared. So? Think you can still joke around? Li Yuri wore a smile as she showed off all her cards. Very good. I am quite surprised. Considering that it was tough to maintain control over the magic when summoning just one, being able to summon five wasn't an easy feat. Even the old man with his magic was exceptional. Surprisingly, there seemed to be skilled people around. Hmm, quite surprised? Li Yuri's eyes twitched at those words. Right. Exactly between quite surprised and a little surprised. Don't act pretentious with me. I know that anyone would want to run away now. You think so? Actually, that was just what any normal person would see. Then. Let's show her my card now. Let them judge if this was a lie or not. Jin Hyuk opened the paper in his hand. Magic has been infused into the sacred relic of Pine and Tiger, Replica. The ruler of mountains appears. 
All that was known was that it was the most feared being of a certain era. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. A tiger manifested itself from the piece of paper and roared loudly. The air shook with the sound of its roar. Roar! It was at least three meters tall and its muscles rippled as it moved. An indescribable feeling of intimidation shone from its bright yellow eyes. No way. Lee Yuri bit her lips. It wasn't just materializing, but he made the original appear. The painting depicted the power of the tiger that ruled over the mountain in a long past era. The entirety of the feeling of that power is reproduced. Five to one. No success. There is no such thing as a desert jackal attacking a mountain lion. Jin Hyuk stroked the tiger on its head. Eat them up. Quack. A giant monster was smashed to the ground as the distance between the tiger and the jackals narrowed. Tear. The bodies of the jackals were torn apart like paper. Truly an overwhelming force. Ike. Like ants climbing the back of a dinosaur, all five incarnations of Anubis were destroyed without even being able to fight back. Tremble. Li Yuri's body continued to tremble. T this cannot be. My summons was helpless. This was absurd. She had been sure that she was the strongest here. She thought it would be a matter of course that she would get the map too. Why? She wasn't sure where that confidence had come from either. W will you kill me? I have no interest in killing scared newbies. Give me the mask of Tutankhamun. At his words, her eyes widened. It is useless in Korea. Where are you going to use it? You don't have to know it. If you don't want to enter the belly of a tiger, give it to me. Jin Hyuk glanced at the tiger next to him. Grrr. It had chewed up the jackals and came to them with blood still around its lips. She was afraid that the tiger would haunt her dreams that night. I will give it to you. I will give it. Reluctantly, Li Yuri pulled out the mask from within her bag. It was a pharaoh's mask made in gold. You have acquired the relic, replica, mask of Tutankhamun. Nice. Following the relic he had obtained from the museum's first floor before coming here. This was now the second that he had secured. Are you also after the map? Map? Right. That was in here. He didn't pay much attention to it, so he forgot. Jin Hyuk smiled and patted the tiger on the back for the last time. Guard this place. Let no one follow me. Ruar! The tiger guarded the entrance of the stairway to the next floor. Then. Let's go and get the strongest skill in the Tower of Trials. Jin Hyuk walked up the stairs and went to the next floor. This is really... surprising. Min Jung Woo was waiting there with a surprised look as he walked up. He didn't think that someone would break through Li Yuri. However, it was the same with the other person. Why are you here without entering inside? Min Jung Woo's purpose must have been the great map of the East Island. He didn't understand why he was waiting here. I wanted to do it, but someone put a barrier on it. Min Jung Woo extended his hand into the air. Tongue. His hand was bounced back by an invisible force. Doesn't matter if I use a physical or magical attack. Nothing goes through. It's the first time I've seen such a barrier. Well, that was as expected. It is a one-star barrier. Oh. You know about this? Well, Jin Hyuk stood in front of the barrier and then found its weakest point. It was a place where the flow of magic was slightly odd. Here. Carpo. A Latin word written in blood shone lightly. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. Right, it is here. He knew a player who often used such an ability. There were too many of them in the game. Jin Hyuk, who had fallen into thought, said, I know how to destroy it, but... But? You will have to use fire magic constantly. That way the barrier will weaken. How long? Until I go and get all the relics needed for it and come back. Ha ha ha. So I use magic outside the barrier while you go inside? He had understood it correctly. He wanted to tell him, You did a good job. I understand that you don't want to believe me, but this is the only way. The day will be bright soon, the sun will come up, and we cannot all go out empty-handed, right? Entering the academy for credibility but coming out after earning nothing would be the worst outcome. Of course, I will yield the map. I have something else I need. Min Jung Wu kept his mouth shut. Which path to choose? Thoughts churned in his head. However, no matter how hard he thought about this, there was no other conclusion. 
he had no other choice but to believe. It would be awkward for Min Jung Woo, but what more could he do? This was the only way. You will surely hand the map over? Yes. I also do not want to remain hostile to the magic user with a unique ability. I get it. I trust you. In the end, Min Jung Woo made his decision. Please do not rest and keep hitting it, otherwise I'll get stuck in there. I will try my best. Now. Wake! At Jin Hyuk's words, Min Jung Woo began to cast fire. After a few moments, the hot flame quickly heated the barrier's surface. Shh. A crack began to form in the middle of the barrier. Yes. Jin Hyuk entered the barrier. Hurry! Min Jung Woo was already breaking out in a sweat. Sure. He needed to make an effort anyway. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Unlike the lower floor, the exhibition hall on this floor hasn't been touched. No. To be exact, one thing had changed. The task is done, and they seem to have left. Jin Hyuk looked at the empty case. The showcase had contained an iron sword with the words Qianlong engraved on it until just a few moments ago. It didn't matter that people had been fighting downstairs. The person had secured what was needed and left. Indeed still not willing to take even the smallest risk. Skipping the most delicious meal? Still, even that person wouldn't know that what he took from this place was just a second-class relic. I remember it being here. Jin Hyuk walked between the cases and stopped in front of one in particular. A round circular relic made of rusted iron. The Sangpyong Tangbo, coins from the Joseon era. They were created during the Joseon era and used as currency until the end of that period. Of course, they were more than just simple coins now. I finally found it. Jin Hyuk smiled. The unique ability made for him. And the last piece of the puzzle that he needed. Finally, he had everything in hand. But as he thought that. Mask of Tutankhamun, B. What was needed here was the part that corresponded to the right eye. Clench. He touched the part with the eye, then placed it inside the Persian ceremonial mold, E. Two relics are reacting. A short text. It was a text that only came up when the correct relics came into contact simultaneously. The words also meant he could push further but needed to pay a reasonable price. Tap. Jin Hyuk dropped the Sangpyong Tangbo, D, all 15 coins into the mold. Right. Wung. He could feel a large amount of energy flowing from the mold. Three relics are reacting. You have succeeded in fusion. You have acquired the relic Eye of Truth, SS. Eye of Truth. Acquisition Difficulty, SS. Description. You can view the status window of other people, able to determine whether or not what the subject said was true or false, three times per day. Success. Badump. Jin Hyuk's heart was beating loudly. There were five eyes in this world. Among them, the Eye of Truth was considered the best. The eyes had the special ability to tell whether or not other people were telling the truth up to three times a day. It was indeed a deceptive item. However, it wasn't the acquisition of the relic which made him feel so excited. It was because he knew that a greater reward would follow from this. You have successfully fused through the worst probability. You have achieved a considerable performance. You have acquired the unique ability, Fusion, Overrank. Fuse three B-grade replicas to make an S-grade or higher item. That was the condition to get the unique ability of Fusion. And... Of the countless relics and items, there was only one case where that combination worked. It was just a case of merging these three relics. Unique ability, fusion. Acquisition difficulty, unmeasurable, overrank. Description. By completing certain quests, you can store other people's unique abilities and skills in the memory of the world and create high-level abilities using those stored there. However, the difficulty of conditions to copying those abilities increased rapidly with a chance that some conditions might even be modified. The ability to copy and save the numerous skills which existed in this world. The stored abilities could even be fused further to make more powerful skills. This was the reason and purpose for his coming here today. Phew. Jin Hyuk sighed. He had been preparing all evening to get these two items, and thankfully, it had gone smoothly. At that time. Look here. I don't know what you are doing, but do it quickly. I cannot hold for long. Min Jung Woo gritted his teeth and shouted. Now his face was turning pale. 
a side effect of magic depletion. Well, let's see what I need to do to copy the old man's abilities. Copy condition. Min Jung Wu has always worn a mask to hide his emotions. Let him reveal his true intentions. In other words, make him mad. Right. Jin Hyuk saw the copy conditions and smiled while saying, In other words, make him mad, right? Of course, that was easy. Especially since it was already this kind of situation, it would be even more straightforward. The skill. You can stop using it. What? What do you mean? Actually, you didn't have to use it. Shouldn't there be something else? Min Jung Wu was doing this because he had asked him to use magic to weaken the barrier. What was this new nonsense now? The way he was working now was different from the start. It would have been simpler to write the Latin spell Carpo on the part where the barrier's magic was deviating. The person who made this barrier was just level one after all. T then why did you ask me to use the... skill? Why? To deplete all your magic. Because of that. Jin Hyuk watched him sweat profusely and work hard. The man didn't even have the strength left to lift a finger anymore. Then what if... The map he had wanted so much was burned in front of him? Weak! Jin Hyuk used a lighter he had. In an instant, the fire began to spread through the old parchment. W what are you doing now? Why are you burning down the map? Just why? As I said, I don't need this map. He already knew everything about the tower. The map meant nothing to him. It isn't worth giving to someone else either. With the map, someone could find information up to the tenth floor. He would then lose the sole advantage that he had. Then, obviously, he needed to get rid of the map. Like right now. You fucker! I will kill you! I will burn you dry! You fucking bastard! Min Jung Wu lost his temper. Wow, this man spits out quite a lot of curses when he gets angry. This was why you couldn't judge people by just their appearance. Condition has been met. You successfully copied the skill, Element of Fire, B. The copied skill is saved in memory of the world. Element of Fire. Acquisition difficulty. B. Description. Allows the user to handle flames and increases affinity with fire. A status window appeared, indicating that the conditions were met. The element of fire. Not a bad start for the first copy. You will regret this. I will make you regret this. Min Jung Wu glared at Jin Hyuk as he ground his teeth with an expression that showed his intent to kill him. Well, he didn't seem to fully understand the situation yet. Who had the upper hand here? Jin Hyuk shrugged. I don't think you understand. Don't you get why I burned the map? Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. It meant he didn't need the information up to the 10th floor. No. Min Jung Wu looked at Jin Hyuk with killing intent. But why should I listen to you? After setting you on fire, I can get any information I want from you. If you think you can win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Jin Hyuk's eyes turned cold as red flames erupted from both of his hands. LV-1 Element of Fire has been activated. Wake! The huge flames began to burn brightly. I- is that? Min Jung Wu's eyes shook as he saw the flames. He almost screamed at this unbelievable sight. How? Do you have the same abilities as mine? No. Not the same. It was stronger and hotter. There was no doubt about it. It had to be at least one or two levels higher. The gap between their flames had widened because of the inherent difference in their stats. Gulp. Min Jun Wu gulped, even if he had his magic. Can I win? Min Jung Wu shook his head as he was filled with worry. It is impossible. A smaller flame couldn't swallow a larger one. He understood now how Li Yuri had been taken out. Those stone statues of her couldn't have handled it. But now... There was something about this that didn't make sense. You had such power. So why are you hiding it? You could have killed me easily if you had shown your strength from the start. What would be the reason for that? Jin Hyuk smiled. Do I have to explain it all to you? W what It is my job to question and give you orders, while yours is just to follow. Min Jung Wu, who had been looking at Jin Hyuk in the eyes, averted his gaze. You answer? I... will. As expected. He smiled. I will contact you at a later time. Until then, 
you should level up with the girl downstairs and work hard. Even if he tried to use them now, they would be too weak and be a burden for him. At least, until they are useful, I will let them grow. Jin Hyuk walked down the stairs, leaving his back open for attacks. Step. He looked defenseless enough to be a tempting target for attack. However, Min Jung Woo didn't even lift a finger. He couldn't. He had no other way either. If he tried to threaten me clumsily, I might attack him back. That was human psychology. It was around sunrise as Jin Hyuk left the museum. It was a really long day. It felt like doing a whole month's work in a single day. Ugh! Jin Hyuk stretched out his body. As he slowly relaxed his arms and legs, he felt his aching body loosen up. The Tower of Trials would open in the evening, so until then, should I eat and maybe rest my eyes? But, before taking a rest, he needed to check something. Status window. Jin Hyuk mumbled into the air. And, Tring. Name, Kang Jin Hyuk. Gender, Male. Age 27. Level, 1. Strength, 8. Dexterity, 8. Health, 7. Magic, 11. Stat points, 0. Occupation, None. Unique ability, Combine. Skill, LV1, Element of Fire. LV1, Eye of Truth. The status window had changed. New things were added to the previously empty spots under unique abilities and skill windows. Nice. He exclaimed unknowingly. It had to be because he had acquired the unique ability considered to be the most deceptively strong. It was just one step past the starting line, but he couldn't help as his body trembled in anticipation. Let's be calm. Jin Hyuk managed to calm his heart. The first thing I should do is collect as many unique abilities and skills as possible. I must set my priorities and collect the most necessary skills. Growl. A strong vibration came from his stomach. It was because he'd been moving on an empty stomach all night. I need to have some soup or something. Jin Hyuk went straight into the Sunday soup restaurant that was open 24 hours a day. Tring. The door opened and a bell rang. But the atmosphere inside felt weird. Oh, is this for real? Dozens of customers, employees, and even the boss. All eyes were drawn to the breaking news. The government is investigating this unidentified building called the Tower of Trials, and a special department called the Awakened Association has been established mainly for civil servants who can use special abilities. Jin Hyuk mumbled while looking interested. Awakened Association. The government's response was quicker than expected. Moreover, Considering that the department was composed of people who had awakened their unique abilities, they must have been very flexible in accepting this task. This is surprising. He thought it would take a few weeks for the world to adjust to this. The government's quick response was probably due to what happened in the morning. Yes, it is true. At least 23 people died, and more than 50 were injured at the National Museum of Korea. The death toll is expected to continue and rise as some of the people have critical injuries. That is it. That is why this policy is being implemented. It seemed that they had been targeting the relics inside the museum. Similar incidents have been reported not only in Korea, but also in the United States, Europe, China, and Japan. The British Museum in England, the Louvre in France, and the Museum of Natural History in the United States. As expected. Players from other nations had moved too, to secure relic replicas, to prepare for the climb up. First of all, let's take a look at the CCTV footage. The screen changed. What appeared was a scene of two men and a woman fighting. The sight of the woman controlling the Anubis statues was shocking. Kwang, the figure of a man hitting a spear away with his bare hands. Kwak kwak kwak. The footage of the tiger's summoning was also quite shocking. The sight of said tiger tearing down the five Anubis statues even left the TV announcer in shock. Well, this was expected, because everything was far beyond normal. It is hard to believe, but this footage was not modified in any way. The announcer said that after a few seconds of silence. The inside of the restaurant became even noisier. It makes no sense. Can... can that be done by any human? Oh my. Just who is it? The customers, most of them relatively older, tilted their heads. On the other hand, I... that one. 
He was the one who appeared in the Tower of Trials community a while back. Ah, the video of the mangrove tree being taken out using a piece of wood. Right, the amazing reflexes and movements. The younger customers recognized the figure at once. It is the most popular topic on the internet and in discussion communities right now. I am curious, who is that person? Jin Hyuk, who was standing next to them, scratched his forehead shyly. Hearing those words kind of felt weird to him. It was at that moment, a new person appeared on the TV. It was a man in his early 40s with a sharp face. He was Han Sang Jin, who had been placed in charge of the Awakened Association. His face also had distinct scars around his eyes, injuries that were made using a knife or a sword. Han Sung Jin. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. Perhaps that man had been appointed the president of the Awakened Association because he had pretty good abilities. If not, then he was someone who also played the Tower of Trials for a long time. He wished that it was the former. That way, he could copy his abilities if they met one day. While Jin Hyuk was deep in thought, Han Sang Jin continued to speak on the TV. The reason I have appeared here today is to announce a recruitment for those who have awakened. Depending on the grade evaluation, there will be some difference. But we promise to treat you as at least a grade 7 civil servant with an equivalent minimum annual salary. Considering the reality of Korea's employment struggle, this was fine. It seemed like they wanted to get the awakened ones at any cost. It remained to be seen how many would leave behind the new land of freedom to become civil servants. Of course, we will make an exception for the person shown in the video just now. I will personally appeal to the president. If you join us, we will support you by using every means possible by our government. Why was he making such a fuss now? I was the true aim for this. One skilled player over 100 mediocre ones. Han Sang Jin also knew the value of this, so he was clearly trying to convince Jin Hyuk with the equivalent of a blank check. But he must think so low of me. He had no intention of being tied down anywhere, whatever the price they offered. He had no intention of sharing what he knew. Jin Hyuk glanced at the clock on the wall. Twelve hours left, at precisely 7 p.m. When the hour hand points to that hour, a new time will start. The door to the Tower of Trials will open. With that, the chapter ends here. What is going to happen next? What is Jin Hyuk going to do once the Tower of Trials opens? To get all the answers, please like and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting the next part soon. Chapter 9 Welcome back, everyone. We are continuing the story of Jin Hyuk, whose favorite game turned into reality, and he is using his game knowledge to get super strong as soon as possible. If you haven't watched the previous part, the link is in the description. 7 p.m. Tower of Trials is now open. The towers all over the world were opened at the same time. It is open! Hurry up! Move! The people who had been waiting outside all rushed towards the gate. Jin Hyuk, too, was ready as he walked into the light pouring from inside. Woom. Upon entering the tower, a completely different view to Seoul spread out in front of their eyes. Vast meadows and a blue sky. The green forests filled the eye to the horizon. This was the first floor of the Tower of Trials and the starting point for the players from Korea. Oh! Finally, we are here. The people burst out into cheers. He also looked around with excitement and curiosity. What was this feeling? It was like everyone here were newbies playing the game for the first time. Of course, he could understand their sentiments as his heart was pounding with the same excitement. A new feeling. Jin Hyuk looked around with calm eyes. Now is the time for it to show up. The moment he thought that, Tring, welcome to the Tower of Trials. A blue status window appeared. It is starting. Jin Hyuk waited for what would follow. One hundred coins are paid out to commemorate the entrance of the tower. Coins are the currency that can be used in the tower. Players can upload their videos of their achievement, and one hundred coins are paid for every ten thousand views. However, the fee is different based on the level of the player. Videos viewed by non-tower residents are counted as views only for the first watch. Please choose carefully before watching a video. Live broadcast options are only available when fighting against boss monsters to go up to the next floor. In the case of misconduct or manipulation of views, measures will be taken. Right. This was it. The connecting bridge between those who climbed the tower and those who lived outside. The player would use diverse scenes to draw the attention of the viewers. Viewers would watch our videos and increase our view counts. 
this system was the most interesting part of the Tower of Trials setup. It meant that the more famous ABJ became, the more they would monopolize the coins. In the near future, many players will upload their videos to bait viewers. However, Jin Hyuk had no intention of uploading a video anytime soon. There would only be damage to me if I disclosed everything right away. Even if he decided to do it later and only edit it to show off the sweet parts, he would still get explosive reactions. There was no need to worry about broadcasting already. Similarly, live broadcasts that could drag on for a long time shouldn't be used outside special cases. Then I need to move now. Jin Hyuk looked towards one side of the forest. The first thing he wanted to do had already been decided, and it was different from the option others were going for. It was a little special path. Was it six years ago? It was when he had been attacking the early parts of the 30th floor of the tower that he realized one thing. The fact that it was impossible to make it further up. Since then, he has looked for all types of solutions. He began searching through the lower stages for any hidden piece. However, it yielded no results. It was all useless because the start was bad. When he discovered the problem, he panicked and was forced to delete the account he had raised with blood and sweat and start over from the beginning. He had even considered quitting but decided to continue. And in the end, he found an old book on the 10th floor. In it was written what he needed to do on the first floor to clear the tower. The method to enter the ruins of the Corridor of the Fallen on the first floor was to get the approval of the owner of the ruins as you first arrive in the tower. Just like the method he was using now. In other words, it was to reach the boss at level 1. The labyrinth in front of him was a training place to make it happen. Jin Hyuk glanced behind him. Some people had followed and entered with him. They must have thought they were doing an excellent job hiding behind a tree. So typical of newbies. Cute. He had a rough idea of what they were thinking of doing. But well, do things ever happen as you want them to? The five or six men and women following Jin Hyuk from a distance clicked their tongues. I thought it would be something special. It was a labyrinth? Um, I didn't think it would be here. Damn it. This is why I said to just go hunting for goblins and level up. Did we know that? We thought he was here to eat up some secret thing that he knew about since he looked like a lone wolf kind of guy. Let's stop fighting and head back. If we go now, there must still be some vacant spots left. Several voices spoke up, most of them talking about the time wasted. At that moment, Shh, look at what he is doing. A woman at the front put her index finger up to her lips. What? Look carefully. The man is drawing things at the entrance of the labyrinth. Everyone glanced over at the woman's words and confirmed it was true. They wondered what he was doing, but saw that blue light started shining from the text. Kukuku. The ground began to shake as the labyrinth opened up. Is this for real? What? He opened the labyrinth without a key. Their eyes shone. Typically, you would need a key or an item to open up such a place. But this man used nothing. It was a situation that broke their preconceptions, leaving everyone at a loss for words. Let's go. We need to go before he disappears. It was the woman at the front that broke the silence. What? You want to go in? You don't even know how large it is inside. Park Hana, are you crazy? Be quiet and think. The woman called Park Hana looked frustrated at her companions. Aren't you aware that the start of the Tower of Trials is the most important part? That? We know. It was common knowledge that difficulty got higher as they went up, so they needed early growth down here. Those who had played the game before knew that especially. Everyone agreed to that, but now there was another problem. But will he share the items within with us? It was a matter of distributing the loot from inside the labyrinth. Of course, he won't. But it didn't matter. Because they didn't have to care about that. He seems to like the labyrinth a lot, so we can just let him stay in there forever. They had been hiding so clumsily that he got bored with their antics. Still, it wasn't nice to not acknowledge them. Who are you all? Jin Hyuk asked with a worried expression. It was awkward doing this as it used facial muscles, which he rarely used. Ah, his chin hurt. Ah, we aren't bad people. Park Hana took the lead and said this while shaking her hands with a light smile on her lips as if she was trying to appeal to him. We... Well... We came to find a suitable hunting ground. And found you by chance. She made it sound like a coincidence. What else would people say for their first meeting when they had bad intentions? Even a sick 80-year-old man wouldn't say such a thing. 
Jin Hyuk's eyes, which could discern truth and lies, shone. Still, he decided to play along. Park Hana. The corner of his mouth turned upwards to a light smile. This woman has some interesting skills. A unique ability that looked worthy of copying had shown up. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Jin Hyuk decided to take a peek at her status window. Name, Park Hana. Age, 22. Level, 1. Strength, 4. Agility, 5. Stamina, 5. Magic, 10. Stat points, 0. Coins, 100. Occupation, none. Unique ability, communion. Skill, LV1 fast step. LV1, weak healing. The feeling of communion. Even if it was their first meeting, the person they met would feel like they have known them for a long time and erase any wariness. It was an ability that he needed to break people's guards and copy their abilities. Furthermore, it will be a great help for taming that guy later. At first, he thought about using them to get rid of the traps inside the labyrinth. But now he changed his mind. This skill cannot be missed. He had to get this skill, so Jin Hyuk confirmed the conditions needed to copy it. Copy condition. Stay with Park Hana for at least 240 hours. However, once 240 hours have passed, there must be no one other than you and Park Hana. 240 hours. In other words, they had to be together for 10 days to satisfy the condition. I don't need the other five. There was no need to kill them, though. I am no bloodthirsty killer. If they didn't cross the line, he would use them in moderation and then they could leave in their own way. But if they cross the line, that would be a different story. Because I am determined to survive in this world as well. Jin Hyuk, who had read the conditions carefully, then said, So why did you come to me instead of going to the hunting grounds? Before I answer that, maybe I can ask you a question. Ask away. The place you're entering now is a labyrinth, right? Yes. As I thought, Park Hana bit her lips and then said, We want to join in. We... join? Yes. Wouldn't it be better to go together as a group than alone? There is a saying that sharing the risk is better. Jin Hyuk pointed to the entrance. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. Want to enter the labyrinth? Do it. Once you entered, you wouldn't be able to leave on your own anyway. You have entered the labyrinth Liberintos. The number of challengers is seven. They could feel the moist, sticky air sticking to their skin as they entered the labyrinth. The smell. The feeling. Now he really felt the truth that he was really within the tower. Jin Hyuk looked at the wall. There were bright lights in place, shining from inside them. There were hundreds of luminous moths within the walls. They were widely known for providing light for vision in underground dungeons. But there was an exception here. Jin Hyuk moved his five fingers at regular intervals. He slowly folded them and opened his palm again, as if he was mimicking their wing movement. Once, twice, and thrice. And then, a moth sat on Jin Hyuk's hand. The dust quickly covered his hands, making them emit a bright light. Right. Nice to meet you. A gentle smile appeared on his lips, and it was then. Park Hana activated her unique ability, communion. In an instant, ticklish energy made his body feel tired. His mind became at ease. So, this is how it works. He would have felt friendly towards her if he didn't know about her ability. Good compatibility, or someone to be trusted. It was like a good first impression. Fortunately, I knew about this labyrinth from before. Wow. You are more amazing than I thought. It is an honor to be with you. Parkana slowly looked at him as she was trying to break down his wall. It might work on those with shallow minds, though. Jin Hyuk smiled and shook his head. I know it well. Probably no one knows it as well as I do. Ah, the time has come. Jin Hyuk stood still, and at that moment, Kukuku, the entire labyrinth began to violently shake. Dust from the ceiling fell as cracks opened on the floors and walls. Ak! What is this? Ak! Panicked screams erupted from the group. The ground was rising up and going down. The boulders inside the labyrinth also moved in every direction. M move Don't stick close to each other! Shit! If we fall, we die right away. Right side! To the right! 
Bang! Bang! The stones of the labyrinth were moving quickly, fitting together like blocks in Tetris. Kwang. Everyone was moving quickly to avoid getting caught between the rocks. They scratched their knees, causing blood to flow. But they didn't have time to care about that. Cuckoo cook. The vibrations stopped, and the paths changed entirely from before. If there was a small fortune, it was that the team didn't get split up. Ugh. Their hearts were pounding. Ugh. This is the labyrinth on the first floor. Nonsense. Wasn't there supposed to be nothing here except for ruins? As everyone breathed heavily with pale faces, Jin Hyuk simply stood up and brushed the dust from his body. Have you all experienced a labyrinth with changing terrains at least once? Who would want to experience such a thing? Park Hana shouted with a pale face. Well, fine. Jin Hyuk shrugged. At his carefree appearance, Park Hana felt the urge to curse. But she held back as she had more important things to do. We need to get out right now. Heyman, can you find an exit? That, the ability got cancelled when the labyrinth changed. Lee Heman shook her head with a dark face. Unique ability compass. The ability to show the safest route out of a dungeon or labyrinth. Park Hana had confidently entered the labyrinth because of this ability. But, that ability had now become useless. Because the labyrinth had been recreated, and that changed everything. So you mean you cannot find a way out? In this... place we are locked up? I did wonder how she could enter the labyrinth that confidently. Was it because there was a navigation ability? Jin Hyuk, who overheard their words, swallowed a laugh. Guess the newbies didn't know that going into a labyrinth wasn't like going to their local supermarket. Even so, what can we expect from fools? The time for it to appear has come. Thud, thud. A faint sound could be heard from afar, though everyone else was panicking so they couldn't hear it. But Jin Hyuk felt it. Something that roamed in this place was approaching them. The labyrinth changes? Why the hell didn't you tell me such an important thing in advance? Park Hana raised her voice. It hurt his ear a bit. And... Did I ask you to follow me? What? No. You were the ones who said you wanted to come. I never forced you. They wanted to come. That's right. Speak up now. T that is true. Park Hana stuttered. She wanted to retort back, but she had nothing to say. This bastard is saying this only now. I already feel like a beggar being confined to this one place. If you mess around one more time, I'm gonna kill you. Chion Minguk shouted. Well, he would let Park Hana speak as he needed her. But this guy? Jin Hyuk scratched his head and stood in front of Cheo Minguk. You are free to squeal like a pig, but you better keep your voice down in here. What? Ah! You don't understand human language? Then. Oink, 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 oink. Oink, oink, oink. Did you get it now? I said to be quiet. Y you fucking bastard! Cheon Minguk, whose face was flushed red, swung his fist. Thud, thud. Loud footsteps could be heard. Unlike before, the sound was clear enough for everyone to hear. The howling sound of the wind came from the labyrinth's halls. Puak. Ku. Ak. A large axe lodged itself in Cheon Munguk's head. It was a piece of metal two meters long. Nothing was left of the head to check. He died immediately. It finally came out? Jin Hyuk looked over to the side. Mmm, monster. It's larger than even a medium-sized one. Damn it. At such a time? Thud! 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 Something began to approach them from the end of the passage. It was coming at a fast pace. Goo! A moment later, a two-meter-tall monster appeared. It was a mythical being with the head of a cow and a human's body. Minotaur. The situation plunged into chaos almost immediately. Wung. The Minotaur swung the massive axe in its hand. Quag. Just one blow left a huge scar on the rocks and made the wall collapse, causing dust to rise. If that axe grazed against the body, any normal human would end up as a rag. But it was then. Jin Hyuk ran to the front, right towards the Minotaur. Goo! Did a little creature attacking with his bare hands offend it? The Minotaur swung its axe with both of its hands. A direct attack to his head. Jin Hyuk turned slightly to avoid it. Kwang. The ground shattered as the axe made contact with it. At that moment, the attack was evaded. You have obtained the hidden stat rift. Two lines from the status window appeared in front of him. Nice. 
Jin Hyuk smiled internally. Chapter 11 Welcome back, everyone. We are continuing the story of Jin Hyuk, whose favorite game turned into reality, and he's using his game knowledge to get super strong as soon as possible. If you haven't watched the previous part, the link is in the description. I am trying to make longer videos now with a minimum of 2 to 5 chapters for every video. I will try my best to post every day or every two days. Please leave a like to the video so we can get 100 likes minimum on this video and please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Now let's continue the story. If you dodge the attack of the Minotaur, a hidden stat called Gap will be acquired. However, the reward is limited only when you select the Labyrinth as the first hunting ground in the tower. Gap. It was a stat that narrowed down the gap in a battle between the strong and the weak. Any extreme difference in levels widened the gap during a battle. Tring. Details. When you fight an enemy stronger than yourself, the gap closes the level gap by one for every three stat points. When you fight an enemy weaker than yourself, the gap closes the level gap by one for every two stat points. It was the only way to grow while maintaining a level one state. This wasn't the only method I discovered after countless trials and errors. The beginning was only 0.05 points, but there is no need to rush because this was just the start. Jin Hyuk continued to avoid the axe. Wung, Kwang. The axe was shredding the labyrinth's walls with a terrifying roar. The debris from the walls had scattered around. It was a dangerous fight where a small mistake could lead to death. But Jin Hyuk didn't even blink. There would be no mistake. Because I am skilled. Because I survived more dangerous situations than this. And because he enjoyed the process. Bang, quang, bang. The storm-like attack was being dodged with the margin of a single sheet of paper. S such a monster. Oh my... We were trying to mess with such a guy. It was a familiar fight for Jin Hyuk, but the newbies were shocked at what they saw. Of course, they couldn't help but be shocked at this. His movements in front of the terrifying axe were absurd. It resulted from learning things down to the bone through constant repetition. Therefore, it was closer to foresight rather than prediction. Totally fucked up. Park Hana gulped. How did she even think of killing such a person to try and steal their reward? That would be like pouring oil over her body and jumping right into the fire. Go. The Minotaur, drenched from the fight, ran even more violently. Kwong! Kwong! The axe kept passing by Jin Hyuk. Fatal attack was narrowly evaded. The stat gap has increased by one. Avoiding more dangerous attacks gave more stat gains. It meant that with high risk came high returns. Jin Hyuk touched the drop of blood on the nape of his neck with his finger. As expected, I need to do this to get maximum stats. He was deliberately avoiding it at extremely close distances. Giving up a little bit of skin for a full stat point gain wasn't a bad exchange. He did it frequently, despite the danger, as the minutes passed. Phew. Hook. Jin Hyuk's breathing turned raspy, and he could feel his stamina dropping. Jin Hyuk glanced behind him. While he was facing the Minotaur, he saw those people trying to sneak away. Look at them? Are the supporting actors trying to leave on their own terms? This could not be allowed. I was the one who decided when, where, and how they lived or died. More than anything else, you don't even know how to escape. Jin Hyuk secretly widened the distance between him and the Minotaur and approached the party. If you want to get stat points, join me. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> Park Hana was shocked. If you dodge an attack, you can get a hidden stat. It is actually a lot easier than it looks. Give it a try. Usually good things weren't supposed to be shared, but it was an exception this time. With a kind and good heart, there can be just one exception. At those words, Park Hana's face became terribly distorted. It was like she was saying, You idiot, from what direction does that look easy? Ah, uh, don't back out. Try it at least once. I won't force you again if you don't want to. Jin Hyuk smiled brightly. At the same time, he pushed Do Kuang Wu, who was next to Park Hana, to the front. Slash. Do Kuang Wu's upper and lower body was split in half. Nothing was left in the Minotaur's hand as it had become angry. Ouch! No. How could he stand still like that? You should dodge or move far from him quickly. It was such a lovely scene to see. The labyrinth had changed again. Cuckoo cuckoo. The walls and ground moved again, and everyone had to move apart to avoid being crushed. Thanks to this, they were able to get away from the Minotaur. Ha! Ha! 
Ha. Huh. T thank God. I almost died. Everyone was breathing heavily. Although they had lost two of their party, no one felt sad. Instead, they were glad to be alive. After all, their own life was more precious. Is it done? It won't chase us down, right? Park Hana looked at the wall and trembled. It looked like the Minotaur would appear through the wall at any moment. It will keep chasing us. Jin Hyuk said this while fiddling with a dagger in his hand. It was the weapon that Do Kuang Wu used. It was a keepsake now. W why will it chase us? The path has changed. Because of this, the Minotaur would continue to follow them since their skin was covered by luminous moth dust. It would keep coming until they exited the labyrinth. No way. Why the hell did you do that? Why? Why? Because I need to raise my stats. Only when the labyrinth changes do I have time to replenish my stamina and continue to play with that bull for the rest of the time. How long? Until we get out of the labyrinth. So, how long? Um, around one month. To be precise, it was a month if he moved quickly. It could take two months if he took it slow. He was going to do it quickly. But if she continued treating him like this, he decided to make it harsh for her. Park Hana fell backward. One month? She wasn't sure if she could survive for a day, let alone a month. We, we will move separately. The Minotaur won't come after us if we don't move with you. This time, Lee Hammon spoke carefully. Sure. Jin Hyuk nodded. Certainly, the first target is me, who has dust all over him. But you see, which way will you take? You don't even know the exit. Will you just pray to escape this and walk whichever way you want to? Hmm. That sounds like a bad plan. You mean you know the exit? As I said, I know this labyrinth better than anyone. Of course, I know the way out. You know. Then we too will... Phew, come. There is no other way. Well, it doesn't matter if you come or not. Jin Hyuk mumbled, which made Lee Heyman ask anxiously. But... Why do players do this? But it will not be for free. Where in the world is there a free ride till the end? At least if you cough out the coins you have, then maybe. Such simple words. It meant he wanted everything they had to give them the easy way out. When everyone was away, Jin Hyuk activated the exchange. Welcome to the coin exchange. A huge window appeared with a short text. It was a place to buy and sell items. Without another thought, Jin Hyuk scrolled down the category that he needed. Lower. Even lower. What he wanted was gathered there. This and this, and this too. Jin Hyuk quickly bought the items he wanted. Enchanted tarot cards, F, 70 coins. Worn out bronze key, F, 80 coins. Wooden wagon wheel fragment, E, 300 coins. Lottery enhancement scroll, F, X10, one coin per scroll. Just four items. They were all trash, but Jin Hyuk smiled happily. Individual items weren't important. What mattered? was how the items were used. I will combine all three items. If the combination is incorrect, all items will vanish. Yes, go ahead. Jin Hyuk nodded, and combining the three items. Synthesis successful. As if to show success, a dazzling light shone from the menu. Ba-dump, ba-dump. His heart began to beat quickly. I did it. Looking at the item that appeared in front of him, he was convinced. All the time he had spent playing Tower of Trials wasn't a waste. Goddess of Luck. Fortuna's Wheel of Luck. Incomplete. Acquisition Difficulty. S. Description. Maximize luck for 10 minutes. One use. However, because the item is incomplete, the range of use is limited. The Goddess of Luck in Roman mythology. And this item was the Wheel of Luck that the Goddess was supposed to possess. Now, Jin Hyuk grabbed the handle of the wheel. It was hot. The heat of the relic's magic spread through his fingers. Still, relics are relics, right? The item gave him a sweet feeling. Right, this is how attractive they are. Jin Hyuk smiled as he turned the handle 360 degrees. Drrr. The relic wheel of luck has been activated. Luck rises to the maximum for ten minutes. Heavenly luck. It wasn't known exactly what this stats effect was. Jin Hyuk knew precisely what the item's boundaries were. It is information that I learned after all. At that time, he had cursed aloud many times. 
Thanks to that experience, though, no more mistakes now. Jin Hyuk took out the Tendo's Lottery Enhancement Scroll items. The enhancement success rate was 0 0.002%. 1 in 8.14 million. It was literally the same probability as winning the lottery, if it's used for the dagger. Enhancement succeeded. You have acquired the old dagger. You have succeeded in making a plus 10 item for the first time in the Korean server. You have acquired 5,000 coins. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. This achievement will be included in the Hall of Fame for tomorrow. A point an item. It was the maximum enhancement value possible from an F rank item. In addition, he obtained coins too. Swish! Jin Hyuk lightly twirled the dagger and cut it softly in the air. A light and clean feeling. Now I finally have something useful. He might not have to worry about weapons for a while now. Ten days had passed since they had entered the labyrinth and faced the traps inside it. The Minotaur was constantly pursuing them, and hunger and lack of sleep were both beginning to take their toll. All of them were stuck in conditions that made survival difficult. As proof of that, their seven-person raid group had now been reduced to only three. Jin Hyuk, Park Hana, and Jang Cheol Sik. Three. If this continues, we will all die. Yang Cheol Sik mumbled with a tired expression on his face. Right. That devilish bastard will take advantage of us and eventually throw us away. Park Hana nodded in agreement. They had been used to avoid traps the whole time. Their fate was unknown, whether as fodder that was thrown into a trap or a lure for the Minotaur. Anonymous. Why don't you just be quiet and give up? Just looking at it, you don't have the skills. Anonymous 6. I think he is someone who can reach the 10th floor. Don't make a fuss and stay silent. Anonymous. Yes. If there are two newbies, it is like a bowl of rice to the skilled. Anonymous 4. Besides, even his personality is terrible. Even though he'll eventually kill you, he's using respectful words and making you walk around with him. I'm getting goosebumps. Anonymous. The killer next to me is kind. Weep. They were people who belonged to the Black Crow Guild, but hadn't joined the initial climb of the tower. In other words, they were the outside support crew. What information did you find about this person? Anonymous self. All his past videos related to Tower of Trials are private. Anonymous. They've blocked everything. ViewTube and personal blogs, even things on his phone can't be hacked. Anonymous. We can't find anything if we don't know his face. Anonymous. We have no answer as we don't know what he looks like. Anonymous 6. He's like the Phantom of the Opera. Anonymous 4. I am curious, but does he have the mask on when pooping too? Anonymous 7. I tried searching, and he didn't make a broadcast channel either. Anonymous. He doesn't seem to have any intentions of gaining subscribers. Seems like he's a solo enjoyer. Why did we think about asking for help from the idiots outside the tower? Park Hana's face contorted. They were all just laughing and weren't giving her any valuable information. Of course, this was frustrating to her. Shut up. Did my brother get informed about this? Anonymous. Weep. We did tell him. Anonymous. I did. Anonymous 9. But he said it's hard to find you since you're too deep. Anonymous. You're all bunched together but can't be found. Very little is known about the labyrinth, so it will take three more weeks to get to where you are. Three weeks. In just ten days, all but two of them were dead. Now they had to wait three more weeks? Impossible. Park Hana's eyes shone with madness. Even at this moment, she was watching Jin Hyuk sleeping without fear. This monster-like guy wouldn't die no matter how much she tried. Right. She didn't kill him. She only tried to do it. Why? Because she hadn't been sure. It was also because the offense for just an attempt can be considered lower. But now, the man was actively killing them off. He really was. Aren't the lives of six people more valuable than one? Even now, there are two people still alive. So he had to die for them to live. How about now? Let's use the fact that he's sleeping as a chance. Jang Chael Sik picked up a rock from the ground. Although it was a crude method, it would still be effective. Crush his head while he's sleeping. If his head gets crushed, he's bound to die. No. Park Hana shook her head. This man has insane reaction speed and is an absolute monster. Whether we try a head-on or surprise attack, we won't win. 
They were also first-time wannabe killers. Even before taking into account the skill of their target, they couldn't do it. And attempts driven by emotion usually ended badly. Then what do we do? Do we wait around until we suffer and die? Suffer? Why? Park Hana exhaled and pulled a sharp sting out from her pocket. There was a clear liquid on it. The sting of the giant bumblebee. That. Even a monster would have to eat food, right? It was their job to prepare his meal. Collect moss and mushrooms that grew inside the labyrinth. Cook them over a fire and place them in a bowl. They had to do everything. Let's get it ready. The last supper he will eat. Ah. Is it that time already? Is it moss and mushroom stir-fry? A dish made of moss and mushrooms was quite something to eat for survival. It feels like I am walking on the path of a true survivor. Miss Park Hana, could you get me some more water? Water? Mr. Jang Chael Sik, serve me more of the mushrooms. You want to eat more of this tasteless thing? Then sure. With some light conversation, all the preparations were completed. Jin Hyuk picked up the chopsticks that had been made from bat bones. The rest of the group also sat there. The three of them put the food into their mouths at the same time, but... Hoo <laughs> hoo. He ate it. The two of them laughed at the same time. Anonymous. <laughs> he gulped it down. Anonymous. This is what a food thief gets. Huh. Quack. Kook. A painful groan. Blood spurted from his mouth. His body's blood vessels swelled up, making his face look grotesque. But... Ha how? It wasn't Jin Hyuk who was vomiting blood. Kakuak, kuak. Jang Chiok Sik groaned in pain as he scratched at his neck with his nails in desperation. His struggle, however, didn't last long. The poison had spread in an instant and quickly stopped his heart. This, you notice that? How? How? Just how? Because it was different from usual. And you people. Jin Hyuk looked at the people in chat, though he was just pointing into the empty air. Anonymous. Is it us this time? Anonymous. Do you think it's scary if you stare at us? Your mouths are all so alive. What is scary about staying on the other side of the monitor? Jin Hyuk smiled. But if you have brains in your heads, then think about why I'm mentioning you. If the broadcast was blocked, there was no need to talk to them. He wouldn't have worn the mask as well. But there was a reason to take all this trouble. It was to check who was on the side of Park Hana. And to get evidence that they were using shortcuts. I don't know since you are from the outside, but there is only one case where a live broadcast is allowed. The Tower of Trials had its own rules. The live broadcast can be turned on only when fighting with the boss or going up to the next floor. And if the rule was broken... Appropriate measures shall be taken if manipulation of the number of views or other misconduct has been detected. There are penalties. Of course, punishment too. And they were far from mild. Anonymous has left the chat. The Crow Cause has left the chat. The viewers on the public channel vanished one after another. And just moments after. Currently logged in viewers, zero. To this makes no sense. Park Hana sat down on the ground, alone. These viewers will not be able to watch videos until the following month. The penalty will inflict damage to parts of the body. If caught again, the viewer will be permanently expelled. The w what just happened? Park Hana stuttered. Cold sweat formed on her face. It was then. Condition met. You have successfully copied the unique ability, Communion, C. Saving the copied skill in the memory of the world. Communion. But it was then that Jin Hyuk felt something. It was thud, 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 thud. A roar that shook the labyrinth. Roar, the roar of a familiar beast. Right, you were still here? He had gotten so used to it that he had forgotten its existence. It was the other being who lived with them in this labyrinth. Again, that monster is coming. Park Hana hesitated as she stepped back. The fear seeped into her bones. For Park Hana, the Minotaur was a walking disaster. She had to run away from here, right away. But where? Jin Hyuk was the only person who knew the way out, yet he only smiled while looking into the air. What is so good for you to smile? She wanted to swear at him, but getting out of this place was her main priority. You will lose if you go and fight, so just tell me where to go. Until now, 
Jin Hyuk told the party in advance the directions to go so they wouldn't get involved in the battle. But... Why do I have to tell you that? Jin Hyuk shrugged. Because... Until now. Until now I needed something from you. So I protected you. But not anymore. As Jin Hyuk said this coldly, Park Hana's face darkened. Whoa, wait. You will regret it. If my Appa finds out about this... Appa... Why didn't she say this until now? The threat of retaliation from the Black Crow Guild that Park Hajin belonged to. Sirng. Jin Hyuk pulled out his dagger. Shh. As Jin Hyuk infused magic into it, the force from the dagger made Park Hanna's heart shiver. You are so funny no matter how I look at you. Up until now, he mainly avoided attacks to raise his rift stat. From the standpoint of an observer, there would be no chance of a head-on match. But Jin Hyuk had already moved. Tak. He then appeared above the head of the running Minotaur. From above. To below. The dagger unerringly fell towards the giant bull's head. Kwong. Ak! A pained scream. Even if the relic said he wouldn't get hurt, that didn't mean there wouldn't be pain. Since he was aiming to kill it with a strength and plus on ten weapon, it was more than enough force to flip the Minotaur upside down. It was worthwhile raising my rift stat. When he had first met it, the Minotaur had been quite a daunting creature. It was fast and had a wide attack range. There was also the problem of the physical gap. At most, he could have dealt with it for around 20 minutes or so. But the situation changed completely thanks to the practical experiences and stats that he had earned over the past 10 days. Wung! Jin Hyuk titled his head to avoid the axe. At the same time, Levine Element of Fire is activated. A three-pronged stream of fire blasted the bull's head in the face. Pupapung. Piercing explosions echoed through the hall, followed by the smell of burning flesh. A direct hit. Goo! It stumbled. The minotaur's body shook violently. And it didn't end there. Jin Hyuk's eyes narrowed. I will have to continue to push him. Don't rush in. When you gain muscle, the flesh turns tough. Didn't you know that fat was what made beef taste good? Jin Hyuk groaned. It was natural for the Minotaur to get angry. Just one. One hit would snuff out his breath. Whatever the case, finding that one correct timing was the most insanely difficult task. The Minotaur, who had dealt with his constant provocations, activated its unique ability. The Guardian of the Labyrinth activates LV-10 Berserker. For a duration of five minutes from activation, the Minotaur's attack speed, power, and movement are increased by 30%. Intellect increases temporarily. It will be able to speak. Clench, clench. The muscles on its body were swelling up as its eyes turned red. It was now almost three times its original size. The axe, which had seemed so massive, now looked like a small gardening tool. Its appearance was quite hard to describe. H how could you defeat this? Park Hana fell back as her legs lost strength. This man will not be able to handle it. There is no chance at all now. She knew. No matter how hard he tried, it was useless now. Jin Hyuk felt a tingling sensation on his skin. It was a strong magic force. Well, it was supposed to be a monster that would meet on the fifth floor or higher in the tower. Even if he tried his best, there was no way for a level one player to beat it. It would be impossible even if there were a hundred players here, or even if dozens of people were there. Human, I will tear you apart and scatter your flesh at the labyrinth's entrance. I will ensure that people who have lost their minds like you will never invade my place again. The Minotaur growled. Clank! It stretched the axe in front of its body and released a tangible force of magic from within itself that encroached throughout the labyrinth. The soil and moisture in the air were slowly burning. But... Not bad. I feel like my magic management is better than before. Still, isn't it better to use land attributes than fire? In terms of efficiency, it looks better? Jin Hyuk was enjoying this pressure. No matter how powerful and fast the attack was, as long as it didn't hit him, he would be fine. And Jin Hyuk had the experience to make it possible. The dagger and axe collided, filling the air with sparks. Grrr! A groan escaped from the mouth of the Minotaur. It wasn't because it was being overpowered. If anything, it was the opposite. It was colliding head-on with a human who should have been swept away. The moment the human's dagger came into contact with its axe. Kaka! 
Its opponent shifted his center of gravity, letting the attack merely flow by. It was a level of technique that the Minotaur could not understand. This cannot be. Park Hana watched in shock. There had been no doubt in her mind that Jin Hyuk would lose. After all, he was up against a boss monster that had activated an LV-10 skill. Even all the Black Crow Guild members together wouldn't be able to stand in front of it. The first thought in her mind was to run away. She didn't want to die here after all. But... Jin Hyuk wasn't being pushed back by the monster. Instead, he's pushing it back. Bang! Bang! It was a contradiction where the dagger's small blade was overpowering a massive piece of iron. It was a heart-pounding battle where nothing about it could be understood. Humans can move. Like that. Park Hana clenched her fist. Furthermore, he is smiling. A single mistake could cost his life. Yet, Jin Hyuk was smiling. And at that moment, Jin Hyuk grabbed the Minotaur by the horn and rotated his body. As he landed lightly on its head, the disappeared dagger reappeared in his hand. Crack! Just as suddenly as it appeared, it violently penetrated through the roof of the Minotaur's mouth. It couldn't move its mouth because of the dagger now stuck in it. Five minutes are done. Jin Hyuk looked down at the Minotaur with a cold gaze. At the same time, the use time of the unique ability Berserker has expired. The Guardian of Labyrinth is in a suspended state for 24 hours. The Minotaur stood still. Rift status points, 57. A whopping 57. In terms of levels, that stat amount was enough to bridge a 19-level gap. There isn't much left until my goal of 100 points. The remaining time was 20 days. This should work out nicely. So, now all that was left... Jin Hyuk looked behind him. Park Hana was trembling there. Now that he had shown her what he could do, it seemed like she realized that even the entire Black Crow Guild would be of no use here. Jin Hyuk raised his finger at her. What are you doing? Uh? You won't come? Yes! Park Hana got up and rushed towards him. Ha! Ha! You called? From now on, I will be recruiting interns for the veteran company. I... intern? You mustn't be very ambitious. Why? Don't want the job? If she said she wasn't interested, well, it would probably be difficult for her to see sunlight again. Jin Hyuk slightly raised his dagger and moved it in a curve around the air. I... I am interested. Please let me join. I have always wanted to join a company. Park Hana nodded vigorously until her hair got all messed up. Great. This was a good look. An enthusiastic applicant. Then... The question... Please tell us what you can do for the company in the future. Park Hana's face turned white at the question. I... I... You? Communion. Right. My unique ability is communion which makes people get close to me. Even enemies can turn into allies. I will never betray you. Even if you didn't like it, this was how it would go. If he places a stigma on her, then she wouldn't be able to betray him even if she wanted to. Is that the end of it? Is there nothing more? Step. Jin Hyuk stepped forward, while stroking the dagger with his finger. No. That... Uh, uh... Wait. Give me some time to think. Jin Hyuk raised his dagger high in the air and... Bram's ring! Park Hana screamed. <sighs> Jin Hyuk paused. Bram's ring was one of the best items you could get on the first floor. It granted increased movement speed, magic resistance, and the ability to suppress magic monsters. It was a highly valued item because it had three useful options attached. V1 Eye of Truth has been activated. Park Hana's words are true. It didn't seem like she was playing any tricks here. Then, this was good. Congratulations. Jin Hyuk smiled broadly. You are accepted into the internship at the Veteran Company. Wow. Claps. At the sudden change in his attitude, her face became puzzled. Jin Hyuk cleared his voice and continued. Now, our company does not pay our interns. The living expenses are covered by a separate part-time job. Another most important thing. Anytime, anywhere. When I call, you should show up. Be it 3 a.m. in the morning or from Jeju Island. Make sure to understand that clearly. Jin Hyuk activated the new skill he had acquired from the fusion. His index finger was shining blue. That is... the contract? Right. 
Did you think I would write on paper and stamp it? That only worked outside the tower, not in here. Didn't she know that? Jin Hyuk's style was something with a bit more certainty. Engraving LV1 stigma of the soul on Park Hana. Time passed by quickly. It was a simple routine of raising his rift stat through battles with the Minotaur, followed by resting. It was a daily routine similar to running on a treadmill, but it didn't feel boring at all. Let's go out. Jin Hyuk finally signaled that their time here was almost over. Rift stat increased by 0.015 points. As soon as he dodged an attack, Jin Hyuk kicked back. Kwang! The Minotaur rotated 90 degrees. He didn't talk to the Minotaur anymore. The moment he got the stats, the bull got taken down. And finally, current rift stat, 100. 100 stat points. He had reached the point where the stat points hit the maximum limit. Gulp. It felt like something that had piled up inside him was soaring up. At the same time, I, I see light over there. The end of the labyrinth could be seen. They had finally arrived at the end of this long journey. You have cleared the labyrinth on the first floor for the first time. This event will be recorded in the Hall of Fame tomorrow. Player Kang Jin Hyuk and Park Hana will receive 5,000 coins each. The sunlight was blinding and the fresh air filled and refreshed their hearts. Phew. Jin Hyuk closed his eyes and savored the taste of the fresh air. We're, we're alive. We made it. Park Hana's eyes welled up with tears. What a hellish month she had to suffer through. She was chased by a minotaur all day and couldn't even sleep at night. She was also made to support Jin Hyuk with meals made of disgusting moss and mushrooms. But she survived. Right. She survived that hell. But her happiness was cut short as Jin Hyuk patted her on the shoulder. Huh? Coin. Ki coin what? Park Hana slowly looked up. Is she pretending not to know? Well, it was an amount that no one would want to give up. With 5,000 coins, she would be able to outright purchase a D-grade item. Acting like you don't know? Or will you give it to me? Jin Hyuk spread out his palm. All of the profits in this contractual relationship needed to go into the hands of the CEO. I will give it to you. Park Hana handed over the coins with a gloomy face. Nice. This pushed the total number of coins in his possession over 10,000. Jin Hyuk's smile widened as he thought of the money. The benefit of initial reward is definitely worthwhile. At least at this point, no player had more coins than him. Get Bram's ring and bring it back within three days to me. That? Three days is too short? Now you have two days. Open your mouth one more time and you'd have one day. Any more words? And she'd need to go get it right now. I will try. Park Hana bowed her head. After separating from Park Hana, Jin Hyuk headed to the starting point. As he passed through the gate, he saw the familiar sight of Seoul. Ah, he wasn't quite used to it yet. There was a huge electric billboard that had been put up in front of the gate. Ah, did you hear? In a week, the Dangun Guild is rumored to be Korea's representative to attack the third floor boss monster. Oh, Dangun is the number one guild in Korea. Yes, as expected, Europe and Japan had failed after the US, so expectations are being focused on Korea now. It would be great if we could also do it with the Chinese side, but they haven't responded yet. Right. It's because various interests are intertwined, so it is a fact that each nation moves for its own sake rather than cooperate. Now that this has happened, I think we should find a way to break through with our own strength rather than expecting help from other nations. If it is the Dangan Guild, I think they can do it. News about the tower was being reported on the billboard. An attack attempt on the third floor boss monster. The players had climbed a lot in just one month. Wow, already on the third floor boss? As expected of humans. Wasn't a very well accepted sentiment. The initial condition was just to reach the floor within 90 days. In other words, there had been no need to reach the second floor yet, let alone the third. But they are trying to take down the boss and reach the fourth floor. Because they covet the numerous resources that existed in the tower. Rather than leveling up and growing steadily, they chose to jump up. Seriously. If they don't have the skills, they will end up regretting it so much later. It was possible to climb up easily now, but the higher they went, the tighter the time limit would become. Their basics would be poor, but the difficulty would increase. 
the pressure of a 90-day time limit would continue to become stronger, and this wasn't a game where they could just re-challenge from the beginning. First, let's gather some information about what happened this past month. It was possible through the internet, but to get quality information where a multitude of them was being spread, well, it would cost a lot of time and effort. There was a better way. Jin Hyuk joined the Tower of Trials community forum. Numerous categories and articles filled the screen. It was a moderate cafe with a fair amount of traffic. Jin Hyuk took a seat at a table at the back of the cafe. Have 30 minutes passed since he started sipping on his cold chocolate latte? Clack! The door opened, and a man and woman entered. He could tell without even checking. Hello. A man with curly, permed hair, fair skin, and a bright smile. He looked quite cute. Quite emotional, too. In the game, his avatar had been that of a bald black man with an outfit made up of leopard print panties, bee tails, and butterfly wings. At the same time, the woman who had entered together introduced herself. Captain. Timo. He had forgotten that fact for a moment. The crazier veterans act in the game, the more likely they are perfectly normal people in reality. I am Kang Jin Hyuk, 27 years old, and I used to be a BJ on Paprika TV. Oh, Hyung, you were a BJ? If it's Paprika TV, I sometimes watch it too. Taemin asked him with a smile. No matter how much they played together in the game, this was their first meeting in the real world. Yet this guy didn't seem to care about being cautious with strangers. Yes, but I've quit now. Hey, just relax, Hyung. It's not like we just played together two or three times for you to be ashamed. Right. Be comfortable. That did help him a little. Both of them were good people. Maybe because he had been around people who always backstabbed him, he ended up building walls, weighing the profits. A month of relentless feeling like a knife was held against his neck. He got so used to that feeling that kindness felt awkward. Companions. It had been a while since I thought of such a thing. Jin Hyuk smiled and nodded. Here, everyone who came, please take a numbered ticket and wait for your turn. The D09 test is up. So if you qualify, go to the test center. Inside the building was crowded with people wanting to take the test even though it was a weekday. Considering how many were deceived, it felt like the seductive promises worked fine. Please, please bring in a good rank. Even an E would do. If I can just get into one of the top ten guilds, my life will flourish. Let me sign the contract with the association, please. I will be proud to have the civil service card around my neck. If you received a rank below F, you wouldn't get the chance to enter the second floor, let alone get recruited into a guild. Therefore, everyone earnestly prayed as if hoping to win a lottery. They prayed to stand out from the others. Of course. Jane Hyuk looked at them with cold eyes. People with this kind of mindset wouldn't even survive for a month in the tower. At best, it would become obvious that they would become losers on the floors that forced them to compromise with reality. Lee Taman looked around. At the very least, there were dozens of reporters waiting for someone. They looked like anxious dogs waiting to pounce on meat. Right. It is odd. Yu Yunhua said in agreement. Usually only four or five reporters were here. Unless a large guild came, there would be no reason for this many reporters to come. Was there an unexpected event happening? The moment they thought that, they heard a commotion at the entrance as a group of people entered with a shout. Park Hana! It is Park Hana from the Black Crow Guild! Park Hana. How could she not be known? The rookie that set the media on fire through her appearance in the Hall of Fame. Wow. Is she Park Hana? The one who survived the labyrinth? Dope. I watched it on loop on YouTube, to see her in person. Next to her is Park Hajin. I heard he did a deal with the Chinese side not too long ago. Faces that were similar to each other. Besides these two, another person caught the people's attention. Oh my god. Isn't that Kim Gitai from Fathers of Fighting Guild? Flash! The cameras began to flash all at once. One of the seven largest guilds in the world, and the second largest in Korea. Even a ranker from them was also here. Do not miss a single shot. A front shot, please. A picture with all three. Kim Gitai lowered his sunglasses with an annoyed look. What is with the people? I am busy. All the dogs and cows seem to be getting tested here. It seems like more people are dreaming about making money. Why wouldn't people come to the tower in today's world when that is their chance to get a rise in their status? Park Hajin answered. Anyway, they are bugs which suck onto others. 
Don't they know there is no point in trying even for a hundred days? If they had known, they would have never come. If they knew that the fountain that they wanted to live in would inevitably get crumpled. Anyway, it is a good day today. It is all because of you siblings who came all the way here, but if you make a mistake, you both know, right? Oh, of course. Don't worry at all. The siblings nodded their heads. This was a golden thread they had barely managed to catch. Whatever they had to use, they needed to hold onto it tightly. And the plan was perfect. Since we don't have time, let's clear the people in line. The reporters are waiting too. We cannot stay here for long. Park Hajin nodded at the guards next to him. Clear the path. Can't you see people passing by? Move to the left and right. Move. Move quickly if you don't want to get stamped on. The players of the Black Crow Guild scrambled to clear the line, and the path split open like Moses parted the Red Sea. There was no one to complain about it. Three people were blocking the path without moving away. To be precise, two were trying to dissuade one person. Shh, you assholes, get out of here. Park Hodgin came from behind the members. I don't know who you are, but you are making a huge mistake right now. It isn't too late, so shut it before we beat you up. Intimidation was so cruel. Is this the guy Park Hana was talking about? Name, Park Hodgin. Gender, male. Age, 26. Strength, 16. Agility, 15. Stamina, 16. Magic, 12. Stat points, 0. Coins, 1580. Occupation, none. Unique ability, lethal sneak attack. Skill, LV3, accelerate LV2 stealth, LV2 shallow breath. He had already checked Park Hodgin's status with the Eye of Truth. An assassination ability that had a strong chance of success, one on one. In particular, the shallow breath was also a covetable skill. It's a passive skill useful in prolonged battles. It was definitely helpful for this work. So, he liked it. Copy condition. If you increase the target's affinity to the maximum, you can copy the unique ability. If you increase the target's hostility to the maximum, you can copy one desired skill. To satisfy these conditions, raising his hostility wouldn't be difficult. Jin Hyuk smiled. On the other hand, Park Hajin's face became more distorted. He felt a sharp pain in finger. Quack! His body collapsed to the ground as he grabbed his finger and groaned in pain. Park Hajin's face became more distorted. This jerk, you are smiling in this situation? Shrung. But when he drew his sword, Jin Hyuk moved half a beat faster. He held out the water bottle in his hand in front of him. Chuck. He then sprayed the water from the bottle onto Park Hajin's face. What? Park Hajin closed his eyes. It was for less than a second, but even a brief moment could be crucial in battles. The sword that was drawn late only cut through the air. Of course, the expected spray of blood and scream of pain didn't come. He didn't feel any resistance. Something felt wrong and the moment he realized it. Throb. He felt a sharp pain in his thigh. His body collapsed to the ground as he grabbed his thigh and groaned in pain. Park Hana's voice sounded from the crowd. Having heard the commotion, she ran to the front. What kind of bastard? Park Hana glared at the person who had attacked her brother, but the moment her eyes registered who it was. Tremble. Her entire body began to tremble. Uh, uh? A person she had never wanted to meet again. A devil she didn't even dare look at was standing in front of her. Enough. He felt a heavy pressure on his shoulder. Kim Gite. Eye of Truth has been activated. The skill activation has been cancelled because the level difference has exceeded a certain level. He couldn't see the man's status window with his eyes. Right. That meant... He is well over level 20. The domination and monopoly of hunting grounds. This was the reason everyone wanted to join a large guild. Jin Hyuk looked at the hand on his shoulder and then mumbled, I didn't know. What didn't you know? That this guy would bring along a nanny. It was a provocative statement, but there was no change in Kim Gitai's expression. He is a hard worker, so it cannot be helped. There are some areas where this guy is useful in his own rights. A good one, then. Jin Hyuk smiled. Is it because you are providing a supply of Korean ginseng to China? What? Unlike before, these words made Kim Gitai's expression change. His eyes shook visibly. 
You should be asking if I can solve the Korean ginseng side effects problem. As soon as those words left Jin Hyuk's mouth. Woong. Kim Gitai activates LV3S blackout barrier. A black curtain began to open around them as Park Hajin, Park Hana, and everyone else around them vanished. In a world cut off from the outside, Kim Gitai looked at Jin Hyuk. You. Who are you? How do you know all of that? This guy had been interesting at first. A random person in the testing location had played around with Park Hajin. He had even admired his quick reflexes for a moment. But the words from Jin Hyuk had turned that interest into an uncomfortable and ominous curiosity. In the end, it turned to hostility. He had no choice but to feel as such. This man knew too many things. I think you are asking the wrong question again. Jin Hyuk shrugged. It doesn't matter what and how I came to know. You should have asked if I could exchange the information I knew for something. An exchange? Yes. Well, I will be telling you all about reducing the side effects after all. If what you say is true. Is there evidence for it? Anyone can say such things. Evidence? Of course. If you consume the Korean ginseng raw, symptoms of magic poisoning will occur. Of course, if you adjust the dosage using purified water from the second floor, the symptoms will be relieved. However, that isn't a fundamental solution. And what is? You will need a total of three items. Jin Hyuk raised three fingers. Extract of Corasion, Moonlight Stone, and the Mandragora Root. The first two can be found on the second and third floors of the tower, but that doesn't matter. The problem is that you don't know where the Mandragora Root is, don't you? That's right. The recipe book obtained by the research team and explorers under the Fighting Fathers Guild matched what this man said. Despite having obtained two items, they needed one more. The Mandragora Root was difficult to find. They didn't even know which floor it was located in. If he already knows the recipe and materials, well, that has to be it. It meant that there would be a minimum requirement to make the transaction, and his worries wouldn't last long. Fine. I will let your words pass. But... At that moment, Kim Gitai pulled his sword out. The blade's movement was so quick that it couldn't even be compared with Park Hajin's clumsy attack. The tip of the sword stopped in front of Jin Hyuk's nose. If you plan to use some clumsy trick, then be prepared. Be prepared if it is a trick? Right. And you will not be able to get away this time. Right. Seriously. It seemed like he misunderstood something. Quack! Suddenly Jin Hyuk pulled out his own dagger with his other hand. He then pulled it close to his own hand. Don't get me wrong. I made the suggestion, and I am the one who can give you a chance. With a roar, someone hit the floor. Did someone get hit by an ogre or what? The man's nose bridge completely collapsed. Must be painful. Jin Hyuk glanced in the direction that the man had flown off. He then looked at the person who did the hitting, a woman wearing sportswear. Move. If you all don't want to die. A player who made a name for herself as the nuclear fist of Bukwang District, Yu Yeonhua. And after that, he saw Lee Taemin. Hyung, are you fine? If something happened in there, just tell us. I will throw them to the ground and trample on them. Mr. Kim Gite, I am disappointed. I didn't think of you to act like this. What are you doing with the barrier? We just had a little conversation. There is nothing to worry about. For real? Right. He is a person who is better at talking than I thought. Jin Hyuk told them. If Appa says it, then... We understand. The two of them released the magic that they had been gripping tightly. Wait for me. I mean... Are you going to send them like that? He had been humiliated, so he wanted a chance to get revenge. Yet why was everyone just suddenly walking away? Park Hajin couldn't understand it. It felt like he had to destroy the man who had humiliated him now to ensure no such opposition came up again. Leave him alone. There is no way someone like you can do anything. Kim Gitai drew the line. But but But? Ah, nothing. I just want another chance. Chance. Right. A chance for you. A chance for your head to still be on your neck till now. The luck in not knowing that you would die to the monster due to your reckless action. If you speak shit again, realize that you will regret it. Keep that in mind. Those who want to partner with us needs to be strong. I understand. Park Hajin gritted his teeth. This was another incentive to fuel his desire to kill Jin Hyuk one day. 
At that moment, Tring, condition has been met. You succeeded in copying the skill Shallow Breath, D. The copied skill is saved in memory of the world. Shallow Breath, passive. Acquisition difficulty. D. Description. You can control your breathing rate and sound. The limit varies depending on the skill level. It seemed that his hostility had reached the maximum, and all it took was being abandoned by the person he wanted to look good in front of. But that was his thing to deal with. Let's put this to good use. As he saw his newly acquired passive skill, Jin Hyuk smiled. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. After the chaos cleared up, the testing resumed. Of course, the number of applicants had decreased. The fight that had happened broke the spirits of some of the people. Many of them noticed the gap and even gave up taking the test. In the end, only those who wanted to take the test on a first-come, first-serve basis was allowed. 1. Park Hana Measurement, 1755 A rank 2. Han Min Hee Measurement, 989 B rank 3. O. Oh, John Hoon Measurement, 845 B rank O. Oh. Jin Hyuk looked at the numbers on the signboard and exclaimed softly. No matter what else happened, Park Hana still took first place. By an overwhelming margin, too. Did she eat some wild ginseng? Due to the nature of the test being conducted individually with an examiner in a room, he couldn't check. This looked like a joke. And after a bit of time... Next person, please come in. It was Jin Hyuk's turn. Tremble. When he opened the door, a fairly large room appeared in front of him with a big magic stone at the center. Next to it was the awakened association examiner holding a tablet PC. Heh. Hello. When the examiner saw Jin Hyuk, he trembled. It was probably because of what happened earlier. He could understand that reaction. Totally understand. But he'd prefer if the guy would explain the test. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Yes. All you have to do is hit the magic stone in front of you. You can even use unique abilities. You can also use items. The essence is the size of the potential that appears when you hit the magic stone. In a word, it was simply, hit the stone as strong as you can. Simple. There was nothing difficult here. Jin Hyuk stood in front of the stone and pulled out his dagger. A dagger. Are you going to use the weapon without any unique abilities? Yes. This is enough. All right, you can start. As soon as the examiner finished speaking, Jin Hyuk took a stance while holding his dagger. Wung! When magic was infused into the dagger, its blade was dyed red again. I don't need to hold back the power. The rift stat has been activated to the maximum. Profound magic was transmitted through his fingers as Jin Hyuk smiled. Right. That was it. The law of strong for the strong. Sparks flew as the dagger's blade swept through the surface of the magic stone. The... This cannot be. The examiner's jaw trembled. A monster from the Tower of the Trials came. Since its appearance... Many awakened people have come here. The magic stone had been cut in half and fell to the ground. Its cut surface glowed red. Speed, strength, and magic. This was proof that everything was perfect. First place Kang Jin Hyuk. Measurement, 20,195. S rank. The birth of a new S rank. No, his actual rank would be higher as he had crossed the 10,000 point threshold. It was twice the required number for an S rank. A monster. Uh, uh, S rank, congratulations. I will report to the higher ups, so please wait a minute. The number, uh, right. The examiner stuttered and pulled out his mobile phone. But then. Wait. Jin Hyuk grabbed the examiner's arm. Yes? Will you report this right now? Yes, yes. Please postpone it for a week or so. Delay it? Why? The examiner tilted his head like he didn't understand. For personal reasons. After a week, I will not care whether you inform the association or spread it on the internet. Ha. Huh. But that isn't something I can do. Jin Hyuk stepped forward and flashed the dagger in his hand. The fist in front is scarier than the distant law. The test was over. The rank he got was F. 
Jin Hyuk showed the two of them the faint tattoo on his wrist. Hyung is F class? No. How? I thought you would be much higher than us. Did something go wrong? Lee Taemin and Yu Yeonhua shouted at the same time. This was unacceptable for them, in particular, the two people who saw the skills of Jin Hyuk in the game. This is a temporary rank, and we decided to retake the test a week later. A bit of truth was hidden in the lie as he had no reason to show that he was S rank. Ah, uh, if that is the case, then okay. Don't care about me. The two of you should continue climbing up. He would do so too, and they promised to meet again later. So, until then, he had to focus on his own growth. Shotgun first attack on ruins. Difficulty. SM description. Defeat the boss monster and reclaim the throne in the deepest part of the ruins. Reward. You will be given the option to choose one of the relics. However, if you cannot kill the boss monster, your selection of relics will be limited. Several status windows appeared in front of Jin Hyuk. Boss monster. Retake the throne. And the selection of relics. Things he already knew. Except. This. What is this? In front of Jin Hyuk, a menu appeared that was different from the others. A privilege for the first conqueror of tower has arrived. Another status window appeared. The first privilege is opened. Passive ability, Monopolize, is activated. Monopolize. Description. If you take the final reward alone without sharing, you can get the best possible reward. Luck stat is permanently increased by plus 10. Adaptive stat increased by plus 10. Cold heart is activated. Cold heart. You will now be able to maintain your composure even in dire situations. However, emotions will be diluted. This. Jin Hyuk clenched his fists. Rays of light fell from the sky. This was a phenomenon that appeared when using space movement magic. Ugh, my head. No matter how often we do this, I cannot get used to this. How many people? All are safe. All fifty have arrived. Well, who do you think used the magic? More than fifty people appeared. Their backpacks were all filled with weapons and armor. This was the main raid team of the Balhae Guild, named after a kingdom that had risen after the fall of Goryeo. Is that man the captain? Jin Hyuk activated the Eye of Truth. Name. Song. Cheon Hua. Gender. Male. Age. 20. Level. 14. Strength. 30. Agility. 18. Stamina. 19. Magic. 5. Stat points. 0. Coins. 3,150. Occupation. None. Unique ability. Item weight reduction. Skills. LV3 Iron Shield. LV2 Phalanx. LV2 Tenacious. Will to Survive. LV1 Stoning. The unique abilities and skills weren't bad, but... Copy condition. During the period of the raid, gain the trust of Song Cheon Hua. Jin Hyuk, who confirmed the copy conditions, soon lost interest in the man. Gaining hostility was easier. Trust wasn't something that could be gained in a short period, especially when everyone there wanted something important. But... Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes at Song Cheon Hua. A guy of the top ten guilds is of this level. His stats and skills all seemed low. It meant the focus was on gaining experience points rather than actual battle experience. About an hour after the raid team entered, it was now the porter's turn. Name, Corridor of the Fallen. Type, Ruins. Difficulty, Unmeasurable. Description, A place where the original blood was sealed within. At the end of the ruins, the purest weapons and most grueling death coexist. A sour smell stung everyone's noses. Weak! The magic users in front summoned flame. The field of vision immediately brightened, showing the ruins' interior. Everyone, please follow me. You can't lose focus here. Nobody can be saved if they get careless. Oh god. That is huge. Is this the ruins? The appearance was reminiscent of ruins from the ancient Mayan civilization. Exterior walls covered with stones and moss stretched out in all directions. Step. As they went further along the path, various murmurs could be heard from ahead. Ah, here, this side. Cheon Hua Hyung, the porters have come. As if there had already been a fierce battle, the path ahead was full off corpses of monsters. The undead monster types included ghouls and skeletons. At a glance, it looked like there had been over 100 of them. 
On the other hand, no player corpses were visible. It is strange. Even though there had been no high-level undead monsters, not even one player took damage after dealing with so many. With the power that the Ballet Guild had upon entry, it wouldn't be possible for the battle to conclude with no one taking damage. What are you doing? Captain Kim grabbed Jin Hyuk's shoulder. Uh. Why are you standing still? Please share the water and ice. It was a face that asked such a question naturally. Captain Kim then summoned three to four additional people to help Jin Hyuk. We will handle this side. Can you handle the foreigners? Captain Kim pointed to the players who had exotic looks. The raid group also included middle rank guilds and solo players in addition to the Balhae Guild. It had to be one of those players. Jin Hyuk looked over at something. I remember seeing... That was a pattern that he had seen in the Tower of Trials in the past. The Zion Guild. As a guild based in Europe, the number of members was small, but he heard it was quite capable. The four of us go to the people there. Sure. Jin Hyuk filled a large mug with water and ice and headed to the Zion Guild's side. Water and ice were quickly distributed. There were only brief words of thanks and not much else. And then he got to the last person. Unlike the other guild members, who were quite tall, the last person had a noticeably more petite frame. Perhaps just a bit over 160 simatush? It didn't seem like it was a man, maybe a woman. Jin Hyuk wasn't sure because their body was completely covered in armor and helmet. Here, have some water. Uh. A short exclamation. Clack. Their helmet was removed. The blonde hair, which had been curled up inside, was blown by the wind. Ugh! Oh, God! The porters were all shocked. Her face was so beautiful that they doubted whether she was real. Her white skin and blonde hair matched the armor she was wearing. It was a breathtaking sight. However, it wasn't just her appearance that surprised everyone. Typically, skills were accumulated through achievements. Other factors included the family's bloodline. She had three such pillars that supported her. Saintess of Amsterdam, Teresa de Laurentia. He couldn't help but know who she was. She was one of the most well-known players in Europe. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. She was the youngest daughter of the Laurentia family, who held titles of nobility. At the same time, she was the hero who had saved Amsterdam after it was devastated by the outbreak. That was her true identity. Now he understood. Why the Balhae Guild had no wounded people? Because this woman has the best efficiency when fighting against the undead. An all-round player who could use divine power for both attack and defense, and possessed auxiliary healing skills. Immediately, he activated the Eye of Truth. However, the skill activation is cancelled due to the level difference. A red status window blocked his eyes. Shit. The level diff. He knew she wasn't in a guild yet, but she had already reached level 20, the moment he thought that. Luck and adaptive stats have neutralized the level difference. You can look through the target status window. Shh. The red status window disappeared, and Teresa's personal information appeared. Right, I had that. His luck and adaptive stats helped him as soon as he needed it. At a crucial time as well. Name. Teresa de Laurentia. Gender. Female. Age. 22. Level. 29. Strength. 42. Agility. 31. Stamina. 25. Magic. 30. Stat points. 0. Coins. 10,850. Occupation. None. A job quest is currently in progress. Unique ability. Blessing of the Stars. Skills. LV5 Divine Power. Enhancement. LV5 Hidden Movement. LV4 Blessed Hands. LV4 Sign of Cross. LV4 Illusion Barrier. Copy Condition. Teresa is ranked in the top 100 in the world. If you save her life, you can copy one of the skills and unique abilities of your choice. A terrific option. As expected, people should be enthusiastic. Jin Hyuk was happy. This was absolutely a luxury hotel buffet. Additionally, thanks to being able to read her status window, he was able to understand her motive for coming here. A job quest is currently in progress. I see. This was why she gave up on the boss on the higher floor and was stuck here. It was interesting. Maybe a useful one, too. LV1 communion has been activated. Subject has a slight affinity with you. A warm vibe. Teresa looked at Jin Hyuk and smiled brightly bluish-green eyes that reminded him of a deep whirlpool. Thanks.
For water. She's thanking him? No. He was thankful to her. Blessing of the stars. A unique ability considered the best for those who chose Paladin as their profession. He was given a chance to get such an ability. The problem. He needed to create a situation that put this woman in danger. He then had to save her life. Certainly, the conditions are not easy. Jin Hyuk wet his lips. And at that very moment... Chi Chi Yon Hua Hyung. Come this way. Right now. Followed by an urgent scream, everyone turned their eyes toward it. Unbelievable. When Song Cheon Hua and the other players reached the scream's origin, the worst-case scenario had already happened. We are late. The healer, who was inspecting the four people who had fallen on the floor, shook his head. There were clear scars on the back of their heads. They must have been ambushed from behind and died soon after. But a much bigger problem than just their deaths had appeared. Wung. A black sphere floated ominously at the entrance to the ruins. Someone. Woke up the Guardian. Guardian of the Ruins notices the trespassers. Time left, 0959. A Guardian was a monster that guarded the ruins' entrance. They possessed power equal to bosses from upper floor dungeons, but they had the characteristic of only waking up when touched or stimulated by a specific item. Hence their nickname, Sleeping Bomb. It was a bomb that wasn't dangerous when left alone. What kind of idiot touched it? What good will come from knowing that now? It has already woken. Right. It was already too late. Only ten minutes left. If they didn't leave the ruins right now, the Guardian would fully wake. Shh, Hyung. I know, I know. Song Cheon Hua bit his lip. They couldn't fight the Guardian. That was suicide. At least half, no more than that will die. It was clear that they needed to give up on this raid. It would be impossible to continue to the boss if they lost half their power here. But... Do we have to end it before even having a proper start? For an absurd reason, such as the Guardian waking up? That wouldn't even be the biggest problem. The main problem would be getting expelled from the guild for someone else's mistake. How much trouble did I have to go through to get the captain's position for this raid? Clench. He gritted his teeth. It cannot end like this. Never. Song Cheon Hua gave the order as soon as he made up his mind. Let the Guardian wake up. We keep heading inside. At his decision to continue the raid and head inside, whispers rose from the other members. Hyung, are you being serious now? Think about it. No, I mean it. If we make a mistake, all of us here will die. The team of porters had come in, but three teams were still waiting outside. In addition, none of the guilds that were supposed to join the raid later hadn't even arrived. Continuing the raid now meant giving up more than 20% of their total power. Don't waste time and follow me. I will take responsibility for it. Song Cheon Hua dismissed their objections. And, even if the others didn't come, with just Teresa, the odds are good for us. Right. That was the last card that he placed his belief in. Song Cheon Hua glanced to the side. He glanced at the blonde woman. As far as dealing with undead monsters, Teresa could be rated as the best in the world. With this woman, it was possible. Truly possible. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. It was only a few dozen minutes later that the news reached the porters. I... isn't this different? The Guardian is up and we cannot get out of the ruins? What nonsense is that? So, are you saying you will head in and raid it? Damn it. If I had known it would be this dangerous, I wouldn't have come in the first place. The porters voiced their concerns. A monster from the side, mid-level, too many. A player in the scouting group shouted, Peep, prepare for battle. Song Cheon Hua shouted his order. The response was slow, because it was a surprise attack that came when none of the raid groups had been ready for it. Thud, thud, thud. The grass around them swayed side to side, accompanied by the trembling of the earth. Here it comes. And it was fast too. Tanks, to the front! Hurry the porters to the back, do not disturb the others. Kwong. The enemy was Dulahans, which towered at around 2.5 meters in height. And there were twelve of them. Each of them wielded a mace and axe. Uh. D. Dulahan! A total of thirteen types of monsters appeared at the entrance of the ruins. The Dulahan was the most difficult to deal with. 
With their overwhelming intimidation aura, they could drive anyone mad. They were a higher-level predator and fundamentally different from ghouls and skeletons. Not only did they have tough skin, but they also had a combination of speed and strength that made them difficult to deal with. Give auxiliary buffs to the tanks. Damage dealers, get your timing ready while collecting as much mana as possible. Song Cheonhua led the raid with his orders. Song Cheonhua activates LV3 Iron Shield. Go Yondiok activates LV2 formation. Li Yunmi activates LV2 Song of Warriors. Wung. Various skills and buffs were being stacked. And at that moment, Kwang! A Dulahan's mace made contact with a shield. Jin Hyuk observed the battle from a distance away in the rear. Certainly, the guild unit's resistance is strong. They weren't being pushed back at all against the Dulahan. The problem was controlling the actions of players who didn't belong to a guild. Most worked alone, so they weren't used to being in group battles. Eventually, victims began to appear. Crack! The eerie sound of bones breaking and flesh being cut. Quack! Healer! Where is the healer? Send some tanks to the front. I cannot hold them any longer. If this continues, we die. As expected. With just this kind of improvised power, there was no one here that could deal with the Dulahan. At least that was the reality for the solo players. However, despite their urgent pleas for help, Song Cheonhua didn't even look at them, causing victims to begin to appear. This was expected, and even preferred. Song Cheonhua's lips were turning into a smile. In order to create a dramatic situation, the sacrifices of the beggars are essential. The solo players were about to be mascarad. Step. Step. Somebody's footsteps can be heard through all the commotion. LV. 4. The sign of the cross has been activated. A golden light started cutting through the Dulahans like a hot knife cut through the butter. Teresa was standing in front of the solo players holding her golden glowing sword. After saving the solo players, she headed to the rear where all the porters were supposed to be. It was chaos. Almost all the porters were killed. A guy was leaning against the wall. The Dulahan raised his axe in the air. He waited for the end to come quickly, but... He couldn't feel any pain. It was weird. Obviously the pain had to be there. Unable to hold her curiosity, he opened his eyes. An unbelievable sight was in front of her. Dude, -dude, -dude. The flames engulfed the Dulahan, and the disgusting smell of burning rotten flesh stung his nose. Qua! The body of the Dulahan turned into a lump of coal and collapsed, while Jin Hyuk was standing calmly in front of him. This made it four. You. How could you? A completely unexpected voice was heard from behind him. The owner of the voice was a saint in white armor. Teresa. Seeing as she was gasping for breath, it seemed like she had come to help those at the rear after tackling the Dulahans at the front. Jin Hyuk looked at Teresa with a surprised expression. Okay. The guild should be talking about them alone leaving here. He was surprised. He didn't think she was given the title of the saint for nothing. Can I talk with him for a moment? Teresa asked Kim Somi, who was still in shock. Uh? Yes. Yes. Sure. Kim Somi nodded and jumped up from the ground as she disappeared behind a rock. As only the two were left, Teresa asked. You... You dealt with all the Durahan in the rear? A question that was brimming with doubt. Right. She was bound to be doubtful. You are hiding your identity? Why? Everyone has their own personal reasons. Me too. Jin Hyuk didn't end the sentence there and added, You too. What do you... Teresa's eyes fluttered open. There was a slight tremor there that normal people wouldn't notice. Right. Normal people. Jin Hyuk smiled and continued. Actually, I didn't understand it in the beginning. Why did a ranker like you give up on fighting the boss monster and come here? It was hard for me to understand it. Attacking a higher floor in the tower guaranteed honors and rewards. Teresa abandoned that golden chance and chose this ruin raid instead. Reason? Was there more than one? Of course, it would be because the reward she could get here would be more significant than what she would get from defeating the third floor boss. And Jin Hyuk knew that. Wasn't this the place chosen for your job quest? This time Teresa couldn't even hold her expression. It was as if someone punched her in the face. You really know everything. Finally, Teresa admitted the truth. Nice. Now he can move to the next step. Actually, I have a task to do at the Oath's location. Ah, of course. I am aiming for something other than that. And you want us to work together? 
I want us to work together. He drew a clear line. I completely know the location of the traps and how to move around them. Well, it doesn't matter if you want to move with the Zion Guild players as well. But no matter how lucky you are, everyone will die except for you. But that cannot be allowed, right? For a noble hero who was called the Saint. Teresa's action again met with strong opposition. It was because Song Cheonhua, the captain, was terrified and opposed to it. Absolutely not. Now we must be together and move ahead as one, not go around solo. It was Teresa who was the core of the group. But she wasn't going to simply back down. There is a map up to the 20 kiloner point into the ruins. Everyone knows the strategy. Nothing will change even if I don't come. From the time when the Tower of Trials was just a game until the present after it had become a reality. After countless attempts, players were able to create maps of the ruins. At the very least, from the entrance to the 20 kiloner point, a player would be able to proceed with caution and minimal risk. Above all, before the battle with the boss, the contract never said we had to unconditionally be under your authority, right? To that... As she said that, Song Cheonhua stuttered in his reply. It was because nothing she said was incorrect. And... He sighed as he allowed her to act alone. Phew. Fine. However, you need to be there when we reach the end of the map. Yes, I will join you by then. Teresa nodded her head. Ah. And... Can I take a porter with me for help? That... You can do what you want. Song Cheonhua roughly waved his hand as if he had no energy. It was a minor thing, so he gave her permission. The porters who met her gaze trembled, accompanying a rancor. It wasn't luck. It was instead a first-class ticket to hell. She is trying to take us to the most filthy place filled with danger, dammit. No one will come back. Please, please, I cannot. Oh, not make eye contact with her. She will convince us if we do. I have a wife and children who I need to feed back home. Everyone prayed in earnest. Please, I hope it isn't me. And then, Teresa pointed to one person among the porters. It was Jin Hyuk who was nominated, and he agreed to accompany her. I don't know what you are thinking. As someone who has lived close to 50 years, is this love? That's good. But it is nothing compared to your life. Right. Listen to Captain Kim. No matter how pretty the saint might look, sigh, youth is the problem. It makes them go crazy. The porters were trying to tell him to not go. It looked like they misunderstood something. Instead of dating and wasting time, he was the kind to simply focus on climbing up another floor in the tower. It isn't like... Jin Hyuk, who was trying to refute them, couldn't find an opening. Actually, Miss Teresa and I have known each other since childhood. Set the genre. And see, a bit of childhood and mixed melody. The ruins contain items to heal Teresa's family in Europe. At first, I thought of going in alone, but I couldn't. Even if my skills are lacking and I lose my life, I will protect her till the end. Love, tragedy, and heroism. Through this combo, this trinity of tropes was even recognized at the box office and in classical works like Romeo and Juliet. The porters now looked at him blankly. It was as if they remembered something they had forgotten long ago. Kang Jin Hyuk Yu. You're the man, damn it. You are a man from the Goguryeo era. Right. Go. Shouldn't a man protect his childhood friend? Youth is so nice. Everyone began to encourage him. Jin Hyuk and Teresa packed their bags and went straight into the ruins along the tangled road. Did they move for five hours like that? The two that had separated from the raid team could reach their destination. So well defended. Jin Hyuk slowly observed the formation of the monsters. It was mostly ghouls and skeletons. High-level undead was also here and there. Durahan. And a lich that can use magic. Judging from the magic power, the circle probably wasn't too strong. Liches should never be taken lightly, though. Especially since they could cast debuff or curse spells. There was a chance of getting a fatal injury no matter how strong you were. Teresa poked Jin Hyuk in the side with her finger. There. The oath is next to it. I saw it too. In the center of the circle. There should be the oath of Apostle Peter, frozen tears, and subspace inventory combination. Now, if the monsters could be killed for a level up, he will leave it to Teresa. Get ready. Jin Hyuk was ready to move. The dagger that was in his hand began to shine red. Okay. Teresa also raised her sword and shield. 
But right then, suddenly a red status window appeared in front of the two of them. The Lord of the Corrupted Corridors is gazing at you. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. No doubt. There was an indirect message from the boss. Look, did you see that? The status window? Teresa asked. Yes, I see it too. But there was no concern of being attacked right away. The intelligent boss monster's indirect message was simply an expression of its feeling. There was no physical threat. But, I don't think this guy ever showed interest in a player. The Lord of the Corrupted Corridors was always locked inside its room. In the event of an intruder, he would send out his minions, and any contact with outsiders was always cut off. So why did he show interest now? Nah. Interesting. What were its reason and intent? The boss monster is gazing at us. What does this mean? In a good way, the enemy is interested. And in a bad way, it will not let us go alive. Well, we can interpret it like that. Does it acknowledge us? It means it acknowledged me. Not you. How dare you try to sneak the attention away. Looking at those words, he was sure that the message was an indirect message to him. Teresa looked at him with a shocked face. She was a player who participated as a ranker as one of the famous of Europe, while he was a porter. If you asked a hundred people, all of them would say that the boss was looking at Teresa. Yet, where did this man's confidence come from? At this point, he seemed overly respectable in many ways. She had a lot to say, but Teresa just shook her head. When you first talked to me, you said you knew all the traps, right? Yes. It has been a while but my body remembers it. The first floor was easy, but it had been more than six months since he last entered these ruins. No problem, though. It wasn't for nothing that people said that while form can be lost, experience was eternal. Then, what do we do? Please attract the attention of the undead monsters. I will take care of the rest. By dividing the roles, he could get all the items without leveling up. Jin Hyuk held the dagger in reverse and took a stance to descend down into the pit. Ready. Then let's start. Teresa wielded her magic. Right. Teresa activates LV-5 Song of Battle. Warm energy rose from her body. All stats increased by Pludge 3 for 10 minutes. It was a wide area buff skill, something quite deceptive since it would increase all their stats. Ah, this is quite usable. Jin Hyuk let out a small whistle. If it wasn't for Teresa's unique skill, Blessing of the Star which allowed for revival upon death, he would have gone for this skill. In the meantime, Teresa leaped into the middle of the undead monsters. The ghouls and skeletons immediately reacted with their foul breath and axe attacks. But those weapons wouldn't even scratch Teresa's armor. That was to be expected. One hundred players. Among them, Teresa was the most stable ranker. Moreover, although it was a replica version, she was also equipped with the armor of Joan of Arc. No matter how many common mobs there were, they wouldn't be able to reach her. Her shield also did work. The ghoul's heads were crushed in one blow. The shield was as strong as a hammer weapon. Whenever the sword flew in an arc, skeletons would be cut into pieces, fast and accurate. The wall was being torn down, and the path opened. Now was the time. Jin Hyuk landed on the ground lightly and moved quickly at the same time. While maintaining speed, he moved between the monsters with minimal adjustments. Most of the aggro was attracted to Teresa, but a few came for Jin Hyuk too, because there were so many. Ghouls raised their nails and aimed for his neck. There was no end to them. By aiming their joints, the center of the monster's gravity shifted. The ghoul's body shook violently, and it somehow managed to look surprised. All of a sudden, its body stopped listening to it. Jin Hyuk treated skeletons and ghouls in the same manner. And at that moment, the fog became thicker. Black spears began to move like lightning. This was bad. Jin Hyuk instinctively knew this and changed his direction. A huge crater was formed in the spot where he had just been. As expected, it was a destructive force that would kill him. If it wasn't of that level, no one would want the relic. Jin Hyuk's eyes moved quickly. Left. Exactly between the rocks. He spotted the lick preparing the spell. A mage made of white bones with no trace of flesh. However, the blue glow in its eyes indicated that it was ready to fight. This is no place for human beings to come. It was a voice that sounded like screeching iron. But those words... So was it saying this was an excellent place for a corpse to come? Jin Hyuk heard the threat. 
which was stained with territorial pride. There are five Dullahans as escorts to it. He wanted to avoid a head-on fight if possible, but he would have to deal with all of them. Like the ghoul and skeletons, there was the risk of being caught if he was ignored. Go back. Take one more step, and I will turn you to ashes. The lich created black lightning in the palm of its hand. It was at least fifth circle magic. Jin Hyuk took a step forward. Oh my, it was a mistake. You... The lich looked at the Dullahans and nodded. Despite their low intelligence, they were able to move effectively. At the same time, the lighting in Lich's hand vanished. Die in regret, human. It was fast. However, the moment that it was about to reach Jin Hyuk's heart, a fierce and strong fire erupted. The lighting was blocked by a fire curtain and was shattered. What? What are you, human? An all out attack, yet the human blocked it like it was nothing. As far as magic went, he was confident that a human could not defeat it. That pride was shattered now. And from this moment, the flame broke into thousands of fragments and scattered. I am running out of time, so I will end this as soon as possible. Jin Hyuk spoke briefly and aimed at the Durahan who was at the forefront. He then stepped on its thigh, and then the shoulder and jumped high in the air. Did he soar close to five meters above the ground? Jin Hyuk shrugged his shoulders. I am not as fast as lightning. But one could not predict. Your shield cannot stop it. A dagger that has been strengthened ten times over, combined with his rift and adaptive stats. Just fifth circle magic was too weak to counter it. Maybe if the shield was at least two circles higher, then it would be possible. The dagger in his hand vanished. A red flash. A single ray of light flew in a straight line towards the lich. Fifth circle energy shield has been activated. A magic barrier rose up. The shield unfolded up like a transparent curtain around the lich's body. But it shattered like a glass wall and naturally left the lich injured. The lich looked from its wound to Jin Hyuk in disbelief. That lasted only for a short moment. The blue light in its eyes was gradually losing color. All of the magic he had accumulated was blown away. Of course, as long as there was the life force vessel, it won't vanish. But it wouldn't be able to move for a while. This is roughly the end of it. Jin Hyuk took the dagger and with a single slash cut the skeleton's head in half. I finally found you, a voice said from behind him. There's only one person who can recognize the monster's behavior. I was sure you would definitely come here. The mysterious guy pointed the sword toward Jin Hyuk. Who are you? Jin Hyuk shouted with an annoyed facial expression. The mysterious guy seemed annoyed and angry by Jin Hyuk's question. It was a sword he knew. A replica version of that was displayed at the National Museum of Korea. An iron sword with the Qianlong symbol engraved on it. Right. Then it must mean that this was the guy who stalked him in-game ages ago. He evaluated his opponent. The man made a sharp impression with his solid body and tall frame. He was probably over 185 simyapurs. The impression of a well-forged sword. I didn't know much in the game as he was just a psychopath stalker, but he looks quite fine in real life. No, to be precise, even a model would be ashamed to be next to him. It was hard to find such a perfectly sculpted body and face. Aren't you tired of it? Jin Hyuk clicked his tongue. Was it not enough to chase after him in the game? Now he gets chased in ruins in real life too. Seriously, this guy would probably follow him into hell. That annoyed look. You won't be looking at me like that anymore. The man spat out the words through his teeth as terrible killing intent surged. Ah, right. This guy hated being ignored by other people. From the standpoint of the opponent, this wasn't a pleasant attitude. No, let's think about it with common sense. What kind of crazy bastard comes chasing all the way here? And if you want to fight, you should be nicely asking for acknowledgement. It will be different this time. As long as we are made to start again, I will not be pushed around by you. It made no sense. It never worked between them. With a small sigh, Jin Hyuk activated the Eye of Truth. Skill activation cancelled due to the level difference. Of course, there was a level difference, but it didn't matter. This was because there were additional stats that could override it. The stats effect has neutralized the level difference. Looking at the target status window, name, Chun Yu Seon, gender, male, age, 28, level, 29, strength, 35, agility, 31, stamina, 18, magic, 10, stat points, Jodzero. Occupation, 
Swordsman. Unique ability, Song of the Sword. Skill, LV6. Sword Spirit Chi, LV5 Eye of the Ancient One. LV5 One Hit Combat. LV5 Self Defense Chi. LV5 Battlefield Selection. LV4 Chasing Sword Dance. Copy Conditions. Chun Yu Xion believes that he is stronger than anyone when it comes to swords. Hit him with the sword, he is the most confident of. A much longer stat window than any he had seen until now. Did he recognize Jin Hyuk through the eye of the Ancient One? If this guy had stalked him to the point where he was looking through him, he could understand the tenacity of following him until here. Chun Yu Song. Such a nice name. Tower of Trials. The veterans there. Chun Yu Song was one of the players with whom Jin Hyuk had a terrible relationship, but he was also amazingly skilled. In fact, the people who fought with Chun Yu Xiong would always be in awe of the man, and he was feared as the sword spirit. But was he of this level? Jin Hyuk read the status window with a sad expression. Level, skill, unique abilities, stats. Others would have lost their minds at seeing such a large window. Of course, he also admitted that the man was much stronger than he was in the past. The build to become a swordsman was flawless. But, it is the same with me. The gap hadn't narrowed even in the slightest. Instead, it had increased. If you want to fight, I will not stop you, but will you be okay? I am not the only one here, though. Teresa, who responded to Chun Yusheng's energy, was approaching at a fast pace. At most, she would arrive in two or three minutes. After that, it would become a two-on-one fight. Saint, you brought useless companions. Well. I think I need to make two corrections there. First, she's not a companion. Their interests were just aligned, so they were together for now. And second, I never take useless ones along. As soon as Jin Hyuk finished speaking, he heard the sound of the wind moving. Wung, a silver shield appeared. The energy that gently pulsated on its surface. A weapon with divine power. Chun Yu Song held his sword out in a hurry. I will not allow another to intervene in our confrontation. Chun Yu Song activated LV5 battlefield selection. A transparent veil began to spread around Chun Yu Song's body. In line with that, Jin Hyuk smiled. As expected, he responded back to the most gentle scratch, a unique barrier that allowed one to choose the battlefield he wanted, the strongest type of barrier among the barriers possessed by Chun Yu Song. A new space of about 50 memoirs was newly created. And what caught his eye was the image of a training center with smashed marble floors. Such a manly place. It's incredible how consistent his character was. And his talent. Chun Yu Song held the sword with both hands. You can no longer get help from outside. A barrier that cut off the world. Chun Yu Song immediately used his skills. Chun Yu Xiong activates LV5 one hit combat. All stats of Chun Yu Xiong are increased by 10%. The effect of Teresa's Song of Battle will disappear. All stats are reduced by 10%. Status messages appeared one after another. It was the result of being forced to come in here through battlefield selection. And with that, Chun Yu Xiong had the confidence to fight. But Jin Hyuk wasn't going to avoid fighting. Caught you. This unfavorable situation was correct. A special condition that was attached to fusion. If the situation turns overwhelmingly more unfavorable than the original copying condition, the copying conditions will be modified accordingly. And in this case, copy conditions have been adjusted. Achievement of pre-copying and post-conditions is acceptable. The conditions had changed. He can now first copy the ability before fulfilling the condition. I will copy the unique ability of Chun Yu Xiong. Copying the unique ability, Song of the Sword, S. Song of the Sword. Increases your understanding of swords by 200%. The body naturally seeks efficient sword movement, and the senses of the whole body become extremely sensitive. This is one of the essential abilities to receive the title of true sword. Until now, it was a fight that relied on experience and reflexes. From the moment he acquired this ability, he could understand the sword. Jin Hyuk grabbed his dagger with his right hand and flicked his left index finger at Chun Yu Song. Don't pretend to be all right. Chun Yu Song grunted. At the same time, he kicked the ground and rushed towards Jin Hyuk. The distance was narrowed in an instant. He was fast. However, 
Jin Hyuk dodged the attack aimed at him and looked at the next one that followed. Several slashes came from Chun Yusong's sword in less than a second, desperate to reach his vital points. At that time, Chun Yusong's face distorted more than before. What? Tricks are you playing? Uh, what? Do not pretend to not know. Your main specialty isn't melee range but medium range. Why are you fighting with a single dagger? Because of his stalking, this guy already knew Jin Hyuk's fighting style. He knew he enjoyed fighting at a distance rather than close range. He was right. For now, I think this will work. He couldn't use anything else for now due to the copying conditions. Additionally, since he was already able to use the Song of Swords, the dagger was ideal for dealing damage. Of course, that was something only Jin Hyuk could understand. From Chun Yu Song's point of view, this only angered him. I will kill you. Enraged, Chun Yu Song swung his sword. Chun Yu Song activates the soul chasing sword. Blue magic flowed from the sword. It was the manifestation of the ultimate intention of cutting down everything in front of him. Shit. Aren't you too much? Are you saying you want to use that against a beginner who just started learning about swords? From the moment you called yourself a beginner, I knew I shouldn't listen to the bullshit you say. Chun Yu Song dismissed the words of Jin Hyuk. As he released his sword chi, Chun Yu Song rushed to Jin Hyuk, who was looking down at his dagger. Will it be okay if I fight with this weapon? No matter how hard the strengthened dagger was, it could not withstand sword chi. It wasn't called sword chi for nothing, after all. Then, he would make it capable of dealing with it. No. The ability to transcend the swordsmanship. Jin Hyuk grabbed a black pill that was on the rock with the other treasures. I will fuse the Song of the Sword and Demon Soul Pill. As soon as his words finished, a dazzling light shone. Fusion successful. You have acquired the unique ability of Sword Grave, SS. Sword Grave increases understanding of the swords by 500%. The body searches for the optimal sword path, and the perception of the sensations around the body will reach their highest level. It is one of the essential talents to receive the title of Sword Demon. Copied ability is stored in memories of the world. If possible, he wanted to do this after absorbing the frozen tears. But the opponent would get too worked up at it, so he decided to put up a good fight right now. Unique ability Sword Grave will appear. The name of the one who saw the end of the sword's path was the True Sword. On the other hand, the one who broke it all down was called the Sword Demon. The strongest and worst of talents. So no one remembered such a name. All that was left was a single sword stuck in a nameless graveyard. This is the story of the demon's head. An unimaginably horrific aura began to rise, and the marble floor below began to rise into the air. And at that moment, LV-1 Knight of the Black Moon is activated. Heavy pressure could be felt all over his body. Every blood vessel in him seemed to be screaming. Jin Hyuk frowned. As expected. Is this the aftermath of using a SS rank unique ability? Until now, except for the element of fire, he had never used a combat type ability, so he didn't realize it. But now he could feel it clearly. The importance of how much magic he had. If he wanted to use Teresa's unique ability later, no matter how much magic he had, it would fall short. Another reason to fully absorb the frozen tears. What absurd power is... Dozens of times. No, it was hundreds. How the hell is this happening? As time passed, Chun Yusong became unable to understand the situation. The battlefield was optimized for him. Besides, wasn't the opponent giving up on his usual combat style and playing close range? It was all favorable to him. He thought he would win. But the balance didn't break, and there was only one reason why this could have happened. He's using swordsmanship? It wasn't just an imitation but sophistication that came with long years of training. In addition, there was an unprecedented level of anomaly that pierced through his gaps. He was shocked as they kept arriving. Chun Yu Song widened the distance and took a deep breath. It was because he had activated a lot of skills in a short span of time. I don't know what you did, but it is amazing. Without me realizing, you learned swordsmanship. I have been on a grind and learning new things lately, and it is more fun than I thought. Though he only received it a moment ago, and it was something he learned from Chun Yu Song. If he said that, the guy would go insane. At Jin Hyuk's words, Chun Yu Song was shocked. Right. 
Even if you had lost your organs, relying on my swordsmanship to fight you is the wrong move. It is my mistake for being too relaxed against a monster like you. He admitted it. The fact that he can never win unless he does his best. In an instant, the feeling of air changed like a sword that stretched out in a straight line. There. The black moon fell upon Jin Hyuk's dagger. The jet black crescent moon dyed even the light within the barrier black. Chun Yu Song, who was running to attack, became stiff. This was dangerous. Chun Yu Song began biting his lip, and blood began to flow out, but he couldn't feel the pain. Never. I cannot accept this. He tried so hard, even in the game. Even outside the game. However, no matter how hard he trained or suffered, he couldn't defeat the guy in front of him. The result was always the black and white screen with the red letter saying, You have died, that told him all of his efforts were in vain. And one year, two years. So much time had passed that he couldn't even count how many times he read the message about him dying. He had spent years forgetting and giving it all up, and right when he had, the Tower of Trials became real life. It was this. If only he could start back up from scratch. There would never be any reason to be pushed around by this man. Their gap was simply because they had started the game earlier and dominated with their excellent performance. But, even after completing all the preparations and being sure of himself, why? Did he only see despair? Chun Yu Song roared loudly. Soul chasing sword dance! His sword split itself into dozens of pieces. First form. Blue colored magic began to flow from him. Soul chasing beast sword. Never. He will never admit this. I will not admit this! Chun Yu Xiong shouted and swung his sword. Like the claws of a beast, those dozens of swords went towards Jin Hyuk. The ground was being cut up like it was paper. Such was the attack's overwhelming power. The absurd physical force was accompanied by wind. Thick layers of dust began to rise up where the wind was swirling. Ha! Ha! Chun Yu Song let out a raspy breath, his heart pounding hard. He had made full use of what he could, so it should have worked this time. But, what kind of skill brings up so much dust? In the thick dust, step. Jin Hyuk appeared without a single wound. The attack wasn't blocked, nor accepted, just avoided. W with that, you read all the movements? Those dozens of attacks? It was absurd. Even he who wielded the sword all the time couldn't do it. Chun Yu Song drew his sword horizontally, at the same time, from above to below. Jin Hyuk lowered his dagger. Swords with different paths collided together, the clash of ki and energy. Blue sparks scattered in every direction, but the balance and power didn't last long. The fully manifested Black Moon Knight swallowed Chun Yu Song's strength in an instant. Chun Yu Song groaned. Although he had poured his magic to the point of being drained, he was still fine. It wasn't a difference in magic, skill, or unique ability. This was the difference between how the two enjoyed and liked this world. Finally, Chun Yu Song knelt down to one knee. The subsequent blow knocked out the iron sword in his hand. The sword rotated in the air before becoming stuck in the ground. Finally, the victory was decided. I think I've won quite too many times. I don't know exactly, even how many times. The number was long forgotten. It must have been over double digits, too. 138. That many times? Next time, it will be 139. Of course, that is if you think you will have another chance at winning. At Jin Hyuk's words, Chun Yu Song raised his eyes. Next? Right. Next time. If possible, I want to come back stronger than now. There was a 90 day cooldown before he could copy another ability from the same target. And, if Chun Yu Song that Jin Hyuk knew still had the same character, the next time he came, he would come with more useful abilities than now. In fact, it is possible to make it into a business trip buffet deal. <laughs> Why bother looking around for abilities to copy when there was someone who would become stronger every time they fought? He could slowly devour this guy. Later on the 15th floor, I will get that skill. Jin Hyuk couldn't hide his smile when he thought about copying the skill only a swordsman could get. Jin Hyuk reached out to Chun Yu Song. At the same time, he activated another skill. LV2 Communion is activated. The target's hostility towards you has been lessened. The affinity has slightly increased. 
Chun Yu Song stood up, holding Jin Hyuk's hand, and wiped the dust off his body. You aren't wrong. But keep in mind, next time the results will be completely different from now. Well, it won't be boring. Right, I am looking forward to it. Jin Hyuk smiled. Chun Yu Song, who was trying to break the barrier, stopped. But, I still don't know your name. We won't be seeing each other too often, so there is no need to use our real names, right? Hey. You. That one guy was good enough. Why use personal names? Right. I get it. Then let me call you how I know of you. Huh? Why did something feel like it was going wrong? No. Wait! Don't call me that! Jin Hyuk exclaimed. He will tell you, so don't. Don't say it, you bastard. Poop fart. Ah, I said to not call me that. Jin Hyuk touched his forehead. He again realized how much a ripple that username he had made for fun was still causing in his life. Reality was so harsh. Just as Jin Hyuk finished his battle with Chun Yu Song and was in the process of acquiring the items, another strange thing was happening within the ruins. The raid team was resting after a battle. Cheon Hua Hyung. Didn't all the monsters ahead already get taken down? A magic-type player who could use detection magic tilted his head and asked, Uh, Kwang Il took a few others and swept them away an hour back. Really? Hmm. Why? Nothing. It is just that the detection magic keeps beeping up. Seems to be one or two. It cannot be. They were checked three times daily to be sure they were dealt with. Show me. Song Cheon Hua approached the player. It was true. There was a red dot on the translucent screen. Ha! Kwang Il, this brat. It looks like he is slacking off. Song Cheon Hua scratched his head. Sometimes such things did happen. There were cases where one or two monsters were missed, such as the ghost types. But then... Uh... Wait. It is moving. What do you mean, moving? They aren't supposed to move on their own. They should stick to one place, right? I mean it. They are coming too fast, and towards us. At that moment... Thud! Thud! Pounding steps could be heard, and the sound of such things couldn't belong to a ghost. Song Chianhua began to panic. If this was what was happening, what if it wasn't a ghost but something else entirely? And what if no one noticed until it broke through the outer boundary and approached them in this short time? Goosebumps rose on his back. Right now. Wake everyone who is resting. Uh, all? Yes, everyone. Song Cheon Hua shouted. A few moments later, a giant golem three meters in height appeared in front of the raid party. A massive body made of rock. However, what bothered them was the white-haired man sitting on its shoulders. Hmm. Hello, humans. A sweet voice filled their ears as the man smiled at Song Cheonhua. Y you can talk? Damn it. It is a monster with intelligence. The golem isn't a normal golem but an iron golem. It wouldn't get caught with our weapons. All the players mumbled. A monster with intelligence had a reputation for being difficult to deal with. Among them, human-like entities were the most avoided. You are the master of the ruins? Song Cheonhua asked, covering his body with his giant shield. Haha. <laughs> My name is Bailus. I simply belong to the blood race who are servants of the true master of these ruins. Blood race? If it is blood. Song Cheonhua was shocked. N no There was only one monster that could be this beautiful and human-like. Vampire. And if that was true, the one who ruled these ruins were... Gulp. Song Cheonhua gulped. A true ancestor. One of the strongest beings in the Tower of Trials. And this was its territory. We have no chance of winning. He never imagined that there would be such a powerful monster on the first floor. No matter how much Teresa was forced to fight, even if she had a secret weapon, a true ancestor was an exception. At least the level will be over 500. At this point, it was impossible to hunt it with just the unique ability of relics. Song Chianhua struggled to speak. What do you want from us? You wouldn't have come here for no reason, would you? Well, you are a pretty smart human, right? The reason I came all the way here is to make a suggestion. I will give you a choice. You can choose one of the two. First, would all of you like to follow me quietly? If not, Red magic began to form on Bayliss's palm. Would you like to be led like cattle after half of you are killed as an example? It is funny. 
Even if the true ancestor had come here personally, I wouldn't have thought about it. But you're saying this is just one of the blood races? Song Cheon Hua growled towards Bayless. The damage would be quite significant. But if the situation was like this, it would be the same as giving up on the raid. This meant that there was no fight with the true ancestor. But this one had thought foolishly to ask them to go inside the enemy's base. From Song Cheon Hua's point of view, it wasn't too early. Hmm. Do you really think so? Are you saying that I am not good enough? Of course. At most, the monster will be level 50. I have hunted those several times already. A true ancestor's normal level would be over 500. However, members of the blood race that followed it would have to be lower than that. 50 or maybe 60 at most. It was true that they were strong, but it was possible to hunt them down with perfect positioning. This is definitely information officially released on the bulletin board of Tower of Trials management in the past. Song Cheon took a confident pose. Ha <laughs> ha. As expected. I didn't know humans are so bound by the level frame. Bayless let out a smirk. And at that moment, thousands of blood drops, each the size of a child's fist, engulfed the tankers instantly. Tremendous pressure shattered the armor around a tank. There was no need to even imagine what happened to the person inside. A fountain of blood gushed out. You bastards! Do you think I would stand still and wait for you to heal? Move now! Song Cheon Hua ordered an attack. Shit! Run! You have to kill it before the next magic gets activated. The close-range damage dealers quickly swarmed forward. The bodies of the damage dealers surrounding Bayless were swallowed by the fistfuls of blood. Crushed pieces of meat fell to the ground. Their attacks didn't work. On the other hand, the opponent's attack was powerful enough to overwhelm them. I get it. We will follow. Song Chinhua nodded. A moment ago, a personal invitation had come along with a personal quest. The master of the corridor invites you. If you want to save the players and porters of the raid, please come to the innermost room. Difficulty. None. Reward. Meeting with the master of the corridor. Description. If you accept the quest, all the monsters and traps in the last room will be halted. What? What do we do? Teresa glanced at Jin Hyuk. She was bound by contract, so she had to go and help them. Meanwhile, Jin Hyuk was just a normal porter. She couldn't just wait here, but he could just escape when the rescue teams came later and broke through the Guardian. Jin Hyuk shrugged. Well, what should be done? I don't want to take the risk, but I can go with you if you ask earnestly. Ask? Earnestly? Well, you just need to think about something. Actually, I heard that the subscriber base is quite strong there. Jin Hyuk then rounded his fingers. Aren't you also aiming to go for the boss? Chun Yu Song, who heard this, clicked his tongue. Ah, yes. That is that. And this is this. I am not trying to force her or anything. She has her own options, right? Besides, aren't you supposed to leave the ruins? Yes. The purpose of coming here has failed. Then go quietly. Don't go around spoiling my deals. Jin Hyuk waved his hand. Then, Chun Yu Song made an even more pathetic expression. Sometimes I feel it. I wonder if I can become strong by acting vicious like you. This brat. Phew enough. Don't talk anymore. Talking with him was the worst, and he wasn't wrong either. Jin Hyuk sighed and looked at Teresa. So, what will you do? If I give you coins, will you rescue the raid team with me? I cannot promise much. Jin Hyuk smiled casually. A smile as if he knew what the outcome would be. <sighs> Teresa pursed her lips. That was a statement closer to arrogance than confidence. I will be heading out now. I think breaking through the Guardian will take quite some time. Chun Yu Xiong turned around with his sword sheathed. Ah, one thing. He paused for a moment as if he was trying to remember and said, If you are having a hard time deciding, listen to this. He looked back at Jin Hyuk with a displeased expression. I do not know if he can defeat the true ancestor. Since he was a third party here, he wasn't sure of a guaranteed win. But, because he had already fought with Jin Hyuk too many times, he knew his opponent much better than anyone. He knew one thing. If that guy cannot defeat that monster, no one can. That was the man's past. The player who would become the future swordsman had recognized him. Who was the best player in the tower right now? This idiot.
and if he could be commissioned for only 10,000 coins, it was like making a losing business flourish. Of course, the decision is yours. Chun Yusung mumbled and moved. Thanks for the advice. Teresa nodded her head. And, as if determined, she moved slightly towards Jin Hyuk. I will make the contract. Please fight alongside me. You have accepted the quest, two two people. Monsters are sleeping. The traps will stop working. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Various traps and monsters in the ruins all went silent. Thanks to this, their path ahead would be smooth. And because it was a free pass, several weeks of work were turned into a few hours walk. Magic increased by Sundran 12. Jin Hyuk slowly absorbed the frozen tears, which Teresa had helped thaw. Frozen tears. Acquisition difficulty, SS. Absorbable magic, 100. Description. This is the essence that can be obtained from the end of the world on the seventh floor of the Tower of Trials. It greatly increases magic when absorbed, but if it doesn't go through a specific refining process, it inflicts fatal wounds on the user. So nice. 12 stat points. In terms of levels, it was the equivalent of four level ups. Jin Hyuk felt a change in the magic that he was absorbing Bo. When he had activated Swordgrave, it had been so painful that it felt like his body was ripping itself apart from the inside. Now the pain eased a little. That was why everyone wanted magic. The total amount is 100, so if that can be fully absorbed, he could freely use the abilities and skills of other rankers, as well as the sword grave and blessing of the star. The thawing provided by Teresa is limited to 12, so for the time being, I need to be satisfied with this. 12, 18, 30, 40. A total of four steps. The amount the body could absorb varied depending on the skill used to alleviate the cold. This meant he would need a person with higher level skills or a special item to grow further. Well, I can think about it at a later time. Right now, he had to focus on what was in front of him. Countless challenges and failures. And the end was nearing. No matter how he thought about it, there was only one way to defeat Elise. And it wasn't an easy path. But he would have to break through it. Not much time left. The passage began to get wider and wider. How long did they walk? Decorations that resembled ancient Greece appeared on the large door ahead of them. But it wasn't something they could enjoy. This, Jin Hyuk frowned. Tingle. Magic was behind that door. Even though the door should be reducing the amount of magic leaking out, the pressure from there was immense. He glanced to the side and noticed how stiff Teresa had become. Huh. How can we defeat such a monster on our own? Her voice trembled. Right. It was unsurprising. The magic from the door felt like it pierces their skin. It was so strong that they thought they would be trampled. There is no need to be afraid. Didn't you know that your opponent was strong before coming? Right, but... Besides, in battle, the stronger side doesn't always have to win. Strategies and tactics were created to overcome the strong. If all the winners were decided simply by the amount of magic, I never would have reached the end of the tower. Do you have a plan? Only one thing. No matter what happens, believe in me. He reached out and opened the door. A spectacular view, along with a dazzling light, unfolded in front of them. The floors and pillars inside were made of gold. At a place where a red veil fell from above sat a noble throne. You are finally here. I was too tired of waiting. The woman, who was leaning her chin on her hand, smiled. Jin Hyuk looked at her. She is amazing no matter how many times I see her. Long, silver hair reached down to her waist. Red eyes, a beautiful face, and an alluring body. Indeed, she looked like the quintessential vampire who was blessed with immortality. And she also was horrifying. There were twelve members of the Blood Clan lined up next to her. By comparison, they merely looked all right. Are the people safe? I haven't touched a single one, don't worry. Elise beckoned them lightly. Right. Love? Dimensional severance is dismantled. The veil was removed and the captives appeared. Uh. Um. Up! She had tied them down, gagged their mouths, and blindfolded them. From the raid team captain, Song Cheonhua, to the porters, most seemed unharmed. Thank God. LV2 Eye of Truth has been activated. 
It is the smell which comes from you that made me invite you here. Smell? Yes. The scent of blood flowing through your body. A sweet scent which cannot be compared with these ordinary humans has stimulated me. Shit. He knew his blood type was B, and now this woman was calling it sweet. Jin Hyuk touched his forehead. You don't seem happy. You want to suck me dry and turn me into a mummy? Is there anyone who would be happy with that? I am no idiot who eats all of the delicious things at once. You will be allowed to live for sixty years. So, do not be too afraid. Hearing that didn't exactly reassure him. That was, in a word, I will keep you by my side and stick my teeth into you whenever I am hungry. I appreciate the favor, but I have no intention of living as a fancy lunchbox to a vampire. Find a toy for such a sadistic hobby elsewhere. There were definitely people who were into that. I am sorry, but I never said you get to choose. I know. I don't mean to back down either. Let me give you something else instead of blood. Oh. Was it because he spoke bluntly? Elise smiled, but it was only for a short time. There is nothing more precious than delicious food to us. No matter what you suggest, my heart will not change. What if it is freedom? At Jin Hyuk's words, her face changed. At the same time, how dare you? Speak such words. I will tear you apart, human. The vampires who were on either side of her shouted at once. Their killing intent was oozing out at his words. Right. This was how it worked. To them, freedom was more than just a word. The years spent in exile and endless darkness. The beauty of the stars and the moon shining in the night sky. The soft feeling of the wind and freshness of the grass. All of them were long lost. You... The words you are saying, you need to take responsibility for it. If I weren't responsible, I wouldn't have said it. Jin Hyuk took a mask out of his sleeves. It was a black mask with geometric patterns on it. It was used in the labyrinth, but even though it looked the same, it was different now. The runes engraved on the mask's right cheek stood out. That... Elise narrowed her eyes. Looks like she had figured out the meaning of this mask. Jin Hyuk bowed. Now that he's thrown the bait, it was time to get to the point. I am Kang Jin Hyuk. On behalf of the demonic humans in the tower. That was the current character he was playing. And... I will get you out of your prison. Even this character's personality and goals. Demonic humans. A term used for those who turned their backs on humanity because of money, revenge, or personal beliefs. The demonic humans prevented the players from climbing the tower. They held hands with the monsters in labyrinths or ruins. Just like right now. After the Tower of Trials became a reality, numerous evil deeds, such as the coin farm, were hotly discussed by various news outlets. There was a clear awareness of demonic humans. I have heard of them. But you are one of them? Elise didn't seem to believe this. Well, the mask alone wouldn't convince anyone. Then... He will give her one piece of information that only a demonic human would know. We have already reached the 27th floor of the tower with the temple. There, I learned that Miss Elise was here and that there was a way to deceive the seal placed around the ruins. They were words said without interruption. It was a bonus that there were simple things to explain. Indeed, if you know about the temple, then it is no lie. Then do you believe me? No. Elise shook her head. You know too much about us, and are also saying things which we have long considered impossible to solve. A rose with thorns. More than anything else, it is hard to believe a man who talks too much. Refusal. It would have been enough to shake hands and leave if it was a request or suggestion. But rejection was death. Elise slowly raised her hand. The vampires lined up next to her shined with power. If the order was given now, both Jin Hyuk and Teresa would be killed. Blood spear has been activated. Alice conjured her blood spears and aimed at Jin Hyuk. Teresa jumped in front of Jin Hyuk and started defending with sacred reinforcement shield. Alice started laughing after watching Teresa struggle defending against her attack. Blood explosion has been activated. Alice raised her hand and summoned a giant ball of explosion blood. In the next moment, a knife penetrated into Teresa's chest from behind. Teresa's body shook violently. An artery was cut, and blood gushed out like a fountain. A fatal wound. Ah. Teresa groaned and finally fell. Prove it to me some more. Alice challenged Jin Hyuk. 
Jin Hyuk grabbed his dagger and stabbed Teresa again. Blood splattered everywhere. And she simply died just like that. Do you think this is enough proof? The vampires were clearly the most reluctant as he struck a deal with Teresa using the hostages they held. One who thought about the future could never do this. He was easing their vigilance by using communion and also managed to move Elise's heart. Good. I will say I believe you. Elise stood up. Her long silver hair fell down her shoulders. In what way are you giving us freedom? Great. Jin Hyuk calmed his beating heart. Be calm. Do not get excited. Take it easy. The fish had just caught the bait. It needed to be pulled up slowly. I have a seventh grade item ready for you. We can deceive the ruins barrier if Miss Elise conceal her soul in the item. Seal the soul? This is my first time hearing of it. Right. Because this method only appeared on the 40th floor. To be honest, I was pretty lucky. In the process of learning the information, it wasn't easy to figure out the exact amount of magic we would have to supply. Jin Hyuk gathered magic in his fingers. A blue light shone on his fingertips. His fingers crossed the air as if he was writing letters. One word, signicuium, and another, immortalitas, sancturium. He drew a pattern made up of six words. As each word was infused with a different amount of magic, they began to shine blue. Strange energy was being exuded. Elise looked surprised at this. Can it be used that way? The Blood Clan members who were watching the scene asked aloud. They seemed overwhelmed by a sight they were seeing for the first time. In the meantime, Jin Hyuk held Bram's ring in the middle of the formation. The level condition, level 1, of Caster Kang Jin Hyuk has been accepted. Seven Star Soul Transfer Chant has been activated. The order is completed when the target's approval is obtained. You can only take one soul at a time. The cooldown is 365 days. Only one person could leave the ruins. The next person would be able to after a year. Time wasn't a problem for vampires who received the blessing of immortality. They will be very reluctant to accept a spell they have only seen for the first time. Elise's eyes twitched. But it was for just a short time as a smile formed on her lips. A loophole to the chant. If we break down the form which is the basis of the chant, we can destroy the entire rite. No matter what tricks this man used. This means that as long as her men were here with Bayliss on her side, the human could be killed, and she could break away from the seal. This was like a safety net for her. But there was a feeling of confusion too. You cannot just throw away a chance because it sounds absurd. Such a long life spent being locked up made this temptation hard to resist. If not now, perhaps she would never get the chance to escape from here. Her worries didn't last long. I get it. I will accept it. Elise nodded her head. And at that moment, Bram's ring absorbs the soul of Elise. A dazzling light enveloped Elise's body. Jin Hyuk retrieved the ring from the Seven Star Circle. His heart was pounding hard. It was a success. It felt like all the hard work he did in the past was being rewarded. If even one of the things he did was incorrect, Elise wouldn't have been able to be sealed into the ring. In fact, it had failed dozens of times in the past. The variable called Teresa made it easy. Hmm. Not as bad as I thought. I thought it would be stuffy, but it is strangely cozy. Elise's voice could be heard from the ring in his palm. He felt glad that she liked the inside. She was reacting as if it was a house she would live in. It was then. A thin groan escaped from Teresa, who was lying on the ground. T that woman on the floor. Isn't she dead? The clan members' eyes were wide open in shock. Obviously, they had confirmed that she had stopped breathing. They had even checked for a magic reaction and felt nothing. She was clearly dead. Then why? Ah, I forgot. Even if she dies, that friend will come back to life. It was called the Blessing of the Star. If she died, she would come back to life. Jin Hyuk let out a relieved sigh as he looked at Teresa's revived form. Man, for real. Watching it in person reinforced that feeling. Wasn't it like looking at a dead cockroach that started moving again? You. You deceived me, Elise shouted. Now that she realized she was deceived, she couldn't help but become angry. On the other hand, Teresa, who came to her senses, mumbled. This. This was the plan. With the blessing of stars, she was able to comprehend everything which happened around her. 
everything up to the monster being sealed. That was why he had asked her to believe. There are many things I want to ask, but now I have to help with this, right? We aren't in a situation to talk either. Right. Talking would be for later because this wasn't over yet. Teresa activated LV4 sign of cross. Teresa moved her sword to the left and right. The rope and blindfolds on the other people were removed. Those who had their senses blocked began to gasp as they were released. We live. We live. Wow. Cheers erupted from everywhere. They thought they were going to die, but now they were tasting freedom again. You came. Song Cheonhua bowed to Teresa. I am glad I wasn't too late. Teresa made Song Cheonhua get up. How many rescue teams came? There were bound to be around three or four groups that were deployed from the other guilds to the ruins. That much was needed to save them here, but, excluding me, just one other. The words from Teresa's mouth crushed Song Cheonhua's expectations. To act like a demonic human and save himself. Such a stupid human act. The Blood Clan members showed their teeth. They had been ordered to eliminate the humans if the man tried any tricks. There was no need to wait any further. Various blood magics began to fill the surroundings. Drops of blood gathered and formed into a giant wave. The wave increased in height as if it would swallow the place up. It was a grotesque sight to see. There were more than eleven vampires here. The difference in power didn't diminish in the slightest. Right at that moment, a large fire barrier stopped the wave. No, it wasn't just blocking but standing tall. As the heat caused the moisture to evaporate, the drops of blood began to gradually disappear. Who was it? That mask. I've never heard of a ranker using a dagger. It must be someone he was seeing for the first time. But did that make sense? How could a player who wielded such strong fire magic be unknown? He couldn't believe it, so he had to ask. Wh who is that person? At Song Cheon Hua's question, there was a soft smile on Teresa's lip. He is someone who has to be trusted. How can a human... Bayless mumbled in disbelief. Right. He couldn't help but express his disbelief. The attack they had used now didn't spare any magic so that it would be able to take down humans in one blow. But... How? How could a human stop it so easily? Jin Hyuk shrugged. The skills and fire we use are at odds with each other. In addition, the level difference has been reversed due to the rift stat and adaptive stats. If this kind of situation took place, they would have confidence. The moment Elise is sealed, the chances of you people winning is gone. Certainly, defeating you with magic seems tough. Bayless dispersed the magic he had gathered. But as you said, wouldn't it mean you cannot handle a melee attack? Suddenly, a black sword appeared in his right hand. It was a rapier used by vampires. Furthermore, Bayless activates LV9 Dark Furious Energy. Black energy flowed smoothly into the rapier. It was a type of sword key, and a pure kind as well. There is nothing better than using this to deal with people who are as irritating as flies. And he wasn't wrong. For those with amazing magic abilities, the moment the fight went to a close distance, the risk increased. Moreover, the odds would be too much if they were to attack simultaneously with all twelve of them. Right. That was their plan. Under normal situations it would work, but... Who said that Jin Hyuk was strong only at magic? The unique ability, Sword Grave, is activated. In the quiet silence. The talent of a swordsman who dominated an era entered Jin Hyuk's body. It changed. Everything he saw and felt. His heart was beating wildly. He could sense everything, from the most minute movements to the flow of magic. The world seen through his mask looked so different now. Indeed, he didn't have the name of the sword demon for nothing. Jin Hyuk smiled. What? Belus tilted his head. Just now. He felt something had changed. It was hard to pinpoint, but the atmosphere had changed. Prrr. His hands trembled slightly. No way. Was he afraid? He? Bayless gritted his teeth. Don't. Joke with me. Afraid of a human? It cannot be. It shouldn't be. Above all else, they were the ones who would break the flesh of humans. He wouldn't waste time anymore. Bayless grasped his sword. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to do anything. An intense flame-like dark energy burned on his blade. 
It was a sword that was able to cut through anything. We will take him down at once. Sure, no one should miss him. We will have to cut one of his limbs off. The Blood Clan members took up formation against Jin Hyuk. Front, back, left, and right. Not a single ant could escape. However, Jin Hyuk stood still. He didn't even respond. He just glanced at the enemies with a grim expression. Sword Key, is that the one thing you believe in? Don't act out. No matter how much you crawl or fly, you will not get out of here. Well, anything he said might just feel like a bluff. It was a situation where anyone could see who had the advantage and disadvantage. Then, it was time to prove it with their skills and not with words. Jin Hyuk infused magic into his dagger. Right, the light from his dagger was so bright that it made the eyes of anyone who saw it ache. T this cannot... Bayless's eyes grew wide at the scene in front of him. The energy he felt from that dagger was utterly different from the sword chi, which covered his blade. The blue-colored energy completely enveloped the dagger and soared a full meter above its tip. There was no doubt. This. Aura blade? Infusing energy into a sword. Shouldn't it be tested out like this? Jin Hyuk extended his dagger. The sharpness to cut everything down. An overwhelming force was directed at the vampires. It was then that his form vanished. Ha! He is gone? Where is he? Shit! Do not let him out of your sight and use detection magic! Bayless shouted, but it was too late. Bayless felt a chilling energy approaching him from behind, and that was it. The last thing he remembered. The fight was finished, and it was simply a foolish waste of time. No. Calling the fight foolish was something only Jin Hyuk alone could say. Those who watched couldn't even lift a finger as the whole thing happened. Miss Teresa, Song Cheon Hua stuttered. What did he just see now? Was this for real? To wipe out an entire clan of vampires without having a single person on their side wounded. No other ranker would be able to do this. Gulp. Song Cheon Hua gulped. That man, do you know who he is? Teresa didn't answer. Instead, she glanced at Jin Hyuk, the mask he was wearing. It meant he didn't want to reveal his identity, right? We met by chance in the middle and moved together. He told me to believe him, and for more details. He never told me. I see. Ah. Song Cheon Hua reluctantly nodded and sighed. It was because he saw Jin Hyuk was trying to do something while wearing the mask. Wait! Wait a minute! Song Cheon Hua ran to Jin Hyuk. What? Jin Hyuk, who was standing in front of the relic, looked back. T. My name is Song Cheon Hua, the one commanding this raid. I know a little about that. Responsible for the failed raid, you mean. An incompetent bastard who was more dangerous than the enemy. He would have crushed this incompetent bastard into a corner if it were him. With what face could he even talk to Jin Hyuk? Forget it. People like this don't even know what wrong they've committed. Take the wounded and leave the ruins. I have a lot of stamina, so I just need water and simple nutrition. Jin Hyuk waved his hand as if telling him to not bother, but Song Cheon Hua wasn't thinking about pushing it. Be before that, I have to tell you something about the relic. No. Was he trying to claim the right to the relics? Wah. This guy was more than shameless. As you may be aware, the ownership of all the items obtained in the raid belongs to Balhae Guild. Jin Hyuk cuts off his words. I saved your life. And now you want to talk about the relics? Dogs were so annoying. He could even imagine what this bastard wanted to say next. Song Cheon Hua quickly added. Instead, we will pay another reward. Whether it is money or coins, we will make sure you aren't disappointed. Reward. That was it. He hadn't thought of it till now, but he couldn't help it now. I don't need that. Just take it. Jin Hyuk took a step back. Uh, are you really fine with that? Sure. Instead, just don't regret it, whatever the outcome is. Jin Hyuk shrugged. Song Cheon Hua felt uncomfortable at this, but he didn't think much of it. He had no reason to hold back when the man gave up on rewards. It was a piece of wood lying on a wide rock. The relic was Merlin's staff. It was one of the seven broken pieces of the relic, but that didn't diminish its value. If you use it as a magic ingredient, its value is limitless. Song Cheon Hua's eyes were stained with greed. If he took this, 
All the mistakes he had made in the raid could be covered up to some extent. But the moment he grabbed the piece with his hand, the piece felt hot and sent searing pain through his palm. Song Cheon Hua was surprised and released his hand. However, what surprised him more than the burned skin on his palm was the shape of an inverted cross on the palm of his hand. What? What is this? It was a curse. Originally, it was a relic that could be obtained only after destroying Elise. But since this was a situation where Elise hadn't died and was instead sealed, anyone who touched the relic would naturally be cursed. Curse. No, I cannot die. Right? Me? It isn't life-threatening, but... But? Was it called alopecia? All the hair on your body will disappear. Simply put, it meant you had to live hairless like a pig all your life. Nah, no. Song Xion Hua touched his hair with trembling hands. Swish. They were falling out one by one. It seemed like only a few were left. This was why Jin Hayak said he'd regret it. Well, it was useless now. No! No way! Song Cheon Hua screamed and ran off somewhere. Perhaps he went to look for a mirror, but seeing himself now wouldn't be good for his mental health. You are so mean. Teresa smiled. Er Trying to get your hands on someone else's food is bad. But if this happens, shouldn't Mr. Jin Hyuk also have to give it up? No. Because I know how to touch it without getting cursed. Blessing of the Star. If he could use divine power, he could endure the curse. Before answering Miss Teresa's question, maybe I ask you one thing. Sure. Do you admit that you lived thanks to me? Teresa looked into Jin Hyuk's eyes. If it wasn't for him, none of the raid team would have gotten out. Right, thank you. I lived thanks to you. Teresa nodded her head. The condition has been met. You have succeeded in copying the unique ability Blessing of the Stars. The copied skill is saved in Memories of the World. Blessing of the Stars. Acquisition Difficulty, SS. Description. You can wield the divine power only the paladins can use, and you will be able to continue a second life unless you are afflicted by instant death. Cooldown. 240 hours. With this. He had accomplished every last goal he had from the ruins. Jin Hyuk confirmed his newly acquired ability with a satisfied face. Blessing of the Star. Teresa's unique ability granted her the protection of the constellation. Finally, he got it in his hands. I gained a lot from coming to the ruins. Relics such as the Frozen Tears and Bram's Ring were all useful, but nothing compared to natural powers or Teresa's unique ability. To get two abilities of a top ranker. He wanted to manage his facial expression, but he couldn't. Like someone who just won the lottery, the corners of his lips were twitching. Phew, calm down. Jin Hyuk took a deep breath. How many unique abilities exist in this world? Besides, Fusion could replace Blessing of the Stars with a superior ability later, another sky above the sky, until he could rise to such a high position that no ranker could even look at him, he couldn't relax for even a moment. At that time, Mr. Jin Hyuk? Teresa gently tapped his shoulder. Right. He was still with her. He had been too engrossed in his own skills that he forgot about her. Ah. Sorry, I had to check something. It was now time to leave the ruins. This is a special news feature, so make sure to grab it. Whether it is a day, a month, or a year, wait like a stone. Yeah. Yeah, you bastard. Permission has been granted from above to shut it. Reporters from broadcasting stations, officials from the guilds, and porters alongside the miners. There were literally hundreds of people waiting for the arrival of a particular person. Soon, the raid on the ruins will be complete. Those were the words of a man who had said it while holding an old sword. All of this uproar was caused by that man. Chief, what the man said is true, right? Zhang Jae-hyun from the Awakened Association asked his chief, Kim Tae-chun, who was next to him smoking a cigarette. Well, it is too absurd to believe. Damn, if I'd heard it myself, I would have asked a few questions. But the fact was that the people who were sent to question the man got scared and walked away. The raid that went in didn't even have the proper equipment to go all the way. No. Even if they had the necessary power, it would have taken three weeks for them to complete it. How could they finish it in such a short amount of time? If it was that simple, 
the ruins wouldn't be such an infamous place. But they still couldn't pass on this news. If the people came from the ruins, it would mean that they had defeated the Guardian within it. It was an unbelievable achievement and situation. It hurts. Chief Kim scratched his head, and at that moment, a bright light began to shine from the entrance of the ruins. At the same time, a golden status window appeared in front of everyone. The ruins, the corridor of the fallen, have been conquered. An outstanding achievement will be inducted into the Hall of Fame for one day tomorrow. S Chief? It was true? Chief Kim looked towards the entrance. There were people with injuries exiting one after another. The Balhae Guild was in the lead, followed by the Zion Guild. Their cameras were working here. They are coming! Oh! People raised their voices to capture the image of these heroes. Congratulations on conquering the ruins on the first floor. Can we ask how you succeeded in attacking it in such a short time? Tell us who played the MVP role in this raid. Reporters held out their mics. In order to win the interview, you must find the captain who leads the raid. At that time, you are Mr. Song Chenhua. One of the men asked a bald man. At first glance, he looked like him. And upon closer inspection, he was even more sure. This man was Song Chionhua, the captain of the raid. But Song Chionhua didn't respond to the question. He just continued to move onward. His face had an expression as if he had lost his soul. The reporters who saw this uttered softly, Oh my. Not just his hair, but even the eyebrows and lashes are gone. Wah. What happened inside? The relic? He looks so miserable. It seems like he had a second awakening by giving up his hair. Great for the Balhae Guild, but terrible for him. Although he had lost something precious, he had completed the task that he was assigned, and it would be an excellent business for the Guild. This made sense for those who didn't know the reality of what had happened. Eventually, Teresa intervened with the reporters. It wasn't Song Cheon Hua who conquered the ruins. Well then, was it Miss Teresa? Did the Zion Guild do it? Their eyes focused on her. The surroundings went silent so much so that only gulping sounds could be heard. No. She shook her head before pointing to a person with a mask on his face. The successful conquest of the ruins was Doan by this person alone. We, we were just spectators watching it happen. The emergence of a super newbie. The topic caused the whole nation and the Tower of Trials community to heat up. The player with the mask. Who is he? Conquered the ruins alone? Absurd. World-class guilds. A decision has been made to dispatch an investigation team on the first flight tomorrow morning. In three hours, the performance will be revealed at the Hall of Fame. For it grabbed everyone's attention. The issue was especially important for the government and media as they used it to divert attention from the lack of progress on the raid against the third floor boss monster. This new topic was used to give the citizens hope. A new hero who was recognized by the top ranker Teresa. The player who reached the end of the ruins that no one else could even see. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Ugh, there are all kinds of modifiers attached to it. Jin Hyuk scratched his head. He expected the reaction to be hot, but this was more than he expected. At least he had a mask on, so he bought a few days of reprieve. I will get the S class soon. That way, things will work out. 100 players. The first and second place rankings had been decided by now. All that was left now was to design a way to make everything look favorable to him. He needed to balance the different perceptions. Since Teresa had promised to be silent, he didn't think he had much to worry about. For now, this was good. And next. I will have to talk to Elise, who is inside. It would be difficult to continue to act as if he couldn't hear her. Even if it is difficult to handle, I will have to handle this eventually. A difficult journey to the 50th floor. The decision he would have to make to decide if it would be an easy or tough journey. Jin Hyuk took the ring. And then a sharp voice became audible. How dare you lock me in the dark, you stinky bag. Human, do you know who I am? Look here, Miss First Ancestor. No, Grandmother of Great Britain. She didn't seem to understand the situation yet. Did she think that she was the all-powerful vampire? Jin Hyuk grabbed the ring and rotated it. He swung it round and round in a clockwise direction. Stop! I'm feeling dizzy. Stop it! Please! Elise screamed and he stopped. How is it? Thinking I am crazy like you? Know this. The vampires never forget their grudges. 
she still didn't understand. Fine. Still, she was a strong monster. She wouldn't just give in that easily. Usually, he would play it hard as well. But now he's changed his mind. He will train her thoroughly with a whip. From one station to another, there will be a lot of dizziness, so be careful, please. Jin Hyuk gave a voluntary announcement. That. Stop. Seriously, don't do it. I might just puke now. There is no door to get. Off. And again, he started the hellish train. The prolonged torture session that lasted for three hours was finally finished. Finally. Hick. Hick. I might die. From. That. Elise sobbed softly. Her nose felt like it was broken. He had rotated her 720 degrees at all sides. Inside the right, it felt like she was trapped inside a hell-like gravity training for astronauts. Hmm. Did I do it too much? This woman, who was supposed to have the authority of a clan leader, seemed like she had lost her soul. However, his compassion didn't last long. Because now this vampire was trapped inside a ring. Stop crying and come out! Jin Hyuk infused magic into Bram's ring, and... Elise, who had been trapped inside, was released. Ugh! She seemed surprised at this. She was bound to be surprised at this sudden gift of freedom. Finally, it is time to take revenge. It was time to repay the humiliation. She was thinking of paying back the suffering a thousandfold, but... Huh? But what was this? No. Didn't her field of vision feel too low? Only when she raised her head up could she see the other person. Why is it like this? Elise tilted her head and scanned her body. Only then did she realize why her point of view had changed. Her slender height had shrunk all the way to only 30 centimeters. Even the potent magic she possessed had disappeared. Her red eyes shook violently. Whoa, what is this? This. Only part of the body materializes when the seal is in place. Only part? Right. Only part of the body. To be precise, should he call this the mini version of Elise? The power she could exert now was less than 1% of her true powers. Of course, even with those restrictions, she was still stronger than ordinary vampires. It wasn't enough to just defeat the opponents. She could smash them. No. Elise slumped down. She looked like she was about to cry. Considering that this was her first solemn time, it must be a shock to her. Jin Hyuk then smiled. It is slowly time to feed her. Since he's used the whip on her a lot, even a dried carrot now would taste sweeter than anything else. Jin Hyuk sat next to her. Don't cry and listen. And he began to speak. <sighs> what I said in the ruins, they weren't baseless words. The promise he made in the ruins. To give freedom to her and her subordinates. I wanted freedom, but not this kind. I know. Who said this is being given to you? Jin Hyuk waved his hand. Not just physical freedom, but the true freedom you desire will be given. This... What do you mean? Elise's voice trembled. She had probably guessed what he meant, but she needed confirmation, so Jin Hyuk told her. Elise von Ataraxia, if you can help me, I will eliminate those who betrayed you and restore you to the head of the Ataraxia family. New video has been updated in the Hall of Fame. A 10-minute video and a message were uploaded to the Tower of Trials community. Considering the difficulty of the ruins, the video was too short. Well, it was only a compilation of highlights made by weaving together the separate battle scenes. However, the viewers who saw this video had no choice but to admit the video's duration was right. The raid was thought to have failed. However, the situation changed entirely as a masked player appeared and defied all the expectations. Mochi Mochi, it is my first time swearing into my hands after seeing this end-of-life video. The nobles of the night, who were able to use both magical and physical attacks, were trampled down like worms. Scenes that felt detached from reality unfolded one after another. Nothing else but admiration could be expressed for him. Because the vampires were pressured and overwhelmed. It was then. ID Center. As expected, I thought it had to be him. This is the man in the Hall of Fame with the video for the mangrove tree and the plus 10 weapon strengthening. While the eyes of the world were on the video, Jin Hyuk arrived in front of a high-rise building, the base of the Black Crow Guild. I heard that the guilds are sitting on money trees. Must be true. 
Since it was a 35-story building with a view of the Han River, what was the price they paid for it? No matter how small, the price had to be around 10 billion for a unit, right? The forest of buildings he saw through the mask was a different world from the single room that Jin Hyuk lived in. But why? He didn't feel any envy for the power he lacked when it came to money. The owner of this building will be facing the worst moment of his life now. Jin Hyuk fused magic into his legs, and then kicked the glass door open. With a roar, the five centimeter thick tempered glass shattered. What? The glass? Did a dump truck drive through? Everything inside became noisy as Jin Hyuk pulled out his dagger. I will say it only once. Bring me Shin Gunsu right now and get him on his knees, or I will be hanging out here today. This threat made it natural for the ones inside to swear at him. What nonsense is he saying now? This jerk. Do you know which guild this place belongs to and dared to come here? Of course he knew. Isn't this a place that sells charcoal grilled crow meat? They had tried to stab someone in the back. This company didn't care if a third party died to fulfill its purpose. Thanks to this, an angry customer came from far away to meet with the company's representative. I guess you have gone all crazy. Uh, call for the guards. They have work to do now. At the penthouse on the top floor of the building, Shin Gunsu, sitting in his private office, pursed his lips at the news that kept arriving. He hyung. The raid team was taken down. All the elevators are down. He is coming up, and fast, he's already reached the 20th floor. None of the news coming to him was good news. All of them were just words that heralded the coming doom. Shin Gunsu hit his desk. Damn it! What kind of trouble is this? An intruder out of nowhere? Due to the nature of their guild, they had already made too many enemies. But this was the first time someone was attacking them like this. And all alone too. Never. I am not going to falter. At first, he thought the guy was just a psychopath who had come here wanting to die. But after seeing his security team dismantled so easily, Shin Gunsu had to admit it. This was an enemy that was more terrifying than a hundred men. It was then. The screams could be heard right outside the door. Kang! Kang! The screams were followed by the sounds of swords clashing, but it was just for a second. There was no presence of energy left outside anymore. Shin Gunsu could feel his heart beating quickly. In the midst of his own fear and morbid curiosity, hmm, <laughs> kick. The door opened. Are you the guild master? The intruder appeared in front of him with a bizarre appearance. Jin Hyuk took a step forward. Stop. I will cut you down if you don't stop. Surang. Shin Gunsu pulled out his sword. Perhaps it was a weapon imbued with magic. It had colorful sparks flying around it. At first glance, it looked like an expensive sword. After all, this was to be expected from a guild master. But why? Despite the harsh warning, Jin Hyuk couldn't hide his smile. Such a clumsy move. Perhaps because he had a bout with Chun Yu Song not too long ago. His body had felt what it was like to be fully involved in a clash of swords. Shin Gunsu's movement felt uncoordinated and hesitant. How would he attack? His aim. All of it. As Jin Hyuk continued his steps forward, Shin Gunsu, unable to hold back his anxiousness, shouted out, Didn't you hear me telling you to stop? Shin Gunsu activates LV3 Quicksword. Shin Gunsu's sword vanished from sight. Wung! The tip of his sword moved towards Jin Hyuk, leaving behind afterimages in its path. No. Does he actually think this will work? Jin Hyuk felt bad for the man. His hand moved in line with the sword. At this speed, there was no need to avoid it. The moving sword stopped. Huh? The sound of shock escaped from Shin Gunsu's mouth. His blade had been caught despite its fast movement. His being shocked at this was natural. Shin Gunsu felt goosebumps rise from all over his body, from his past as a gangster until now. He had been through countless experiences. Even if he died and woke up again tomorrow, he could not win. It didn't take long for him to realize there was no hope. You. Who are you? Who ordered you? Shin Gunsu hesitated and took a step back. He couldn't run away in a small room. Took. His back hits the glass of his windows, causing his body to tremble. This was terrifying. Even the subordinates that he had trusted were no longer here. Try guessing. What? Guess who I am and for what purpose I came here. Who knows? Maybe the correct answer would come. Jin Hyuk stabbed his dagger through the middle of the desk.
He then takes a seat in a soft chair near the table. Dangun, did they send you from Balhe to keep us from growing? Wrong. Wrong answer. Usually he would laugh and tell them to try again. But this Golden Bell, a quiz show in Korea by Jin Hyuk, had slightly different rules. If someone got the question wrong, there would be a penalty. And there was something good about this. Jin Hyuk picked up a ball from the side of the desk. The go pieces are thick. As expected from a rich guy, they always got the best ones. W why are you... Shin Gunsu mumbled anxiously. Why? Snap. Ah, my... Forehead. My forehead. It was because of that. Shin Gunsu rolled to the ground while covering his face with both hands. A lump was already forming on his forehead. It should be painful since Jin Hyuk had hit him with something infused with magic. Again? Guess. And think before you answer this time. Jin Hyuk fiddled with another go piece this time. Uh. Black Market. Write them. Weren't you commissioned to attack us for a huge pay? Wrong. Wrong this time too. Wait. Wait. Whoever sent you, I will pay you twice the number they offered. Okay? What do you need? Just say it, because we can get everything. At the thought of getting hit again, Shin Gunsu had gone pale and tried to strike a new deal. Yeah. I told you to guess who it was. Did I ask you for money? Did he learn Korean as a second language? Why couldn't he understand when being told clearly? He wasn't sure what level of Korean this guy knew, but he was sure that King Sejong would rise from his grave to curse the man. Tak! And another go piece hits him again. There was more magic behind it this time. Shin Gunsu was twisting his body from the pain. Wah! My forehead! Shit! This is your last chance. Make one more mistake, and I will hit you with everything this time. Huh, huh. Shin Gunsu took a deep breath. Kang? Jin Hyuk. Three words. Now you have the correct answer. Right. The one for whom you sent Park Hajin after with the order to kill. Don't think too stiffly and look at the situation calmly. They aren't here right now as they are attacking the tower. But the rankers in this guild are over level 50. So? If you kill me, all of them will come after you. The chain of revenge will never be broken. Blood brings blood, and revenge brings revenge. Unless one side stopped, the slaughter would continue. Hmm. That was true. Blood and revenge were keywords that interfered with peaceful sleep. And Jin Hyuk smiled. Right. Let's just kill you and end it cleanly here. What? I will take my last revenge here, so make sure your side forgives me. What nonsense is that? Uh. Jin Hyuk took a handful of go pieces and shoved them into Shin Gunsu's mouth. That's the end of listening to this shit. If the Black Crow Guild's men came to attack him, then he would just deal with them. It's not like he was afraid of them. Stop it now. Jin Hyuk said for the last time and swung the fist with all his might. His fist punched deeply into Shin Gunsu's face. As it made contact, the sound of teeth clashing with go pieces echoed from within his mouth. Instant death. Now then. Yeah, the guy pretending to be dead. Wake up. I will count to three. One. Yes. I am all awake. Among the black suits in the hallway, a man answered. He was a man in his mid-twenties. Judging from his lack of magic, he seemed to be a non-player. Was he Shin Gunsu's secretary then? Introduce yourself. You will be spared if you show me that you are useful. My name is Kim Hui Wong, and I'm 26 years old. I am in charge of overseeing all the work of the Black Crow Guild. I can speak five languages and studied computer science and accounting at Stanford. Anything can be left in my care. Oh, oh, nice. Quite straightforward. Jin Hyuk nodded, looking satisfied. Age, experience, and specs. He thought this was enough. As you can see, things aren't going well here. The guild leader is dead, and the wounded are everywhere. Yes, yes. So I am going to entrust this guild to you. Uh, yes. Yes? Kim Hee Wong's eyes widened as if they would explode. There is nothing to think about. Honestly, it would be a waste to destroy such a middle-class guild. Just handle it in moderation. It was a plan that he had thought up on the way here. Just barge into the boss's office and then take control of the guild from behind the scenes. This guy would serve the perfect role in that arrangement. As a secretary, he should know everything happening in the guild. 
but, but if I were to be the guild master, no one would follow me. Right. A non-player and former secretary, suddenly in the top seat, who would follow? You don't have to worry about those who oppose you. Ah, will you take care of it yourself? Kihi Wong's face brightened. Considering the power that Jin Hyuk had shown, it would be simple. If Shin Gunsu was taken down so easily, then everyone else in the guild would be easy as well. But Jin Hyuk shook his head. No. Why would he take up such a messed up job? Did you hear everything? Jin Hyuk glanced at the ring on his hand. Right. Nah, no. To me? Elise, who was silent, became shocked. I have work to do. Since he was done clearing the ruins, he no longer needed to be stuck on level one. Jin Hyuk smiled. Now was the time to really grow. The cell phones vibrated. It was a short order that told them to convene for some reason. Damn it. I am so busy. What is this? Don't even bother asking. I was in the middle of a raid. No matter how hard it is to ignore, isn't this getting worse and worse each day? Players belonging to the Black Crow Guild gathered around the building and grunted. It was quiet inside. There was shattered glass on the floor. The sight was different from normal, which made everyone confused. What is this? This is our... building, right? A deep sense of discomfort rose in the players. They knew that something had clearly gone wrong. The guildmaster was dead. His body was crashed on the car outside the building. H how did this happen? Gun Su Hyung. Then, who gave them the emergency call? Everyone's eyes turned to the other person in the room. It was the secretary, Kim Hee Wong. The anger from the players soared as the man stood around with an anxious look. One player even pulled out a weapon. A spear over two meters in length was immediately pulled out from the subspace inventory. The sharp weapon was extended towards Kim Hee Wong's neck. Do not miss a fucking thing and tell me what happened, right now. Ha. Huh. What happened was... Kim Hee Wong glanced to the side with a troubled look. His gaze was clearly aimed under the table. Who else was here? Just as everyone thought about that question. A white-haired girl who looked too young to be here appeared from under the tail. She had long, white hair, red eyes, and a strange atmosphere around her. The girl scratched her head in annoyance. She didn't even care about the weapons that had been pulled out. How could she look this carefree? This is absurd. Do you want me to think that a kid could have done this? The man with the spear clicked his tongue, and at that moment, Elise felt angry. Kid. Kid. It was then that a red-colored magic began to overflow into the room. The killing intent that had been heating up the room disappeared immediately and was replaced by a cold sensation that made their bodies feel like they would freeze. Oh my... W what magic? S she is a monster. The players had all gone stiff-faced, and no one even thought of running. Whoa, could calm down. D... Didn't the president tell us to not kill if possible? Kim Hee Wong said in a panic. One still needed core resources to operate a guild. Jin Hyuk urged them to preserve the rankers as much as possible, but... What? Didn't you hear what they said to me? Elise had lost her reasoning. It was as if the accumulated stress had burst out alongside a large amount of magic. All of the windows in the building were smashed. Awakened association in Seo Cho Dong. Jin Hyuk went there to prove that he had passed the second test. 1 p.m. The exact time promised. Jin Hyuk looked around after checking his phone. Now it is almost time. And just as he thought that, Hyung. Appa. Here. Over here. Two people were waving their hands as they approached him at the entrance. It was Lee Taemin and Yu Yeonhua. Considering the time, it hadn't been too long. But why? Jin Hyuk felt happy seeing the two of them. Jin Hyuk walked out of the association. However, there were other people besides Lee Taemin and Yu Yeonhua. The person he had asked to take care of the Black Crow Guild, Kim Hee Wong. Appa, do you know this man? Hyung, that person, isn't he the secretary of the Black Crow Guild? Lee Taemin and Yu Yeon Hua asked with anxious faces. The two of them only had terrible memories of that guild. He could understand. They could not help but react like this since they didn't know the circumstances. It is fine. Fellow people I know. Now that this has happened, they should start getting to know each other. There was something they needed to do for the future. Jin Hyuk introduced them to each other. And, of course, he changed the information slightly. 
For example, Elise had hidden her identity and referred to herself as a player from the North. There would be an uproar if they knew that she was the true ancestor. Li Taiman and Yu Yunhua, who were initially skeptical, nodded their heads. The guild side will be handled by Kim He Wong. Yan Hua and Taiman also can contact him when you have time. He'll handle everything from dungeon recruitment to various conveniences. Yes, just contact me. If you are acquaintances of the president, then I will do anything to help. Kim He Wong clenched his fist. The guy had said that he was abused while working below Shin Gunsu. Now that he was free of that man, his expression had brightened. Wow. So, is Hyung the Black Crow Guild Master? To the world. It is this friend. But I am the one who actually runs it. Hyung, you attacked the ruins and took a guild into your grasp in just a few days. Are you really a human? No. Lee Taemin seems to be at a loss for words. He knew that Jin Hayuk was a veteran, but wasn't this like breaking all the limits? He didn't have much to say other than calling this whole thing crazy. At the same time, his heart began to race wildly at the fact that he was acquainted with such a monstrous person. Meeting Hyung is the luck of my life. Although large guilds and rankers in the world were fighting each other for supremacy, when compared to Jin Hyuk, they were all ridiculously weak. It was like joking about calculus in front of Stephen Hawking. No matter what happens, I will believe you till the end. Lee Taman had made up his mind. While Kim Hee Wong was talking, Jin Hyuk looked at Elise. And you... Seeing her with pouting lips, he sighed. No. Let's not talk. Why? Why? I didn't even do anything. But you are the one poking me. Is it even normal to blow things up because you got called as a kid? When he heard this news from Kim Hee Wong, he doubted his ears. Just for that reason. Shit. The entire nation would return to the Stone Age if all Koreans had a personality like this. More than anything else, you have lived for thousands of years. Can't you not get angry at such provocations? T that... It is because no one provoked me until recently. You are amazing. For real. The Selfish Queen. Vampires weren't just plagued with pride and high self-esteem, but the princess disease too. Jin Hyuk clicked his tongue. I need to go hunting now. Get into the ring. Uh? Can't you hunt alone? Because it is hunting, we need supporters. Ah. Uh. And don't worry. If you help this time, I will give you a good rest. This time, he needed Elise's efficiency on his side. But is there any place left for hunting? They said all the guilds have monopolized them until the third floor. The Tower of Trials reached up to the fiftieth floor. In actuality, the Tower of Trials did not only have fifty floors. Jin Hyuk smiled. From now, I will show you why a veteran is a veteran. At the Lake of the Moon on the first floor of the Tower of Trials. It was a location that boasted a beautiful view. It was said that a moon floating in the night sky would look like it was also below the surface of the water. However, no one would go to that place despite such a name. It was obvious. There was no time to leisurely enjoy the view when the survival of mankind was at stake. While it was more beautiful than any other place, it was also the most lonely. Lake of the Moon. But then, someone approached the lake. It was Jin Hyuk. This too. It has been so long. When his level was low, he used to often come here. After crossing the middle point of the tower, he barely ever came. So seeing this again was lovely. You seem to have good taste. But what do you mean you will hunt here? Elise's voice came out of the ring. Look here. Jin Hyuk smiled as he walked along the edge of the lake. He didn't come here to just take a midnight walk. He was here to find something. His footsteps quickened and his eyes moved around quickly. Surely in here. As I thought, Jin Hyuk, who found a statue that resembled a carp, went stiff. Although it was only one of the twelve statues on this lake's shore, this particular one served a different purpose. Jin Hyuk reached out and traced the sculpture. He traced his fingers across its whole surface, edges, and found a hole. Oh, is there a secret button in it? If it was that easy, anyone would have noticed it immediately. Wouldn't it be too funny for veterans to grow by doing such easy things? The number of people who found this place exceeded a three-digit number. It was even mentioned within the community from time to time. However, despite the rumors, no one could find the key that fit the hole. That was one thing that couldn't be done. 
It isn't unlocked with a key. Lake of the Moon. In accordance with the location's name, the method of unlocking the statue's secret was a bit special. Jin Hyuk covered the hole with his palm blocking the moonlight. And as he removed his palm, the moonlight shone its light into the hole. Nice. Jin Hyuk used his palm to control the amount and angle of light entering. Calmly. If anything was out of sync, he wouldn't be able to get what he needed. Once, twice, and again. The moonlight touched the hole in a peculiar rhythm. And right at that moment, the whole lake began to vibrate. Just like Moses divided the Red Sea, the lake's water divided itself into two. The terrain had changed completely. Now where do I go? Jin Hyuk went down the long stairs leading to the lake's bottom. This was a hidden layer that had never allowed humans to enter. Therefore, it was a place that was filled with mystery. Finally, you have entered the first underground level in the Tower of Trials' first floor. The underground was one of the hidden places in the Tower of Trials. Finally, he reached a customized hunting ground where he could grow. You can come now. Elise looked around in disbelief. Oh my. How could there be such a space under the tower? She seemed shocked. The situation must be so surprising since her red eyes were wide open. What do you think? Uh? Little by little, don't you think the contract with me was a good thing? Well, I don't think what you said back there is complete nonsense. Little, very little. It is becoming believable. Elise answered while avoiding Jin Hyuk's gaze. She still had her pride to take care of. So Jin Hyuk didn't really care before a sudden thought entered his mind. Who do the beings of the tower think of the players? The game had become a reality, but... Were they just part of the data in the game? Or did the giant world of the Tower of Trials exist somewhere outside Earth? There were too many possibilities, but no clear answer. Because this wasn't something that you could find on just Google. However, if it was Elise, who had been alive for thousands of years, perhaps she may have the answer. Elise, there is one thing I want to ask, Jin Hyuk said, but... The words that came out of his mouth weren't Korean. No, it wasn't even a language. It was just a combination of tones that were unpleasant to the ear. What? What is this? Such scary voices. Elise groaned as she stepped back. As expected, this happened? He had wondered how he could resolve the doubt regarding the incongruity between the players and the residents of the tower but they had blocked the exchange of information. A simple but sure way. No. Nothing. It was nothing. It was still a good thing that he learned that he would not be able to talk about the existence of the tower and its denizens. It must have been blocked. Jin Hyuk took out the frozen tears and twilight dew. Before he started this hunt in earnest, he needed to raise his magic. Twilight dew is brought in contact with the frozen tears. The second thawing begins. With a warm light and sizzling sound, the magic began to seep into Jin Hyuk's body. Magic increases by plus 18. Nice. With this, the second thawing was successful. The difference appeared right away. Phew. Stable breathing and magic flowed smoothly. Maintaining Elise's form outside was also more comfortable. Well, he can just be comfortable in general now. In terms of levels, it would be close to around level 6. I want to try it out quickly. He wondered how many unique abilities and skills he could use with his increased magic. There was a reason why the first underground floor of the Tower of Trials was called the Spawning Ground. It was because the monsters here constantly crawled out of the abyss. Insects with black skin, ground beetles that were the size of a tiger. Their dozens of legs moved quickly as they narrowed the distance. Additionally, all of their levels were over 20. It meant that they were all strong. As the distance got closer, the insects jumped to attack him. However, just before their sharp claws and teeth even touched him, unique ability Blessing of the Stars is activated. A ray of light fell from the lake. It was Teresa's power that could grant protection from the constellations. Magic defense of monsters reduced by 30%. Physical defense of monsters reduced by 30%. The insects twisted in place as they suffered. Having lived in darkness for too long, the light was something they could not handle. From their perspective, their eyes must be burning. And Jin Hyuk wasn't the kind of person who would stand still with his enemies defenseless. As expected, worms need to be burned to taste better. 
crispy on the outside and soft on the inside with the right amount of heat. Jin Hyuk's shoulders were slightly tilted as the fire flared up. The insects were crawling on the ground. Is it roughly done? The moment he said that. They are coming again. Elise glanced behind them. Suddenly dozens of new insects were crawling up. Don't just talk and show your skills too. Shouldn't you work for your meal? What? To use such a noble body for those lowly. A noble person cannot look at the sunlight, so should I keep her in the ring forever? She still hadn't fixed the habit of looking down at everything from her throne. I once was the queen of an empire, and when I opened my eyes, I turned into a sudra of India. At Jin Hyuk's threats, Elise trembled. She realized that whining would make her life miserable. F fine. I will do it. Elise activates Levi. Bloodbind. Woong. Drops of blood appeared in the air, creating a large circle of red liquid. In the blink of an eye, the insect's bodies hardened. It was a skill that increased their defensive stats. No matter how much they were just giant insects, it was still a sight that made her cringe. Now, she had to end it. Jin Hyuk grabbed his dagger and approached them. Worth using, though. She didn't kill them, but was acting like support. The experience would be monopolized by the person who delivers the final blow. It was for this reason that he held onto Elise. Slash. His dagger cut the insects down as their heads flew off. Next, and then the next one as well. As long as their movements were sealed, dealing with the monsters was a piece of cake. Level has risen. Level has risen. Level has risen. His level kept going up as his status window shined constantly. Ha <laughs> ha. Jin Hyuk smiled. It was so fun to run wild as he pleased. He thought he would die from waiting for things to get done. I think I was stressed out because of the restriction of holding on to LV1. But he didn't have to do it anymore. Finally, he can satisfy his thirst for growth. He saw new insects coming up. Don't act this time. You want to do it yourself? Yes. I want to test how far I can use the ability with the magic I have. Jin Hyuk infused magic into the dagger. Unique ability Sword Grave is activated. The swordsman's talent permeated his body, and he could feel his entire senses becoming sharper. His heart was beating fast, too. For the first time, a proper fight. Please, please do not stop until I take you all down. Tat! Jin Hyuk moved. Inside an old-fashioned castle that would have been suitable for the Middle Ages. Here, America's Titan, Europe's Olympus, China's People's Republic, and Korea's Father of Fighting were present. The representatives of those seven guilds were here with a single purpose. They were to hold a meeting regarding the attack on the third floor boss, which had already failed eight times. Nice. Looking at the rankers who continued to enter the hall, Teresa sighed. She had heard that it was not a serious matter, but it looked worse than expected, considering all of the representatives of the guilds were stuck to their chairs. I cannot help but be nervous. There were now less than forty days left for mankind. She didn't know, but this meeting was supposed to be a turning point. And at that moment, a middle-aged man holding a wine glass opened his mouth. It was Patrick, an S-rank player who attended as the representative of America's Titan Guild. It seems like most of us have gathered, so let us start. And the whispers stopped as everyone looked at Patrick. As you all already know, the eighth raid attempt to enter the fourth floor has failed. Out of the raid group that involved 100 people and 15 relics, only nine returned alive. Quite the elaborate speech. The attempt had the help of 1,500 players. However, despite their support, the raid had failed once again. Why? Was it because the boss monster was overwhelmingly strong? Because there were a lot of traps? No. The final boss monster on the third floor was an ordinary monster, and there were no traps in its room. Damn it, even a holy relic failed. So how do we break through it? Right, the problem was neither quantity nor quality. To reach the fourth floor, not just hundreds or thousands, but tens of thousands of statues had been knocked down. As I am saying again now, the raids on the second and third floors were done too hastily. In the end, you can see. How much did it cost us? Mage Maria, who was Olympus's representative, added in. If only there were enough players over level 15, the raid wouldn't fail. 
However, the gap that was caused by the greed to climb the tower caused the level gap between players to widen. In the end, a month passed. I guess you're right. Wasn't it all because of the Chinese side's monopoly of the magic crystals? Beck Jinho, of Dangan Guild's third raid team, growled through his teeth. The Chinese side, silent until then, began to speak. It is hard for us to ignore that statement. We only climbed the tower for the sake of mankind. Misleading others without evidence is not allowed. Ten Wei, who belonged to the People's Republic, frowned in protest. Puahaha, you sound like you are giving yourself an out. Everyone here knows how many people your side killed to create a single faction called the People's Republic. If you say another word, what? What will you do? Stop. As they were about to get up, Patrick intervened. This isn't the time to bring up past incidents. There was a reality that they had to address now. This meant that this wasn't the time for them to fight. You have something in mind? Yes. There is only one way to get around this situation. Patrick's face darkened as his lips trembled at the thought of saying the words he never thought he would say. But he was determined as it was something that needed to be done. Yesterday morning, I received a call from demonic humans. They will help under one condition. At Patrick's words, there was a massive commotion in the hall. No! You want to accept their offer? They are a collection of human trash. We can never side with those bugs. Never. The representatives of each guild began to raise their voices. Currently, the influence of large guilds exceeds that of governments. This was why a cause for any action was important. One word and one action could cause infinite ripples. Everyone was reluctant to join hands with the demonic humans because of that. They are garbage, and hearing the words of garbage hurts the heart. Then, something wriggled from the shadow of the room's fire as an ominous shadow rose up. The shadow soon took on a human form. It was an old man with a thin white beard. However, the magic emanating from this man was too large to ignore. It's good that you guild people have pride, but you know you can't do it either, right? The old man asked. You impudent man! How did you get in here? Mr. Patrick, did you bring such a man into the room? I will cut off your filthy head and hang you from a tree. Various weapons were pulled out as magic was infused into them. The once quiet hall devolved into chaos in an instant. The old man clicked his tongue. There are only bloodthirsty friends here. However, if only our conditions were heard, you would change your mind. We have the power to break through the boss. Bullshit. What do you mean when your small number of men are nothing before us? The power of the demonic humans was, in actuality, not that significant. And such a small group would never be able to win against the third floor boss. Even a raid that consisted of a thousand men had been annihilated, with no one surviving longer than three days. Hmm. Wouldn't it be enough to make the numbers, then? The old man struck the ground twice with a stick that had a skull atop it. A dull noise echoed around the hall, and... Unique ability. Tomb of the Cursed Graveyard. Cracks appeared on the floor. W what This. People who spotted the cracks appearing were shocked. At the same time, corpses and bones that had been below the ground began to rise up one after another. Hehehe. <laughs> there are many useful corpses buried under this land. Thanks to you, we can get good quality soldiers. The skeleton soldiers, which seemed to number in the three digits, approached them. Although they had the appearance of those who had been trapped underground for many years, their swords and shields were in fine condition. This can be called an army as well. As you can see, among the demonic humans, there are many friends who are good at necromancy and summoning. Necromancy? But you want to play on such a scale? Tenwei, who was mumbling, then said, No, that staff. The old man holding that staff. He had seen it before. To be precise, he saw it when he played the Tower of Trials. Oh, there's someone here that knows this? The old man proudly stroked the staff, a special item that could only be made after collecting 99 materials. It wasn't easy to make because it required bizarre and cruel items. If the synthesis was successful, this item displayed the best abilities of a necromancer. As expected, a combination of a staff of greed and necromancer would have a good chance. A ninth attempt might be possible. Mr. Tenwei. No. Maria glanced over. If these people are approaching us to do some trickery, I don't think they will end it with just this. 
but they don't seem to be planning anything. And this plan isn't bad. Hmm. I am sorry. But I agree with the Chinese this time. Of course, there is a condition that the public shouldn't know of this. Baek Jinho spoke in agreement. One by one, the atmosphere slowly turned to one favorable to the demonic human's proposal. Teresa bit her lip while looking at the scene in front of her. How did this come to happen? No matter what, to join hands with demonic humans? She wanted to stop and not let them accept such a deal. However, with the absence of a way out, she couldn't blindly oppose it. If only Mr. Jin Hyuk was here. Then, there would be no reason to worry about this. Unlike the fakes here, he was the only real veteran to her. Considering the many things she had seen him do in the ruins, he must know how to get to the fourth floor. But, I alone cannot do it. Right. That could not happen. It was impossible to reverse the situation on her own. It was as she thought that, a blue status window activated in front of her. A video call has been requested. She usually wouldn't care about other players contacting her. But... After reading the following line, her heart began to beat like crazy. The target player is Kang Jin Hyuk. Here it was. Are you sure you want to accept the call? A call from the person she desperately needed. Mr. Jin Hyuk. With trembling hands, she pressed to accept, and a relaxed face could be seen on the other side. The figure of Jin Hyuk, who looked as confident as ever. And Jin Hyuk. What is this? Do those skeletons have osteoporosis? He started with the most sensible words. Was it because his voice was too loud? The old man heard it and became enraged. What? what did he say? What about the skeletons? Say it? You dared to make fun of my summons? Hmm. Did it come across as too harsh? But what about it? They might look strong to mediocre players, but were just cute toys to veterans. Don't use your voice from behind the screen. Come show yourself right now. In video calls, only your direct conversation partner could see your face, while unrelated parties could only hear the voice. Of course, this could be changed if both parties agreed to it. Are you fine with it? Teresa asked him. It is fine. It looks like I contacted you at a troublesome moment, but this looks interesting. Jin Hyuk nodded his head. The video call has been converted to an open call. With that short system message, a man with a strange mask appeared and silence took over the hall that had been filled with a raucous commotion. T that mask! Ruins! The one who attacked the ruins is you! Oh my. I didn't think anyone had your contact. But Teresa knew you? It was natural for them to be unable to control their excitement. A player who hid his identity behind a mask. So many people had been looking for him, but none had found a clue. Everyone wanted to catch the promising player before others got to them. This was a common thought shared by those here. Teresa was working with him, so there is a high chance that the person doesn't belong to a guild yet. Then it means that the person who gets him first is the winner. Coin, items, or money can be poured out to get him. Of course, bringing him is enough to change the face of the guild completely. Maybe this is the last chance I can get. The representatives of each guild gulped as they looked at each other. They looked like they were just waiting for the right time to pounce. At that moment. How amusing. The old man stepped forward. Right. I heard about it too. I wonder if you are the one who played an active part in the ruins on the first floor. But this boss we are attacking is different. In the ruins, the power of each individual monster could be strong. But their numbers weren't many. On the other hand, the third floor boss had monstrous strength along with subordinate monsters serving under it. This meant that there was a fundamental difference between this task and conquering a ruin. Hmm? Then are you saying you can, no matter how many enemies there are? Jin Hyuk asked while touching his stomach. Right. Having a large number of summoned beasts is my specialty. A large number of summons. Summoned beasts here meant the skeleton, right? He admitted that there were quite a few here, but... It must be difficult with that fake staff, though. W what It's only half done, right? I see that the adult heart and the shroud soaked in oil were omitted. That... how do you know? How do you think? That is because it looks different from the real Staff of Greed. The finished product with all the right ingredients would have a red gem studded under the skull on the right. Above all, the quality of skeleton soldiers is too low. The finished item... you've seen it? The old man mumbled in shock. The shock must be too much. 
Even his beard was shaking. Curious? If you want, I can tell you where to find the rest of the ingredients. Really? Where? Ahem. The old man almost completely gave in to his desires, but managed to hold himself back. Because even a single word said here would be acknowledging his defeat. Jin Hyuk, who saw that, smiled bitterly as if he knew this would happen. After all, the opponent was an empty shell with no power. At least he was using his head and tried to take a share from the guilds by fooling them with words of plausibility. Just looking at his half-completed staff, his intentions here were evident. There was just a shallow intention of stealing items or coins under the guise of a down payment. As things were becoming slightly strange, the old man grit his teeth. Fine. For now, I will leave you. No matter who you are, I will surely repay you for this shame. Wow. Old man. It is the first time I have actually seen someone like you. What? No. Aren't you a bit embarrassed when saying that? I will surely repay you for this shame. If such a line was written for an anime from the 90s, the broadcaster would come to beat you. If he had just vanished, Jin Hyuk wouldn't have cared. But the problem with this guy was his mouth. You... The old man glared at Jin Hyuk as if he wanted to kill him. But it was only for a moment. Fat! The shadows rose up. The next time we meet in person, we will see if you can be as relaxed as you are now. And... Those here, be mindful of this. The fact that we are the only force with strength. The figure of the old man was then swallowed up by the darkness. The hall fell silent once more. So much had happened in such a short span of time that everyone there needed a moment to process it. It doesn't matter if you leave the task to fail in the hands of such a clumsy person, but personally, I don't think that is a good option. Jin Hyuk shrugged his shoulders at Patrick. I know but we had no options. Why was there no other option? Jin Hyuk said again, Leave it to me. I will take care of the job without having to work together with the demonic humans to attack the tower. Ye, you don't mean it. Patrick was shocked. Was it possible to attack the tower alone? If it wasn't said by the player who solo conquered the ruins, these words would have been considered a bad joke. Jin Hyuk nodded his head without hesitation. It is possible because this was why he had gone to the underground floor. t, -t, -t then how do we pay you for it? You don't have to give me anything. Uh, let me go in alone. If you lock the entire area down so no other players can come, I don't care about being paid. At Jin Hyuk's words, Patrick's mouth dropped. It was from shock at how lenient the terms were. Why are you even doing this? That is... Jin Hyuk glanced at Teresa. I just want to do the right thing for the sake of humanity and my colleagues. As soon as he said those words, Jin Hyuk had to pinch his thigh. Ah, damn it. Just saying that makes my legs go weak. That old man from a moment ago must have felt like this. However, unlike Jin Hyuk, who didn't like his own words, the other representatives looked at him kindly. Teresa bit her lip. Her lips kept twitching. Ha <laughs> ha. This is... As the representative of the guild, I have nothing to say. So cool. You are a true hero. We also need to reflect on ourselves. Ha. Huh. I started with that mindset. I don't know how we ended up like this. Admiration and resilience. The representatives of the large global guilds were now reflecting on their own selves. Just one word, and they were misunderstanding everything by themselves. It is fine if I act like this. His reason for not accepting a down payment wasn't for the sake of humanity. It wasn't even for the aim of taking care of the guilds. Jin Hyuk glanced at the camera. Currently, all screens and conversations are being recorded. A player who gave up all rewards for the sake of mankind. How much could they benefit from such a phrase? He didn't know for sure. But it'll likely be several times more than what the guilds would have offered as a reward. You idiots, that will be the down payment. I am not the kind of person who misses the big things to go after little things. Think about it. How much would these guilds even be able to give him a down payment at this early stage of the game? Maybe one low-level relic? Or coins? If I have time, I can get those things by myself. However, a solid position in the public's eyes with all the benefits derived from it was a sure gain. Furthermore, first broadcast function. If someone succeeds in the solo raid that failed for the others, 
Just the thought was thrilling. Jin Hyuk's heart started beating with a pleasant rhythm as if it was celebrating knowing the lottery numbers for the next week in advance. And, if I succeed this time, I would like to see you all and have a meal together. Oh, of course. We are looking forward to it. I wish that day would come. Everyone added their own words with hope on their faces. They looked genuinely happy, but no matter how happy. Only I can do it? Jin Hyuk gulped and wiped his mouth. It was then. Ha! 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 Are you going to kill me? Elise turned towards him with a gasping face. Ah, right. She was forgotten. During the video call with Teresa, bugs were still climbing up, so he made her deal with them. As a result, she had used up all her remaining magic and was on the verge of fainting. It is fine to see you complain about something else for a change. If you were really going to die, you wouldn't have the energy to complain. But this is fine, seeing you all fine. Did d you that would comfort me? This... this is a slavery contract. Elise looked helpless. What? But to feel remorse, one had to have a conscience. Ch. What do you see me as? Do you think I am messing around? Anyway, I was thinking of buying a magic supplement from the coin exchange and giving it to you. Although it was the cheapest one, it didn't matter since Elise couldn't see the coin exchange. What would she even be able to do if he insisted it was the most expensive one? But, sorry, but such supplements don't work for me. Elise shook her head. What? Didn't I say that you cannot domesticate me? What? what is that? <laughs> don't worry. I will take back the mana I've used up. Elise smiled brightly and her teeth shone. Why does this sight feel ominous? It definitely felt wrong. When he had met the first time, she had said, Tasty. And your blood smells delicious, right? She said those two things. Man. This was dangerous. Jin Hyuk took a few steps back without even realizing it. With the sound of liquid dripping down. Finally, the blood donation, which saved a life, was done. Hey hey. It was yummy. Satisfied, Elise wiped the drops of blood from her lips with a handkerchief. On the other hand, Jin Hyuk was caressing the tooth marks on his neck with a complicated expression. Sting. His head felt dizzy. Just how much blood did she suck? Next, it was time to stop by the coin exchange. Jin Hyuk's eyes moved across the screen. He had to buy a few items to get everything he wanted. Exponential pill, C, 11500. Unknown cube, D, 2500. Ability booster, D, 5000. Cobweb of Carl Tourist Forest, F, 300. Runny nose of the twin-headed ogre, 100 millilitres, F, 300. Jin Hyuk bought the items in an instant. Since he had already decided what to get, there was no hesitation. You bought a bunch of useless things. Elise tilted her head. Her face was clearly asking why he was buying so much garbage for so many coins. Well, those who didn't know would all react like that. Look here. Jin Hyuk smiled and walked to the edge. You want to head down? Yes, I am going to get crazy busy from now on. He should enjoy the day, especially as he will be heading into the hole now. After saying that, he took a step forward. The wind buffeted hard against his body. The gust of wind was so strong that even the element of fire couldn't maintain its form. Because of this, even his vision wasn't working right. Any solutions? Why aren't you answering me? Say something. No. Are you thinking of committing suicide here? Elise screamed while holding onto Jin Hyuk's shoulder. She was a true ancestor of the vampires. Even if the earth was hit by a meteor, she would probably live through it. But the human body wasn't like that. If he died instantly, it was good, but if he was lucky, he might survive down there with a non-function body. Gravity magic or flying magic is too much. He didn't even know when he would reach the bottom, so using those magics would be a waste. Perhaps it would work with the player avatar body he had when this was all a game, but now it was impossible. Despite Elise's urgings, Jin Hyuk didn't answer. He simply kept counting internally. 17 minutes and 13 seconds. 17 minutes 20 seconds. 17 minutes 44 seconds. The time was observed diligently as if a clock was in his head. And finally, now. Jin Hyuk, who had been silent, shouted. Elise activates love? Reverse gravity. In an instant, Jin Hyuk's body defied gravity. 
The timing of its activation left his body approximately one meter away from the ground. He would have met a terrible end if he had been just a little late. Done. Now that I am at a height where I can jump and get off, there is no need to use magic. Uh. Uh. Ely waved her hand, allowing the gravity to return to normal and leaving Jin Hyuk to land on the ground. First, my eyes. Not even a speck of light was visible in the surrounding darkness. Element of fire is activated. Four balls of fire rose up in four separate directions. The place was a moist place filled with mud and stones. The deepest part of the Tower of Trials. His heart kept pounding loudly as he walked into the darkness and said, Why don't you come out now? With these low-level bugs, no matter how many come, it will be useless. Isn't it time for you to understand? This splendid performance was just to summon the master of this underground. And it was then that a reply came. Oh. You know about me? Someone answered from the dark, making his skin crawl. A feeling of intimidation similar to when he met Elise. Indeed, a vessel which contains the body of a god. Answer me. I asked if you knew about me. The magic in that voice grew stronger. Of course I know. I have heard the hounds roaming the desert and the biting sounds in my ear. Desert Hound. Those words are used to address the Egyptian god, Anubis. Since you are the first human to come here, I decided to wait for a while before killing you. But you are forcing my hand. I have no intention of flirting around either. Doesn't the group dynamic work better when the one above everyone shows himself? The hive was a special item that could multiply insects indefinitely. That item was why the underground was known as the best hunting ground. Amazing. You know about that too. I know more than that. If possible, it would be better if we didn't hide behind bugs and stuff and came out directly to save each other's time. Pwahaha, are you saying that you want to go against me? Well, this was an expected reaction. Considering the difference between them, Jin Hyuk was likely like a little child in Anubis's eyes. In the end, if he wanted to copy its ability, he would have to taunt it. Anubis's Judgment Description Anubis asks three questions, the target answers three questions, and the curse is activated. All stats are reduced by 50% for those who are cursed, and all unique abilities and skills are sealed for one minute. A deceptive unique ability that had an absolute roll-on effect, and for him to acquire that skill. Copy condition. Destroy the vessel containing Anubis's consciousness by exhausting his patience. Even if his physical body was just a stone statue imparted with part of a god's consciousness, it would be impossible for him to run out of patience. However, the condition could feasibly be achieved through the most extreme of probabilities. I am empowered to ask the most powerful questions in this world. A heavy layer of magic filled the entire underground level. Shit! Elisa's face became stiff. She was one of the absolute beings that existed in the tower. If Elise was at the apex, then this opponent was one of the apex characters of mythology. This wasn't an enemy that could be taken lightly. I will take care of him, so in the meantime, try to find a way out. Uh? I can manage to survive, so you need to run away. What? Are you worried about me? She was the size of a Pomeranian. How could she stand in front of him so proudly? Like a dog trying to protect its master. What are you worried about? Promises cannot be kept if you die. What you're about to do will lead to that. Elise screamed in annoyance. Do not worry and just watch. What? Is it really the time to act proud? It isn't about being prideful. I am just asking you to trust me. He'll show her. Just who was the player she had made a contract with. And who would be smiling in the end. A loud roar filled the air as a three-meter-tall stone statue moved. Its appearance was modeled after that of a desert jackal. The underground's boss monster. Anubis. Interesting. Did you hear anything about me from the true ancestor on your shoulder? Anubis asked a question. The atmosphere changed rapidly. This feeling. That's right. As expected, was he going to accept it? Anubis's unique ability, Anubis judgment, is activated. The caster would now ask three questions. The conditions of the skill would then be satisfied. Enough. Jin Hyuk smiled. Right. Right. How else would I be able to know this place? I see. 
Anubis nodded his jackal head. If it was the true ancestor, then she would be able to know everything about the underground. Is your purpose for coming here to claim the hive? Well, something like that. If I claim it and sell it on the market, I can get a good price. If it was an item that allowed the infinite multiplication of insects, then it would be worth the price. That was the second question. Then I will ask you one last question, Grave Robber. It is the natural habit of small creatures to be blinded by treasure. But did you think you could escape alive after entering my realm? Last but not least, a boring question. Of course, it had to be this. If I can't get rid of you, I will bite my tongue and die. Jin Hyuk spat out his answer, and as he did, the power of the divine manifested. All requirements have been met. Anubis's judgment has been activated. All stats are reduced by 50%. The use of unique abilities and skills is sealed for one minute. Status windows appeared one after another. At the same time, he could feel the magic in his body diminishing. His sharp senses felt dulled, and access to his skills was cut off. But it wasn't finished yet. The true terror of this ability was what followed. Anubis chooses Judgment of the Great Player. Introduce yourself. This is the Great Player that will be my hands and feet. Anubis proclaimed in a deep, low voice, and at the same time, powerful magic surged forward, incomparable to the magic exuded by the insects. The entire underground level shook. A great warrior was chosen by the Divine and obeyed their orders. Therefore, Jin Hyuk's opponent would have the power to crush any enemy that stood in its way. Its pale skin and dazzling claws stood out immediately. Isn't his level around 71? The level of the Blood Clan he had faced in the ruins was around level 50 or so, with a few that were a bit higher. However, the situation now was completely different from then. Due to Anubis's judgment, his stats were halved and his abilities sealed. Jin Hyuk held his dagger without much thought. Stop drooling. Do you want to eat my head that badly? The giant mantis quickly slid over the sand, instantly narrowing the distance between them. Its scythe-like arms were aimed at his neck. But... Jin Hyuk twisted the path of the attack using his dagger, making it only cut the air. The giant mantis body leaned forward as its center of gravity was utterly compromised. You're full of gaps, you insect. What could it do with its eyes looking around at a 360-degree angle? It didn't even have enough time to react. Jin Hyuk's eyes gleamed with a hidden smile while, at the same time, his dagger slashed through the gaps in the giant mantis guard. The sound of its flesh breaking apart was accompanied by a bright green fluid spurting out. This damage was only possible since he had aimed at its joints instead of its skin. It was screaming desperately already with just one leg hurt. Jin Hyuk pulled his dagger out and widened the distance. You were looking down on me for being human? Well, now you've lost one leg. This is the nature of some strong monsters. They looked down on their opponents and inevitably got tricked as their supposed prey proved stronger than expected. The giant mantis's steps flattered. It growled with its mouth as its body's fluids dripped to the sands below. It was just for a short time, however. Its severed leg regenerated. This always makes me speechless. Each time its limb was cut, it would grow back. Jin Hyuk staggered forward and stood in front of the giant mantis that was struggling to stand back up, and as it repeatedly tried to get up. One, two, three. Once the enraged giant mantis finally got up, he would defeat it again. He immediately repeated the same action. One, two, three. The point of this was never to make it difficult for himself. It was a relaxed atmosphere as a slight smile appeared on his lips. To finish it, he put on an expression that seemed to say, you won't be able to defeat me in a hundred years. It felt like his thighs were going to explode, but it was fine. This moment of heaping insults upon the strong was the reason why veterans existed in this world. H How can this happen? Anubis let out a scream, stained with anger and shock. A fight he was sure would be his victory was now going in the opposite direction. It was difficult for even Elise to believe. I knew he was strong, but this strong... He had been a special person since the first time they met. She admitted it. Even Bayliss, among the best in her clan, struggled futilely against him and was defeated. However, that had been when all of his abilities could be used. It should be a completely different story in this scenario where his stats were nerfed and his unique abilities and skills sealed. 
to play with his opponents only using his senses and reflexes. Elise gulped at this unbelievable sight. Moreover, wasn't his opponent a designated warrior from Anubis? It felt instead that Jin Hyuk was immensely superior. Elise's eyes took in Jin Hyuk's movement as he repeatedly sat and stood in front of the giant mantis. Really, if it is him, it can be done. The downfall of the Ataraxia family and her hatred for the families that had caused it. Perhaps it would become a reality. Maybe he could make her dream come true. Elise's heart began to beat quietly again. Anticipation, excitement, and a sense of exaltation spread through her body. At that moment, the giant mantis's legs were cleanly severed and flew into the sky. Jin Hyuk wiped off the bodily fluids that had stained his dagger on the floor. Nice. This way, both claws could be removed. The giant mantis was backing away. It was a rare sight for an insect-type monster that was naturally belligerent. What? Can it be stopped? Didn't you like to hunt? It had been running around with the desire to kill him but was giving up already? Of course, he did understand. Hunting was fun when you were chasing something, not when you were the one being chased. And this time, it was the prey, and he was the hunter. What are you doing? Do not back down! Fight back! Anubis's voice filled the air. He was clenching his hand in frustration. However, the giant mantis didn't obey its master's orders due to its state of fear. What are you doing? Run, quickly. Jin Hyuk placed his dagger's blade on his shoulder. He then smiled as he began counting down from ten. Run as far as you can. Though that was an impossibility. A sharp scream. The body of the giant mantis collapsed with a large hole through it. No matter how powerful its regeneration, it would no longer be effective now. No matter how tough it was, a missing heart could not be regenerated. The great warrior of Anubis has fallen. Level has risen. You have acquired the magic book of the Pelteros Principality. Acquired a mid-grade magic stone. And with this, he had gained another level. In addition, a magic book that only appeared on the middle floors of the tower appeared here. Oh, look at this. Jin Hyuk was slightly surprised. He had defeated dozens of opponents, but had never been given such a good reward. Usually, the normal drops would be weapons or an item with some kind of effect. Why did the gap between the reward quality widen so suddenly? Jin Hyuk immediately realized the reason. It's probably thanks to the luck stat and everything else I've gathered. This wasn't a coincidence. The small skills he had continuously gathered helped him achieve the present results. Exhilarating. Because it means my efforts weren't in vain. Jin Hyuk picked up the old book lying next to the body. A chill spread into his fingertips. It was cold. The pure cold key will paralyze some of your fingertips. The magic book of the Peltaros Principality was something that contained ice magic, so it was traded at a high price by almost all players. Although over 90% of players wouldn't succeed in making a single snowflake, much less successfully use ice magic. The moisture in the air froze, and powder-like ice fragments began to form in the air. Unique abilities and skills can be used again. LV1 Ice Formation is activated. Huh? Why did it feel like a dog was barking? What did you just say? H how How? I studied a lot of textbooks in the past. Of course, learning a new language was never easy. Many people couldn't even use English properly after 12 years of studying. But that was the story of a passionless education. This is a study I really wanted to do. Because it was fun. It was only through learning this that he could become strong. So he practiced it to death. Over and over until he became stronger than even mages. The scattered fragments of ice magic began to take a single shape. Five ice arrows, each one two meters in length. All beautifully crafted, awaiting the command of their creator. I must admit that you are no ordinary human being. But you don't believe that those ice toys can be used to fight me, right? I know. What? I know it is useless. He could not kill Anubis with what he had. No. It wouldn't even cause a wound on the divinity's skin. Like Elise, he was a top-tier existence in the tower. But... But aren't you also nervous right now? Above all, you are not able to attack other living beings without using the insects. You must be annoyed right now. Anubis kept his silence. He had meant to intimidate his opponent, but somehow the human knew everything. He was currently in a state with many restrictions. 
What was more interesting was that, even though the human realized his attacks wouldn't work, he wasn't backing down at all. Why? He was curious. What were the human's thoughts? What was the secret behind it? However, contrary to the expectation of Anubis, Jin Hyuk's words were... For... Fun? Fun? A sandbag that wouldn't die no matter how hard I hit it. How could I give it up? Your arrogance reaches the sky, human. Anubis said as his expression changed slightly. That was something Jin Hyuk did not miss. Fine. Like a human with high self-esteem, he's weak against provocations. If he continued to just do this, he would successfully finish the copy conditions. And the proof of that was... Anubis pulled out the hive relic, which was the size of a basketball. It was a special item with the power of multiplying insects. Was he going to use it? Since Jin Hyuk had eliminated his chosen warrior, this was his only option. Tear that damned mortal to pieces and swallow him. Anubis infused magic into the hive, and... Flying insects began to pour out of the hive with disturbing sounds. At the same time, the ice arrows above Jin Hyuk's head vanished. The air was filled with a loud roar. Dozens of insects were skewered by the ice arrows and lodged into the ground. All of them were hit. As expected, it isn't too late to try this. The ice arrow was able to pierce the insects but failed to take down the hive. But that didn't matter. Victory and defeat in battle depended on who could endure the longest. Sparks of flame appeared in Jin Hyuk's left hand. In his right hand, thin stalks of ice began to rise. And right then... Element of fire, B, and ice formation, A, are fused. Jin Hyuk placed his hands together as the two polar opposite elemental energies ran rampant. The air began to change rapidly. Even the insects were forced to move back at this unknown magic. Anubis frowned. Fusion successful. You have acquired the skill, Daylight, AA. You have acquired the skill, Daylight, AA. Daylight. Acquisition difficulty. AA. Description. This is a skill that compresses and releases magic. This white type magic is known to be very powerful in itself and useful in battle because it affects the field of vision. The fuse skill is stored as memory of the world. After the ice magic, another skill appeared through fusion. It was also a skill that was specialized in dealing with a large number of enemies. And the power? He had acquired the skill in the past, but he wasn't in the same state of perfect growth as he was now. He would admit that he had made mistakes and failed. Did the wasted time and futile effort combine for this moment now? It was expected to an extent. Now, where will this road take him? Jin Hyuk extended his dagger forward. LV-1 Daylight has been activated. An intense light shone on the underground level. All of them felt like they were standing under the hot sun, with the sandworms living there feeling the brunt of its heat and light. The worms screamed in pain. Well, this was expected to happen as they had never seen light. I know it is painful. But how will you get this done if you keep your head down like this? Daylight's primary effect was light attribute damage. The skill caused damage and blinded creatures with dark attributes. However, the real effect of the skill was something else. A single point of light shone out in a straight line. It was silent, unaccompanied by roars or explosions. Neither was the ground below it destroyed, nor a hole put through a wall. It was faithful to its sole role. Lethality. White phosphorus. The demon's flame that would continue to burn everything even when underwater. The skill didn't stop as it burned all the insects in sight. Of course, the hive still continued to create insects. But Jin Hyuk broke through the deadlock of their numbers by using his magic. The only advantage that swarm insects have are their numbers. They had excellent cooperation to move and hunt in groups. In large numbers, they were challenging to deal with. It meant that it would be able to exert power that was more than the sum of its parts. In other words, defeating just one insect would have a negligible effect. As the flames rose up, they became a trigger that generated continuous explosions. His ice arrow attacks also pierced the outer skins of the attacking insects. The rate at which the insects were being destroyed was faster than their production speed. In the end, Anubis, who couldn't stand seeing this, activated the hive's second ability. Hive selects a target. Moments later, a wasp nearly a meter tall came out of the hive. The sting looked pretty dangerous, but that was it. Not only did it have low magic, but it would also have no impact on the battle alone. 
the wasp's long roar filled the air as it began to descend from the heights above. Woom. It was fast, and Jin Hyuk took out his dagger, and the stinger crossed with the dagger. Thick fluid dripped from the tip of the dagger, drop by drop. The wasp, which had lost its head, was thrown to the ground. Such a futile ending for the last chosen from the hive. That was what Jin Hyuk thought. The wasp didn't die. It was wriggling as if it was growing up instead. Being reborn? <laughs> Does it look that way? Anubis laughed in a low voice. Now a second voice could be heard. A new body had grown from not just the head, but the body as well. This was fragmentation and not regeneration. Totally like a live-action horror movie. Cutting it is useless? Correct. Now, no matter how much you run, the bugs will come for you. That was the second ability of the hive. It forced the enemy to deal with insects that would divide themselves until the enemy's stamina and magic ran out. This was because there was a limit to how strong a player could be. In the end, it would fall down to how much time he had to wait. But, finally, it came out. Jin Hyuk smiled. He smiled because this whole desperate situation had been his plan all along. He knew that all of this would simply become a paving stone that would lead to the desired results. He couldn't help but laugh. Two wasps roared. The hive ability triggers the fear status effect. The rift stat that Jin Hyuk possessed allowed him to overcome or widen any gaps he had with the target. Fear was a status effect that paralyzed a part of the senses and chipped down its target slowly until death. Quite an annoying ability, especially when used by something that didn't die and continued to reproduce. Wung. The wasps flew in towards him from the left and right. As before, Jin Hyuk again looked for the chance that appeared when they descended from the air. Now. Jin Hyuk took out an item that he had purchased at the coin exchange the other day. The giant pill, C. It was a special item that had the effect of increasing the size of the user by up to ten times. It was a trump card he had prepared for this moment. You idiot! Did you think you could survive the poison by growing in size? Anubis, who watched this, broke out into laughter. The wasp's venom was strengthened by hive and was strong enough to kill giants. Even the giant pill would be useless, but Jin Hyuk didn't eat it. Who said that I would be the one eating it? Instead, it was thrown into the mouth of a flying wasp. It went in a straight line and right down the wasp's throat. What? what Is this... Anubis questioned the action, but Jin Hyuk didn't give him an answer. Instead, he slammed the ground and ran forward. I need to finish it before the pill gets absorbed. He had about one minute. That was the amount of time he had until the wasp turned into a giant. The distance between them was narrowed instantly, and he approached its nose. The wasp moved its tail reflexively. Its sting, dripping with venom, was aimed toward Jin Hyuk. Still aiming for the carotid artery. It was their instinct to aim for a vital point. Jin Hyuk moved his neck slightly to avoid the sting. At the same time, he stretched out his arms and climbed onto the wasp's back, as smooth and natural as flowing water. The wasp twisted its whole body. It couldn't run despite its desire to get away. Jin Hyuk firmly grabbed the wasp's wings on its back and pressed onto a part of its nervous system with his thumb. And the movements of the wasps became noticeably slower as he had hit its central nervous system. This allowed him to control its speed, direction, and aggression. Flaying with insects in the past definitely helped with this. This was why experience was useful in life, no matter how crazy. Of course, there were more memories of him falling down from them. Wung. Jin Hyuk rode the wasp and flew towards the hive. What are you doing? Kill him! Kill him right now! Anubis gave the order to the other wasp. The other wasp followed the order and began to follow Jin Hyuk. He now had 30 seconds left. Faster! A little faster. It wasn't easy to keep his eyes open as the wind hit him, but he still increased his speed. Twenty seconds. Nineteen. And the moment when the time remaining was ten seconds. Unknown cube, D, has been used. Jin Hyuk used another item he bought at the coin exchange. Wung. A translucent tube, about two meters in size, wrapped itself around the hive. Of course, right as one side of the cube closed, Jin Hyuk had escaped from inside, leaving behind the wasp he had controlled. Now. For the finish. Combining four items to strengthen the unknown QB. Ability Booster, D. Sticky Glue, F, X4. Cobweb of Carl Taurus Forest, F. Runny Nose of the Twin-Headed Ogre, 
F100 millimeters. After using the rest of the items he had, a spider web pattern was engraved on the membrane. The wasps hit the wall with their bodies, but it didn't break. The performance was terrific, even if it was made with lesser quality items. Nice. With this, the final stage was set. Now the opening ceremony should have fireworks, right? Due to the lack of time, he didn't say much and just flicked his index finger against his thumb. LV4 element of fire is activated. When the gigantification was to take effect, flames appeared inside the cube, making the wasps react. Poo -poo -pung. The flames blazed into a monstrous size within the enclosed space of the cube, amplifying its power behind imagination. The wasps were turned into charcoal immediately. However, their shattered bits were still wriggling, their regeneration taking effect. Hundreds of wasps were regenerated from the many tiny bits. It was an absolutely monstrous number, but there was one problem. The space inside the cube was limited. The wasps were crushed by their own numbers. Eventually, their frames couldn't handle the pressure and were crushed. The giant pill, C, has been dropped. Level has risen. From the crushed wasp corpse, the giant pill that wasn't fully absorbed fell as a drop. As expected. Jin Hyuk smiled. This was the reason why he was counting down that one minute. If he fed the giant pill, made them multiply, and killed them all before the pill took full effect, the pill would return as a drop. Of course, other items could also be duplicated like this, but there was a reason for choosing this item in particular. That was because it was impossible to feed the wasp high-ranked items, and he needed as many pills as possible for the eventual attack on the fourth floor. I have also gone up two levels. Due to the absolute massacre that he committed here, he received experience points much more numerous than regular hunting. What was this like? A small beer can was fine for a midsummer night. But then he was also given fried chicken as a bonus. It felt like he was about to become drunk from the many rewards received from this sweet combination. This is why I cannot give up on the first underground level. Crawling into this damp pit full of disgusting bugs was far from pleasurable. Even so, he could survive with a smile because of the reward that came after. Wasps died and were reborn again and again. It was similar to a Mobius strip which kept going in an infinite loop. All he needed to do was look at the site with his arms crossed. Even if he simply stood still now, the experience would come. The giant pill, C, has been dropped. Level has risen. The giant pill, C, has been dropped. Level has risen. The giant. Level. Looking at the constantly appearing status windows, Jin Hyuk had a thought. Anubis must be dying inside right now. What is this? Anubis's eyes widened to the point where it seemed like they would explode. Clearly, his plan had been made to eliminate this human. Even the strongest beings had fled from him when faced with an infinitely multiplying enemy. But, for the hive to be destroyed like this was something he couldn't imagine. This was the reason behind his shock. Is it possible he was trying to provoke me right from the start? Seeing how so many of the items that the human used were exactly of the right kind, there was no doubt. Everything had been at rap. Tremble. A terrifying sound came from Anubis's mouth. At the thought of having been a puppet in this human's hands, it felt as if his sense of reason would explode. He didn't even have the time to get angry now. All he could see was the constantly leveling up Jin Hyuk. As time went on, the human would just get stronger. He had to decide, even if it was just a second faster. Damn it! The only way to prevent this disaster was... Anubis spread out his palms and then closed his eyes tightly. Anubis destroys the hive. Kwang! The hive inside the cube exploded. Is this how you react? Jin Hyuk, who had been enjoying this midday show, clicked his tongue. He knew that the sweet moment wouldn't last forever. Yet, when the moment ended, he still felt a little sad. You! Anubis bared his teeth. They were white and looked strong enough to crush bones. But there was no need for fear. As long as the hive was destroyed, the fight was done. I know you are angry, but you cannot show it on your face. You know you look ugliest when you make such an expression after a loss, right? Do you think you will be fine after acting like this? Yes. Safe. Even if Anubis continued to threaten Jin Hyuk, he would still be able to eat three meals a day and die after hitting the ripe old age of 100. Being short-lived and dying suddenly wasn't in his dictionary. 
At Jin Hyuk's impudent attitude, Anubis could no longer control his anger. Kwang, Kwang. The ground underneath him cracked from the pressure. Anubis was angry and wanted nothing but to kill the man in front of him. His reality of not being able to do anything was a grievous annoyance. You. You must come to the top, human. At that time, I will pluck off that head of yours with my own hands. I was going to go up even if you didn't tell me. Ah. Of course, my head will be fine in its original position. And if you pull it out like some robot head, I won't look good. Anubis was at a loss for words. The more he talked, the more stressed he got. Standing there only left him with an ever-increasing rage as every minute and second passed. Finally. Your face. I will remember it. With a short warning, Anubis destroyed the stone statue containing his soul. Kukuku. The vessel of Anubis is destroyed. The statue's fragments crumbled to the ground, and at the same time, conditions met. Anubis's judgment. Acquisition difficulty. Overrank. Description. If you ask the target three questions and the target answers them, the condition of the skill is met. The target's stats would be reduced by 50%, and activation of skills and unique abilities would be limited for one minute. However, the ability can only be used once on the same target and, if abused, might provoke the wrath of the Egyptian god. The vessel of Anubis is destroyed. The ability was finally acquired. It was an ability that was classified as overrank as it was a god's power. I got my Christmas present a little bit too early. He could have the stats of his enemies with just three questions. A total scam ability. Although the ability had restrictions, it wouldn't be a problem if he used it correctly. It was then. The gods of Egyptian mythology are interested in your existence. Some expressed strong hostility. A red status window appeared. It seemed like Anubis couldn't stand being looked down on. Well, the burden on God must have gotten lighter. Tch! Jin Hyuk clicked his tongue. I will have to think about the upper flowers of the tower. First, I need to distribute the stat points. The priority now wasn't the gods, but his self-growth and the third floor boss. He had reached level 18 after coming here. His free stat points were now up to 54. This was tremendous growth. This was the correct path. This kind of level was something that a ranker, someone who received generous support from a large guild, could barely attain after hunting in exclusively controlled dungeons. He achieved it all by himself in just one day. Who would believe it? I need to think about where I should invest my stats. As Jin Hyuk was about to bring up his stat window, Wong. A window appeared that requested a call. This one is? Jin Hyuk frowned. The name on the screen was from... Quite an unexpected person. Chun Yusong requested a video call. Are you sure you want to accept it? A familiar name appeared on the screen, and Jin Hyuk answered it. I have a proposal for you. Fine, I will hear you out. Jin Hyuk nodded his head, and Chun Yusong began his explanation. In 24 hours, an event will be held in the Awakened Association. Players of AA rank and higher, including me, are supposed to gather there. This... A party? The times must be good. The attack on the boss is failing and they are holding a party for everyone? That is why it is being held. What? Due to the successive failures, people are anxious that the trust of the public in the guilds and association is about to fall. That is why they are aiming to show how strong and reliable players they have. Hmm. That's a nice way to do it. A battle between players with different abilities. Raids or monster hunts often appeared on videos, but seeing a player fighting live against another player was a rarity. It wasn't a bad way to relieve the public's doubts, just like how the Roman emperors of the past used to make gladiators fight in the Colosseum. Right. Well, now that he could understand the intention, what does that have to do with me? I am not an AA rank or higher. <laughs> the winner is given the choice of choosing between two things. A replica relic of his choice, or... Chun Yu Xiong lowered his voice, indicating that the second option was a huge deal. Or get a nomination to apply for a match against a player who didn't participate in the event officially. Shit. That was ominous as hell. Jin Hyuk pressed his forehead. You want to fight me? Killing you is the reason I am climbing the tower. It would be perfect to do that in front of everyone. Wow, look who said he wasn't a fighter. Always with the same wish. Maybe this guy is a real pain. 
But what if I refuse? Of course. Rejection will make you be branded as a coward. But it isn't like you are one to care about that. Then, I can refuse. I hate being bothered like that. Thank God. There was a way to reject the request. Just as he was about to sigh in relief. No. You cannot refuse. Chun Yuzong took out a black ticket from his pocket. It was an unusual ticket at first glance, with golden letters embedded in it. What is that? An invitation from the black market. Invitation to the black market auctions wasn't something easy to obtain. There were rumors that they could only be received after passing strict conditions. The exact method was still unknown. And he's just going to give that? Did he bring something appetizing to bait me in? Unlike the coin exchange that players could use, cash was the main currency in the black market. It was still an attractive place for many people. Those who attended the auction would be using cash. They would use the items three days after that to attack the fourth floor. If he could get into the auction, he could secure better items. So, if you don't win against me, you'll hand over that ticket to me for free. Don't worry, that won't happen. I am going to chose the second option and defeat you in front of everyone. Come in your best condition as I don't want to hear excuses after you lose. And the call ended. Until the very end, the guy acted like some kind of hero. Just after the call ended. Congratulations. Your uploaded video has been selected as a hot issue. A golden status window shone in front of him. Oh? Was it already going around? He thought it would spread decently quickly. But since the quality of the content was good, it seemed to have spread faster than he expected. Jin Hyuk clicked on the video. He saw himself in the mask alongside Teresa, Patrick, and other rankers of the guilds. Of course, the demonic humans had been edited out since the purpose of the video wasn't to undermine the public image of the guilds. Even if he didn't add those kinds of things, he knew the video would get good views. Crying Helene. Going for a boss without pay, alone? For real? Scratching voice in panties, rubbing. Wow. I thought it was just skills. But he had personality too. Become Orn. That man is so cool. He is purely thinking of the people. If someone else said it, I would have doubted them, but looking at the achievement of this player till now, I think it might be possible. The reaction was as expected. The topic involved a player that everyone was curious about. And since such a talented person said he would attack the boss alone, the atmosphere had heated up. As if to support that, the viewer numbers were something he hadn't seen for a video of his for a long time. Views, 50,536, 9988. That number was shocking because non-tower viewers only counted as one view per day. If it was 100 coins for 10,000 views, 50 million views would give him 500,000 coins. He would receive 50,000 coins due to the 90% commission fee. If it wasn't for that crazy 90% commission, we would earn a lot. He couldn't help it since it was the system at work. This applied to all the players, and not him alone, anyway. Still, 50,000 coins is enough to make people lose sight of the goal. In Korea, there would be no one who had more. Even the rankers from overseas wouldn't have been able to collect more than 10,000 coins individually. Even users who upload videos daily to get hundreds of thousands of views wouldn't be able to dream of getting this many coins. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. The 13th floor training hall of the Awakened Association. The entire floor was made of magic stones and a special alloy that could absorb magic. It was a place where players could run wild. The sound of clashing blades echoed. It was a battle format that involved 24 players, a battle royale. Because of this, all kinds of unique abilities and skills were used. Haha. <laughs> Park Hyung. Why do I think your body is moving sluggishly? Aren't you relying on your abilities too much? I am still warming up, you brat. Now you will get nervous. Be careful if you don't want to meet the healer on the fifth floor. Was it because only players with high ranks were here? Most of them seemed to know each other, and they were even speaking while running around the floor. It was because of the connection they had with the game. Of course, that didn't mean they wouldn't fight. They just won't kill each other. With pride and honor at stake, they would do their best. At the same time, even in the audience, rankers from each guild and officials from broadcasting stations were watching. This seems quite a high level. Right. I think the public will like this. However, it is a temporary measure, and we need to break through the third floor soon. 
Several voices were speaking about various topics, though most covered the subject of the future of humankind. But not everyone was like that. No matter if the future of humankind was at stake, some only prioritized increasing the power of their guild. People sitting in the center of the audience glanced over at a person with hawk-like eyes. Hong Diokpyo, the only S-class and guild master of the Black Cloud, was here. There were also scouts from the guild who had come with him. The duo over there seems quite nice. A scout pointed to an old man who wielded flames and a young female summoner. The woman was in charge of defense with her summoned beasts. The older man would then use his flames to pressure their opponent as soon as any gap appeared. It was a perfect connection that seemed to have been built over a long partnership. However, Hong Deok Pyo ignored those words. It was because he already had his eye on a specific player. Chun Yu Song. Good. A slim but strong physique. That energy that made people go cold. Strong enough that it could be felt from afar. It seems like there are loopholes in the awakening test. There was no way that he could just be AA rank. No matter how tiny the possibility, it didn't feel like he fit in the A category at all. Hong Diok Pyo himself has already felt delighted by seeing the man wield the sword a few times here. It is understandable he didn't want to join. Ah, Hyung. Are you seriously saying that? It is frustrating, for real. I'd rather be sent down so I can clean up that trash and make Chun Yu Song kneel down to me. Shh. Is it time for the fight yet? I'll pay attention to the interviews which will come up. Zhang Do Hyun didn't participate in the match because of the press conference at the end of the spectacle. Among those who awakened, one in 500,000 would be able to get an 8AA ranking. Considering the growth rate in the Tower of Trials, Zhang Do Hyun had the talent to rise to S class in the next three years. And if it was known that such a person was in a guild, the status of that guild was bound to rise. I spent a lot of money to get it done, you understand, right? Do not worry, I will do it right. Zhang Dohyun smiled. At a spot not far from the Black Cloud Guild, Jin Hyuk yawned as he watched the matches. What was this? A joke? Even if it was a match with no actual risk to life, this all seemed so dull. Wasn't the only good thing he could see here the Min Jung Woo and Lee Yuri pair he had met in the National Museum of Korea? It is nice to see them after a while. The two of them seemed to have been stimulated from their fight back then and had improved their skills. However, the rest made him want to ask what they were up to in the Tower of Trials. Well, the reaction from the people around him was too positive for him to be the only person swearing. At this level, the future seemed bright to the people there. It was very bothersome. Was he supposed to say that this was the level the world accepted but his friend Elise would burst out laughing at seeing? Damn it. If this happens, Chun Yu Song will win. Jin Hyuk sighed a little while looking at the guy running rampant in the fighting area. He thought the invitation was given to strong prospects. But this seemed strange. Even if all of the players in the arena worked together, they wouldn't be able to scratch Chun Yu Song. And to support this thought, Chun Yu Song immediately began to subdue the other players. Players who suffered minor wounds began to surrender. They knew the skill gap was too much, and most didn't want to get in trouble. Even if they could read the sword's movement, they couldn't do anything. And in the end, 15 minutes was all that was needed for all the players to be knocked out. Ah, we have the winner. The staff stammered as the result was announced. Clap. Immediately applause began to come from the audience. It was proof that the guild officials in the audience were impressed by this. Congratulations, player Chun Yu Seong. Then, from one of the two rewards, replica and... There is no need for a replica. All I want is an opponent. Chun Yu Seong interrupted the staff, which made the audience roar in excitement. As expected, a strong person will want to fight instead of an item. Amazing. I hope our guild gets him. Who the hell would want to fight with such a man? It must be one of the guild masters. That was everyone's thoughts. If such a strong monster had an opponent he wanted to face, it had to be a top ranker from Korea. Was it going to be the Dangun Guild? Or someone from the Fathers of Fighting? Or was it the Yu family who was renowned for being at the peak of martial arts in Korea? Or someone from the mercenaries who didn't have a guild affiliation? Just as all sorts of speculations began to bubble up. Come out! Chun Yu Sung pointed his sword at a man in the audience. That's right. He sees the real deal. Of course, it is me. It was Zhang Do Hyun who jumped up from his seat. Dumbass. He didn't call for you. 
Hong Diok Pyo, who was next to him, grabbed Zhang Do Hyun by the wrist and pulled him down. Uh? Hyung? Zhang Do Hyun asked a question but wasn't answered. Instead, he stared at Chun Yu Song. Right. If it is his level, he would want to fight a strong guy like me. He could understand that. Because he too would be thrilled to find a strong opponent. I like this more and more. When he first heard about Chun Yu Xiong, he wanted to see more of him. When he heard how Zhang Do Hyun described him, he wanted the man under any conditions. However, only as he saw these actions did he become convinced that he needed to get this man. Upon closer inspection, the direction the tip of the sword was pointed towards was slightly different. It was not aimed at Zhang Do Hyun or himself, but was instead a little more to the right. There sat a man with an annoyed expression on his face. Phew. After a long moment, the man sighed as he got up, and so everyone acknowledged just who the opponent would be. Who is he? Not Hong. Was it someone else? Who? I don't know him. Look into the database right now. A loud commotion rose in the crowd as the guild officials began to search for information. At least the man was inside the association building, which meant that he had at least passed the awakening test. Of course, there would be information about him available. Player Kang Jin Hyuk, F rank. After a moment, they were able to confirm the information. No, F rank? No, no. He called an F class now? He didn't seem that way, but maybe this man likes to bully weak people? The commotion grew louder. Something that made no sense was happening. Him? Hong Diok Pyo looked at Jin Hyuk, and Jin Hyuk looked at him at the same time, allowing their eyes to meet. Jin Hyuk began to descend towards the arena. Phew. With a face full of annoyance. Please, I beg of you, if you lose again this time, stop this. Seriously, man. I'd appreciate it if you stop this. You are talking like I will lose. Are you saying that after watching the fights? Um, it sure seems like you have improved your skills. Trained hard? Those muscles seem solid. How many hours did he work out? They were so well-toned that he wanted to ask what kind of supplements he took. He wasn't on steroids, right? Is that the only thing? Ah, uh, I also thought getting this kind of invitation would be such a hassle. Chun Yu Song's face wrinkled in anger. At the same time, the concentration of magic on the sword changed. Chun Yu Song LV6, Soul Chasing Sword Key, activated. A chilly cold blue aura. The chi and the killing intent, which were suppressed until then, were now merged. Drit. Jin Hyuk felt his skin tingle at the pressure. The things he was showing off in the fights till now was just him saving strength. It was like he was holding back his strength for the right time. But at that moment, a new kind of magic enveloped the entire arena. A magical force that was incomparable to Chun Yu Song appeared. In the next moment, a fire blast went through the stadium ceiling. There was a big hole in the roof of stadium. Chun Yu Song's body shook violently. Smoke was rising from his body. Because the attack had been controlled, he didn't lose his life. But it still didn't make sense that even his defensive skill was penetrated. You. How many skills do you have? Words that he could barely speak. And with that. Thud! Chun Yu Sung lost his balance and fell. Jin Hyuk walked toward defeated Chun Yu Sung and took the ticket out of his pocket. Insane. What kind of F rank can do that? It is perfected sword energy, not a half developed one. Only a handful of players in the world can reach that kind of level. It was natural for the audience's reaction to be one of shock. Even Hong Duk Pyo looked shocked. I cannot believe this. All of the officials from the various guilds gulped from their seats. Their hearts were beating quickly. The entire stadium was plunged into silence. Everyone there was at a loss for words because of the unexpected result. Those watching had been surprised twice today. The first surprise was Chun Yu Xiong's ability to utterly crush players of the same rank. The second was because of the appearance of a monster they couldn't defeat even with all their might. A truly overpowering power. That man was still standing alone on the arena floor. How many minutes had passed? It was someone's word that broke the silence. To be precise, it was a quietly uttered curse. Someone couldn't control their urge to swear due to the abnormality of this situation. That curse let loose the flow of conversation. Look, see that? My eyes almost popped out. What kind of magic skills did he use? There's no way to reach that level by just learning it. 
he smashed through the magic stone that had been put up for protection, and broke through the outer wall too. Is he even human? Isn't it more plausible that a boss monster from a higher floor decided to come down? I still can't make myself believe this. Shit. Is this a dream or reality? In that chaotic atmosphere, Jin Hyuk approached two people who were standing next to the stage. Hasn't it been a while? Jin Hyuk smiled brightly. Right. It is the first time we have met after the museum. Ah. Min Jung Woo and Li Yuri flinched. The memories of them being utterly trampled at the museum came rushing back. Actually, the first one is just blood, but we cannot be stuck in the past forever, right? Hmm. I don't want to be like that either. To be honest, I don't think I will ever be able to survive if I met you as an enemy. S same here. The two nodded at the same time. Then, to have a better relationship in the future. Let me ask one thing. If possible, I would like Miss Li Yuri, who is a summoner, to work hard for my sake. What? You're asking me? Yes. It doesn't matter if you don't want to do it. Then, of course. Jin Hyuk's eyes were opened wide. If you are thinking about putting our relationship in the toilet and flushing it down, you'll say no. Li Yuri's eyes trembled. It's fine to say no. You have a choice. And if you refuse the offer, you never know what might happen. If only I can... No. I will definitely listen to you. Thank you. Jin Hyuk gave Yuri instructions on what he needed her to do. It was a task that needed to be completed in order to attack the boss. At the same time, it was an item that Li Yuri would have an easier time preparing. When do you need it done? Day after tomorrow. When you have it done, send everything to this address. Y you want so many things done in two days? Why? Not possible. No, no. I can do it. Li Yuri was in tears as she took the note that Jin Hyuk handed her. Then please. And as Jin Hyuk was about to leave. This? Jin Hyuk turned his head as he caught something in his senses. Above. Thud. A man with a large body had jumped off from the audience stands. It was Zhang Do Hyun. This is surprising. The guy I thought was a cheerleader has this much power. If you are here for a fight, you have come to the wrong person, and my body is too loose right now. I won't be able to control my strength. Jin Hyuk sighed, and he viewed the status window of the other party with the eyes of truth. Name? Zhang Do Hyun. Gender? Male. Age? 33. Level? 21. Strength? 40. Agility? 17. Stamina? 18. Magic. 8. Stat points. 0. Coins. 8,535. Occupation. Giant wrestler. Unique ability. Giant's power. Skills. LV5. Giant's grasp. LV5. Giant's shield. LV5. Slow pain. LV5. Deep breathing. LV4. Despite the weak. Copy conditions. The current subject approached you with a conspiracy in mind. If you can understand his intentions, you can copy the giant's grasp among the target's skills. A conspiracy? Did that mean this wasn't just him trying to pick a fight? No. Before that, how could the system know what is happening inside the mind of another player? Jin Hyuk frowned at the uniquely different copying conditions, but he didn't have much time. Unraveling the Tower of Trials and its secrets was something for another time. There was no time to worry about problems that had no immediate answer. Zhang Do Hyun raised his palms towards the suspicious Jin Hyuk. It was as if he was communicating that he had no intention to fight. Then why bother a person? I think we will see each other more in the future. So, I wanted to say good luck. Zhang Do Hyun was saying strange things while asking for a handshake, but Jin Hyuk didn't return it. Wishing him good luck? My ass. A person who only knew how to look down on others could never act like a gentleman. As the system said, he must have an ulterior motive. Jin Hyuk's brain began to spin. Although clearly inferior compared to Chun Yu Seung, Jong Do Hyun was of a fairly high level. So why hadn't he fought here? And unlike the other guilds, why did the guild master of the Black Clouds Guild come here personally? It must be because there is a reason to come here. He didn't know what it was, but he was sure it was important as he looked at Jong Do Hyun. Behind that mask of calm, he could see anger and an inferiority complex. He definitely wasn't here to make friends. Instead, 
He wanted to show off what he could do. This act of shaking hands, Zhang Dohyun's unique ability, giant's power, a player that was saved instead of being sent to a fight, and a guildmaster who was anxious for his guild's growth. The pieces of the puzzle were definitely here. And finally, a flash of insight appeared in Jin Hyuk's head like a lightning bolt. Right. There are reporters here. No a guildmaster who was afraid of a rookie appearing out of nowhere and stealing the spotlight. As a response, he sent Zhang Dohyun. He didn't know for sure. Zhang Dohyun was someone who had superior strength compared to most players. A newbie who came in and received attention being pushed around by a person with only physical strength? That would lower Jin Hyuk's image and increase his own value. That seems right. It wasn't a bad method either. That is if the opponent isn't me. And as he made his conclusion, a chime that seemed to prove his hypothesis right. Status windows appeared one after another, confirming that the copy conditions had been achieved. The copy condition has been met. You have acquired the skill Giant's Grasp, B. Giant's Grasp, Acquisition Difficulty, B. Description. You are able to use the power of a giant. In particular, your grip strength will increase dramatically and you can exert a force of up to 10 times your body weight. As expected, his conclusion was correct. He was up to something. But this was what made it fun. Jin Hyuk's face broke into a broad smile and he used the unique ability he had acquired underground. Unique ability. Anubis judgment is activated. The air around them swirled. The skills user needed to ask three questions, and the subject needed to answer all three for the conditions to be satisfied. Is this handshake representing the entire Black Cloud Guild? Jin Hyuk asked the first question. Of course. Daeok Pyo Hyung is also interested in you. It seems that you aren't with a guild yet, so if you join us, we will give you special treatment. Special treatment. He was good at talking about shit that he didn't care about. Clearly knowing the intent behind it made every word sound disgusting. However, he couldn't express it as the answer was already made. I am actually in dire need of that. If I sign up, do I get a huge down payment? Like something where sports stars get paid in advance during a transfer season? Pwahaha. Well, isn't it obvious? Just tell me the amount, and we will give everything to you. The second question was answered. This was why Anubis's judgment was such a scam. The conditions could be met with just trivial questions. Above all, he liked the fact that, unless a person was way too intelligent, they wouldn't even notice this skill was activated. He would have to give a reasonable amount of time between uses to not provoke the gods again. I will consider it. Jin Hyuk reacted to Zhang Dohyun's words. And like that, their hands met. Caught you? A mischievous smile formed on Zhang Dohyun's lips. Finally, the target took the bait. No matter how good you are with swords and magic, your strength is weak. He could create the best result if he hits the target like this during a press conference. The reporters, who saw them shaking their hands, began to approach, with both camera and phone. All the eyes there are focused on the two of them. Who are you? If we look at the tattoo, it looks like someone belonging to the Black Cloud Guild. Oh. Oh. Looks like they are trying to recruit that player before the other guilds. This is a complete scoop we need to catch. It is a meeting between a large guild and a prospective ranker. We won the top article. Perfect timing. Zhang Dohyun activates LV5 Giant's Grasp. Zhang Dohyun's forearms began to bulge. His human hands were now filled with the power of a giant that could crush even steel. But the face of the opponent whose hand he was holding distorted slightly in pain. Brr. The hands that were holding to each other trembled. It was a sign that both hands were balanced in strength. It couldn't be. Does this mean his strength is on par with mine? That was absurd. He had never heard of this kind of perfect all-around player in this field. Yet, no matter how much he clenched his hand, the balance of strength wasn't broken. It was as if his opponent had the same ability, at that time. Last question. Jin Hyuk slowly asked, what now? Zhang Dohyun, whose face was red, managed to answer. Did you think that you would have the upper hand if it was simply strength? Of course not. A lousy bastard like you and me. The moment Zhang Dohyun answered the question, the balance of power collapsed. Did the opponent get stronger? No. It wasn't that. It was he who weakened. Me? It was hard to believe, but his unique ability and skills were suddenly sealed. Crack.
The pressure on his hand began to exceed the limit that he could tolerate. It will break. By this point, all of his fingers had gone numb. Let go. Let go. Ah? Uh? Why? Does it hurt? Jin Hyuk smiled. Quack. Don't be shy. It looks like you have confidence in your strength. But trust in size is just a sign of a fool. In the end, Zhang Dohyun bent his knee in pain. Any thought of playing around with Jin Hyuk had vanished. All he wanted to do now was to get out of this terrible pain. Zhang Dohyun swung his fist. It was more an act of desperation than an attack. Of course. Such attacks won't work. The punch hit Jin Hyuk in the stomach. But it ended with that, Kwang. A fist moved like lightning in reply and pierced through Zhang Dohyun's abdomen. His body felt utterly broken, and he coughed up blood as a result. However, Jin Hyuk didn't stop there. It was because he was planning to trample this guy completely and show Hong Deok Pyo. But at that moment, an unfamiliar magic intervened. From behind! It was a ranged attack. Jin Hyuk reflexively moved his body as a red flash of light appeared. A large crater appeared at the spot where Jin Hyuk had just been. How dare! You make Do Hyun like that? Do you know how much work I put into this day? Hong Deok Pyo shouted from his seat in the audience. His cherished young talent was supposed to be the hero of this day. Instead, he had lost his hidden card and was made to kneel down in front of a newbie. Hong Deok Pyo, who had turned white, grunted. At the same time, terrifying energy rose from Hong Deok Pyo's body. Magic was causing the entire floor to shake. Ho! After all, S-rank was S-rank, right? However, unlike the other players, his magic management was quite good. There was markedly less waste of magic. Although he lacked actual usage sense, he was someone who could grow if he trained well for three years. Jin Hyuk activated the Eye of Truth again. Name, Hong Deok Pyo. Gender, male. Age, 41. Level, 34. Strength, 38. Agility, 33. Stamina, 20. Magic, 15. Stat points. 1. Coins, 25,850. Occupation, Berserker. Unique ability. Blood Demon. Chi. Skills. LV5. Frenzy. LV5. Blood Coagulation. LV4. Strengthen Whole Body. LV4. Identify Enemy. LV4. Decapitate. Copy Condition. Take away what Hong Deok Pyo values the most. If you do that, you can copy the unique ability. After reading the copy conditions, Jin Hyuk felt his heart beat quickly. That's right. This excitement from the sensation of fusion. To use the abilities that other people had worked so hard to get. If it is his most precious thing. It was pretty obvious. He already knew the answer. Jin Hyuk opened his mouth again. I know you are angry. But can we not put the fight aside? Why? Are you afraid now? No. I am afraid that if someone who is a guild master gets smashed in front of so many people, it will be offensive. To this bastard, I will crush you down to your bones. Hong Deok Pyo kicked off from the ground. The chairs he had sat on were smashed as he appeared near Jin Hyuk instantly. He could see red energy swirling around a two-meter-long sword. This was a different sword technique. Blood Demon Chi. A heterogeneous ability that used blood spurted out. Jin Hyuk to infused magic into his sword. Sword energy gushed out from his blade once more as he lowered his center of gravity. And at that very moment, two energies collided. Dark red sparks bounced in all directions. The ground began to crack. Oh. As expected of Guildmaster Hong, this magic, just looking at it gives me chills. Look at the energy on the sword. I've only ever seen it in a video. Who knew we would see it in real life? The reporters were all shocked. However, as the battle continued, a strange feeling settled among the crowd. Something was odd. It was the female reporter who realized the strangeness. When I see that Guildmaster Hong is using magic like this, just how is that man holding up on the other side? As she asked this question, the other reporters came to a realization. It really was happening. Even though Hong Dok Pyo was using his trademark skills. I... is that so? I was so lost in thought that I didn't realize it. Oh my. I knew he was great, but on par with an S-class? In their eyes, Jin Hyuk seemed to have similar skills as Hong Deok Pyo. Of course. 
the two who were fighting weren't of the same level. At least those who shared their swords were in a state of mixed joy due to this battle. Hong Dyuk Pyo frowned. It was because he was the one being pushed back. One-sidedly at that. No. He is stronger than me? Such nonsense. He was the man who had stopped the breath of the monster Colossus on the second floor. He, who was the proud leader of the tower's right-wing raid team, was being pushed by some F-rank newbie. It was impossible, but the sharp pain in his shoulder and wrist proved that he was weaker. Isn't it hard already? If it is really hard, should I take it easy? Jin Hyuk fixed his sword path with light movements. Don't make me laugh. I haven't even used all my skills yet. How come your voice is trembling despite such brave words? Hong Dyok Pyo closed his lips tightly. No matter how strong he was, he should already know that the end result would be bad if this continued. However, if he tucked in his tail now, he would be disgraced in front of everyone here. That would be a situation that could not be undone. At that moment. The door that led to the room opened. LV4 arbitration activated. A power to calm the excitement inside. It was a skill possessed by Han Sang Jin, the president of the Korea Awakened Association. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. President. What? Wasn't it known that he wouldn't be attending the event? Look there. At the entrance was a middle-aged man in a black suit. Jin Hyuk frowned. Is this the man who leads the awakened people? A middle-aged man with a sharp beard and not a fake this time. The atmosphere around him felt like he was a man with responsibility. President Han Sang Jin, you came. This man turned a player of our guild into rags, a prospective A rank, Hong Deok Pyo shouted. However, the man responded to the complaint with a broad smile. Ha ha. Well, it can be like that when you compete, Guildmaster Hong. Please understand. Huh? It isn't some child's fight. Ah, I am a little busy at the moment, so if you can, please excuse me. W wait a moment. Hong Dyuk Pyo wanted to shout, but the man ignored him and walked to Jin Hyuk. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk. I am Han Sang Jin, in charge of the Korea Awakened Association. Do you know me? Actually, I didn't know about you until 20 minutes ago, but then I got an urgent call from Manager Park, who is in charge of this event, that said that I had to come and see this for myself. Of course, since there was effectively a riot, the news must have been delivered to Han Sang Jin. Unexpected surprises had happened here. So we did an investigation on our side. The past ranking of Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk was checked. What should I say? There was something special about it, Han Sang Jin said. Right. The reporters all gulped. Finally, the reason why Jin Hyuk, who was ranked F despite being strong, was about to be revealed. Congratulations on receiving Korea's 16th S class and I would like to take this chance and apologize for you receiving the wrong rank due to our mistake. It wasn't a long conversation, but the contents were shocking. Huh? S... S rank? Is that person S rank? Oh my... We're seeing a new S class? It was natural for the A rank players to have a hard time. They were no match. The reporters all began to exclaim in shock. Right, that was how it should be. This was a world where six million Korean people had taken the test. It was the result of the Awakened Association successfully operating 32 branches. The result had only yielded 15 S-Class players. Moreover, considering that most of the people who took the test were in their 20s to 40s, it meant that all of the prominent S-Class newbies were from Korea. Camera flashes began to fill the air. Take a picture. Kang Jin Hyuk. Right. He is Kang Jin Hyuk. I just heard his name. Get the reporters first. The details need to be told. We need to release this article. Call all the people in the press conference right here. What? Interview with the Black Cloud Guild? Huh. Does that matter now? We have an S-Class. Throw away that and come for this. All the attention was on Jin Hyuk. With cheers and applause, everyone in the event room celebrated the birth of a new S-Class. To this... Hong Deok Pyo's expression contorted. Jong Do Hyun was filled with hatred. Damn it, but we have to rectify the situation. Hong Dyok Pyo wiped the sweat off his head. This felt like someone was pouring molten iron down his throat. Wait, reporters. Actually, this time our Black Cloud Guild has prepared to attack the tower, and I can tell you in advance the special. Ah, uh, 
We apologize. We will come back for an interview. I will always support Guildmaster Hong. And what? AAA rank player? Sure, it is amazing. T. Haha. <laughs> Next time we will definitely catch you up on the story. I just don't feel that good now. Even the few reporters that had lagged behind rushed for Jin Hyuk. In just three hours, many things had changed. Korea's 16th S Class. The extra strong newbie that the president of the Awakened Association came to personally notify. Love calls are pouring in from the large scale guilds. What will the next move of Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk be? Amidst the news which kept coming in, the media covered stories about Jin Hyuk. This wasn't a bad feeling. Most of all, he liked the S Class announcement that was made exactly as he wanted. Jin Hyuk smiled at the videos being uploaded. True education of those who were ignorant of the S Class. This was a video of him smashing Jong Do Hyun. Ironically, the video's number of views was almost the same as the video that announced his S Class. Illumination. But isn't it a bit too much to cough blood after just one hit? P. Peel most, Ulvavon 24. Yep. To be honest, even a regular Korean soldier can handle being hit in the stomach. The reaction was hot. The Black Cloud Guild must have suffered a fatal blow with this incident. You reap what you sow. So this is your own doing. As long as he could copy those two's unique abilities and skills, he had no interest in going around and destroying guilds. Jin Hyuk buried his back into the soft chair. The corners of his lips rose up in a smile. As expected. Being first class was great. This is why everyone is trying for a higher rank. With the special attention given by the association president Han Sang Jin, Jin Hyuk was able to get a free flight trip to Las Vegas. It was also a first class seat which cost over 10 million won one way. He had an invitation to the black market from Chun Yu Seong, and he agreed to take care of the matters in Korea with Lee Taemin. All he had to do now was relax and focus on his work in America. But it was just as he settled in. The man in front of you, be careful. Elise, who had been silent in the ring, spoke for the first time. Be careful? What are you talking about? Jin Hyuk lowered his voice. That guy. He smells weird. Should I describe it as unpleasant and disgusting? Unlike you, it's a scent I don't want to eat even if I am starving. That was what Elise noted. Was it the smell of blood? What did this kid think of people? A walking lunchbox? Or a snack to chew on when bored? Neither of those was correct. Looking at his expression, I can understand roughly what he is imagining. I'm not joking around and I'm giving you real advice. That man there is not an ordinary person. She was speaking in a serious voice. Hmm. Jin Hyuk's expression became stiff. Considering all that she said, she wasn't joking around. He glanced to the front and spotted a blonde man wearing a white suit. The man appeared to be in his 20s. However, the naturally ingrained slack of his body made it feel like he was much older. Ha ha ha, it doesn't matter. Really? How did you get it? The man and the stewardess were smiling and having fun. He looks more like a young CEO or a second generation Chibol. Was it really, as Elise said, he was hiding something? There was only one way to find out. Jin Hyuk activated the Eye of Truth. Name, Alex Judalaw. Gender, male. Age, 24. Level, 27. Strength, 15. Agility, 13. Stamina, 15. Magic, 61. Stat points, 0. Coins, 0. Occupation, Necromancer. Unique ability, Forgotten Tombs. Skills, LV5 Resurrection of the Dead. LV5 Contract with the Dead. LV5 Magic Melting Furnace. LV4 Touch of the Dead. LV4 Interbreeding. Copy Condition. Depending on the intimacy with the target, you can copy one of the unique abilities and skills. However, in order to achieve the highest level of intimacy, you need to join the Demonic Humans Association. No way. Jin Hyuk couldn't contain his shock. That man belonged to the Demonic Humans. Was that friendly face all a lie? See. I was right. My nose is second to none in the tower. Elise raised her voice, delighted that she was right, as I tucked her ring into my pocket, silencing her celebration. She was helpful, but she had a downside. She talked too much. 
considering that she still thinks of herself as a queen. That does make sense. And at that moment. Are you enjoying the journey? Player Kang Jin Hyuk? The flight attendant came over with a smile. This was good. A chance to ask for information about Alex. Yes, thanks. If there is any inconvenience in here, please let me know. And I brought some snacks. Would you like any? I was about to ask you. Looking at it, it seems like there are other people in the first class beside me. Awakened? Ah, you are talking about Mr. Alex. When asked about him, the stewardess smiled brightly. Seems like she likes him a bit. He is an executive at a famous French cosmetic company and said he came to Korea for work and was heading to the U.S. now. That guy's a cosmetic company executive? A necromancer that dealt with corpses seems to have an odd day job. Interesting. Perhaps it isn't a coincidence that he is in first class with me. There was a high chance that this was all planned, meaning there could only be one reason. It was probably to renegotiate the deal that the previous two had clearly failed to deliver. But I wonder how he will approach this again. Since the assassination of Chun Yu Song had failed, even they would have a hard time approaching him. They will either try to offer a more attractive deal or try to build a weird trust network and then try to pull him in. Jin Hyuk folded his hands. As long as he knew the other person's intention, the ending would happen the way he wanted it to. All he would have to do was act all innocent for that guy to come. After a few hours, Alex got up to go to the bathroom. As he pretended to head towards the lavatory, he approached Jin Hyuk. Uh, no. When Alex saw Jin Hyuk, his eyes widened as if he had met a celebrity in real life. Excuse me, but are you Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk? who is ranked as an S-class in Korea? A slightly excited face and an anxious voice. Look at those acting skills. If he could do this much, he should have just aimed to be a movie star. Why work at a cosmetics company? But when it came to acting, Jin Hyuk wasn't a slouch either. Yes, I've only recently gotten S-class. As I thought. Today I watched the video posted on the Tower of Trials community over and over again. It was so amazing to meet the person from the video in real life. Alex spoke with excitement for a bit, then acted as if he remembered something and rummaged through his pockets. Sorry. I am Alex Judala. He handed over a business card that identified him as the overseas sales director of the Defiona Corporation. I am Kang Jin Hyuk. It is a coincidence for us to meet like this. How about going down to the bar and having a drink? On these long trips, drinks help the time move faster. Let's build friendships. It certainly wasn't a bad idea if someone with such a gentle face asked. Few people would say no. But who would end up with the last laugh? Well, it would be nice to pass the time. It is a bit disappointing that I've only gotten beer to drink here. Their destination was the bar lounge for first and business class. There's a drink I like. Would you be fine with it? It doesn't matter as long as it is strong. Ha ha ha. You do not have to worry. Louis the Funtint. It was the finest cognac sold at the lounge for 15 million won a bottle. Alex made it look as if it was a can of soda that he pulled from a vending machine. One glass, and then two. As the bottle of strong liquor was emptied, his hold on reality gradually weakened. At least, that was what Alex believed. Once the bottle was finally empty. Actually, the reason I came to Korea isn't because of cosmetics. It is to expand the business towards the awakened. Alex began to speak in earnest. An ice cube the size of a fist was being moved into his glass. Jin Hyuk acted as if he didn't notice. Awakened? Yes. First of all, we tried to lighten it up. But then there was a small problem. Problem? Before I say it, Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk, do you know about the mask-wearing player? Of course, he knew. The mask was still with him. If he pulled it out and wore it now... Surely Alex's expression would be a sight to behold, but he should hold back on that now. Still, the story wasn't done. Jin Hyuk straightened his expression as he replied, I've seen him a few times. He's the player who played the biggest role in the raid on the corridor of the Fallen Ruins on the first floor. At a recent meeting where the guilds announced the attack on the fourth floor, he said he would do it solo. But what problem would that be for Mr. Alex's company? Would you understand if we say it's like fighting for a meal? We also wanted to help with the boss fight, but the man completely blocked us. Perhaps he wanted to get all the good reputation from it on his own. Look at this guy. 
He knew his evil intentions, but he still dared say such bullshit. Jin Hyuk had even been kind enough to edit out the part with the old man. It seemed like they thought a third party wouldn't know the truth behind what happened. With this, he is laying out a good base for him. Well, he wanted to deceive Jin Hyuk, but was getting deceived instead. Jin Hyuk smiled. It seemed like things were going to get interesting from now. He is quite a greedy friend, that person with the mask. You are right, he is too much. That is it. If Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk would come with us, it would be a huge help for us. Me? Yes. You are an S rank and have the right to act alone so no one can touch you. So, you want to use the privileges of another S rank player and get something from the fourth floor. How should he describe this? Was he acting like he had such thick skin and no shame? Even if Jin Hyuk stabbed Alex now, he doubted blood would even come out. It isn't that I don't like it, but it is a bit excessive. Of course I plan to pay the right price as long as the demands aren't unreasonable. As if he had been waiting, Alex immediately opened his subspace inventory. A bottle containing the blue liquid of an elixir appeared alongside a brilliant light. An elixir was known to be a medicine that could cure any fatal disease and even the most broken body, regenerating even a heart. For real. What the hell do they do to have such expensive things with them? No, for real. If possible, this time, he wanted to film a video showing the demonic humans' true colors. How viciously they live from waking up to sleeping at night. One had to watch and learn. Jin Hyuk fiddled with the bottle of elixir. This is huge. And Alex pulled out a paper. As long as you sign the contract, the elixir will be given to Mr. Kang Jin Hyuk. Alex activates LV-5 contract with the dead. Faint yet ominous energy rose from the paper. It was the unique skill of a necromancer that bound the contractor using dark power. He is using this? Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. On the surface, it was like any other contract, which was why this was more terrifying. Because one could get caught without realizing it. Because it is something anyone could get caught in. And that would force the victims to carry out the content in the contract. Failure to do so will result in death. But this elixir was too precious to give up. Jin Hyuk lightly clapped his hands as if he remembered something. Have you decided? Yes. I am sorry. But I cannot sign it. There are too many fraudulent things these days that I am careful when it comes to acting with pens. That is quite disappointing. If that is the case, we will have to take the elixir back. Alex reached out to Jin Hyuk. Since the contract wasn't processed, he could take it back. I will keep this for myself. What do you mean? I am also careful not to spit out the candy I've already put in my mouth once. Having said that, he gathered magic. The plane began to shake violently. P. Passengers. The plane is shaking due to the turbulence outside, so please fasten your seatbelts. We would request everyone to stop moving. The crew began to move. Everyone assumed that this was a turbulence issue. You should head back to the seat for the sake of safety, Mr. Alex. Please follow the instructions of the crew. Jin Hyuk smiled as he said that. Why? Feeling cheated? Want to pry it forcefully from my hand? But will you be fine, necromancer? What could you even do? Do you want to kill everyone here? Well, that wouldn't happen. Because his position in the Demonic Human Association wouldn't allow him to act independently. Alex gritted his teeth, but he wasn't going to attack. A necromancer wasn't an occupation that was suited for close combat. Above all else, the only authority that he had been given was for conciliation. Regarding any conflict, he would need approval from those above. Before I go, let me ask you one thing. Did you know it right from the start, what group I am affiliated with? I just paid attention. Still, you were better than those two. Your natural look paid off. At that time, he had only been paying attention to the grand exterior, so he missed the details. But now he immediately noticed the trap. Last time, you were quite fast to skip the down payment for us. That's because you people treat me like some idiot and try to force my hand to do such things. They were forcibly shoving the cake into my mouth. As a human, I have no choice but to eat delicious things. I just acted how anyone would. Jin Hyuk smiled, but Alex couldn't. It would be better to not provoke us too much. Right now, a troublesome enemy appeared, and that man takes priority for us, but we will pay you back for this. Troublesome guy? You meant the masked man? 
Yes. Well, how can you even dream of dealing with him at your level? Ha! You acted like you hadn't heard of him until a moment ago, and now you say such. Alex snorted at it, but Jin Hyuk continued to speak, overriding any thoughts Alex may have had. He has a mask engraved with runes on it, and made contact with large guilds. Of course, your people were there too. Alex's eyes shook, and he began to sweat. N no. Is he acquainted with that man? The uploaded video didn't contain the members of his association, so a third party wouldn't be able to know. In other words, then it has to be that. The other possibility was that the two were the same person. However, Alex couldn't imagine the masked man and Jin Hyuk as the same man. Right. That's right. In order to raid the Corridor of the Fallen, the player had to be level 1. Of course. The masked man must have been level 1 then. However, according to information released to the public, Jin Hyuk, who was in front of him, had an estimated level of 20. A level gap of 19. It is impossible for 19 levels to be gained in just a couple days. So the two players could not be the same. That was what made sense for Alex. But he didn't know that this was what Jin Hyuk had planned. The more vaguely one knows, the more certain they are of information. Jin Hyuk smiled. He thought they would know about the attack on the ruins. The range of information these people held was too large to be dealt with right now. So they must have found out some information. However, the existence of the underground in the Tower of Trials. Only I alone know of it. This was something that others could not know. At the same time, this gives him an information gap that cannot be filled. For a long time, this was the privilege that those who enjoyed suffering obtained. Finally, Alex sighed. In order to get information about him, we have to put up with the jokes player Kang Jin Hyuk is saying. If you are thinking about trying to get information through force, assassination attempts, and such things, give up. At least. Because I am crueler than them. It was late evening when the plane arrived in Las Vegas. He couldn't see when Alex vanished, but Jin Hyuk turned his attention elsewhere. Right now, there were more important things, and the time left for the auction was only around four hours. For now, I need to raise money. He needs dollars, as much as possible. I should have asked for at least 200 times the money I have. He could have asked Han Sung Jin for money, but if he asked him like that now, he could get into trouble later. From what I know, the most terrifying department of the government is the tax office. If so, all that he could do was make money himself. When he exchanged the money in his wallet, he only received $4,000. This wasn't a small amount, but the minimum bid for the auction house was around $50,000. Then, call up memories of the world. Jin Hyuk called up the skills he had saved, materials that he needed to fuse with the Eye of Truth. I was going to merge it with another ability, but now I am in a clutch moment. He wanted an elemental ability that could act as a buffer and alleviate the side effects when he abused it. On the other hand, the attribute also had disadvantages, safety and efficiency. This meant that he needed to choose one of the two. Under the current situation, Jin Hyuk needed to choose the latter. Eye of Truth, SS, and Blood Magic Chi, S, are fused. The fusion succeeded. You have acquired the Eye of Gluttony, SSS. The two skills merged into one with a bright light. Eye of Gluttony. Acquisition difficulty, SSS. Description. Higher level version of the Eye of Truth. It is immune to all kinds of barriers and can see the opponent's status window and interfere with its innermost part through sharing vision and mind reading. However, there is a risk of the caster's personality being contaminated if used frequently due to the nature of Blood Demon Chi. The effect lasts one hour after usage. Eye of Gluttony. Although the side effects could end up with him losing his humanity due to overusage in terms of efficiency, the skill was excellent. Not bad. Jin Hyuk nodded his head, satisfied with the result. All the preparations were complete. Now it was time to pile up money, and Las Vegas was a city that shone brighter at night than day. The Las Vegas Luxor Hotel Casino. David, the security chief, was not in the mood for the news that came to him. Chi, chief. We are already losing over a million dollars. It is the fourth dealer now. How can we not act? There is no problem with the security cameras. The barriers blocking unique abilities and skills are also working fine. The staff spoke with stiff faces. What? What is happening? If not for that, how can this situation even be explained? David hit the CCTV monitor. 
a single Asian customer had come in. And it all started with that one person. How could you come in with 4,000 and win over 100,000 in an hour? This would be nonsense even if he had the god of luck on his side. The game here was poker. It is a gamble with skills. The more people played, the more they would lose. But this man didn't. It was insane. He was winning it all while making the dealers look like idiots. The win rate shouldn't be high. His win rate would average around 10%. The biggest problem was that he wiped the table clean every time he won. It was as if he could spy on every deck on the table. What are you doing? This wasn't a unique ability or skill. If it was, the camera would have stopped it and identified them. And this made David come to a conclusion. At the same time, Jin Hyuk was busy picking up the money at the poker table. Shit. You cannot lose it this time. Somehow, I need to win. Through mind reading, he could hear the dealer's thoughts. At the same time, J1 pair. With a shared view, the dealer's hand could be seen. All he had to do was watch and place the best correctly. I cannot lose even if I want to. No matter how many barriers were spread out inside the casino, it could not block the eye of gluttony. This felt like a skill made for gambling. With enough time, he was sure he could sweep all the casinos in the world. Well, I will be put on the blacklist right away, so it cannot happen. But it didn't matter, because this was being done due to an urgent need for money. Call. Pair of tens. Jin Hyuk pushed the stacked chips forward. The dealer bit his lip and played the hand. Four of a kind, congratulations. Since even the bluff he used was discovered, the dealer could do nothing but admit defeat. Oh my. How many dealers has he beaten? The fourth one already. Shit. I have been in casinos for ten years now, and this is my first time seeing such a case. He has won for quite a bit, at least over a million dollars? Insane. It is like winning the lottery here. But isn't it time to end it? If they hold on until the end, the guy will make the casino go naked. Those idiots! That man is in perfect control. At this rate, the casino will close down. Pwaha! This might be a sight worth seeing. People were excited. It was because they were fascinated with Jin Hyuk's ability. Jin Hyuk began to collect the stacked chips. An extra $200,000. But, still lacking. These careful dealers weren't taking the bait. Thanks to that, the bet amount was hardly growing, and now he had only 30 minutes left. I will shuffle. The dealer took a new deck of cards. He could see the magic on those fingers. Michael Pedro activated LV3 cunning cheating. The cards were being shuffled at high speed. One, two. The clover and heart moved as the cards were overlapped, and Jin Hyuk began to watch. Five, six, and finally... The cards were shuffled and placed in front of Jin Hyuk, but Jin Hyuk didn't turn the card. Instead, he tapped the table with his fingers and tried to mess with the nerves of the dealer. Card? You won't check it? The dealer asked cautiously. Check? Yes, you need to check them before placing the bet. Well, a total of seven. The only thing I saw was messing around with three skills. Do I need to look at these cards? What do you... The dealer's voice trembled. The man appearing here was an excellent move, but the casino hadn't trained him properly in his acting. How could he show shock on his face right away? Enough. Ask the hotel manager or the chief of security to come out. Right now. Jin Hyuk spoke out an order. And, at that moment, Who does this dirty Asian think he is to ask to see me? What, skill? Scam? You must be crazy. I think you will be taken out in an ambulance today. You get it? David appeared alongside some bodyguards. They were a group of people with balloon-like large muscles. Oh, yellow monkey, say that again. Are you saying our casino is doing something illegal now? David asked. He was already caught, and now he couldn't give in. The guy was angry. At this point, he decided that acting shamelessly would be the best option. Of course, he didn't know who he was dealing with. And there was one thing Jin Hyuk hated hearing the most. Yellow monkey? Right. You Asians all have the same color. Besides, what with that little boy's face? You look more like a woman. And that was it. For now, I will hit your face until it turns yellow. He has completely lost it. Take him to the side so he doesn't bother the other guests. David waved his hand, and the bodyguards approached him with clenched fists. Yes, chief. What? 
he must have the will to get his body broken? I don't know, man. I am looking forward to what he can do. The bodies of the Westerners were typically large, especially these bodyguards. However, the moment a large hand touched Jin Hyuk on the shoulder, the eerie sound of bones breaking could be heard. Me, my hand. A scream came out after the hand was twisted. The man shouted in pain. W what is that? Everyone was shocked, but no one had the time to understand or respond to the situation, because Jin Hyuk, who had dealt with one person, had moved to the next. Fast and light movement without a limit. S spare me. The men had their arms and legs broken. Their ligaments were completely ruptured, and they'll be unlikely to lift a fork with their own hands for the rest of their lives. Fortunately, the people who injured their arms were lucky. Some might have to be in wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. Without a single word of mercy, his hands only dealt out cruelty. Does it make sense? How can so many people be knocked out? I... It's a player. That person is a combat player. Well, there is no other way to explain it. Even the people who were watching were screaming at the acts of cruelty. Now, there was just one person left. The heaviest bodyguard swung his fist. It was an attack aimed precisely at his head and seemed well trained. Of course, Jin Hyuk avoided the fist by simply moving his head slightly. At the same time, he moved his right hand as fast as lightning. For a moment, the man's breathing stopped. A hand that was as hard as steel was blocking his neck, so he had no choice but to be shocked. At this sight, David was forced to finally admit the reality. T this makes no sense. His judgment was utterly wrong. Chief, I found out what you asked to search. Asked? Ah. The profile. How is it? T that is... Damn it. Don't dawdle and say it. His name is Kang Jin Hyuk, an S rank in Korea. I checked it because of the match video, but he is a total monster. Never, never fight him. S-class? David was so startled that he was unable to speak. Unknowingly, he lost strength in his legs. Tremble. His heart was too startled that it skipped a beat. T that is too high of a rank. Even in the US, there were less than 20 S-ranks. This was even though they were being supported by the might of the whole nation. And to deal with... No. To even touch him. A mid-level scavenger. Even if the entire guild came, it wouldn't be a match. We've touched a beehive. Even David, who knew nothing about the tower, knew this. About the influence that any high ranker possessed. And if the opponent was determined to run wild. Cold sweat began to flow down his body. Either way, the casino's reputation would fall. All he had in his head now was to live. So he spat it out. I apologize. I am sorry I stopped noticing it and made a mess. He spoke in an earnest voice. But... Why are you suddenly apologizing? Jin Hyuk's face became more contorted, as if he had heard something he didn't want to hear. Uh? That? I just heard about Kang Jin Hyuk from security. He had been asked why his attitude had changed suddenly. After hearing my rank, did you think you touched the wrong person? So you apologized? Would you have beaten them up if it was an F rank or a normal person? I... I didn't mean... David tried to make excuses, but it was too late. He felt the terrible pain of a fist digging deep into his stomach. It isn't over if you apologize. Right? If you are sorry, you shouldn't have done this from the start. You wanted to kill someone and then say sorry and forget it all? Even if you regret it all and cry, the deed was done. All right. I will never make such a mistake again. Jin Hyuk stretched out his stiff body, got up, and gave a $10 chip to David. Ah! Chief, I had a nice time. You must be cold trying to work here, so on your way off duty, have a hot bowl of soup. As night filled the sky and the sun completely set, Jin Hyuk stood waiting in an abandoned alley. Nights are pretty cold here. He had come out a little early in case he missed the black market set starting time. But the nights here were cold. Still, because his desired condition had been achieved, even standing around waiting for another felt enjoyable. It's said that having a strong bank account gives you confidence that you didn't have before. Guess that statement is true. That is enough to win the bid for a replica. He heard that over 100 items were being auctioned, so the competition probably won't be that fierce, especially because I do not want to be noticed by others. A pearl in the mud. Items that had value incomparable to the money you'd spent it. 
those who don't know the true value would be reluctant to spend their money on it. Anyway, the time had come, and the moment he thought about that, he heard the sound of a car approaching. After a moment, a black Benz stopped in front of him. The car windows were lowered, and a man in a suit was inside. Probably a black market employee? Guest 117, is it you, sir? Yes, that is me. Jin Hyuk showed him the invitation card and number. We have confirmed it. We will now take you to where the auction is held. The location is 30 minutes away, a mansion in the middle of the desert. We must hurry to not be late. But what do we do? Even without doing anything, he could glean the information using the eye of gluttony. I should try it on players next time. In the past, all the players had already left the Tower of Trials by the time he had made this eye. That meant that even if he wanted to experiment, there was no one to target. I do not have to worry about that anymore. If we don't want humanity to perish, we must use everything and climb the tower, checking to see if the Eye of Gluttony worked on those who use magic and those who don't. If it did work, to what level was its efficiency? It would be a different kind of pleasure to know that. Jin Hyuk let his thoughts wander as he buried himself in the car seat. It took precisely 30 minutes. We are here. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. With those words from the staff, the car stopped. As Jin Hyuk got out of the car, a surprising scene unfolded. Oh! He exclaimed unconsciously. He couldn't help it. This was a much more splendid and beautiful mansion than he had imagined. In addition, the starry night sky and the oasis around it harmonized with the mansion's exterior to create a picturesque sight. You can hand the invitation over to me, and have a good time, sir. After the staff rechecked the authenticity of the invitation, he bowed his head. Jin Hyuk, who was alone, went inside the mansion. The moment he went through the gate, he looked at the pond attached to the garden. The promise. You haven't forgotten it, right? Elise's voice could be heard. Right. She was still here. Helping him find a demonic human on the plane was a special achievement, so he had allowed her to wish for one thing. She had wished to see the outside world. It doesn't matter. This is fine, right? Las Vegas would have a lot more to see if they roamed outside there. There were many forms of entertainment, from fireworks to motorcycle performances, but she wanted to visit an auction house that was only for the rich? If you want to fit into the noble-blooded denizens of the night, you need to have such a level of dignity. It isn't a bad mansion. Even if it was made by humans, this is fine. She smiled happily. It is nice to think that way. Well, are you going to do something in the auction? Elisa's eyes twinkled. Because she had been in a position where her subordinates would seize or steal whatever she wanted, money made no sense to Elise. Therefore, spectacles such as auctions were interesting to her. Right. Take it slow. It's almost the starting time. Jin Hyuk took out his phone and checked the time. Ten minutes. After that, a war of capital would begin. In an amphitheater located in the center of the mansion. While it was initially designed for opera, it had been transformed into an auction use that welcomed the world's wealthiest people who wanted to deal behind the scenes. Now, 175, I attend it yearly but get excited each time the auction starts. I heard the heart of the ichthyosaur is being put in the auction. Really? Is it finally being put out? It must have been thanks to the Tower of Trials finally appearing. All the treasures of constellations that disappeared in ancient times are being reproduced using magic or something. I'm looking forward to it. Even if I don't win the bid, I want to look at it. And this time, a lot of big things are coming out, and they said they are accepting precious metals or bonds along with dollars. Of course, in that case, we have to pay an additional 10% fee. Then the competition will be fierce. I need to recheck my balance. Whisper. More than half the people were seated and talking. Jin Hyuk and Elise also moved to empty seats. But at that moment... Haha. <laughs> nice to meet you. An old man dressed in a black hood approached him. This guy was... Jin Hyuk frowned. It was a familiar face. Not too long ago, an old man from the Demonic Human Association had pitched a strategy to the world's major guilds regarding the attack on the third floor. That same old man was now here. This is another one. If he considered the man's abilities back then, he had to be at least an executive or in a position of command. And next to him was Alex, who he had met on the plane. 
This guy must have been quite angry. The handsome guy with a nasty mind. He was clearly angry because Jin Hyuk had taken his elixir. Naturally, Jin Hyuk didn't care much about them. Feeling sorry for your actions only applied to another human being. I am Julius Kadrick. I am sure you must have noticed it. But as you can see, I am the teacher for this stupid disciple. That was his name. Jin Hyuk activated the Eye of Gluttony. Name. Julius Kadrick. Gender. Male. Age. 58. Level. 30. Strength. 11. Agility. 9. Stamina. 10. Magic. 49. Misconduct. 25. Stat points. 1. Coins. 130. Old Fight 5. Occupation. Necromancer. Unique ability. Gravekeeper of the Cursed Tomb. Skills. LV6. Wailing Wall. LV6. Commander's Command. LV5. Knight of the Dead. LV5. Regeneration. LV4. Area Weakening. LV4. Infectious Disease. Copy Condition. Psychologically, he is furious because of the recent successive failures of his incompetent subordinates. After completing the Black Magic class he supervises, if you get an a grade, you can copy one of his skills or abilities. Jin Hyuk knew it. As expected, he had great skills. He was sure that the unique ability would also create a good synergy. Gravekeeper of the Cursed Tomb was able to summon a large number of familiars with minimum use of magic. It was clearly the ability of a necromancer, but he wanted a summoner-like skill added to his repertoire. But, after reading the copy conditions, Jin Hyuk felt his head hurt. The system has to be crazy. There was something about taking on the role of a passionate student. What kind of condition was this? Necromancy wasn't something he was too interested in, which made these copy conditions a bit too much for now. All of it was bad. But the ability... First of all, should we try it out? Jin Hyuk looked at the old man. Thanks to your disciple, I got a precious thing, and it was a pleasant flight. Ha <laughs> ha. I am glad you did. So I want to ask you again about the information. This time I came to you directly. Are you talking about the masked player? Yes. It is a pretty important issue for us. It might be a bit of an exaggeration, but our life depends on it. Look at this. Was he trying to threaten him? Jin Hyuk smiled. If that was the case, I would have said I would tell you later. Unfortunately, we don't have time. We need to know it as fast as possible. I don't know. Whether they were in a hurry or not, he didn't care. What did it even have to do with him? They should have sent him a pack of twelve elixirs if they were in such a hurry. However, despite Jin Hyuk's words, Kadrick's expression was calm. Hmm. Think carefully before you make a decision. From what I see, you came here to get something? So? If we put our minds to it. Kadrick's eyes looked cold as he said, It means we can buy all the items being auctioned here tonight. The Demonic Human Association's threat was that they could use their power to make life tough for him. No, it wasn't just a threat. It was definitely within their abilities to do it. Jin Hyuk bit his lip. Are you trying to pressure me into it? Things weren't looking good now. Even with $30 million in his bags, it was difficult to feel secure. But, these people don't look like much. Why are they trying to act all mean to you? Elise tilted her head and spoke without much thought, making Kadrick's face distort. Because Jin Hyuk was there, he was holding on to his temper. It was the first time he's seen this girl. What do you mean by not looking like much? I am saying it literally. Why is a human who thinks he has everything in the world with just a handful of gold dust talking carelessly to my contractor? So strong. Then again, there was no such thing as winning against Elise using words. Just as Elise was getting ready to use her hands. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being patient. Now, let's start the 175th Black Market Auction. The announcer's voice was amplified throughout the venue. Finally, it is starting. The guests, who had waited in anticipation, applauded the announcement. Thanks to it, the fight between Elise and Kadrick was halted. Before introducing the items, in addition to the auction list distributed with the invitation, there are five additional items prepared, so please manage your money appropriately. Five undisclosed items. The bowtie-wearing host was making the audience excited. Then the first item was a meteorite which fell in Arizona, USA. 
Not only has it been well preserved, but it can also be forged into a weapon or armor due to the magic from the Tower of Trials. Starting price is one million. From the very first item, things that had magic were already appearing. Weapons and armor. Weren't those the most popular keywords these days? 1.5 million. 2 million. 2.5 million. This is mine. 5 million. The value of the bids kept soaring, naturally making the atmosphere between the bidders more heated. Stupid people. Jin Hyuk, who watched the scene unfold, just clicked his tongue. A meteorite infused with magic was useless without the right smelting technology. Buying it for 5 million? Maybe if you had a hobby of collecting trash. If not, you're just wasting money. At the very least, there are no blacksmiths capable of handling meteorites right now. However, Jin Hyuk lightly placed a bid. 6 million. A price that broke the previous highest bid. Elise immediately asked, You want to buy it? At first glance, she too seemed to realize that the item was useless. Keep watching. I am not buying it. Jin Hyuk smiled. If he acted like he would spend money on this, then... 6.5 million. Kadrick raised the amount, as expected. He doesn't know what I am trying to buy, so all he can do is put up a higher bet on what I bid on. No matter how much money he had, there was a limit. If he exhausted their reserves with amounts like this, he would have an advantage when the item he wanted finally appeared. 7 million. 7.5 million. As Jin Hyuk raised the price again, so did Cedric, who was going after him. He wasn't willing to give up. Won by the bidder with 7.5 million. Kadrick frowned at this. He had probably realized what Jin Hyuk's intentions were, but it was already too late. He had already bought the item for $7.5 million. Besides, unless he knew what the opponent was aiming for, there was no way but to go for everything Jin Hyuk was bidding on. I hope you have a thick wallet. Jin Hyuk smiled at Kardrick. The next thing is also an amazing item. This is a log from Columbus's first voyage to America. The rarest and most valuable historical relics were coming out of the black market. A mysterious vessel with unknown age, a refulgia flower with magic, a torture device used in the Middle Ages, and so on and so forth. Jin Hyuk would throw a bait each time an item appeared that had magic or looked remotely unique. They were clear baits, too. He continued to bid the highest on each item as if he was about to give up. This was an evil man's action in a gentleman's auction. As a result, Kadrick had been forced to spend over $70 million on the wackiest of items. Grunt. Kardik was grinding his teeth. This. He is like a loach. His face was red from both anger and shame at having to constantly fall into such obvious traps. All of this was because of money. $70 million wasn't a tiny amount of money and were already well beyond the budget allowed by the association. But... His anger rose because of the opponent's absurd strategy. Teacher, why don't we give up once? Judging from the looks of it, he doesn't seem to have a lot of money himself. But if we keep doing this, we'll run out of our own money. If they won the bid, they had to pay. You idiot! But what if he ends up getting what he wants? T that. You are like this because you didn't do your work properly in the first place, so shut your mouth. We'll lose money, but I will be the winner here. Right. Doesn't matter if it was 70 or 100 million. In the end, the winner gets the last laugh. And an auction was a game where the wealthiest person won. At that moment, the following is an item for maniacs. Introducing the, the first chessboard. The host introduced the next item, which was a clunky looking chessboard. Hmm. It doesn't seem that good. It doesn't even include the chess pieces. I often take such things for a hobby, but it, who will? It's not like it's carved from some luxurious wood. Well, the heart of Ichthyosaur will be out in a little while, so let's save some money. That's right. Because that is the main point of the auction. The atmosphere changed. The item on display right now was too dull compared to the treasures that had come out before. Oddly enough, the host didn't say much either and had only described it as an item for maniacs. Of course, it must be an appealing item for certain collectors but most of the auction audience simply ignored it. Bidding starts at $50. If you'd like it, please place your bid. $100? I will put it in my bathroom. Puahaha. I will call for $150. Just for the sake of my cat. 
I needed a wooden plank to sharpen Alexander's claws. Two hundred dollars. Absolutely, a mess. Nothing more than two hundred dollars. Laughter came from the audience, save for one person. Jin Hyuk clenched his fist to calm his beating heart. Finally here. The essential item that he needed for the attack on the third floor boss. This was why he had participated in this auction. Jin Hyuk was looking for this. Kadrick and Alex didn't seem much interested in it either. The reason he was doing this? There was only one way to know if his hard work so far would pay off. Five thousand. Jin Hyuk started his bid. What? Five thousand? Is he crazy? A flood of uncomprehending reactions came from his fellow auction attendees. What kind of idiot would spend five thousand dollars on such a thing? But the laughter disappeared at the next bid. Ten thousand. Kadrick began to enter the bidding. Fifteen. Fifty. Jin Hyuk immediately raised, and Kadrick followed without hesitation. Kadrick's face clearly looked like he was skeptical, but he wasn't going to give up. One million. Jin Hyuk raised it again. Ten million. Kadrick raised it even higher this time. Even after the price had jumped up by this much, he was simply raising it to ensure that Jin Hyuk didn't get it. Insane. What kind of idiot spends ten million on a chessboard? Is there something we don't know? This is driving me crazy. I cannot keep up with this. The atmosphere turned again. Suddenly, everyone began to focus on this bid. Fifteen million. Jin Hyuk spoke with a heavy voice. He had already reached half the amount of money he had. And Kadrick continued. Thirty million. At that value, Jin Hyuk could no longer match the bid. It was already reaching the amount of money he had. Uh. We have reached our limit. Kadrick began to fold his hands. The host, shocked for a second, held onto the mic. Thirty million. Any more bids? Because there was a ten percent auction fee, three million dollars of this bid would go to the black market. When he had first submitted the item, he considered that getting five thousand dollars for it would already be great. But this was a fantastic number. There was no need to drag this on any longer. There were no more bids. Then the fifty-sixth item. The first chessboard. Sold for thirty million. But just as he was about to end it, please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. One hundred million. A voice who hadn't participated until now spoke up. The speaker was right next to Jin Hyuk. Elise? Jin Hyuk was shocked. One hundred million. One hundred million? Does it make sense to spend one hundred million on that? Stupid. Those who had been somewhat interested in the bidding were just surprised now. They could understand if this had been one of the auction's undisclosed items, but one hundred million dollars was an absurd amount to spend on this chessboard. Kadrick let out a sigh. Right. That should be that. Kadrick had been confident of victory when he had discovered Jin Hayuk's money balance. All that had been left was to take away the junk item he wanted and use it as leverage for information. Right. That was how it should have gone. But this little kid clearly didn't even think of that. Does this mean she isn't a normal human? There was no way she could be normal. Just looking at the bid of one hundred million dollars, he was sure of it. However, no matter who or what the opponent was, he couldn't give up now. He had already spent seventy million on trash. If he stopped now, then it would have been all for nothing. Never. That could never happen. One hundred and ten million. One hundred and fifty million. Insane. Raising the bid by 40 million in one go. What kind of auction was that kid bidding in? As the price was jumping up too high, Kadrick's expression became dark. It was because reality was diverging wildly from what he had imagined would happen. 160 million. 200 million. While he worked hard to catch up, the distance was created again in one go. Such a price was hard to follow. Fine. 210 million. 300 million. 310 million. 500 million. You are saying 500 million like it is five dollars. Do you really have the 500 million to pay it with? Kadrick had finally reached the limit of his patience and jumped up with a flushed face and heart pounding from anger. This is a whole popcorn angle. Jin Hyuk, who was watching the whole scene happen, was holding back his laughter. He had actually been somewhat confident of winning the auction without Elise. It would have been a pity, 
but selling the fragment of Merlin's staff from the Corridor of the Fallen would have been enough. Just a single relic. Merlin's staff would have made everyone here go crazy. Still, it was a preference of his to see other people spending their money. Just for this, he had let Elise join in this fight. She would do anything to piss off her opponent if it was her. And Cadric wasn't the type to stand still at an opponent's provocation. So he simply decided to let the two fight it out, resulting in the current situation. His prediction had been proven correct. The Demonic Human Association was capable and had a lot of money, but... Well... Do they have more capital than the head of the Ataraxia family, who were known to be the rulers of the night? Jin Hyuk crossed his legs as the staff intervened. Like the gentleman said, Could you please prove that you have the required cash balance? I do not doubt the lady, but I want a smooth running auction. Five hundred million dollars was a significant amount that even executives at well-known companies wouldn't readily have. Even with the best intentions, it was difficult to believe that this middle school looking girl would be able to spend such a sum. Proof? Yes. How difficult can it be? Elise waved her hand. And... Suddenly, the space above Elise's head began to distort, and the air began to fluctuate. Subspace? Inventory? Correct. Universal storage. That girl. She is a player? Doesn't she look like a high-ranked one? I knew she was a rare kind. The other guests were all shocked at this sight. Moments later, Elise pulled something out of her subspace inventory. It was a crown adorned with splendid jewels. Didn't you say you also take precious metals and not just dollars? That is true. But... The host looked at the crown with a dubious look at its authenticity. For now, let's get it analyzed first. In preparation for such an event, the black market had prepared an appraiser capable of using magic for analysis. The appraiser activated his skill. As he did, his eyes began to tremble from shock. T this cannot be... His voice vibrated violently, and even his hands were trembling. Why? Is it fake? The auctioneer asked. No. It... is genuine. Thank you. So how much is the crown in your opinion? Do you think it is worth 500 million? That is difficult to answer. The appraiser shook his head while looking troubled. What? Is it tough to answer? What do you mean? The craftsmanship used to craft this crown isn't something done with modern technology. None of our current techs can even imitate it. Not able to replicate it? Then... It's from the tower. Yes. In addition, the crown tooth and the seven winged eagles. It is a spiritual beast which symbolizes the Felstian kingdom. The fact that the crown was genuine sent the whole auction hall into chaos. It is from the tower? That thing? No. If it is the Felstian kingdom, then isn't it the most hidden ruin in the Tower of Trials? Since information about the tower had become profitable, Everyone began collecting bits of information from various sources. Or at least those with money did. It's a ruin that can only be entered when in possession of a treasure that symbolizes the royal family. I've heard of it before. Vivi value of it? How much is it worth? The host was urging his appraiser to give a price. His laid-back way of talking had disappeared and was replaced with stiff nervousness. At a rough estimate, three billion would probably be a good price. Huh. Three three billion? Insane. A crown without a kingdom or a man is worth that much. Oh my. The evaluation had far exceeded expectations. With this, the owner of the chessboard was decided. Cadric's face became stiff. Who the hell thought this small kid would become such a hurdle to his path? If the appraiser's words were correct, they wouldn't be able to win this. All the money he had access to only amounted to $700 million. I was wrong. A fatal mistake. His habit of looking down on his opponents had resulted in this. But more dangerous than the girl is Kang Jin Hyuk, who treats her like a subordinate. He looked at Kang Jin Hyuk, who was stroking the girl's hair with a proud face. Perhaps. Perhaps. He was a more annoying enemy than the masked player. C congratulations We will hand the first chessboard to the lady with the crown. The host congratulated Elise and the black market employees in their black suits delivered the chessboard, which had been sealed in a glass case. Not me. Give to him. Yes. Jin Hyuk ended up being the recipient. He tried to maintain a calm facade as he took it into his possession. 
If he wanted to maintain good social and life skills, he needed to act nice in front of other people. I am grateful, but isn't this too much? I feel bad. That look. He was sure he had nailed it with a score of 95-100. He bit lightly on his lip to show slight desperation as he bowed his head. It is a pity that this collection of mine is ruined, but I still have several treasures of that kingdom. Besides, I can't bear to see smiles on the faces of people who dared to act rudely to my contractor, even if it meant death. This kid, she sure knows how to say strange things. Even if she pretends to not care, she puts up her treasured item for my sake. To be honest, he felt touched. In the future, he would have to improve his treatment of Elise. Maybe put a cushion inside the ring. And while Jin Hyuk was smiling, Kadrick's hand rested on Alex's shoulder. We must go there because we need to prepare for the attack on the boss. They had come here to initiate contact with Jin Hyuk, but could not stay much longer. So, as soon as the auction is done, kidnap Kang Jin Hyuk. Me? Right, you can do it. Besides, can't you make a lot of corpses? Even if the opponent was an S-class, how could he go up against a necromancer? He will be powerless in front of the black magic, which released legions of undead. Before the tower had appeared, Alex was a surgeon who had a unique sense when handling the human body. Of course, it would be a massive blow if it became known that many influential people around the world had been turned undead by his hands. But since everyone knew that the dead could not speak, the truth would never come out. And the woman? Remove her. I was waiting for those words. Alex smiled. Finally, an opportunity had come for him to repay the humiliation. After about three hours, the final item was finally sold. In many ways, it was a very successful auction. No matter what anyone else said, the 175th round of auctions would be remembered by history for a long time. Thank you for having joined us for this event tonight. When you leave the premises, please follow the same procedure using the cars that we... Uh? At the moment, the host was about to end proceedings and bow to his guests. A large wave of energy crashed through the venue. Cracks appeared in the ceiling as the building's pillars collapsed. Save me! What kind of madness is this? Avoid it. Just avoid it. No one could understand what just happened. On the surface, their casual relationships had been good, but everyone was focusing on their survival right now. They needed to get out. Just one second faster than others. All of them were desperately trying to stay alive, but there was no place to escape. Instead, they were closer to hell. Splatters of blood accompanied a flash of light. A man at the front of the crowd grabbed his neck as a hole appeared in it. Where are you going in such a hurry? You are my precious sacrifices. Alex stood at the entrance as he greeted the people warmly. Next to him were monsters of horrifying shapes and forms. All the other exits were blocked by the broken pillars and had transformed the hall into a prison. A prison one could never escape from. And right now, it was a party I really liked. Jin Hyuk, who was looking over the hall, turned towards Alex. You took this too far. He crossed a line he shouldn't have. Such a vile necromancer. Is messing up another person's house your hobby? How can you say that to such lovable creatures? Well, it might look like that to others. Alex stroked the monsters lined up next to him. In his eyes, those monsters truly did look lovely. No matter how you look at them, those things should just be hung out to dry. I don't think even Lasik would work on your disgusting eyes. I'd rather pull them out. As Jin Hyuk pulled out his dagger, blue energy enveloped it. The dazzling light swallowed up the entire blade at once. A dagger. Indeed, as expected of an S-rank with this level of magic, it is outstanding even among S-ranks. However, even after seeing the sword energy on the dagger, Alex seemed relaxed. If you believe in the rags behind you and shout so much, you are making a mistake. Did you think I would deal with you alone? Alex smiled and, at the same time, black energy swept through the room. Alex activated LV-5's magic melting furnace. It was a wide area skill that covered the entire mansion, giving Jin Hyuk an ominous feeling. M my head! My body feels like it is being torn apart. The guests began to collapse to their knees and groan in pain. They were afflicted by a curse that drained the life out of their bodies. Because of this curse, 
The people there had to feel the pain of their bodies melting away. Very slowly, too, at that. Jin Hyuk frowned. He felt a tingling pain, but he could protect his body from melting thanks to the magic within him. <sighs> Help me. Please. The people there begged for their lives. Most were in their middle ages or even of elderly age. Some were young children. Family of those who received the invitation? It would be too cruel to let them die just because they were here. Especially if he let a child die, he wouldn't be able to dream well for the rest of his life. There should still be around ten minutes until their body dissolves. This could be stopped if he could defeat Alex. Ten minutes. Jin Hyuk looked at Alex as their eyes met. I see that dissatisfied expression on your face. Why? Is it really bothering you that some bugs are dying? Bugs. Correct. Are there any other ways to call these creatures that can only be used as materials for magic but bugs? At Alex's words, Jin Hyuk smiled. At this point, it was just plain ridiculous. That is why I don't get along with demonic humans. I do want to talk with some, but you people just make it impossible. Jin Hyuk sprinted forward and narrowed the distance at once. The dagger was held in reverse and used to slash down the monsters in his path. The undead monsters had all looked quite thick due to their fat layers, but that wasn't enough to stop his blade. The strongest skill which could cut down anything. His sword attack flew across his path, cutting down more than ten monsters. But the flesh of the monsters he had cut was beginning to heal immediately. Even if they are bugs, it is still quite impressive. There is no better material than this to use for recovery. Alex chuckled. Indeed. This was his plan to waste time. He would use the vitality of all the people here to keep his monsters alive. Eventually, everyone here would die. A sensible tactic. It's probably the most standard method too, but... So upsetting. What is? It is a pity that you're acting proud and treating this as if it is a trump card. Was he playing around by just having his monsters regenerate? Wouldn't it be enough to erase them entirely without giving them time to recover? Jin Hyuk pointed the dagger at Alex. The light began to gather at a single point. The black energy was dazzling. LV2 Daylight is activated. The monsters all twisted their bodies at the blazing energy. They must have been in great pain. The light attribute was known to cause additional damage to these kinds of monsters. As expected, you used that. Alex clicked his tongue as things happened as he expected. He clearly had seen the battle video against Chun Yu Xiong, a skill that compressed magic into a single point before releasing it in a straight line and imbued with an element that was the antithesis of the undead. So he clearly had prepared for it as well. If Jin Hyuk activated that skill, he had a secret trick ready and ordered his undead to execute it. But the undead wasn't moving from their places. W what What? I have frozen their feet so they cannot move. He combined several skills at once to get the maximum results from his attack. The central combination was to use Daylight and then the Ice Formation skill to restrict their movement. The only real downside to Daylight was its long activation time, but Ice Formation was able to make up for it. With this, checkmate, Jin Hyuk smiled. And at that moment, a giant ray of light engulfed the undead monsters. Heat rose up from the ground as not a single monster was spared. This was because there wasn't even a single cell left for them to regenerate from. This was my first time trying it out, but it was pretty good. Jin Hyuk liked doing this, fusing two skills for a higher performance result. By using them like this, he could optimize his skills for battle. The sense of exhilaration from this was great. On the other hand, I... it cannot be. Alex wasn't able to accept this situation. Ten minutes. Everything ended before ten minutes were up. If all the humans here had been absorbed by his furnace, he could have summoned an even higher level undead. But the undead he had summoned were already wiped out. Damn it! Alex pulled a scalpel from his sleeve that had a transparent liquid dripping down from it. It was poison. This showed how desperate he was. Are you for real? A necromancer in close combat? As Jin Hyuk thought that. Alex threw the scalpel straight toward his face. Jin Hyuk casually knocked it away, cutting the scalpel in half as it fell to the ground. So disappointing. Was that your way of running away? Why draw out a scalpel? It seemed like he had planned to escape by creating a momentary diversion. Throwing. Is done like this. The target was a short distance away and unable to respond. 
The dagger which he threw went right for Alex's chest. The skill activation was cancelled right away. How about I educate you a little? You get what I'm saying? Ah, don't try too hard to answer me. The place where my dagger pierced you is your lungs, so breathing will be tough. Qua, save. You enjoyed others being hurt and groaning in pain, but you don't like it happening to you? Wasn't he being too biased? A true necromancer should enjoy his own suffering. Alex grabbed Jin Hyuk's shoes, but he ignored him. From now on, I will tell you how you will die. Just a little spoiler to his ultimate end because it was no longer just about him. Your lungs will slowly bleed out for the next couple of hours. A human's life was tough to end. Somehow, all the organs in their bodies would work as hard as possible to even eke out an extra second of life. And after that long struggle, you will start to choke as blood fills your lungs. Not as painful as dying in a fire, but still a gruesome end. The more he heard about his fate, the more terrified Alex became. This pain. Free me. Cough. Cough. My heart. Hurts with. Breathing. Alex begged. His face was becoming more twisted with pain and agony, with every word he struggled to speak. It was probably the feeling of blood seeping into his lungs. It is upsetting, but I am not interested in becoming a killer. What? Life is the most precious thing, so I will never take it with my own hands. Well, what do you... Ha! Alex reached for Jin Hyuk, but he couldn't even reach him now. The last resort for trash like you. No. Just an hour was too short. Considering the evil he committed here, not to mention the quests he needed to do just to become a necromancer, Alex deserved no mercy. He would die in a prolonged state of suffering. He would die as he apologized for the sins of experimenting on innocent humans and defiling their corpses by making undead. While leaving the venue, Jin Hyuk saw all the items that were part of auction were lying on the floor unattended. Quite a few treasures were damaged, but fortunately, the best items made it through unscathed. It feels like I am inside a treasure dungeon. The most valuable items he recovered were the heart of the Ichthyosaur, unknown iron ore, and the vault of Michelangelo. The crown that Elise had given in as payment was also recovered. Nice. This was enough. Heart of Ichthyosaur, A, unknown. Iron ore, B, and vault of Michelangelo, C, are used as materials. You have successfully created a large capacity subspace inventory. Gold grade, 5,000. A yellow colored subspace inventory appeared with a dazzling light. Finally, he could clear off the cumbersome items, but at that moment, he felt something from the people around him. Jin Hyuk quickly turned his head. Is someone already waking up? He thought as such for a moment as he turned around and saw the auction host was standing behind him. Thank you so much for saving us. The host thanked Jin Hyuk while his son was hyphing behind him. The little guy also thanked him, and Jin Hyuk realized the buy he saved earlier was son of the auction host. I wasn't planning on just taking them, so... Jin Hyuk tried to defend himself as he took the items without asking anyone. It's fine. The host cut him off, and Jin Hyuk gave him a puzzled look. I saw you right before things went chaotic, but you were the one who saved us, right? I have no thoughts of accusing the person who saved my one and only son. The auctioneer said while smiling and hugging his son. At that moment, Jin Hyuk felt a different kind of happiness that he has felt first time in his entire life. It's not a bad feeling. Jin Hyuk left the venue with a proud smile on his face. On the third floor of the Tower of Trials, there were two places the players hadn't reached yet. One was the boss room on the third floor that blocked the way to the fourth floor. The other one was right here. It was a place called the Cathedral of Hatred, a labyrinth that had destroyed countless challengers. But, contrary to its notoriety, the place had been conquered a while back by the demonic humans. Damn, why is the security so tight in here? This isn't good for us. A slender woman grunted, a lot of anger expressed through her words. She couldn't help it. Layers of barriers and traps were placed here to prevent players from approaching. Stop complaining, Milena. I am already not feeling too well because of that stupid doctor. The Asian man next to her clicked his tongue. It wasn't much, but the cold energy which exuded from his body wasn't inferior to that of a giant monster. Li Chao. Should I be paying attention to your mood now? That would be a good thing, if you don't want to die. 
Interesting. You speak like you are a lot stronger than me? Milena took his gaze head on. It wouldn't be strange for their weapons to be unsheathed at any moment. Both of you, let it go. A man in a black hood interrupted their little fight with a low and heavy voice. Unlike what Milena and Li Chiao were wearing, the man's hood had an inverted red cross on its shoulder alongside the Roman numeral seventh. I understand. They obeyed the command and just nodded their heads. Milena and Lu Chiao had worked outside the tower for over a decade but still didn't get along. Truthfully, it was contradictory to even talk about demonic humans getting along with each other. They were an apocalyptic cult that indulged in a pseudo-religion. Their members were made of killers who killed for pleasure, to the point of even becoming mercenaries. They were monsters who had thrown their humanity away. It was a group that hated being bound by any kind of law. But no matter how poor Alex's skills are, I don't understand how he lost even with so many resources. Li Chiao opened his mouth. Well, a guy named Kang Jin Hyuk was one of the Tower veterans. His rank should even be similar to ours. Do not be so careless. Maybe he is higher ranked than us. At those words from the hooded man, air escaped from their mouths. Ah, please. Even the executives who went up to the 20th floor were treated as insane. You think he went even higher than them? I also think we are putting him on a pedestal he doesn't deserve. We chose Tower of Trials, a virtual reality world to avoid the eyes of the CIA and stuff. And we know more about the Tower than others. Right. The other players don't have a special reason to move like us. There was no need for them to hide in the Tower to avoid the eyes of others. Was there a fool who threw away his life in this tedious game? Why would he? But a strange tension lingered on the man's face. His intuition had made him rise to this association's executive position. Beyond that, his own fear continued to send him warning signals. He should never underestimate Kang Jin Hyuk. Do not be careless. That was something only fools did. Then, you two, go with Kadrick. If there was even a slight chance to take down Kang Jin Hyuk, he would seize it. Jin Hyuk bowed slowly towards the outskirts of the temple. Before entering this realm, there was a task he needed to resolve first. After all, the autumn leaves here can be rated as the best in the tower. It has to be here. Jin Hyuk's eyes moved quickly between all the similar-looking trees. Among them, there was a special tree that differed from the others. Found it. Jin Hyuk looked at it. It was called the Human Face Tree. A giant tree with the face of a human. It was a tree that was quite popular among players as it had been uploaded to the community quite a few times. It was then that the human face tree turned to him. Did you come here to solve my quiz? Yes. Fine. If you answer all three questions, I will give any number of maple leaves I have. Then let me ask you the first question. Please answer about the optimum depth and temperature for the seawater species Kelgorn. It is a naturally easy question. No amount of error will be allowed. Depth is 175, and the temperature is 1.5 degrees. Jin Hyuk immediately answered the question, How many times have I snorkeled down there? In the middle of being impressed by Disney's Little Mermaid, he got bored and went for a dive there. So he knew. Not just the depth and temperature, he could even tell the tree about the changes in the current flow. The tree looked shocked as Jin Hyuk said, Next. I didn't say you are right yet. If it isn't the answer, you wouldn't be silent. Use your head. Fine. Then the second question. How players can take the Filiani's spongy body? Just put salt of sunshine desert and a holy water, made by the priest who finished the second appetizer in a pot, and cook the white tree growing in the winter cave with firewood for five hours. On low heat. Another correct answer. The tree's face was becoming stiffer. He had asked the most difficult questions to this rude human, but wasn't he answering them too easily? And now there was just one chance left. The range of questions that the human face tree could ask covered topics up to the tenth floor. However, this wasn't the time to be fair. Because its pride as the greatest, oldest, and most knowledgeable tree on the third floor was at stake. Last question. The giant eagles of Sky Plateau only mate once a year. Which month is that in? November 17th when the first snow falls. An answer that shouldn't have come out appeared anyway. W who are you? How can you know all of this? The human-faced tree was angry. Bexu over Tusu. Phew. 
It is my first time seeing someone break the quiz. Buskidis future. Wow, does this make sense? This is some naver intellectual. Pizza sweet and sour pork. John Mateng. It looks like an awful situation, to be honest. It's like the god sent this guy to smash this place. Beksu over Tusu. Admit it. Thanks to the guy, we can see the reward for the first time. Se Young Yan Huan. What will he choose? When a player passes the quiz, they would be given the right to choose one of the special items in the tree's possession. Red leaves boosted attack power, yellow for defense. Finally, the green would increase agility. Now tell me, what do you want from me? The tree asked, and the viewers were all focused. Depending on his choice, the fight with the boss on the third floor would change. But, you use a lot of trashy maple leaves to hide the good ones. You have black ones, right? Give them to me. Jin Hyuk's words made everyone dumbfounded. B black leaves? The human faced tree stuttered as it heard those words it hadn't expected. It was the same for the viewers watching. Huh, how do you know about the black leaves? It doesn't matter how I know. Just give it to me. But, but they're. The tree seemed agitated. The black leaves had a decay effect. However, it needed to dry and kill all of its remaining leaves to make its black leaves. This meant that no other player could take the quiz. Now, don't go around making excuses. You said it with your own mouth that I get to take what I want. Did it already forget that it promised upon the honor of the spirit? Ah, it couldn't have. Kook. Not that. Please. Instead of that, if there is anything else I can do. I don't need anything. All I want is the black leaf. As long as the stream was live, the information about the black leaves had already gone out to everyone. As time passed, the information would spread, and more people would pass the quiz. I cannot leave it for them. Even after all that, he could not let anyone else get a leaf enchanted with similar attributes. Because they are not allowed to use items like mine or those I don't have. This was a perfectly normal way to play. Jin Hyuk held out his palm. No compromise here. And finally, the reddish autumn leaves which covered the tree began to burn black. You have answered all three questions asked by the human face tree. You have acquired 1280 black leaves. Black leaf. Acquisition difficulty, fa. Description. When used on weapon or armor, a special effect of corruption attribute inflicts additional damage equal to 1% of target's total health per 3 minutes when attacked is added. The caster does not take damage. Only enemies are affected by the attack. Nice. Finally, he had all of the puzzle pieces. Jin Hyuk turned to the temple, leaving the tree behind, dying. The statues were ready to attack Jin Hyuk, and he leaped toward them, holding his dagger in the hand. Jin Hyuk was standing in front of the defeated statues, holding his dagger. Veteran identification. The more I look at it, the more creepy it gets. I don't know if the boss fight can be successful. Baksu over Tusu. It is possible. I started watching this Hyung from when the stream started, and I believe him. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not, but I want you to stop talking about it. Jin Hyuk scratched his head, feeling annoyed. Big Pie. Huh? Did he say something to us? Bland Curry. Ah, no. Would he have said that to the viewers if he was sane? Anger management. Right. But he knows that he would lose subscribers if he said that to the viewers. I did say it to you people. Just watch this quietly, because he had no intention of making them feel like they owned his channel. If you want to get out of the channel, get out, and if you want to watch, then do so. But keep one thing in mind, I am the owner of this channel, not you. I don't have to be dragged around by these viewers. Because once high-quality content was shown, people would come and stick around. It is more important to stick to one concept. Right. That would be how the unknown player worked. And as Jin Hyuk thought that. Kong Hodo. I understand this Hyung's concept. Lol. Dead life. Wow. So chic. Beksu over Tusis. It is normal to feel bad, but why do I don't? I feel like I'm a pervert. Se Young Un Huan. To be honest, it is fresh. Some viewers were becoming attached to this tough acting player concept. But then suddenly, the chat volume increased frantically. This... Something registered itself on Jin Hyuk's senses. He could feel powerful magic from the gate to the north. 
This wasn't a raid from a large guild, as he had made sure to let them know he was doing this alone. Jin Hyuk frowned as he felt disgusting and unpleasant energy. There was no doubt. A necromancer, to be precise, one from the Demonic Human Association. They sure don't want to give up, do they? Broadcast viewers, I will turn it back on again after a while, Jin Hyuk said to his stream. Dead 998. No, what are you saying? What are you a eunuch? To go for a sudden release. Beksu over Tusis. Hyung, can't you see that the number of viewers is increasing now? You need to paddle when the water comes. End of chat. Broadcast has ended. The first broadcast was now complete, and the chat window activity stopped. This is more tiring than I thought. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. At the northern Supreme Harmony Gate of the Temple, Dozens of necromancers struggled to reach the four-story pagoda, where the key to the inner chamber was stored. They had been trying to break through for almost ten hours, but the path hadn't opened as it was blocked by a thick defensive layer of stone statues. Gather the troops. We need to break through here. Kadrick pulled on a strap around his neck. He continued to release magic but only felt frustration as there were no results. If it dragged on like this, his necromancers would only become exhausted before reaching the boss. The undead army roared wildly. Most of their numbers were skeleton warriors or archers, but mid-sized monsters such as the Durahan could occasionally be spotted. Certainly, it is nice to see. Jin Hyuk took out the popcorn and cola he kept in the subspace inventory. Dust made up of bone and rocks fell all over the ground. Two different kinds of armies. Their goal was to wipe out their opponent. It was a battle that was difficult to predict which side would push ahead. And how much time had passed. The tight balance between the sides was beginning to tip slightly. It was very subtle, but hard to ignore. Oh. They will break through? Surprisingly, the necromancers and undead army were doing well. Jin Hyuk gathered his magic, and, at that moment, a new variable entered the battlefield. W what? A necromancer who had been frantically using black magic suddenly shifted to wind magic. It was a surprise for two reasons. The first surprise was that a human being had appeared from the side. The second was that said human brought with them a blade covered with sword energy. He activated a shield to defend against the sudden attack. It increased his chance of survival by 1% at least. In an instant, a black curtain of magic spread around the necromancer. He had activated the best defense skill at his disposal. Of course, it was almost as good as nothing. Kill him! With an annoyed command, the skeleton archers aimed their bows toward Jin Hyuk. The strings on their bows were pulled tight. Poison, frost, fire. Magic arrows imbued with three elements were fired off at the same time, before the arrows could even hit, however. LV2 ice formation is activated. Blessing of the stars is activated. Magic of a wholly different level surged out. Some of the higher level undead was going out of control due to the light pouring from the sky. The Durahans frantically swung their axes around, smashing everything in sight. Why are the ones who went mad attacking us? Focus on controlling them again. All these guys have lost their minds due to that divine power. S save me. The order and control of the battlefield had collapsed. This was a declaration of war on Kadric. Since you rang the doorbell, I should treat the guests properly. Kadric, who had been in command of all the troops from the rear, felt like he was walking into hell. Even if that damned idiot has to show up, does he have to come at the worst time? Victory was already theirs. If they had just pushed a little further, he would have gotten the key hidden inside the four-story pagoda. There was only one step left to reach the goal. However, all of the carefully made plans were thrown into the mud instead due to the masked player's appearance. See, Kadric. Even the third group was destroyed. There is no doubt that only our people are being aimed at... Skeletons or Durahans cannot stop him. He had created four groups to maximize raid efficiency. Precious agents that had made it possible to simplify the supply of magic were now collapsing. Kadric groaned. This was not how he wanted things to be. Currently, there were three Death Knights that they had created by investing enormous amounts of resources. It was their secret weapon that they had brought in to deal with the monsters inside the temple. The main problem was that the other party also knew about it. This way, Jin Hyuk, who had been raging only on the necromancer's side, went towards the stone statues this time. He headed towards the strongest stone statue there, 
the Moai stone statue. Can you catch me if you move this slow? After Jin Hyuk provoked the opponent, he went towards the middle of a pack of undead. Oh! The giant stone statue with a single face soared high into the sky. Its shadow fell dark on the undead and the necromancers below. Quack! Why are you here, you idiot? Avoid it! If it falls down here, we all die! As the panicked screams and shouts filled the air, the Moai statue fell. A large crater was formed in the middle of the ground due to the impact. There was no need to even wonder what happened to those who had been beneath it. Of course, Jin Hyuk, who made it happen, was alive and well. Oh my, it must hurt. No longer able to control his temper, Kadrick shouted at Jin Hyuk. T this brat! What kind of enmity do you have to keep throwing dirt in our faces? Uh, we have done no harm to you, so why are you trying to burn down our livelihood? Kadrick was angry. Even from just hearing his voice, he sounded like a child who could not hold back his anger. Yes, yes, old man. I understand that you have many undead troops prepared, so stop using your mouth. I will kill you. Kadrick's face was red, and, at the same time, a large explosion of magic erupted from the staff he was holding. Kadrick activates his unique ability, Gravekeeper of the Black Tomb. Special skill, Guardian of Pyramid, is activated. K Kadrick, are you using that here? There will be no more mana to use to face the boss after this. His fellow necromancers shouted at him to stop. It was then that the ground began to crack. New undead began to rise up from the ground. These looked more like mummies with bandages wrapped around them. Their armor, adorned with gold and jewels alongside their Egyptian-style crescent swords, stood out in particular. Kadrick had to calm his heart. Due to this skill consuming more of his magic, his face was pale but filled with a sense of accomplishment. The ability to summon the bodyguards of a pharaoh. Seeing something like this, it felt like doing everything on his own was a bit too much. Perhaps using necromancers and summoners to do the work while he gave out orders from behind was better? To be honest, he felt envious. Did I overdo it? Kadrick clicked his tongue briefly. But it was just for a moment. Come here. I need help. Kadrick grabbed the necromancer next to him by the neck. K kadrick sir! Kadrick absorbed the necromancer's vitality through his hand. The necromancer who had been grabbed soon twisted their body. They tried to escape but to no avail since Kadrick wasn't the type to let his prey go. Quiet, quiet now. The pain will only grow if you struggle. The screams began to fade. Not long after, the dried-up necromancer crumbled to ashes. Disgusting. Aren't you on the same side? <laughs> of course we are the same. Which is why we dedicate our lives for the sake of victory. You are saying good words for someone who kills people without consent. Perhaps I should agree. Later. If you go to hell and meet the guy, ask him directly how he feels. Kadrick, who had been supplied with enough magic, stroked his staff. And the undead soldiers at the front line, which had been pushed back by the Moai statue, began to turn the tide as their new reinforcements arrived. Let's begin again, Cedric said with a devilish smile on his face. Spears made of gold were swiftly piercing the stone statues, the power behind each attack overwhelming. It had to be at least the level of a death knight to destroy ten of the Moai statues at once. The Moai statues were powerful. A simple change in the number of the undead should not have been enough to change the outcome. How is that? Can you still speak after seeing that? Kadrick smiled confidently as Jin Hyuk bit his lip. Seeing that only made Kadrick more excited. Pwahaha. At a loss of words now? Right. It is normal to be excited. Jin Hyuk tilted his head. What was with this old man? No. I was at a loss of words because it is just too ridiculous. Seriously. Were you planning on attacking the boss with just this much strength? No matter how good this looked, they would have been wiped out in five minutes. No matter how carefully he considered the scenario, the necromancers were bound to have been destroyed. However, despite his honest advice, Kadrick was considering it a simple bluff. Whenever one is pushed to a corner, they start to talk nonsense. Well done. Let us end this boring conversation. Kadrick gave the order. His mummy soldiers roared loudly, their mouths seemingly torn as black smoke seeped from inside them. Kill him. In a forest a little distance away from the temple. At the highest point among the trees, two people, a man and a woman, watched the battle while perching on a branch. 
It was Milena and Li Qiao who were sent from the Demonic Human Association. Hmm. A lot more reckless than I thought. Milena tilted her head as Li Qiao said. His intentions when destroying the first group were good, but not getting out immediately was foolish. Pwah. Well, that isn't courage for sure, but plain stupidity. But what on earth was he thinking by not running away? He must have misjudged the difference in power with the opponent. He thought we only had skeletons and Dorahans, but he was wrong. Kadric's unique ability is so annoying. Black magic that could resurrect a large number of corpses was useful for this battle, which was why he had been put in charge. On the other hand, Kadric's opponents seem too lax. And because he is foolish, we don't have a reason to go out. Kadric can handle this on his own. Or at least that's what they thought. A strong energy rose up from the masked man. Uh, what is that? It was not magic or divine power, but rather a sense of coldness, ominous and dark. Their eyes shook at the ferocious magic that covered the dagger in the masked man's hand. Wuh, what is that? What kind of absurd skills does he have? Melina jumped up in disbelief. It was the same for Li Qiao, who was utterly dumbfounded. This was absurd. No matter how strong and confident he was in his skills, who would think they could win against such a large army of undead? Li Qiao gulped. Due to his battle with the stone statues, he thought the masked man must have used up at least half of his strength. However, if this was all just a trap, if this whole sequence was carefully calculated to provoke Kardec and end with him being surrounded by the enemy line, perhaps this would become the worst ending imaginable for them. I remember my experience at that time. Jin Hyuk remembered the time with a mysterious guy who offered him to teach his special sword style called Pendulum Spirit Sword Arts. In the next moment, you have been able to imitate a portion of Pendulum Spirit Sword Art skill. The sensation was ominous as goosebumps rose up on his skin. Right, this is it. Jin Hyuk smiled. That feeling of something creeping in. Ice formation and blessing of the stars were good skills, but this was why he liked the sword grave more. Magic and divine abilities do not have this kind of thrilling taste. This ability to choose to attack alone without paying attention to defense was the real ability that made a veteran of the tower a veteran. Um, was it like this? Jin Hyuk moved his dagger, which was covered with black energy, to the left and right. The blade's smooth trajectory continued to cut the air a few times before... Finally. Oh, I did it. A portion of the Pendulum Spirit Sword Art skill is being reproduced. Understanding of the Pendulum Spirit Sword Art increases. Jin Hyuk had managed to reproduce the most amazing sword dance. It had been an art he had ignored entirely while spending ten years of his life in this game. However, now that he had the skills of a swordsman in his repertoire, such a gap didn't seem like a problem. The sound of the wind blowing filled the air. Now he understood why this sword technique was called such. Understanding of the Pendulum Spirit Sword art increases. How to properly use it, he would comprehend it all. Understanding of the Pendulum Spirit Sword art increases. As the status windows appeared constantly, memories flowed into his mind as he reached a true understanding. Pendulum Spirit Sword art. Black flames spread around his body. Fifth form. This was the final form of the sword technique. Pendulum Spirit Nirvana. This fifth form was referred to as the essence of the sword. What? Kadric's eyes shook. At the same time, Jin Hyuk swung his dagger horizontally. The first thing which escaped his blade was the wind. It was a weapon that only released wind but also magic. The mummies in front of it stood in chance. Their bodies were torn to shreds as their blackened flesh became exposed. A powerful shock managed to reach Kadric despite his barrier. His three-layered shield was shaking. However, the dagger had come to strike without even giving time for him to catch his breath. No pressure was felt on his shields as the attack came. All that he registered was a... Alongside a terrifying sound that made Kadric's head turn downwards, he could no longer see the arm which should have been there. T this cannot be... He had cut down all of his mummies in one blade swing. Moreover, he had even cut off his arm. His mouth began to clatter. Not too long ago, he had cursed his disciple, who had died in vain because he could not understand how the boy had lost. But only in this situation could Kadric understand why Alex had died without resistance. This was a monster that could not be destroyed. Running away was the only way to save his life. 
Death Knight, stop that man. Now. The stone statues were no longer his concern. Even if it meant sacrificing all of the undead and necromancers here, he had to get out immediately. He whipped his body around before falling down and headed towards the northern gate. No, he tried to walk away. If you want to leave, you need to get permission from the opponent first. The voice he didn't want to hear was already there. And at that moment, Black Moon Knight is activated. The sword that reflected the Black Moon fell upon Kadric's face. The moment of death felt as if it had passed slowly. He didn't even notice it coming for him. When did he even get this close? No. Did he ever have the chance to run from this man? It felt like his head would explode with so many thoughts in his mind. And then, those were Kadric's last thoughts. His body fell to the floor. As Kadric died, all of the undead under his control turned to dust. Other necromancers were still alive, but not for much longer. The stone statues were coming close to them. Save me! The battlefield was finally becoming stained with blood, and using that gap... Um, everyone seems quite busy. Jin Hyuk approached the four-story pagoda that no one seemed to care about now. You have purchased four mid-tiered mana recovery potions. Jin Hyuk bought four mana potions and restored his MP. Let's give it all I've got, said Jin Hyuk while tossing the empty potion bottles. On his way to the temple, he found a shield lying on the floor. This bring back memories, saying this. He kicked the edge of the shield and it flipped into the air and Jin Hyuk caught it in his left hand while holding his dagger in right hand and took a defensive pose in front of the guardians of the temple. The four great heavenly kings. The four-story pagoda was carved out of large pieces of granite. There were three stone statues equipped with armor, spears, and swords in front of the place that stored the key for the inner chamber. Considering that there should have been at least ten times as many statues here, this just felt like three dogs were left in an empty house. Jin Hyuk stretched his body. I wish you didn't have a brain. He wouldn't be intimidated if there was an overwhelming skill difference. But they were just puppets that moved. In a way, the brainless, heartless army was the strongest force there. Jin Hyuk took a defensive stance. Shall I come, or will you come? It was like asking them that if they didn't come first, they would be giving up something important. Did they understand him? The stone statues stamped their feet on the ground, and they moved. Jin Hyuk raised his shield up. The beauty of a shield's function was in its ability to disperse the shock. The stone statues' swords and spears simply scraped the shield before passing him. Now, Jin Hyuk, confident of his timing, twisted his body 360 degrees. The dagger that was boosted by the addition of his body's rotational force pierced through the head of one of the statues. It was great that he could do this in an instant. Jin Hyuk then held the dagger and aimed it at another statue. Now with its leg broken, the stone statue collapsed to the ground. This was because Jin Hyuk had aimed at its joints that were used for movement. Spit out the key, I am tired already. Hearing these words, the statues took a step back. Jin Hyuk continued to destroy the statues. The statue at the back line screamed suddenly and stretched out its hand to the stone pagoda, and then took out the golden key which had been inside it. What was this? Was it trying to hand over the key in exchange for its life? The stone statue thrust the key into his chest. The key that leads to the main room responds. Gate is activated. The being from beyond the gate answers the call. Successive notification windows popped up. The air around the temple began to change. This one is more ambitious than I expected. He didn't think a stone statue would sacrifice itself to activate the gate. Jin Hyuk licked his lips. And at that moment, a green vortex appeared in the statue's stomach that had swallowed the key. It was sacrificing itself to summon higher-level monsters. A completely different kind of magic was flowing out now. Jin Hyuk too felt something different. It wasn't that he was afraid or shocked by this unexpected situation. He couldn't control the heat rising in his body that yearned for battle. He would finally get the chance to have a proper fight. Furthermore, if you give up your vintage place and come out, I'd be grateful. If it was the monster he'd dealt with before, it would be better to face it outside rather than inside. After a few moments, something emerged from the shaking gate. Step. What appeared with sounds and lights was a statue with a multitude of arms. The named monster, Thousand-Armed, Thousand-Eyes, Avalokiteshvara, appears. 
The named monster looked around its new location with a benevolent smile and a thick, fishy smell wafting from it. Then, it looked at Jin Hyuk. This is surprising. I had no idea that a human who could threaten the stone tower would be among the intruders here. What are you so surprised about? I will also cut down the boss monster here in a few days. Ha ha ha. Such a confident human. I don't know about you, but I do know you have guts. Avalokiteshvara burst into laughter. What was a serious matter to Jin Hyuk, but the monster was treating it as a joke. This was why he hated intelligent monsters. <laughs> because the passive effect of communion made them feel attached to him even when he didn't desire it. Stop talking. I want to end this quickly. I want to enjoy a conversation with you. Don't you feel the same? I don't hate to talk. But instead, let's do it with swords and blood or with chicken and beer. I wish there was some soft skin aside from statues with faces. Treasure this moment too little, human. When death comes, you might miss this. And the stone statue pulled a sword out. And with that, each of its countless hands began to grasp its own weapons. Swords, blades, daggers, short swords, spears and axes, mace and bows. It was as if it was a walking armory. In exchange for that cheeky mouth you have, I will cut off the left arm first, and then the left leg. And then I will cut the right arm. The last will be the neck. Sorry, but I prefer my limbs where they are. I will keep them where they belong. It looks like you will taste good. This is why I have a hard time getting tired of humans. Its lips rose up. The monster's killing intent mixed with its magic. This thing was something completely different from the ordinary stone statues here. Jin Hyuk adjusted his balance perfectly as he covered his body as much as possible with his shield. He was prepared for any kind of attack at any time. Jin Hyuk cleared his breathing and ensured that all of his senses were alert. From now on, he cannot even blink his eyes. At that time, an attack that was undetectable to the naked eye ripped audibly through the air. But, left shoulder. The monster's body moved a lot faster than he expected as Jin Hyuk used his shield to deflect the oncoming sword. As iron and iron collided, the air was filled with dazzling sparks. The monster exclaimed with genuine surprise. Why are you so surprised? Is this your first time having your attack blocked? Responding to the speed of sound. Not being able to see it yet still reacting. Jin Hyuk had already dealt with this monster hundreds of times. Enough times to imprint the movement and speed in his mind. Of course, that wasn't something just anyone could do. Ha ha ha. This is getting more and more interesting. The monster attempted to attack again. This time, the attack was aimed at his left arm and right leg at the same time. I cannot defend both with the shield. Then, LV2, ice formation is activated. A snowflake-shaped shield appeared. As he expected, the ice wouldn't be able to stop the attack, but it could slightly divert its path. Possible. Jin Hyuk hid behind both shields. Of course, the monster wouldn't just stand around watching this. Where? Nine spears were thrown instantly. The shield created by the ice formation shattered. However, not a single spear reached Jin Hyuk. Surely you should be hit. It had aimed for its prey. It had to hit the human. Then why? This has the effect of distorting vision. The layers of life reflected the light and created an illusion. Jin Hyuk then created a gap and grabbed his spear. A proper interval that allowed him to save speed while reducing the range. On the blade of the spear, dark red magic from the blood demon Chi began to dance. The monster moved back and used all of its thousand arms to defend. But it was too late, because the spear had already left Jin Hyuk's left hand and pierced through the monster's arm. The monster's face contorted in pain, a feeling it had never felt before. An unfamiliar sharp pain that blew away all reasoning. It felt the desire to tear apart the human in front of it. But... The first priority was dealing with the red magic that was spreading inside its arm. Poison. No, something similar. Similar. The blood demon Chi was less destructive than the sword grave. In exchange, just a single wound made by the blood demon Chi would cause terrible damage over time. The monster simply chose to rip off the affected arm without mercy. You want to live. He thought that at least some other attempts would be made. But its attachment to life felt strange as it pulled out its own arm. Don't act too arrogant. If you were aiming, you should have aimed for the head. What are you trying to do with just one arm? That... 
because I know I cannot kill you even if I aim for your head. If you wanted to kill a named monster, normal means could not be used. So he deliberately aimed for the arm. To be precise, he aimed for the arm that held a jewel among its many weapons. Jin Hyuk pulled out the jewel from the severed arm and took out an item he had kept in the subspace inventory for this moment. Griamor of the Feltaris Principality. That? Avalokiteshvara frowned as he quickly took up a stance. It became wary because of the unusual energy from the relic, but it was too late. It can blame itself for neglecting one arm. Jin Hyuk merged the two items into one. Griamor of the Felterous Principality and Thousand Hands Thousand Eyes, Avalokiteshvara's jewel, are fused. With an intense light, the two relics began to react. Fusion successful. Lemigaton of the Golden Dawn. Acquisition difficulty. S. Description. The written copy of the grimoire recorded by the Great Solomon. As a divine artifact that reproduced the essence of the 72 demons, it allows the wielder to display the power of magic-type abilities to the extreme. However, since it is not yet complete, the maximum increase of ability is limited. After a few moments, the light faded. Finally, I have you in my hands. Jin Hyuk smiled. His heart was beating quickly, even though this wasn't yet the complete relic. It doesn't matter. Great. Now. Jin Hyuk looked at the status window of his opponent with the eye of gluttony, because he needed to check on everything before an all-out fight. Name. Thousand-armed and thousand-eyed Avalokiteshvara. Gender. None. Age. Level. Strength. Agility. Stamina. Magic. Karma. Unique ability. Mandala. Skill. The skill window cannot be observed due to the Eye of Gluttony's insufficient level. Copy condition. Avalokiteshvara detests Western magic. Create a large and beautiful sculpture that insults the opponent using ice magic within the time limit of five minutes. However, you must also select an appropriate song to match it during the sculpting process. If you successfully do it, you can copy the opponent's unique ability. Uh, w wait. Did something malfunction? Jin Hyuk blinked his eyes in disbelief. But the contents of the copy condition didn't change. This system is quite a crazy one. Last time it had told him to take classes under Kadric to receive the Necromancer class. And now... A song and a sculpture? There was also the additional point that they had to match with each other. Jin Hyuk held onto his forehead. He didn't care much about the other things. But how could the system make a condition where he needed to creatively insult his target? He could feel his head beginning to hurt. But no matter how bizarre the conditions were, he wasn't about to give up. Because this was the only place where he could get the Mandala ability under the 25th floor. No matter what, this is the only music that goes along well with ice. Thousand-armed Avalokiteshvara became angry while watching Jin Hyuk messing around. Jin Hyuk selected the song, raised the volume to maximum, and a very familiar melody began to fill the air while he was posing with a golden wig on his head. The only words he said were, Don't ask me anything. I hate it too. The monster's face was distorted horribly. You bastard! What is that? A roaring voice filled the room. Its swords began to move, seeking to deliver death. Please, don't ask me why. Because Jin Hyuk himself didn't know why he was doing this. But of course. Answer me, human! It was impossible for the opponent to just let this pass. Enraged, it began to gather up its magic. Golden magical energy began to gather in the weapons it held. It was a power different from either sword or divine energy. Mandala. It had activated the strongest ability of Buddhism, energy that embodied all things. The jokes end here. From now on, I will use everything to kill you. It looked like Jin Hayuk had touched a sensitive spot. The monster must have slaughtered countless humans till now, but not once had it used Mandala. But, will you be fine? Jin Hyuk shrugged. What do you mean? If you use Mandala and lose, you won't be able to have any excuses? It wasn't the first time that Jin Hyuk had seen someone who declared they would use their full strength to kill an opponent. None of them had ever ended up winning. He would just stay quiet and act it out if it was him. Ah well. This probably wasn't something a person playing a kid's song should comment about. This. What a treacherous human being. Who dares to talk about my defeat when you cannot even live for 100 years? Cracks began to form on the ground. This was the start. 
a golden wave of light began to move through the ground. However, the all-destroying power of the mandala stopped right in front of Jin Hyuk. Glacier Formation Blizzard has been activated. The ice began to take the form of a giant hexahedron roughly three meters in size. A pure white coldness emerged from the great magic circle made of ice. This is amazing. His hands were trembling as it was difficult to control this magic. As expected, this is a higher level skill. The newly acquired skill of Glacier Formation is entirely different from the Ice Formation skill he's used so far. If Ice Formation simply solidified water in the air around him, boosting his skill allowed him to create ice itself from nothing. Those Western tricks! The monster grunted. Western trick! Jin Hyuk smiled. If it thought of it in that way, then it was making a big mistake. At a location far from the site of the battle. Still observing from their tree, Li Qiao and Melina sighed in disbelief. I cannot believe it. Not just his sword, but even his ice magic is this good? Was it possible to have so many skills in one player? As the battle continued, their eyes that had been observing this battle began to change. They couldn't help it, as everything they were seeing now made no sense. The monster's overwhelming force was clearly a sign that it was a named monster that had suddenly appeared and Jin Hyuk, who was confronting it head-on, looked like someone from beyond the realm of humans. This was all too unreal. Even within our association, someone who can use that level of ice magic doesn't... Li Chao couldn't say anything further. It would be difficult to identify a mage as strong as this. Malena shared his unspoken thoughts. She licked her lips as she felt an urge to say something. Can we win against those two by fighting all out? They were both warlocks who specialized in close-range fights. Even if the opponent was an S-rank, they had been confident they could take him down. But Melina wasn't too sure now. She was only confident about taking the monster down. It will be difficult. Li Chao mumbled with a stiff expression. From a rational standpoint, victory was not guaranteed with just the two of them. Perhaps they needed to even assume the worst-case scenario would happen. Let's give up Li Chao. We cannot do this alone. Unless an executive rank comes. No. If we go, then the positions we have built up in the association till now will collapse. So what? We might die there? But you want to take the risk? No. Li Chao shook his head. He had no intentions of recklessly gambling with his life. But he also had no intention of giving up on the mission. I will use the relic. It was a relic that had been given to him. It had a usage limitation. After using it once, he would need to wait three months before using it again. That was why he didn't want to use it if possible. But there was no other way now. He had to complete the mission at all costs. Look at this. It seemed like Kadrick hadn't been the only one here. Jin Hyuk glanced to the side. He could feel unfamiliar magic. From what he had noticed until now, they were at least higher leveled than Kadrick. They were probably hidden cards prepared by the Demonic Human Association to complete the task. This is good. This time, he would have the chance to learn about the association. But as those thoughts ran through his mind, a tingling sensation touched his wrist. Where are you looking now? A spear the monster threw had pierced through the ice shield. A trembling spear had stopped mere inches away. If he hadn't activated his second layer of shields, the spear would have pierced his body instead of lightly touching his hands. Right. This monster was still here. Interrogating the demonic human association agents was important, but he first needed to deal with the demon in front of him. Glacier formation polar ice arrow is activated. Over 20 ice arrows were created in an instant. The scale of this skill clearly different compared to the ice formation he had previously used. The weapon produced by the skill resembled a whale catching harpoon over three meters in length. However, it was impossible to inflict damage on the monster with this alone. Because in addition to being able to gnaw away at an opponent's magic, Mandala also gave the user the ability to predict attacks. It wasn't for nothing that this skill was considered one of the best, in that case. I will use both medium and short-range attacks. No matter how well the skill could predict, there was a limit to how many attacks it could read. Jin Hyuk nodded to himself and took out his dagger from the subspace inventory. Its blade was quickly covered with black energy. In order to fight against the Mandala, he activated Sword Grave. Until now, you have only used ice from far away. Now it seems like you want to approach me in person. Before that song ends, 
I want to bring an end to this. Let it go would end before long. There wasn't much time left. The two magics collided in the air, filling it with blue sparks. And at that moment, now, alongside twenty ice arrows, Jin Hyuk sprinted forward. The view in front of him was changing too fast. His high running speed, all the spears thrown at him, and even breathing were becoming difficult. Still, thanks to shallow breath that he had copied earlier, he could survive this without collapsing. It was here that he was ready for a long battle. At that moment, Jin Hyuk swung his dagger sharply. He intercepted a spear that was coming from the front. The deflected spear rotated in the air, but its attack didn't end there. The spear that was twisting in the air was imbued with mandala energy and desired his death. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. The sky began to turn black as if a storm was approaching. Ha! Huh. What is this? It doesn't give me time to get bored at all. Despite the desperate situation, Jin Hyuk managed to look up. At first glance, this looked like a wide area spell, but those types of attacks had one rule. Each attack's inherent rule was simply to aim at the target's vital points. In an instant, Jin Hyuk grasped the movement of the flying spears. He had nothing to fear, because it was something he had done countless times. Remember the rhythm of that time. Jin Hyuk relaxed his body, light yet soft. Relive those experiences again. The black energy on his dagger burned more fiercely. Jin Hyuk then heard the sound of the wind howling. The spears were close enough to touch his hair. It is getting cut. It was at that moment. A dazzling blaze flared up. The roar of metal against metal. Jin Hyuk stood in place and moved his dagger. Left to right, right to down, and then back to up. As if he had realized where each attack would come from, Jin Hyuk did not miss a single oncoming spear. If anyone was watching, it would be a thrilling sight to behold. As time passed, the monster yelled out in frustration. Damn it! Just how? A single spear was then aimed at the ground right in front of Jin Hyuk, a technique to use the uneven floors to hinder his movement. A rip away. It would not be easy to recognize because it was mixed into the rain of spears. Noticing it was one thing, but reacting to it was more difficult. But even that distraction was expected. Jin Hyuk grabbed the spear that had bounced from the floor with his bare hands. <sighs> he stopped that too? The monster stuttered. He could not help but feel embarrassed as even that attack was blocked immediately. Additionally, wasn't Jin Hyuk still dealing with the other spears falling on him? The monster's hands would soon become empty. Now I think everything has been shown. But if there is nothing more novel and interesting from you, I will finish it soon. Jin Hyuk walked forward, a light and soft step, and one thought crystallizes like an icy blast. And just in time, the last part of the song was approaching. It was as if it signaled that the fight was about to conclude. Did that casual tone hurt its pride? The monster erupted in anger and rage as it said, You do not get to decide when the fight ends. I do. Thousand Hands Avalokiteshvara brings out Swastika Spear. Die. A golden spear was filled with mandala to the utmost limit. Contrary to its heavy appearance, the spear moved as fast as a bullet. And the spear then pierced Jin Hyuk's body. No. It only looked as if it had happened for a moment. M -m -m mirage The monster's slowly appearing smile became overwritten with sudden shock. It was an optical illusion effect created by the diffusion of ice in the area. The monster had no choice but to become wholly deceived because of the carelessness that its anger had induced. The man was more dangerous than initially thought. The monster then heard a terrifying voice from underneath. Let me hit you this once. Jin Hyuk was tired of constantly being on the defensive. Needless to say, it was annoying and frustrating. So, no more, no less. Just get hit once. Glacier Formation Sword of the Sky is activated. A stream of ice falls from the sky. Glacier Formation Sword of the Land is activated. A stream of ice rises from the ground. Due to the excessive coldness spread around the area, an icy mist began to rise up and made it difficult to see. The monster's body, which had been trapped inside the mist, froze instantly. Even if it was a named monster, this extreme cold energy was not something it could resist. With this, do you think you can trap me? No. 
This was just to pass the time. There was one more thing left to do. Jin Hyuk began to make something out of the ice once again. A long and thick object, gently cut and smoothened. Little by little, the ice took shape. How many seconds had passed? Ice formation is complete. As the blizzard cleared, the completed item was revealed. Amazing. Jin Hyuk nodded his head as if he was satisfied. A large middle finger emerged from the ice. Big, beautiful, and dignified. An absolutely perfect piece of art that was also optimally designed to ridicule the opponent. Yee! You damned human! After imprisoning you in infinite hell for eons, I will make you reincarnate into a worm. The monster shook its body wildly as it became crazy and futile rage in its icy prison. The condition has been met. You successfully copied the unique ability, Mandala, S. Mandala. Acquisition difficulty, S. Description. A unique ability that can be used by players who have mastered the Dharma, Buddhist teaching, and can apply special powers to weapons like sword energy and divine power. You can also use the effect that allows you to predict the direction of the opponent's attack. Copied skill is saved in the memory of the world. After achieving the unique set of conditions, Jin Hyuk finally got it. The new unique ability, Mandala. Then now, let's try it now. Jin Hyuk used his magic carefully. A warm and cozy feeling. It was as if he could feel everything in existence. This, this ice. In the meantime, the monster continued to struggle to break through the ice. Its own mandala was letting out golden sparks, but it was nowhere near enough. Such a sad sight to see. Why did it hurt his heart so much when idiots are unable to do their work properly? Don't use your power unnecessarily. You have no way out anyway. Nonsense! There is no place I cannot escape from with my power. No, it is impossible. Mandala is indeed a good unique ability. But you are using it wrong. What? If you open the door through meditation, you should be able to maintain your composure. But you are surrounded in anger and rage, unable to control the flow of magic. In such a state, it wouldn't even be able to use half of the ability's true power. How dare you mock me with that mouth! What do you even know about this ability? What did he know? He at least knew more than this monster that had spent tens of thousands of years in vain. The essence of the ability, its inherent value, and everything about it. He would show it. How to use the mandala. Unique ability mandala is activated. An indescribable cloud of magic was created as a golden light shone on Jin Hyuk's hand. N no way. How did you get that power? The monster was shocked. It knew this ability. Now, the ability it beheld was a more perfect version of what it wielded. It isn't... possible. How could a human learn mandala? Even monks who had trained for decades would find it difficult to sense. But no matter how much it tried to deny reality, the aura of the mandala could not be denied. This was its new reality. Let's end this now. Jin Hyuk pulled back the hand that contained the golden light, his forearm muscles bulging. W wait Stop! The monster screamed as it panicked. The lighting left Jin Hyuk's hand and pierced the monster. You have acquired the key to the stone statue. Status windows appeared one after another. Having managed to defeat a named monster, Jin Hyuk managed to gain two levels. Is it finally done? Jin Hyuk frowned as he found it difficult to bear the pain surging through his body. I overdid it. He had hunted down the undead and Kadric and even dealt with this named monster. That meant his magic was slightly drained. He needed a break. Of course, there was something he needed to do before that as he activated his status window. Name, Kang Jin Hyuk. Gender, male. Age, 27. Level, 21. Strength, 16. Agility, 16. Stamina, 16. Magic, 41. Rift, 1000. Luck, 10. Adaptive, 10. Stat points, 6. Coins, additional settlement. In progress. Occupation, none. Unique abilities, fusion, sword grave, blessing of the stars, Anubis's judgment, blood demon chi, mandala, skills, LV5 element of fire, LV4 eye of gluttony, LV3 communion, LV3 stigma on souls, LV3 monopoly, LV3 shallow breath, LV1 ice formation, LV2 daylight, 
LV-1 Giant Grasp, LV-1 Soul Chasing Sword, his newly acquired abilities and stat points. Stats should be invested in magic. When he considered cases where battle might become prolonged, his focus had to be on magic. Magic increases from 41 to 47. As his magic stat was raised, the pain and swelling on his hands began to subside. Now, I feel like I can relax. In the end, using the mandala to the maximum to generate lightning took a significant toll on his body. But the harder he worked, the more results he obtained. Now all he had to do was find a nice bed to lay down on and release the fatigue. Right. That would be the usual path. Once the day passed and night came, he would rest. So they need to come before it turns dark. Jin Hyuk turned to the forest. Even at this moment, he was still watching the people from the Demonic Human Association. They probably thought they had the upper hand with a surprise attack, but a completely different future awaited them. Nighttime in the Tower of Trials was a little special. The warm temperature during the day dropped rapidly once it became night, which increased the ferocity and attack power of the monsters roaming about. So, at night, most players stopped hunting and went to find a safe place. This was common sense. Because for the average player, there was no need to take risks. An hour had passed since Jin Hyuk dealt with the named monster. Jin Hyuk sat in front of the shrine, at the boundary between it and the expansive bamboo forest. Reminds me of old times. The place where he had spent the most time sleeping and broadcasting in the tower. After hunting like a madman, he always looked for a place where he could see the night sky. And this spot wasn't a bad place for a break. Especially if he could see the meteors falling through the sky. It's also great here since I could get bamboo shoots as well as other materials on this floor of the tower. After making a fire, Jin Hyuk placed bamboo shoots, rice, and rock salt inside a bamboo barrel and put it over the heat to boil. In addition, he added three of the iron-clad shrimp that could be caught in the valley. His stomach was growling. He took a spoon scoop of the food and put it in his mouth. The soft, warm food made its way pleasantly down his throat. The quality of the shrimp meat, which was plump in the middle, created a fantastic texture. What a fantastic taste. Next time, I need to start copying some cooking skills. As one started going higher in the tower, a large variety of foods would appear. Desert veal that was full of flavor, a rainbow crab from the sea. The thousand apple was said to have a thousand types of unique scents, ingredients that you couldn't find outside the tower. Such treasures were in here that he could enjoy once more. Oh, it smells good. Looks like a tasty meal. A pair of people emerged from the bamboo forest. They were a Chinese man and an alluring Western beauty. It was Malena and Li Chiao. Ah, we do not have any bad intentions. We just came here following the light. As long as we can avoid the night dew, we'll be fine. Milena and Li Chao calmly approached the bonfire. What was with these two? Were they planning on acting like regular players? For real? This is ridiculous. At this point, he didn't even know what to think of these two. These looked more foolish than the ones before. Would they even be able to win if they approached him after revealing their identity? He really wished they did. That way, he can spend the long night without being bored. If it helps avoid the cold, sit down. Jin Hyuk pointed to the bonfire. Thank you. I am Melina. I am Li Chao. Excuse us for our actions. The two of them sat down around the fire. At least the fact that they wanted to avoid the dangers of the night wasn't a lie. Their half-frozen arms and legs looked clearly desperate for warmth. You must have suffered a lot. Don't say it. Masked Appa cannot understand how much we suffered around trees all day. Right. It must have been difficult. How much trouble would they have gone through by acting like mice that were peeping on others? The food is quite nice. Would you like some? Jin Hyuk handed them a bamboo bowl. Inside, the appetizingly plump shrimp and white rice tempted with their appearance. Don't think too much. He knew that they were starving too. Melina gulped down her saliva with a conflicted expression, but didn't reach out for the food. This was suspicious. She didn't know what he had done to the food. However, perhaps because of her strong appetite, she was tempted to take it. On the other hand, Li Chiao drew a straight line. We are fine. I am sorry for putting it like this. But I do not want to touch food from someone we do not know. Especially if they have covered their face. You seem to care too much about the mask. 
Isn't it obvious? If you didn't have something to hide, you wouldn't be wearing a mask. Well, if it is making you uncomfortable, I can take it off. What? Really? They were both shocked at Jin Hyuk's words. The person whose identity they were trying to discover simply said he would reveal it? No wonder they were shocked. Of course, it is no fun to simply take it off, so let's play a simple game. Game? It seems like we have things we are curious about each other, so let's take turns asking questions. If my questions are answered, I will remove the mask as soon as the game is done. A game that involved an exchange of information. Li Xiao turned his head. There is no way to confirm the authenticity of our words. It didn't matter if he even lied. On the other hand, opponents who didn't know who they were might become careless. Even if we accept this offer, we have nothing to lose. Melena too, nodded her head and whispered to her companion. There are five minutes left for the relic to activate. It should be fine if we use the time to our advantage. Any worries they might have wouldn't last long. Uh, interesting. It wouldn't be bad to pass the time like this. Li Chiao responded first, and at that moment. Anubis's judgment has been activated. A transparent wave was released from Jin Hyuk. Caught them. Jin Hyuk smiled. He knew they would accept his offer. It was because they needed time. He could feel a unique energy wave emanating from the woman called Melena. This was magic he had felt several times when playing Tower of Trials in the past. The coin of Caligula. A coin that held the image of the Roman tyrant Caligula. What kind of tricks did they prepare? Well, this relic wasn't a bad choice. Its only real drawback was that it took time to activate. However, once fully activated, it had the terrifying effect of completely breaking down its target. The relic, which would force its target to confess everything they knew without using time-consuming torture, was a useful item. They know my body has not recovered yet and are trying to be more certain of their victory. Their intention to avoid any direct clashes was clear. Amazing. Truly amazing. As long as its existence and activation time was known, the coin of Caligula was simply a regular coin. Don't they know there is always another person ahead? Jin Hyuk smiled. I will not ask the first question. You can ask me. There should be questions about name or affiliation. If you want me to reveal my identity in the first question, then playing the game is no use. It is only after the game is done that the mask will come off. Then I will change the question. Do you have any colleagues here besides yourself? Hmm. He thought they'd ask something else, but this was too realistic. No. It must be difficult to accept that someone had come solo for a boss raid. Therefore, they must have thought that he had a comrade around. Since the range of the coin was limited to 10 meters, they were trying to discover any variable. I came here alone, and I will leave here alone. I see. This time, I will ask. From the looks of it, it seems like you have come to hunt the boss. Why did you only watch? We were looking to go inside the temple at the right time. It is such a notorious place that we had to be careful. The response sounded too cautious, but they still answered since this was just the first question. Two left. Li Chao asked the second one. If you are climbing the tower, there has to be something you wish for. Be it power, women, or fame. I want to know what motivates you. Oh. At Li Chao's words, Jin Hyuk raised his eyebrows. I thought they were here to kill me. If the conditions were right, it seemed like they still hoped they would be on the same side. I have something I do want. But if I say it out loud, do you have the ability to make it happen? Both of them were still shivering from the cold as they had been up on the tree for too long. Well, how we look right now might be unconvincing. But do not worry. We have got enough power. The second answer with this. He only needed one more question answered. Jin Hyuk let the unconvincing answer slide. At the same time, his polite tone became cold. If you have the power to do that, then... Can you give me a seat on the round table? W what was that? How do you know about the round table? The two shouted in surprise at the same time. The round table was the highest executive gathering in the Demonic Human Association. They could never have imagined those words coming from the mouth of an outsider. But don't they realize? The fact that he was a veteran meant that he understood the origin and use of the expression of the round table. I haven't heard your answer yet. Can you answer me? Of course, I cannot answer that. Li Chao grit his teeth. How would you even think we could do that? 
Milena suddenly stood up. He knew she would say that. Actually, I wouldn't take the position even if you gave it to me. Even if there were no conditions, he wouldn't take up the executive position in their association. They also no longer needed to do this clumsy acting. Conditions have been met. Because Anubis's judgment had begun. The ground began to shake. Li Chao hastily increased the distance between them. It was an instinctive reaction after sensing unusual magic. Five minutes have passed, Melina shouted. The long-awaited time had come. Once the coin of Caligula was used, even an enemy of this strength could be defeated, because no player has the ability to defend their thoughts. But, no. Relics won't activate. Jin Hyuk smiled. What was that? Li Chao pulled out a dagger. That coin, it will be of no use to anyone right now. I delayed the activation time by five minutes. Don't bullshit us. How can you? Wait. It is real. Milena, standing next to him, had her expression darken instantly. She had no doubt. The coin hasn't been sufficiently given magic yet. That guy... The guy did something. He must have done something to suppress our magic. What do you mean? We didn't even eat the food. The only possibility was the dish that Jin Hyuk had offered them. But how could this happen when they didn't even touch it? Jin Hyuk snapped his finger. At the same time, choose a champion to execute Judgment of Anubis. The sound came from the shrine behind them, its volume spreading like a breeze in the bamboo forest. W what is this? A reaction to magic? Li Chao and Milena shouted at the same time. Until a moment ago, they had only felt the presence of three people. It was something they had checked multiple times after arriving here. But that was no longer the case. Because a new source of energy had appeared from inside the building. Totem Pole, Great General of the Heavens, has been designated as the Great Warrior. Totem Pole, female general of the underground, has been designated as the Great Warrior. The earth began to shake as two long-haired trees appeared, each about five meters tall. Totem Pole, Great General of the Heavens, looks at the enemies. Totem Pole, female general of the underground, is waiting for the caster's command. They were likely a pair of ancient trees that protected a village in the past. They were guardians of the land that was optimized for defense. No. Li Chao was shocked. He would have been less shocked if the enemy had been a lich or a death knight. I... I've never heard of such ability. Even Melina could not comprehend the situation. Right. That's the proper reaction. The ability to handle summoned creatures was not common. Even among necromancers, those who could control the undead only amounted to 3%. And elementalists who could deal with spirits were rare enough that less than 100 of them existed worldwide and those who could actually handle spirits efficiently could be counted on two hands. Therefore, none of them could even attempt this. A player who summoned a god. <sighs> How the hell could this happen? Li Chao shouted with a look of despair. Jin Hyuk looked at the approaching general totems with a smile. It has been a while since I have seen them together at the same time. He had chosen this campsite, in particular, to use these two through Anubis' judgment. His magic had almost been entirely drained after dealing with the named monster. This was a stage he had created to show the system's loopholes to them. The two of them had happily jumped into the trap all by themselves. Ah! Don't bother trying to run. Jin Hyuk glanced over at the two who were backing away. You will pursue us? Do you think we didn't know you haven't recovered yet? Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Right. I cannot. A chase would last too long if it was just him. In his current body's state, it would be near impossible. But... I will have the great generals do it for me instead. The moment Jin Hyuk said those words. The female general of the underground activates exit not allowed. If we kill him, then these things will be gone naturally. Oh, smart guy. You are right. The summons will return to their original location if the caster is killed. But, is that possible? If they had watched the fight against the named monster, they should understand that they couldn't win against Jin Hyuk. Didn't it terrify them that despite their regular person act and the coin of Caligula, Jin Hyuk was still fine? Don't look down on us. Even a mouse fights back when it is cornered. Li Chao bared his fangs. 
but Jin Hyuk had already seen the magic circle drawn under Li Chao's feet. Faint magic continued to spread along the ground. It was a short distance spatial movement spell that necromancers often used. Look at this. Was he thinking of running away by pretending to fight? Alex, who he had met in the auction house, and Kadric, his teacher. How come all these necromancers did the same thing once cornered? At this point, it felt like their association just taught everyone to escape when in these kinds of situations. I wanted to capture you as harmlessly as possible, but you are asking for more. Naturally, he had no intention of letting them go. No one would release prey that they had caught with such effort. Jin Hyuk nodded his head to the totem pole generals behind him. Suppress them. A cold command. Totem. Great General of Heavens, activates the Punish One to command a hundred. An invisible fist smashed against Li Chao's head. A scream of pain erupted from his mouth. Before he could even think, another attack arrived. Li Chao's body shook with each hit. Each punch was so quick and powerful enough to crush his body. Once more. And one more time. It took less than 30 seconds for all of Li Chao's bones to shatter. Li Chao dropped to the ground with his body covered in blood. His condition was so dire that it was a miracle that he was still alive. Rumble. Milena, who was next to him, trembled uncontrollably. A G Guardian deity. How the hell can we win against this? There was less than a minute left until the coin of Caligula could be triggered. But she didn't dare use it. She was utterly terrified of Jin Hyuk, who had shown abilities beyond her comprehension. Jin Hyuk approached Melina. It seems that the situation got roughly settled. So, let's converse like a civilized person. It would be much simpler if he could use the Eye of Gluttony to read their minds. But they were both skilled players. It meant that it would not be easy. The only way to make use of this ability was to use it to discriminate between her truth and lies. LV4 Eye of Gluttony is activated. Jin Hyuk's eyes shone. I will be asking questions now and want only honest answers. What? What are you curious about? Melina gulped. I have known about your existence for a long time. But honestly, I don't know the motive. If the tower isn't climbed, humanity will perish. So, why are you disturbing other players and doing such strange things? That? Milena flinched, at that moment. Do. Not speak. Seal your lips, Milena. Li Chao shouted. Oh! Despite being crushed to a pulp, he still retained consciousness. He must have formidable mental strength. It is nice to be loyal to the place you belong to, but you should know the time and place to express it. There were two people he could question. Even if one died, he could just ask the other person. Jin Hyuk snapped his fingers. Never. You can never say it. Li Chao shouted at Milena. And that was that. Those were his last words as an invincible crushed him to death. Even though there were just two people, it was still gruesomely terrifying. Ike! He is dead! Li Chao is really red! Milena, who lost strength in her legs, fell to the ground. Her complexion became pale white. Nice. Now that he had used enough persuasion methods, it was time to get things done. My principle is to never let those who try to kill me leave alive, but if you tell the truth, I will spare you. S spare me? Melina looked at him with wide eyes. Right. Inside information is valuable information. So if you give me useful information, I will hold up my side of the deal. A momentary silence. What escaped her next was a voice that had given up on everything. I get it, but I don't know the details. As Jin Hyuk made to snap his fingers again, Milan added hastily, No, really. For real? First, we are a point organization, and Li Qiao and I are assassins, so we do not get any information other than our immediate missions. Eye of Gluttony detects the target's words. Melina is telling the truth. So that wasn't a lie. Who gives the mission? I don't know his real name, but we call him Lancelot. Lancelot was one of the knights of the round table in Arthurian legend. It was a codename. That meant that he had completed his second occupation quest. Continue. It was said that, if we could collect all of the tower's relics, we would survive even when humanity perished. On top of that, we would even get a reward for it. Relics? At her words, Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. Those were meaningful words. I... I don't know more than that. This is all I know. 
Eye of Gluttony detects the target's words. Melina is telling the truth. Right. I believe you. Jin Hyuk nodded his head. The information he received was fragmented, but he could understand it. The Knights of the Round Table and the Twelve Cursed Divine Relics. Additionally, there would be a reward for collecting them. Clues added up here and there and gave him insight into what they were aiming for. Jin Hyuk smiled. This is a lot more than I thought. These people were crazier than he expected. He had guessed that these people would try to clear a hidden quest, but... It was likely something that was related to the summoning of the Demon King. This was going to be a lot of fun. Maybe this would become a new addition with new variables. Jin Hyuk nodded his head as if he was satisfied. Thank you for giving me useful information. It really helped me a lot. He had obtained information that was useful for planning. Some of his doubts had also cleared up. Can I go then? Melena asked with fear and worry on her face. No. Y you said... You'll spare me if I tell you what I know. You said you will send me away. Don't worry. I will keep my promise. He had no intention of killing people carelessly after they had proven useful. Why would he throw away a useful piece after a single use? He could use her again in the future. I just need you to promise me one thing. Promise? Right. Promise. Not with her mouth or a pinky promise, but an absolute promise. An oath on her soul. LV3 Stigma of the Soul is activated. Jin Hyuk's fingers shone brightly. It is a sign that you must obey my words unconditionally in the future. If you try to backstab me or rebel, you will die, so make the decision carefully. She could choose to either die or obey. Only two choices. And Milena. I don't want to die. She chose to survive. After that harsh first night, the warm sunlight shone down on the campsite. Jin Hyuk stretched out his body and got up. Such a refreshing morning. It felt as if the fatigue he had accumulated was now gone. Everything had worked out easier than he expected last night. Thanks to nutritional supplements, his condition also felt like it was at its peak. It's fine now for me to go all out. In the last boss raid that remained, there would be a hectic fight incomparable to anything he had done in the past. It would be more of a war than a fight. Jin Hyuk calmly reviewed the overall plan of the raid he had in his head. In his hand was the key he had gotten from the named monster. Ah, wait, before going for the boss. I almost forgot. There was something he had to do. Jin Hyuk activated the broadcast system. What he had to write was a notice. Boss raid will not be streamed. I'll edit it later and upload the attack video so those who want can see it. It was simple and short notice. Well, I drew enough attention so there's no need to go live until the final fights. His purpose was to increase the number of views on the eventual video and raise awareness for the unknown channel. He had no plans of collecting a peanut gallery. Jin Hyuk reached out in front of him while holding the key. It was an empty space with nothing, but the moment the key came in contact with a point in it. Clack! There was a sound of something clicking. The key of the stone statue responds. Ah! The master of the third floor has answered your call. At the same time, two red status windows appeared. A humongous gate began to manifest in front of him. Its size was incomparable to the gate that had ushered in the unnamed monster yesterday. Oh! Even Jin Hyuk couldn't hide his reaction. It was so wide that its ends were hidden by the bamboo forest. Its height was so tall that it felt like it pierced the sky. And soon, a large number of stone statues appeared from beyond the gate. It was an army of 30,000. Most of them were heavy soldiers of one meter in height, though a few reached a monstrous length of 50 meters. And in the center of this formation was a stone statue that was most splendidly carved. That thing was the master of the third floor. To be precise, it was the thing yawning from atop the stone statue. Hmm. Is it just one challenger this time? A familiar voice spoke out from atop the statue. Jittery. Goosebumps rose up on Jin Hyuk's skin, as expected. Is this the magic of a boss monster? The boss monster of the third floor had relatively weak magic for its level. This was because most of its magic was dispersed across the many stone statues under its control. Still, its presence was enough to make his body heavy, as expected of a boss monster. Jin Hyuk glanced at the opponent through the eye of gluttony. But, 
Status window cannot be viewed due to the extreme level difference with the target. What came back was an expected phrase, but then, luck and adaptive stats have neutralized the level difference. Looking through the status window of the target, two status windows appeared. Did the luck stat, which failed yesterday, work now? Jin Hyuk cheered a little. Name, soulless. Age, unknown. Level, 105. Strength, 72. Agility, 1 ho, 1. Stamina, 79. Magic, 93. Karma, 128. Unique ability, heartless army. Skills, LV-17, Desire of Heaven. LV-15, Group Command. LV-14, Identify Weakness. LV-14, Military Strategy. Copy Condition. Since Mandala is below level 15, it is impossible to copy the unique ability or skill of Soulless. The various raids from the guilds had come here and simply fed the monster with kills. Considering that it would take over a year for an average player to get a three-digit stat, this was fast. Is this why no one was confident of clearing it? A boss from the third floor was easy as shit when compared to the dragons on the upper floor. But this wasn't too bad. In other words, it means that I should be careful. Besides, the stronger the enemy, the more satisfied his subscribers would feel. Jin Hyuk smiled. You're laughing? Ah, sorry. I was thinking about something else. So, what was the question you asked? I asked if you were here alone? Well, as you can see, unlike a certain someone, I don't hide behind subordinates. Jin Hyuk said. The eyes of his opponent narrowed at these words. It was a slight change of expression on that face that was full of pride. Jin Hyuk then began to gather up his magic. It seems that you are confident in the battle between troops. I personally like melee battles quite a bit. So, let's stick together. One of them would have to die to prove who was right. After those words, the strange-looking chessboard appeared from his subspace inventory. The first chessboard has been activated. Blue lines began to draw shapes along the ground. Lines upon lines that met to make square plates. It all proceeded as planned. And then... Jin Hyuk took the statues that he had received from Lee Yuri. They were thousands of chess pieces carved from marble. Of course, there weren't just pieces or toys to be played on a board. They were works of art sculpted by Summoner Lee Yuri and imbued with magic through engraved runes. Each chess piece would fulfill its role as a soldier. The idea is novel. If that's the way it is, I'd be able to play as a soldier myself. Seeing the chess pieces laid out on the board, Solus looked interested. However, after a brief moment of surprise came words of ridicule. What are you going to do with those little stones? Wait and see. It isn't over yet. Just shut your mouth and don't say anything. Jin Hyuk pulled out another item that would flourish the ending. It was an item that he had obtained after tricking Anubis on the first underground level of the Tower of Trials. Giant pill has been used. A giant pill. The pills he had collected in large quantities were being infused into the body of the chess pieces. And... The chess pieces, which had been less than 10 centimeters tall, began to expand. Knights, bishops, and rooks standing two meters tall were now lined up. In front of them were the pawns armed with heavy armor and spears. The chess pieces no longer looked like toys. Looking at the majestic appearance of his soldiers, who would laugh now? Did it finally realize the situation? The smile on its face had vanished entirely. Gulp. Soulless grit its teeth. You. He had thought that the human was just another fly. Just another mortal that would be trampled down with a gesture. The human, who should be the most insignificant thing here, now had a large army that couldn't be ignored. For sure. I admit that you are different from the humans I have seen. Soulless mumbled. Although the Tower of Trials had been opened and many had challenged the boss, it was the first time it had been challenged in such a unique manner. It was the first time he felt a threat. I will admit that. Jin Hyuk shrugged. This was what he would do even if he hadn't been acknowledged. Why do you seem to be getting stupider? W what I was correct. I acted carefully and warily because I heard nonsense about you winning a few times against the weak. Isn't this why you're stuck on the third floor and can't climb higher? The boss monsters in the Tower of Trials acted like the gatekeepers of each floor while being able to exert their influence across the entire floor. It meant that their roles were closer to managers of their assigned floor. And it was not just players that could expand their power and climb the tower. They, too, had the power to do that. 
Ha ha ha. Seriously, you are a fierce one. Human. Solus laughed. It was a laugh that was filled with anger and frustration. Did you think I didn't cross to the fourth floor because I didn't have enough strength? I wasn't just thinking of it. I actually said it right to your face. Ah, if the meaning wasn't conveyed right, I would tell you again. At your level, the fourth floor is too much. The third floor's last gate suits you better. His words were blunter than before. It was an outright verbal assault. A method to anger his opponent. Shaking your opponent's mind seems to be your plan. But Solus didn't take the bait. Right. You can take it whatever you want it as. However, let me tell you that the absolute difference in troops and superiority cannot be overturned with tactics. Rather, Solus calmly understood and judged the situation as they left it up to their subordinates. The stone statues moved as if taking up a formation. Despite the overwhelming difference in troops, the Solus planned to do all he could to capture the human and crush him. Even if this becomes a war of attrition, your soldiers will wither and die. If you make one mistake, that will be the end of the fight. Any poor judgment on Jin Hyuk's part would lead to the annihilation of his entire army. Solus then got up from its seat and looked down at its army of stone statues. Go. It gave its order in a low-pitched voice. The stone statues smashed the ground as the curtain rose on this battle. Now was the start. Jin Hyuk looked at the stone statues rushing in. Instead of sending its whole army at once, Solus had ordered an advance guard of around 1,000 that were rapidly closing in. As expected, are you going to look at the opponent's response? If his troops seemed inexperienced, then the rest of his troops would be sent in right away. In other words, Solus was testing him. Whether or not you are indeed a mouth-wateringly worthy opponent. Smile. Jin Hyuk smiled. The ability of first chessboard is activated. Field magic battlefield domination is activated. Increases attack and defense of all chess pieces on the field by 30%. The morale increased by 10%. Blue magic spread across the ground. The bodies of the chess pieces on the field began to glow. They were, of course, lesser. It was absurd to compare numbers to his opponent. However, do not assume that the combat power of each entity was the same. Pawns in the center take five steps back. Left and right pawns move a step forward. Jin Hyuk gave the order. And? The black armored pawns quickly change their formation. Chess piece pawn activates hardness. A shield two meters in length was also embedded into the ground. It was in preparation for the shock which would come. The stone statue's footsteps came closer and shook the ground. At that very moment, gray waves crashed upon the black barrier with a deafening roar. From now, this was a battle of pure strength. The pawns were pushed back slightly, but the solidly formed defensive line didn't break. A brief stalemate ensued. Now! Jin Hyuk shouted. Chess piece Rook activates multiple assault shots. Steel arrows were released into the air in unison. The arrows fell in a parabolic arc and pierced through the statues. The stone statues gathered in one place to defend each other from the attack and spread out in a small shielding encirclement. But that was a mistake. This time a large flaming attack flew in from the other side. Chess piece bishop activates flame strike. The bishops, who were casting magic before the battle even started, released their attack. The fire began to fall down from the sky like a meteor shower. In an instant, all that was left was a large crater in the middle of the ground. A crater filled with broken limbs and blown up bodies. The stone statues had been broken into small pieces of rocks. So great was the destructive power of the attack. Because they had concentrated their formation to block the arrows, the fire attack's damage on the attacking unit was very potent. Of course, even this was Jin Hyuk's plan. Nice. This attack's failure would probably make the assault stop for a moment. Go ahead. A short command followed. The pawns pulled out their shields which had been stabbed into the ground. The purpose of this was to move forward. And... There began the one-sided massacre. Ho! An exclamation of surprise escaped from Solus's mouth as it watched the battle. He had expected a tough battle, but it had ended too quickly. The 1,000 statues that he had sent were all completely destroyed. On the other hand, not even 100 of the chess pieces had been defeated. A one-sided defeat. We cannot win a fight using equal numbers. The enemy's forward line with those shield soldiers was solid. Even if they attempted to break through, the damage would be too great. 
but Solus considered that sending a group was probably worth it. Solus activates LV-14 military strategy. It reached into its battlefield experience that had been honed through countless battles. Military strategy was a skill that would deliver optimal stratagems based on the vast amount of accumulated battle records. The reason the raid teams were having such a hard time was all because of this one skill. The overall protection is good, but there is a gap on the left side. The line looked thin, and the bishops took a long time to cast their magic. It looked like an appetizing target. It was a spot where only one good attack was needed to collapse the entire structure. But why? Why didn't it feel like it was worth attacking it? It looks a bit too appetizing. It felt like a poisoned apple. Something felt off. That was why it didn't give its soldiers the command to move. Solus activates a V14 inside of weakness. As it activated its skill, a status window appeared. 1. If you destroy the crown on the chessboard, all the pieces will be destroyed. 2. The crown exists on either the king or queen. 3. A crowned king or queen must be protected by the innermost chess pieces. 4. When a king or queen is not wearing the crown, all the stats increase by 100% for the enemy leader. Only when a king or a queen wore the crown. Solus narrowed its eyes on those conditions. Is that girl playing the role of queen? Behind the layer of soldiers was a silver-haired girl that wore a crown. On the other hand, Jin Hyuk, who could be considered the king, was leading the knights in preparation for a move elsewhere. At that moment, a thought flashed through its mind. I see. It was like that. Now he understood the intentions of his opponents. It was to goad it into an attack. Then why would it attack? Solus decided to spread out its troops further. To fight me. To be precise, it was to make full use of the fourth point that highlighted the effect of a 100% stat increase when fighting. On the surface, the man acted like he would fight on the front without sacrificing his soldiers. But he was actually trying to save his life by using his base as bait. Interesting. Contrary to his robust appearance, the enemy had the mind of a hundred snakes. But once it understood his intentions, it could take advantage of him. Do whatever you want. Instead, my men will strike the queen before your sword reaches me. Solus smiled. Is that what you are thinking? Jin Hyuk looked relaxed. Having provoked the boss so much, he knew the next path it would choose was the safest and surest one. Defeat would be unbearable to its status as a floor boss. And as long as you have the ability to detect weakness, you must have understood the weakness and intention too. A confidence that was formed through questions and resolving issues. The more intelligent the individual, the more thought they would put into a situation. Of course, the cost of overthinking would also be painful. It was then. Is this really fine? Elise, who was wearing the crown, asked him. Are you worried? Of course I am not. I know you aren't normal. But neither is that thing. It isn't like it is guarding the third floor without reason. It is the first time I have seen you compliment someone. So, are you trying to say Solus is stronger than your people? What? No. Are you saying that hollow-headed stones with bodies are on par with the nobles of the night? If I wasn't imprisoned within the corridor, that guy wouldn't... Elise raised her voice. Seeing her yell, it felt like her tension was somewhat relieved. Do not worry. I have it planned out. All you need to do is keep the crown on. Who would keep the crown longer? Who will cut the opponent's head first? Those two factors would be what determined victory or defeat in this fight. And Jin Hyuk already had the answer. Is that possible? No? Are you really going to move like that? Elise looked on in disbelief. This was hard to believe. Not only had he read through the opponent's stratagem, but he also saw through Solus's character as if he had known the boss monster for ten years. Above all, the hidden card prepared at the end was something even Elise could never imagine. You... What are you? Are you human? Elise gulped. From their first meeting, she knew this man was full of surprises. What was happening here was beyond that. I am just one of those people who likes the world. Eleven years was a long time, and he enjoyed his time here. That was why he had clung to this place more than anyone else. He wasn't a genius who could learn things instantly, nor was he born as someone with talent. He had exhausted and worn himself out. That was all. Phew. It is really like you. Elise sighed. 
No matter how much she asked, he would never talk about his true identity. Protect what is on your head. It is quite expensive. Don't worry. I am not the kind to lose what I get. Anyway, you're going to be miserable, so see you later. Jin Hyuk, having said his goodbyes, moved away from Elise. He arrived at a vast open space across from his primary formation of chess pieces on the far right. Jin Hyuk whistled. And... Heavily armored cavalry units equipped with lances lined up on both sides of Jin Hyuk. You called? An emotionless voice came from a knight atop a horse. Unlike the other chess pieces, this was a unique object imbued with intelligence. These were the knights that he had saved for this moment. Let's go. Jin Hyuk grabbed a lance. Yes, sir. The Black Knight bowed its head. Three hundred knights began their advance through the bamboo forest, the sound of their movement echoing all around. At that moment, among the stone statues, there were ones with unusually long limbs. They began to run towards Jin Hyuk. This unit numbered around three thousand. However, each of them were just a medium-level units. He is aiming for the base. It would be an ambiguous strategy to go back and block it, but there were too many of them to simply ignore them. Perhaps this was what Solus aimed for. What do we do? Ignore it. As those 3,000 move forward, the defensive wall would become thinner. Jin Hyuk pointed to the empty gap in the center of the statues. As soon as we dig in, the forces on both flanks will block the escape route. Yes. He understood it. It was a gap that was left intentionally open. The purpose was to lure the opponent and lock them in from the sides before taking the crown from Elise. The intentions were too obvious just by looking at how large the opening in the center was. However, all the possible plans had been established. The 3,000 strong units were sent to take the crown. The premise will be that I need to be faster in killing it. Jin Hyuk increased his movement speed as the enemy approached. We break through at once. He shouted loudly with his lance pointed forward. Chess pieces, knight, activates wedge formation. Damage on impact increased by 200%. His knights took up an assault formation that would generate maximum destructive power even with smaller numbers on their side. 300 knights from the right side dug right into the enemy line. The stone statues touched by the lance were blown apart and their fragments dispersed over the ground. That was how strong Jin Hyuk's unit was. The layered defense formation was shattered by using a breakthrough at a single point that combined their superior weight and speed. Jin Hyuk, who was at the vanguard, captured the momentum of the attack and dug deep into the defensive line. Some of the statues desperately resisted, but they were helpless against Jin Hyuk. Only named monsters would even stand a chance. In just a minute, Jin Hyuk and his knights reached the deepest point of the enemy camp. Jin Hyuk raised his head and saw Solus sitting atop its bejeweled stone statue. He is smiling. The corners of its lip curled up to a smile, and its face was confident of victory. You've made it this far, human. You deserve the praise for leading such a small number of soldiers and making it in front of me. Keep speaking nonsense. I know you opened the space up intentionally. Oh? You knew this was a trap? Something like that. That's funny, but why did you walk in then? Uh? Walk in? Maybe because this looked like the Han River on a midsummer night? Look. There is beer and chicken here. Even in this situation you act like this. At this point, I think I've overestimated you. Solus slowly raised both of its hands. Well, that's enough. Why would you entrust the crown to such a skinny child or why you came straight inside here? It isn't worth giving you my time anymore. Solus clasped its hands together. I need to end you. At that signal, stone statues on either side of Solus began to move towards Jin Hyuk, making him frown. He even summoned the statue of David and the clearing the foul traces. Similar to the monster from yesterday, they were powerful named monsters. His knights began to shatter without being able to resist much. Their armors split in half, and their lances shattered against the assault. Puahaha! There aren't any people in the world better than Shiva. A stone monster burst into laughter. Hmm, I see no human with the right proportions. A statue of David scanned its foe's body up and down. Both combat maniacs and perverts were in one place. This was a rare sight. Indeed, the amount of magic that Solus possessed was enormous. Seeing that it could control monsters of this caliber, it must have nearly endless magic. After all, a boss is a boss. But, 
Despite the overwhelmingly unfavorable situation, Jin Hyuk looked unperturbed. In fact, he was smiling. Have you lost it? Why are you smiling? I will point out two things that you are mistaken about. Jin Hyuk folded his first finger. First, the stone statues you sent out. You picked them out thinking you are pretty confident of the win, right? Right. Only the elite was selected, and they are people I can trust with any task. I did the same. What? The one I entrusted with the crown. She is someone I can trust. As Jin Hyuk finished his words, red blood rose up into the air. These bastards, how dare you try to touch me for real? Elise's face was angry. Elise activates rain of fresh blood. Hundreds of harpoons made of blood filled the sky. They were many in number, but they were also imbued with tremendous amounts of magic. The sunlight disappeared as black clouds took their place. Die. Elise sighed coldly, and it ended with that. The stone statues began to crumble under the endless rain of blood. This was something that was usually seen only in movies. Even then, the magic supply was still limited. Had she been able to use her full powers, the whole area would have been devastated. Wh what Soulless, who was watching this, gasped in shock. He had deliberately sent his best soldiers for the assault. In front of the white-haired girl, they were barely better than paper soldiers. This was absurd. J- just how- As Solus struggled to consolidate the reality of the situation, Jin Hyuk folded his second finger. And next. What you thought was a lure to trap me deep in your formation was instead something I was looking for. The trigger conditions were quite tricky, but he had met all of the conditions just in time. Loading memories of the world. Jin Hyuk summoned it to review his skills. The abilities that he could use as materials for fusion were Blood Demon Chi and Mandala. He could easily turn the current situation if he fused those two abilities. Unique ability, Blood Demon Chi and Mandala are fused. You have succeeded in fusing. You have acquired the Double Agent S skill. Rank is lowered from S to A because the activation condition is difficult. Double Agent, Acquisition Difficulty, A, Description. You can brainwash enemies, making them point their swords at each other. However, the target of the double spy must be a summoned beast summoned by a boss monster, and can be used when the distance from the boss monster that summoned them is within five meters. Thank you. Because Solus had let him come to the required range that was needed to activate the necessary ability. LV-1 double agent is activated. A transparent wave rippled out from Jin Hyuk's body at that moment. Strange things began to happen in the tightly packed stone statue formation. The swords and spears aimed at Jin Hyuk and his knights were now directed to their fellow statues. Almost half of the stone statues began to run rampant in an instant. This included even those statues that were considered named monsters. I like the proportions of your body, that fucking western body. Even David was going crazy. An unsightly crack appeared on his face. Whoa, what is this all of a sudden? Shut up. From the start, I didn't like your face, nor your abs or thighs. As long as the attack was already made, it was useless to speak anymore. Now even the named monsters considered each other enemies. The battlefield had changed. Damn it. You were doing this on purpose? Solus clenched its fist. I dug a trap. If you wanted to catch someone with a brain, you couldn't do it all at once. You needed to plan it step by step. Well, it is round two now. There was just one player here. However, that one person possessed the power of tens of thousands. Black Leaf has been activated. The stone statues afflicted with corruption are rapidly weakened. To accelerate the ending, Jin Hyuk even used the last hidden card. The surface of the stone statues became dyed black, and the soldiers that had boasted invincibility slowly collapsed. T this is absurd. Solus staggered and stepped back in disbelief. The stone statue it was riding on also retreated alongside. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story, but it was of no use. The many stone statues protecting him were now busy fighting amongst themselves. Above all of those, the summoned statues were the most annoying. Solus's power and magic had grown beyond the reach of a normal named monster. LV-3 Glacier Formation is activated. A thin wall of ice blocked Solus's path. Where are you thinking of running? 
This was the fun part, so why was it leaving? Stay till the end. I cannot admit to this. The ability to interfere with the summons of... There can be no such thing. Solus shouted with a pale face and trembling voice. Well, from its point of view, this situation would indeed be entirely unacceptable. You have the freedom to deny reality. But the more you do, the stupider you'll seem. Jin Hyuk gathered up his magic. A golden glow appeared on his finger. Did it feel the unusual magic coming from him? Solus jumped off the statue's head and gave an order. Stop him! Stop that guy! Somehow. Somehow he had to be stopped from using the mandala. The bejeweled stone statue raised both hands as a large shadow fell over Jin Hyuk. The ground cracked from the attack, but there was nothing left below to crush. Even when cornered, you still have the habit of passing things onto your subordinates and running away. A body soaring high in the sky. Jin Hyuk was suddenly holding a bow that had been made using glacier formation. Of course, the arrows were ice too. A golden arrow imbued with the mandala's light was in full bloom. Glacier formation and mandala resonate. Exorcism arrow activated. A single ray of light. The light flew in a straight line and pierced Solus through the chest. Visible heat rose up at the speed it had gone in. Damn. Damn it. Solus looked down at the wound with a face full of despair and shock. It was only for a moment, as no living being could survive without a heart. Solus staggered back and fell without a sound. Third floor boss monster Solus has fallen. Golden status windows appeared one after another as he cleared the third floor. Or fourth floor of Tower of Trials now open. Time remaining until clearing next floor. 89D, 23H, 59MIM, 59s. Level has risen. Level has risen. Multiple notifications popped in an instant. In addition, his level had gone up five times. This was a huge achievement considering the increase in necessary experience value per level. That stat I should increase is magic. The next reward that he could get was directly in front of him. Jin Hyuk walked between the stone statues and looked. He spotted a box next to Solus's corpse. This is? His eyes trembled. Violet, indigo, yellow, green, blue, orange, red. Those were the seven colors that indicate the grade of treasure that could be obtained after dealing with relics or boss monsters on the third floor. But... I hoped that at least an orange would come out. All the grades on the tenth floor were red. However, what was in front of him was a step above it. And he could guess the reason. This was probably because of the passive effect of Take All, which would give him the best rewards when hunting. Jin Hyuk's heart beat rapidly. Again, the most exhilarating moments in life are when you check your reward. Opening Unknown Treasure Chest With a dazzling light, the items in the box were revealed. There are a total of seven items in the box. You have acquired four pink diamonds. You have acquired priority-based designation right. You have obtained softy soft grain one kilo. You have acquired natural water 50 L. You have acquired solar seeds X5. You have acquired fire spitting snails X3. If it was a red box, there would only be three items inside it, but this was an orange box. Yeah, I was rewarded nicely. Even this was good for him. He had thought that this was an overflowing enough gift. But Jin Hyuk, who had checked the final item, could barely hold back his scream. The stone which blocks the sun. Jin Hyuk grinned from ear to ear as one of the best drops arrived. I know the odds of getting this from 100 treasure boxes were under 1%. Insane. Once more, he realized that the effect of Monopolize was amazing. Then this... Maybe I will also get the sweetest rewards up on the fourth floor. Jin Hyuk was already drawing up a new plan in his mind. The fourth floor has opened. A message was sent to all the players in the Tower of Trials. What? The fourth floor is open? The boss is defeated? The active players in the tower knew all about the third floor boss that no one could even touch. It was hard to believe that someone successfully beat such a monster. Really? He did it. Patrick of the Olympus Guild gulped in disbelief. He had been skeptical of the masked player. It was inevitable since even a perfectly made raid group had failed to even touch the boss. But now those doubts vanished. All done solo. Maria, the European ranker, also had a complicated expression. There was a relief since the end of humankind was averted again. 
but there was also shame at the difference in their skills. Those two emotions ran through her mind. The birth of a hero. Still, I'm glad we earned 90 days until we have to attack the next floor. This time, we will prepare properly. The other rankers chimed in relief. On the other hand, Ten Wei, who didn't like the situation, clicked his tongue. Relief? Happy? So foolish. Do you think the success of this raid will benefit us? In the future, that guy is going to suck everything up. Everyone flinched as he told the truth. Currently, the whole community refers to this player as unknown. After the highlight video of the boss raid was uploaded, the phenomenon had only gotten more intense. An overwhelmingly popular player. At this point, there was no one more famous. Hmm, it could weaken our position. I do not like it much. The room became noisy as the atmosphere changed. Sighs of relief turned into ones of envy and jealousy. At that moment. What do you mean to say? Teresa jumped from her seat. About what? Tenway asked. We all survived, thanks to him. Let's be honest. Who in here can deal with that boss? How could anyone here walk into that hell with necromancers who don't even have experience? Instead of showing their gratitude, they were all only concerned about their own growth. It was like saving a drowned person who then asked about the whereabouts of his bags instead of thanking their savior. Of course, she despised Tenway the most. Ha! You are taking his side of him because he is your acquaintance. I am speaking the truth here. Teresa drew a clear line. And if the rest of you have the same thoughts as this man, I will no longer be a part of this. N no. Are you saying you want to leave the meeting? Patrick asked in slight shock. This was a place where rankers made connections with each other. Of course, there was no elected leader, but no one left since wealth and honor was guaranteed. But Teresa seemed sure. Do you believe that man this much? I do. She believed in him more than anyone. If there was a player who could see the end of this tower, then it was that man alone. And if she had to decide whose side she would take, there was no doubt about who Teresa would choose. At the same time, Jin Hyuk exited the tower after receiving his rewards. Before heading up to the fourth floor, he wanted to rest and recover his stamina. Since we achieved the results which exceeded our expectations, maybe indulge in some luxury. He should go to a five-star hotel, take a hot bath, and then enjoy a full-course meal. But it was then. His phone vibrated. Caller. Yu Yonhua. Checking the name on the screen, he answered the call. Hello? Opa? Yu Yunhua's voice was trembling as if her world was about to crumble. The voice implied that it was serious. What happened, Yunhua? Jin Hyuk asked carefully. Opa, grandfather. Grandfather collapsed. At this rate, I don't think he will make it past the night. If it was Yunhua's grandfather, then it was Yu Chun Young? Come to think of it, Kim Gitai had asked her about him during his awakening test. He had asked if the old man was fine, and Yu Yunhua had responded with some anger a veteran who he had shared his time in the Tower of Trials with. If Yu Yunhua, the child who smiled brightly, became so confused and contacted me, it had to be because there was no hope left. It meant that she wanted to share her sadness with someone. Where are you? Where are you now? Seoul National University Hospital. But even if Appa comes... For today, Jin Hyuk would have to change his schedule a bit. I will be there now. Just wait 30 minutes. Opa, over here. He saw Yu Yonhua waiting in front of the hospital room. Thank you for coming here. I... I really didn't know who else to tell. Her haggard face and eyes told him that she had cried a lot. He understood that she was upset. But the priority now was to understand the old man's condition. Can you tell me what the problem is? It is a symptom of explosive magic overdose. Grandfather originally had a chronic illness, but after the tower appeared, it had gotten worse. The magic from the tower caused these changes in the old man. Relics that were stored in the museum or items similar to them. The magic that emanated from these objects could lead to various side effects, so the cause of all this was predictable. It must have something to do with the material arts the old man learned. The interaction between the tower's magic and his long accumulated internal key was what was causing this to happen. Maybe we can try something. Really? At Jin Hyuk's words, Yu Yonhua looked surprised. 
When everyone else had given up, this man said that he might be able to save her grandfather. The chances were slim, but it felt like her frozen heart began to melt again in an instant just by this glimmer of hope. Jin Hyuk narrowed his eyes. Yu Chun Young. Korea's strongest? Name, Yu Chun Young. Gender, male. Age, 78. Level, 5. Strength, 25. Agility, 50. Stamina, 38. Magic, 7. Chi, 103. Stat points, 0. Coins, 0. Occupation, none. Unique ability, Tai Chi martial form. Skill, LV13 true. Tai Chi cultivation method, LV12, no retreat in face of battle. LV12, strengthening. Copy condition, Yu Chun Young's death is almost certain. If you save his life, you may copy one of his skills. The eye of gluttony was truly splendid. Yet a person cannot be judged by their levels. Especially not this old man. It the exact player rankings weren't even appropriately determined yet. But if he had to pick the strongest player in Korea, it would be Yu Chun Young. Regardless of his level and ability, he was great. They said he had never entered a dungeon before this, and that was true. The old man had increased his level while dealing with monsters outside. It was a pity that he hadn't seen it because he was inside the labyrinth. That is why I came here on purpose. That was why he came here despite the promise of comfortable rest and delicious meals. Of course, it was partly because of his friendship with Yu Yunhua. But the most important factor was the chance to copy his skills. The opportunity to meet a giant like Yu Chun Young wasn't something that happened often. At that moment, Miss Yonhua, where are you coming from? We need to leave. Uh? One of the healers became silent as they recognized someone familiar. P player Kang Jin Hyuk? The one who got the S rank? Right, it is him. What is happening here? How would they not know? This was one of Korea's most searched information. Not only did he get S rank for his magic, but he had also shown amazing skills against Chun Yu Xiong and Hong Deok Kyo. The public would not forget it anytime soon. He, how does Miss Yeon Hua know him? I have known Appa for a long time. He came with me to look at Grandfather's condition. Uh, to check the condition. Are you saying the player Kang Jin Hyuk will treat him? Everyone looked doubtful. Well, it must be hard to believe. Because a random person had come out of nowhere and claimed that he would be able to heal this old man. No, they were likely more terrified that something more important would get revealed here. Damn it. Why did a ranker have to appear now? He couldn't have noticed that we were trying to suck up the money while doing the treatments, right? As if. Can someone who only knows how to fight tell the difference between veins and arteries? Through mind reading, he was able to discern their true thoughts. Those who do business by preying on the hopes of others are trash. These guys were the worst. They knew that Yu Yunhua wouldn't give up on her grandfather. Disgusting. Making others suffer and cry to fill their stomachs? Jin Hyuk's expression became chilly as he opened his subspace inventory. What appeared was a glass vial with a special liquid inside it, the elixir. However, the healer's faces didn't change even after seeing this. On the contrary, they just clicked their tongues. I know what you are trying to do, but we already used elixirs before this. Heo Jinsu, the representative of the healers, opened his mouth. How could they have not done everything to treat the man? Of course, they tried everything, like elixirs and medicinal herbs. Well, you may have talent in combat, but this field is different from that. Even the materials of the tower cannot help him. It is fine. Do not worsen the conditions of the patient with your little knowledge. Words of ridicule flowed out of their mouths. What? Were they actually trying to act like they cared? To have such a high ego and elitist attitude? Now he understood why the system had set such specific copy conditions. It was disgusting how they acted like they knew everything about the tower. But all this did was make Jin Hyuk want to hit them even harder. With a tilt of his head, he asked the healers. Um, no. Did you use the elixir as it was? Of course. Haha. <laughs> no way. Those who are well-versed in this field wouldn't have just poured the elixir into the throat of a patient who is suffering from runaway magic unless their heads are empty. The healers' faces became red as they felt their egos being stabbed. But if they protested now, they would simply admit that they did what he said. This forced them to hold back their words. Nice. Now they look like docile sheep. The symptoms have gotten this bad because the cultivation used by the patient is incompatible with the way magic is gathered from the tower. 
the different energies would then rage within the body. In other words, the disease can be healed if the energies within him are diluted or released. The player Kang Jin Hyuk knows how to do that? Of course, I know it. Just like the amazing healers in here. Uh, why are you being so humble? The method to save the patient can only be used after they have fallen into a coma. Isn't that why you have been patiently waiting until now? Jin Hyuk smiled brightly. An unrelated person might like that smile. From the viewpoint of the healers, that was a smile they wanted to wipe off that face as soon as possible. If we say we don't know, we can never set foot in this industry again. Heo Jinsu grit his teeth. A healer that had lesser skills compared to a combat player. No, we were waiting for that too. As I thought. So with my little knowledge, I will be learning what you healers do from now. Jin Hyuk took a step back. Uh, how... does he know that? He cannot know about the money we took, right? Well, how else would he know? Jin Hyuk smiled. I am the only one who knows about the account. In particular, we are using borrowed names and cryptocurrency and distributing the money through seven places. Even God couldn't find it now. Looking at the borrowed name on the account, huh, now I see. You used a Bitcoin wallet as well? You must have eaten up tens of billions in total. No wonder you don't have any money left to get the ingredients. N no do. Heo Jinsu took a step back as things no one else should know became known. Such a deceptive ability. Although conditions were applied to it, the ability to read minds was amazing. But never. At Heo Jinsu's following thoughts, be caught. This time, it was Jin Hyuk's turn to become shocked. The resident? A resident of the tower made contact with a human? Just how much does he know? Heo Jinsu's true feelings were shown to Jin Hyuk. His thoughts that followed were most shocking. Here, I have to end it here. The fact that the Black Cloud Guild and the Dweller had contacted us shouldn't be known. Jin Hyuk frowned. What was this guy talking about? Could it be that this wasn't just for money? In an instant, the copy condition flashed into his mind. Uncover the plans. At first, he had thought that meant he just needed to dig up the corruption. But it felt that something more was happening. For one, the Black Cloud Guild was one of the top guilds in Korea, and that's before the mention of the Tower Dwellers. A player had just conquered the third floor today, but the Dwellers of the Tower could only be encountered after reaching the fifteenth floor. Then, that meant that first contact was made from the side of the Dwellers to the Fathers of Fighting Guild. He wasn't sure of their purpose, though. However, one thing was certain. Their plans involved the death of Yu Chun Young. From their point of view, human players would be enemies who threatened the tower. This was becoming interesting, at that moment. Appa, what do you mean? You mean they stole the money we gave them to heal the master? You fucking bastards! What the hell did you do? Don't ever think about living after today. The healers they had trusted had stabbed them in the back. It was no surprise they were furious. Jin Hyuk grabbed the fluids and medicines that were placed on the table. Naturally, they were just props to support his act. Tools to hide the fusion skill and properly get the job done. Jin Hyuk, who had finished his prep, looked at Heo Jinsu. Keep your eyes here. See how the elixir is appropriately used. Jin Hyuk took the elixir and approached Yu Chun Young. Any normal person would have been long dead. The bulging blood vessels were clear symptoms that his body couldn't handle this for much longer. Indeed, he was truly strong. He wasn't letting go of the string of life despite being in such terrible agony. One or two drops won't be enough. I will feed him all of it. As the condition was quite serious, he decided to pour everything inside the man's throat. The Tears of Stars was pricey stuff, but it was a low price if he could copy one ability from the old man. Gulp! The liquid ran down the old man's throat and seeped into his body, his pale face slowly turning red as it did so. His breathing became stable as his cold sweat gradually stopped. All of the bulging blood vessels also slowly settled. After a long period of suffering, the man finally recovered. Condition met. Choose one of Yu Chun Young's skills? He knew what to choose. You have selected to copy the unique ability, True Heavenly Flower Cultivation Technique S. True Tai Chi Cultivation Method. Acquisition Difficulty. S. Description. This is a self-defense and QI cultivation technique developed by Yu Chun Young. 
which can absorb magic from the air. When used, the magic recovery speed is increased by 30%, and it has the effect of making the body look younger. Status windows appeared in succession. Jin Hyuk reviewed its contents. Grandfather. Yu Yunhua touched her grandfather's cheek. Heo Jin Su, who had been watching the scene, stood with his mouth wide open as he was unsure of what had just happened. I cannot believe it. The opponent was someone who fought. But. He also knew the method of treating runaway magic. Something that no one else had known until now. It was easy to say that the elixir concentration had to be done perfectly. However, it was impossible to understand if it was perfect or not unless the body reacted to it. But the opponent did it all in just one go. Tremble. Heo Jinsu trembled at the overwhelming potential he felt from this S-rank player. Add to that the medicinal knowledge. It was like dealing with a monster. Through all he could do was think about running away, his body wouldn't move. The money you received, cough it back up and you'll get to leave. You'll forgive me if I send back the money? Isn't this a good deal? Is money what he wants? Heo Jinsu considered it. If money was the opponent's goal, he didn't mind returning at all. The mission to kill the old man had failed, but at least the information regarding his identity hadn't leaked yet. He didn't have to worry for long. I will do it. Then, as soon as the money is put into this account, I will release you. Jin Hyuk handed him a piece of paper. An account with an untraceable number is a benefit given to S-rank players alone. A new financial transaction occurred. 36 that's 150,001 has been deposited into the account of Kang Jin Hyuk. A notification window appeared on Jin Hyuk's cell phone. Around 36 billion. Most of the amount stolen from the old man was returned. Can I leave now? Heo Jinsu asked. Yes, it was a nice transaction. Jin Hyuk smiled and stepped away from the door. No one was now blocking the path, which meant that there was a way out. Come out now. To thank God! As soon as the door opened, the healers rushed out, worrying that Jin Hyuk might change his mind and come for them. Hmm. Are you going to send them off just like that? That isn't like you. Elise commented to him. Elise. Jin Hyuk slowly said, From now on, find out where he's going and who he is talking to. What? You let him go on purpose? He won't speak even if we ask him. Above all else, neither Black Cloud Guild and Dwellers would give them much information as they are just disposable pieces. No matter how many ants were killed, it was futile. So, we need to make the ant run back to its queen. Jin Hyuk smiled. After a few moments, only Yu Chun Young and Jin Hyuk were left in the room. He had told the others that he needed to make sure that the old man's body had absorbed all of the elixir into his body. Therefore, he had asked to leave and rest for a bit. Jin Hyuk then looked at the man. No one is here now. No answer came. I know that you already regained consciousness. Jin Hyuk added. Right. Ha <laughs> ha. I thought I hid my presence fine. You are a lot smarter than I thought, young man. The old man who everyone thought was unconscious was awake. Was it my breathing? No, it was perfect. No player of any skill would be able to detect Yu Chun Young's breathing patterns. It was the eye of gluttony. I am sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It is fine. The timing of my appearance was quite strange. Besides, I think there'd be some doubts if someone came with the cure for runaway magic that no one else knew about. Right. Yu Chun Young laughed aloud. Had Jin Hyuk tried to say something else, Yu Chun Young wouldn't have believed him. However, seeing that he was laughing, he probably liked Jin Hyuk at least a little. I am someone who has a hard time trusting people. So what do you want from this old man? There is one thing I want to ask. You are someone who saved my life. I will answer anything. Yu Chun Young nodded with a bright smile. But... Sir, you fought with a dweller on the first day of Tower of Trials. Am I right? This question wasn't expected. How do you know? The smile vanished right away. Chun Young's reaction, Jin Hyuk bit his lip. I was right. No matter how strong the magic coming out from the Tower of Trials was, it wasn't enough to send a man like this into a mana-induced coma. Just by looking through the Eye of Gluttony, he was confident this old man was a rancor. Then, it means that something pushed the old man to the edge. Of course, not a single non-player could even touch him. Even if you searched the entire world, only those who lived in the Tower would have the strength. 
Jin Hyuk was thinking of something huge based on these assumptions. Yu Chun Young had confirmed the premise that someone was there. Ha 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 ha. You really have a knack for surprising people. How far do you plan to lift and release an old man's heart? Yu Chun Young sighed. Can I take it as my prediction being correct? This was a story about the dweller. The main question, however, was what floor this dweller lived on. Can you tell me something like specific characteristics, appearance, fighting style, statues, anything works? He is an Asian with long black hair and white clothes. The weapon is a sword, and it was scary. I've never seen anyone wielding a sword that quickly. An Asian person who used a sword? He knew who it was. A Murum person. A large force from the 21st floor of the tower, a denizen of Murum. As that faction dominated the entire 21st floor, they were known to move aggressively to climb higher in the tower. Even when I was playing Tower of Trials, I had a lot of trouble because of them. Anyone who posed any threat to them, they would mercilessly kill. They would use any means and methods necessary to do so. A group of people akin to leeches. Jin Hyuk frowned. As expected, the most troublesome one had appeared. Someone you know? Something like that. Hey hey, I see. I expected you to know. Yu Chun Young nodded his head and said, Can I ask you something now? Sure. I know about all the high-ranking guilds in Korea and their members, but you seem to know more than even them. Even the best in Korea didn't know who that person was. Right. Since Murum was on the 21st floor, it was natural for people to not know. Except for one person. Who is me? Ah, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I just wanted to put my hopes onto someone who could help us out of this darkness. And that is me? Even though I know nothing about you, I have met so many people till this age. And even though I might not look like this, there is something I like which I hate equally. Yu Chen Young smiled. The eye of truth sees behind a human. As one accumulates time and experience, the ability to discern people would be improved. You must be overestimating me, sir. You think so? In my eyes, the players in the world are now being overestimated. It has just been two months, but they classify people based on magic and unique abilities. That is the most ridiculous thing for me. It was said that it would take 10,000 hours to become a master of anything. Even Rome wasn't built in a day. But the world had changed, and people began to assume that they had become strong because of a single ability. This was something that Yu Chun Young didn't like. But you are different. What is it? It feels like you have been through things countless times. You have tasted the bitter taste of defeat and victory too many times as if it was as simple as sleeping. And you also showed the skills to overcome such slumps. It isn't that much. Ha ha ha. And the humble nature. However, it is impossible to hide it from me. Yu Chun Young burst into laughter. Of course, he didn't forget to add. Don't worry. I will not tell this to anyone. That was the truth. Yu Chun Young wasn't the kind of person who would recklessly speak about things. Besides, no one would believe it. But, you saved my life using something precious like an elixir, so I want to give something back. Is there something you wish for? At those words, Jin Hyuk fell into deep thought. This man was the most prestigious martial artist in Korea. Not just medals, but the man must have also learned hundreds of martial forms. And of course his money would be enough to fill multiple rooms. Actually, there is something I need. Can I ask for anything? Do not worry and tell me. He did say anything, right? Jin Hyuk smiled. No matter how polite he had been, he wasn't the type to stay humble when it involved rewards. You're supposed to say you want to eat when you are hungry. Otherwise, you would die while thinking about your fame and position. I would like to receive the twin dragon swords the Elder owns. To twin dragon swords? This time it was Yu Chun Young's turn to be shocked. He clearly didn't expect this request. Did I ask for something impossible? Jin Hyuk smiled, an innocent and bright smile spread on his face. Hmm. It is difficult. But I am not someone who says two different things with the same mouth. Yu Chun Young calmed his expression. He was a bit shocked. But this man had saved his life. He was willing to give him all his assets if he asked. Do you need anything more? No. That is fine. He was getting what he needed, and it was time to leave. 
After finishing his conversation, Jin Hyuk immediately headed toward Lotte. Many things had happened, but they were all according to plan. He had borrowed a large amount of money, received information, and was about to get a new weapon too. He should eat the tastiest foods. I have everything filling the pocket, so I should rest now. Normally, luxury was only for those who could afford it. Sweet rooms that cost more than two million a night were something he used to need a whole month to earn. But he was no longer bound by money since he had gotten billions from those crooked healers. He took the membership as well as the benefits that were offered by Signal. As the door opened, he observed the hotel suite which came into view. Marble floors and chandeliers. Furniture imported from Italy and Germany filled the room. And of course, a glass window covering one wall gave him a unique nighttime view of Seoul. Jin Hyuk liked this. This is why money is nice. There was so much food that even five people couldn't easily finish it all. Jin Hyuk cut the steak with his knife and fork and revealed the pink flesh underneath the caramelized exterior. The meat juices and gravy that entered his mouth were fulfilling. And this wine, the Chateau La Fleur d'Eau, was called the Water Drops of the Gods. Insane. This was a completely different taste from old and damp rice, fresh kimchi, and soybean paste. Happiness came after hard work. Because there was a difficult past, the present joy would shine brighter. But as he continued to enjoy his dinner, a familiar type of content came out of the TV that had been turned on. Mr. Eunseol, what do you think is the most effective way to climb a tower? A special feature related to the Tower of Trials. A female announcer and a man with an impressionable smile were talking. It was Zhang Yun Seo, a ranker belonging to the Dangun Guild, considered the strongest in Korea. Please hit the like button so more people can enjoy this awesome story and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Now let's get back to the story. Well, there are two ways to get stronger in the tower. The first way is to hone your unique abilities and skills or raise your level. Like a game? Right. As you get stronger, you can clear more dungeons. Then what about the second method? Using coins. This is the currency that can be used within the tower. Yes? I think the power to purchase better items is the best way to become a ranker. Until now, the dollar was the key currency moving the world. But in the future, the coins will be what drives the world. I am also looking forward to the future and investing all the coins I have collected to upgrade the broadcasting system. Jin Hyuk, who listened to this, snorted. Investing coins in broadcasting. There is currently a trend among the players to upgrade their broadcasting systems to gain more subscribers. Of course, this was a stupid thing to do. What would they do by promoting colorful thumbnails for a hundred days? Wasn't the tower the most important thing? Even if they show hours of the tower, would anyone care? Quality. The overwhelming performance that came with clearing out places in the tower was what captivated the viewers. The fourth floor is open, but no one has entered the fourth floor yet. Can you please explain this? The announcer changed the topic. That is because the fourth floor is structured so that the rest of the players can enter only when the player who opened the gate declares that he will attack. Of course, if the person doesn't do it for ten days, others can enter normally. Ah, was there such a rule? Then why didn't he go up? Haha. <laughs> Naturally. The fourth floor is an area that has a large number of zombies, and one can only clear it by defending the base. Besides, there is only one chance to challenge the fourth floor. And one failure is the end of it all? No second chance? In the game, if we fail, we end up being reset to level one. But in reality, humanity will perish right away. In that sense, we have only one chance. No way. Yes. It takes at least a month or two as the unknown player cannot attack without working with the large guilds. We need at least that much time to prepare for it and get the items and resources needed. Are you saying that attempting it before that is tough? I will bet my name on it. If one goes there without proper preparation, the difficulty of zombie waves will start to jump up. People might think about going early and getting rewards, but what if they cannot stand it and we fall? No man with common sense would do such a thing. But just one second after. Player Unknown announces the attack on the fourth floor. The announcer who saw this spoke happily. All players who will challenge the fourth floor, please prepare. Yang Yun Siuk smiled. In the next eight hours, the first wave begins. And all of the viewers who were watching. If the 100 waves cannot be blocked, humanity will perish. We're at a loss for words. 
The world turned upside down due to the sudden declaration of attack on the fourth floor. W what is this? He wants to start now? Is this for real? Insane. Call all the rankers right now. This is an emergency. I am telling you to stop acting out and come. Have you drawn up the list of candidates for the place? Bring it. All the data on the fourth floor we have been collecting so far. All of the executives of the large guilds shouted at their subordinates. It was necessary for each team to preemptively choose a good location on the fourth floor. This was due to the nature of the wave of attacks on said floor. Every minute and every second was precious for humanity. They had to lead the raid on the fourth floor in just eight hours. Additionally, they had to finish planning all possible routes in the remaining time. While everyone was rushing around until the morning, Jin Hyuk woke up from the soft bed. His joints felt a little stiff, but his body felt refreshed, as if he was reborn. It seemed that all the fatigue I accumulated over the years was relieved all at once. In order to start on this new fight, he needed that much stamina, at least. The rest probably didn't have this. They must be in the worst condition. As he had deliberately declared the attack at such a late hour, the big guilds must have been mentally and physically exhausted after trying to use their heads. But what else could be done? This isn't a sport being played in a stadium. There was no fair play. This was the fourth floor where fewer challengers meant greater rewards. Time remaining before the first wave, Monhaj 37M50 Ferns. Now was the time to head to the fourth floor of the Tower of Trials. This was the first hurdle that caused many players to quit the game. Right. It was inevitable. There were 100 waves of normal, special, and combination-type zombies on this floor of the tower. Challengers also had to play defensive by placing defense towers and securing food, clothing, and shelter within their chosen base. Above all, the ridiculous penalty that their entire account would get reset if the player didn't clear all 100 waves made many players curse the game. The Tower of Trials wasn't a hated game for no reason. And right now, a player appeared on the fourth floor. Every time I see it, it looks like shit. Jin Hyuk looked around. In keeping with the theme of zombies, the fourth floor was made to look like a place that had faced an apocalyptic end. Burned out buildings and abandoned cars. A city that civilization had abandoned. One couldn't help but feel sad, perhaps because this was a site that reflected the future of mankind. It was then. A status window popped up. You entered the fourth floor of the Tower of Trials. You are the first. Other players will be able to enter the fourth floor after 20 minutes. He had a 20-minute bonus for being the person who cleared the third floor boss. This would be the time to decide on success or failure. I need to hurry. Jin Hyuk looked towards the north, but his speed wasn't good, considering the rough path. It was a road that disappeared due to sinkholes and was blocked by vein-covered walls. A path that was full of obstacles. He stopped as he arrived at a huge stadium. I was almost too late. Because he needed to secure the base he wanted before the other players came in, he had to move quickly, even if it was difficult. That was because some other players had the ability to accelerate quickly or even move through space. We're here now. Found it. Jin Hyuk placed his palm on the pillar at the entrance of the stadium, and at that moment, using priority point designation ticket, Sangam World Cup Stadium has been selected as the base. A red flag was placed on the stadium. This was a warning. It indicated that the owner of this place was fixed, so others should look for another site. Spraying softy soft grain one kios. Planting solar seeds x5. Preparing natural water 50L. Jin Hyuk took the rewards he had gotten after defeating Solus. The grains, the seed, and the soil. Jin Hyuk chose plants among the countless defense options available on the fourth floor. You can place one plant at each entrance to the stadium and place the last one in the center. Time left until solar seeds hatch, 55 May, 33s. Time remaining until softy soft grains hatch, 5 urge 19 milm, 10s. By the time the first wave arrived, these plants would be ready to do their job and make this place a stronghold. The grains would be useful as food that will sprout up. It was then. Blue status windows appear one after another in front of him. Appa, I called you because you told me to call when I come to the fourth floor. Taemin is with me. Jin Hyuk Hyung, we have arrived. It is the fourth floor entrance, right? Yu Yeon Hua and Lee Taemin, his co-workers and fellow veterans, and Teresa, the Saintess, were people he had been in touch with first. I will be there soon. Jin Hyuk sprinkled the water on the seeds. 
Growth speed of plants increased by 20%. Within about 10 minutes, Jin Hyuk arrived back at the place where he had entered the floor on. The fourth floor had begun to become crowded. Almost all of the famous guilds are participating. Despite the tight schedule, they had managed to gather in large numbers, making their desire for the rewards obvious. But, the opportunity to pick up an A-grade random box didn't come around often. No matter how early it was in the Tower of Trials, even those who had completed the tower would have known that an A-grade box was in the top 5% of most covered items, and the next step for each player would be different depending on the item that came out. As Jin Hyuk looked over at the players, Hyung, Appa, Yu Yunhua and Lee Taemin found him and waved their hands. Mr. Jin Hyuk. Teresa too smiled brightly as she came up to him. Jin Hyuk had met Yu Yunhua only the day before, but it wasn't for a long time. I am sorry for calling you all so suddenly. I didn't have time to explain as things went faster than I thought. No, no. We had to come since Hyung called us. I don't care where it is. It is better to take the side of Mr. Jin Hyuk. Hmm. That phrasing was a little sad. From now on, all three of them would be his companions. He would be the vicious shop owner who violated the Employment and Labor Act while they were his faithful part-timers. This was the ideal position that Jin Hyuk wanted. Look at that. Yu Yunhua and Lee Taemin. You two attacked the B-class labyrinth on the second floor alone, right? Teresa, that. You said you left the meeting, but was it to stick with the potential benefits from here? Wait, is that Kang Jin Hyuk? This time it's a super special divine player from Korea. Is that person Kang Jin Hyuk? The one who got a reawakening which made his magic increase immensely? Right. They said that it was much higher than a normal S rank. Because of him, people said that ranks should be further subdivided. It seems like there's a lot of amazing players here, as well as that unknown player. Every member there is terrifying. Won't they be stronger than any other raid group? Since there were such hot topic players here, the attention of the people around them was concentrated. Of course, Jin Hyuk wasn't the type to care about that. Did everyone prepare well? We prepared diligently. But Appa, are we okay with just us? Uh? The zombie waves here are numerous. Yu Yunhua shivered slightly. Terrible memories of the past where she was assailed with the smell of blood and flesh. I do have the ability to summon pets, but it is still difficult to use since I am low level. In particular, it would be difficult to use it to block waves of zombies. Li Taemin also said something similar. It would be burdensome to face the waves without proper preparation, but... Isn't it more fun like this? Jin Hyuk gave them an innocent smile. It was as if he was gleefully expecting the chance to experience a higher level difficulty. Fun? Appa? This isn't a game. We might die if we get bitten by zombies. Sigh. Hyung still hasn't given up on his old habit. Isn't this like a top level abuse? Mr. Jin Hyuk is. a pervert. The three sighed at the same time. How could they be so frustrated right from the start? Did you deliberately choose the stadium? Uh, stadium? Sangam Stadium? Please tell me it isn't true. It is true. Hyung, have you lost it? That is the toughest one out of all the bases. It is a large base that must be defended by at least 100 people. Jin Hyuk knew that. That, Mr. Jin Hyuk, may I ask one thing? Teresa, who was silent, raised her hand. Yes, ask. As far as I know, we need to have a minimum number of people to carry out the defensive battle. But I think we are lacking in numbers. Uh, come to think of it. Right. I didn't pay attention to it as I was too preoccupied with the stadium. Yu Yeonhua and Lee Taemin were surprised. The minimum required number for a team on this floor was five people. But only four had gathered. This meant that they needed another person to officially start. The last one is coming soon. Jin Hyuk spoke without worry and just in time. A roar from a distance. Well, he wasn't the kind to appear quietly. A vast scar appears on the ground as a dust cloud rises at the blade's passing. What is that madman? Do not get in my way and get out, because I will cut all of you down. It was none other than Chun Yusong. He was angry and had cold eyes, a very expected expression. Chun Yusong, who had devoted himself to training, received a message early in the morning. Come to the fourth floor entrance in an hour. Jin Hyuk had sent it. 
Funny. Chun Yusong frowned at the message. There was no reason for him to come out here. His training was already lacking if he wanted to overcome the monster in front of him. So he ignored the message. And another message came in. If you come now, I will duel with you without a left arm and right leg as a handicap. He needed to hold himself back even at this provocation. It was just a childish attempt. Once he gets caught, it would be like falling for an opponent's cheap tricks. Right? Then I'll just use my right brain and close both eyes to fight, okay? Be patient. Be patient. Hold back that anger and use it as a basis for getting revenge next time. If he waited, the chance would surely come. Okay? Ah, that looks right. Don't worry. I won't bother you despite you having your tail between your legs. And with that, the last string of his reason was cut. Kill him. He had to kill Jin Hyuk. Chun Yu Song was provoked, left everything behind, and headed to the fourth floor. And right now, he could see the culprit. Uh, you are here? Here. Jin Hyuk waved his hand. He thought he was going to die waiting for the last piece. Anyways, he should have kept his sense of time right, at least. You... Chun Yu Song held his sword out. It wasn't his normal sword, but a new sword with runes engraved on it. As expected, he got it. Elemental sword. It wasn't complete yet, but it was a special item that could compensate for a swordsman's weakness in long-distance battle by injecting elemental magic into their weapon. I am here to prove whether I am scared or not. Chun Yu Xiong grabbed the sword with both hands. Due to the sharply focused magic, even the ground began to shake. This man was unstoppable. It is good to prove it, but to fight with an unfinished sword. At Jin Hyuk's words, Chun Yu Song became stiff. What do you mean? I mean it literally. The elemental sword is definitely not bad, but it needs to be completed before the power can be fully shown. At the end of the day, the A-grade random box from this floor also contains an item that can complete the elemental sword. What you want is the fire element, right? Nonsense. A random box is random. There is no way to know what comes from it. Right. You cannot get a glimpse of what is inside a random box in a normal manner. But... I prefer the unusual shortcuts. You know? Jin Hyuk smiled while Chun Yu Xiong bit his lips. If anyone else had said this, he wouldn't even care. But this man was someone who was an exception to everything. If it was Jin Hyuk, he might really be able to peek into everything. If you are right, then you mean you will use me as bait? Isn't life all about using each other for personal gains? Besides, there is nothing you would lose, right? Better items are needed to get stronger. There was no such thing as easy growth. But there were cases where items simply brought rankers to the upper tiers. Finally, damn it, there must be material in a random box to complete the sword. Chun Yu Xiong placed his sword back into its sheath. Nice. There were a lot of ups and downs, but five people had gathered here, even if one of them was highly suspicious of the one whose aims were vague. Party of five has been formed. The minimum number of people to defend the base has been met. Five players, including Jin Hyuk, headed to the stadium. Lee Taemin and Yu Yeonhua glanced at Chun Yu Song. Wasn't this the bastard who would pull out a sword when people just make eye contact with him? Being on the same team made them feel anxious. Mr. Jin Hyuk, is this really fine? Teresa, who had met Chun Yu Song in the corridor of the Fallen, was equally anxious. It is fine. There's a surprisingly docile side of that guy, even if he looks like that. He won't stab us in the back of the head as long as the wave keeps coming. Still, trust me. He had fought the guy the most, so he understood what kind of person he was. He knew Chun Yu Song wasn't the type to stab someone in the back. Maybe. Maybe. It was then. Ah, right, Appa. I almost forgot. Take this. As if something crossed her mind, Yu Yeonhua opened her subspace and soon took out an unusual pair of swords. It was the twin dragon swords, as expected. It was a relic of the past but it was said to be of comparable quality to relics from inside the tower. That wasn't an exaggeration, because it felt like his heart would sink by just touching them. Grandfather asked me to give you, but really, this is something Grandfather loved too much. How did you manage to get it? I just did. He thought it would look good on me. Jin Hyuk frowned slightly. There was no need to talk about all that right now. That was because he was focusing entirely on the defense that was right in front of him. 
while the team continued to chat slightly. We are here. This is our base. Eventually, they reached the entrance. Ha! Five people blocking this huge place. I remember when we blocked the outbreak in Amsterdam. I never wanted to go through such a thing again. Yu Yunhua and Teresa sighed. Why are the two strong women so nervous? W what? Still, being with you, I feel relieved. Me too. Somehow if I am with Mr. Jin Hyuk, no matter how desperate the situation is, I think something can be done. Nothing good will come from buttering me up. I was just telling the truth. You attacked the corridor alone. I saw it myself. What was with these people? Did they want something more? Well, it wasn't a bad feeling to be praised. At least, these were people he trusted. In a world that had changed like this, it wasn't common to have someone you could trust. It was then. Hmm, who occupied the stadium? Koreans? An unfamiliar voice. A man with tightly pulled hair and tattoos all over his body appeared from under the buildings. An Asian man with a white face and dark hair asked him. His was an average appearance that no one would look at twice if they passed him on the street. But what caught his eye was the sword and the pattern engraved on it. Jin Hyuk frowned. That text was no doubt. Nam Gung family. One of the members of Muram on the 25th floor of Tower of Trials. Is it true that the Chinese players and the dwellers got into contact? And with that, this chapter comes to an end. I hope that you liked today's video, and if you did, hit that like button, as today's like, aim, is 1000 likes. Also, consider subscribing with the notification bell on to get notified as soon as a new video drops onto the channel. You can also join the channel to support me financially and watch videos before public release. I'll meet you in the next video until then, thanks for watching.